Hi guys. I would like to invite you to the audiobook service where we upload more than 300 hours of different audiobooks a week, link in details in the video description. Chapter 1 On a high platform of a mountain, the limbs of a handsome man were tied up by four thick chains. His body was covered with endless scars, and every wound was deeply visible. In front of him, there were five women who looked indifferent but were all over the country. They all held a short knife in their hands, and there was endless hatred in their eyes. The headed woman wore a dark red robe and said to the man, Master, when you abused us in a thousand ways, did you think about today? Master sister, what nonsense about this scumbag, let's get started. Another woman in yellow clothes raised the short knife in her hand and cut a knife on the man's body. For a while, blood poured out like a jet. After that, the other four raised their long knives at the same time and began to impose the harshest punishment on the man, Ling Chi. The protagonist of the game Battle of the Empress Shirzuan hides the ending, and Ling Chi is put to death. Ah! Su Chen was awakened by the nightmare just now. He just discovered that he was the one who was stabbed by thousands of swords in his dream. Ha! Huh. Where is this place? Su Chen felt a splitting headache, then opened his eyes and saw the white top of the bed. Aren't you playing the apprentice development game called the Battle of the Empress? It's just that in order to pass quickly, he didn't use the harem stream or the influence stream, and directly opened the route of the abuser stream. He used excessive means to urge the growth of his disciples, but he did not expect to directly touch the hidden main thread of the game. There should have been a few female disciples who were like white lotus flowers. Under Su Chen's unscrupulous master's operation, it was a bitter tear. In the game, the five heroines relied on each other and survived in this very cruel environment for a full five years. The way the abusers flowed was indeed to make the cultivation base grow very fast for several disciples, and finally came to a big node in the game plot, the 10,000 Immortals Conference. He really didn't expect that the abuser flow actually opened the hidden plot. The five apprentices directly turned on the hook mode, and Su Chen, as the manipulator of the protagonist, turned into a villain. In this 10,000 Immortal Conference, Su Chen was attacked and seriously injured. The five took the opportunity to escape and betrayed Sect directly. As everyone knows, this is the beginning of the story. Su Chen later fell into the task of finding his disciple, and watched the following plot. After the five betrayed Sect, they not only had to face Sect's misunderstanding and pursuit, but also faced many difficulties and obstacles. Fortunately, each of the five people encountered their own adventure, or met a noble person, or opened the secret realm. In short, after many years, the five people, relying on their own efforts and adventures, became the overlord of one power, and finally brought their own powers back to Great Heaven Sect. At this time, the five people who have experienced thousands of hardships are already the overlords of the decisive side. The five took their own men to destroy the entire Great Sky Sect, and then they even grabbed Su Chen. The five captured him alive, and after discussing it, they tied him to the Great Heavenly Sect's Zhu Xian platform, and the five of them personally imposed a severe punishment on Su Chen. Subsequently, the five imperial heroines have cultivated infinite ambitions during these years of experience. Soon after the attack on Great Heaven Sect, in order to seize the territory of this cultivation world, the battle of the five female emperors started. Then came the normal routine. The five female emperors turned upside down and earth shaking. In the end, the eldest disciple among the five disciples won the victory. Since then, she has become the eternal female emperor of cultivation world, dominating thousands of miles of rivers and mountains. Su Chen really almost didn't smash the computer, what is this? Playing a role-playing game actually has such an ending to death. Then he was about to go to the game forum to scold his mother when a line of words appeared on the computer screen. Game planner, I give you a chance to restart, come on you. Su Chen's eyes went dark, and he fainted. After waking up, he came here. At this time, a woman wearing azure Taoist robe said in surprise, Little master, you finally woke up. Why did you cultivate so hard, and you were born into qi deviation, and fell asleep for three days? Ha! Huh. Who are you? Where am I? Su Chen said blankly. The woman said strangely, Little Shishu, 
what's wrong with you? Amnesia? This is our King Tianzong Qiu Jingfeng. I am your nephew Su Shou Off. You are my Shi Shu Su Chen. King Tianzong Qiu Jingfeng. At this moment, he can be sure that he has really entered the game. Moreover, I clearly realize that if I were still an abuser, I would definitely be slashed directly. This time there is really no dead body. There is no chance of resurrection. Looking at Su Chen with a look of loss, Su Xiu said in an anxious heart, Uncle Master, wait, I will go to my master to see you. Su Chen couldn't care about who she was looking for at this time. At this time, his mood was completely lost. He actually became the role of the master. This is really a high-risk profession. Why is the difference so big when others pass through and pass through by yourself? When he was infinitely complaining, a voice in his head sounded, Master of Love chooses the system to turn on, and the binding is successful. Chapter, 2 Senior Brother Su Chen Junior Su Chen I am your senior brother Lin Qing Yuan. Just as Su Chen looked desperate, a middle-aged man wearing a grey Taoist robe walked in. Su Chen glanced at him, and immediately recognized that this person was Lin Qing Yuan, the head teacher of the Great Sky School. He was an important NPC in the game. In the setting, he and the protagonist have grown up in sect together since they were young, and their relationship is very deep. At this time, the voice of the system sounded in Su Chen's mind again. Because the abuser stream was opened during the host game before, it's too much. Therefore, this system will teach the host how to be a master. Each option will usher in different rewards, and it will also affect the trend of the plot. Please choose carefully. After a brief period of frustration, he finally accepted his identity as the protagonist of the game, Su Chen. At this moment, he looked at the kind-looking big brother Lin Qing Yuan in front of him, and he couldn't help but feel uncomfortable for a while. The normal NPC has become a real person directly at this time, which is really strange. But this Lin Qing Yuan is really a kind person, very good for the protagonist. It can be said to be responsive to requests, and to train him as a next generation head teacher. However, in a certain plot, Lin Qing Yuan was blasted to death by the enemy. Su Chen lowered his head and held his forehead. Where does he have the qualifications to feel that others have died miserably, he is the one who died the most miserable. Never make a big mistake. Suppress any signs of errors before they happen. No. I want to find a way to stop all this trouble. Lin Qing Yuan immediately said with concern, Little junior brother, do you still have a headache? Well, brother, I'm okay, it's just that I was too hasty when practicing Qigong before. Su Chen said a few words at this moment, after all, I can't tell him that there is a system in own mind. Hearing Su Chen's words like this, Lin Qing Yuan finally felt relieved, and then said with a smile, He he, brother, you are fine, you have nothing to do, there is one thing to discuss with you. Hearing this sentence, Su Chen's heart shook. The plot seems familiar, but he can only respectfully say at this time, Brother head teacher, please tell me more. Well, in your fascination with cultivation all these years, your Chiu Jingfeng does not have a disciple now. I know you have a high vision, but there is no disciple on the main peak, which is really out of the question. Therefore, I want you to go down the mountain and take a few disciples with good qualifications. What do you think? Lin Qing Yuan said seriously. Damn it! I said why the plot is so familiar, it turns out that the source of all evil is here. No. I'm not going. I will never die. I won't go down the mountain to accept disciples if I kill you. That way I will be safe. Warning. The host's intention just now is very dangerous. Attempting to cut off the original karma is a violation of the rules, please do not try. Hearing the voice of the system, Su Chen knew that he did not have any power or opportunity to avoid karma, so he could only accept the task with tears. Yes. Senior brother head teacher, I will go down the mountain to practice tomorrow. Su Chen respectfully said to Lin Qing Yuan. Well, okay, you can take a good rest. By the way, this is the token of sect. You can carry it with you for easy handling. I have something else to do. I'm leaving. 
Lin Qingyuan didn't stay much, and immediately disappeared in place, leaving only a token of great sky school. Su Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief, and then recalled the plot of the former abuser stream. The five female disciples who opened the hidden main line in the original work are all extremely powerful. These five people are not mortals. After starting the abuser stream, the future achievements of these five people are terribly high. The eldest disciple is the future female emperor of Chilean, who possesses the natural superb fire spiritual roots and strong perseverance. He reborn heaven defined to change his fate, and finally achieves a generation of hegemony and unifies Zhongzhou. The second disciple is an ancient reincarnated devil emperor, a magical skill that is unfathomable. The original kind and delicate character, born Blacken, has become the legend of a generation of female devil emperors. The three disciples are born peerless demon emperors, and the natural body of the demon possesses the qualifications of physical sanctification. By fighting and enlightening, he will eventually become a great demon with amazing combat power. The four disciples are peerless heaven-defying ghost emperors, the body of the heavenly ghosts, shocking the world, killing all the way decisively. And eventually gaining a lot of bones in exchange for a world-renowned foundation and becoming the king of all ghosts. The five disciples are the invincible emperor of formation, self-learning formation, through the heavens and the earth, at the peak, even able to trap tens of thousands of immortal cultivators, and bury them all in the great formation. However, Su Chen's mood is very simple at this time, just a cavity of grief and anger, why do you want to travel to such a protagonist of the game? God! Help me! After a while, he began to examine his own state. After all, he still remembered that although he had passed through to become the protagonist of the master, the initial cultivation base of the protagonist was still in the spiritual stage. You must know that the transformation period can be regarded as a master of one party. At least in the early stage, there is not much danger. However, after examining his own body, he found that he was not like the advanced cultivation base in the original game, but only the cultivation base at the peak of the foundation building, not even the gold core period. This left him speechless to ask Qing Tian. Giving one's own protagonist settings, but not giving his own protagonist strength, this is simply playing him. Except for the special effects that he brought with him, that is, the vision and Dao Yun beside him, he had almost no magic spells and magical powers. Now it is obvious that there is only one choice before him, and that is to follow the instructions of the system and never follow the abuser flow. To be the best teacher in the entire cultivation world to disciples. When he has five fierce disciples, he can walk sideways in cultivation world. I, Su Chen, vowed to be a good teacher. Chapter, 3 The next day, Su Chen stood in front of the own gate and looked at the endless disciples on Qing Tian Peak. I couldn't help feeling that the disciples of other people's families are so mediocre and so likable. But the next few that I will meet are not good things, but a few characters that ordinary people can't afford to provoke. After that, he said goodbye to head teacher and came to the foot of the mountain. He did not rush to set off, but first sat on a boulder at the foot of the mountain for a while, and began to work hard to recall the plot in his head. Because in the game plot, the initial stage of the five heroines is not so cruel, but ruthless, they all have their own human shining points. It's just that under the brutality of the protagonist Su Chen, the protagonist of the abuser, they had to change their own dispositions to guard against him, and they ended up in a cruel environment. In the end, his personality became abnormal, and the one with the most distorted personality was the eldest disciple Qin Chilian. In the final Su Chen ending, Qin Chilian was the person who initiated Ling Qi's proposal, and he was also the one who cut him $1,000 on the spot. Chiu Lian's Apprentice it seems that the teacher should come to you first according to the plot. After weighing the pros and cons, Su Chen decided to find his own disciple Qin Chilian first. So immediately Su Chen directly set up flying sword and flew towards the east of Zhengzhou at high speed. Because up to now, he still remembers the game plot. Before Su Chen had accepted Qin Chilian, she had been underestimated and abused by all means in her own clan. When Su Chen met her for the first time, she escaped from the own clan. When she met him, she was already scarred. In the end, he took a fancy to her aptitude and took it back into the mountain gate. 
since you want to start, just pick the most ruthless one first. Su Chen thought this way, and flew towards a city in the east. The name of this city is Wutanqing. Wutan City is located in the east of Zhongzhou and is an important city in the Shifang Kingdom. It's just that this city is not well known in the east of Zhongzhou. After all, the abundance here is just the ordinary martial forest family. This is very inconspicuous in the world where Xuxian is the mainstream. There is a martial forest family Qin family in Wutan City, which is one of the three major families in this city. There are many famous masters in the martial forest in the clan, but there has never been a cultivator of immortality, which makes every generation of Qin family head a headache. For unknown reasons, most of the Qin family of this generation are ordinary people without spiritual roots, and there is no ordinary spiritual roots. This makes Qin Jingxiong in the current Qin family very troubled. Until three years ago, one of the clan A tribe named Qin Chilian actually showed fire spiritual roots. This Qin Chilian is not only the best talent in the whole clan, but also unparalleled in appearance. It can be described as an all-powerful and all-round woman of heaven. This made the entire Qin family boil. Although they didn't know what kind of fire spiritual roots were, for a family without any immortal cultivators, this was already a great thing. Qin Jingxiong had even planned to send Qin Chilian to a certain cultivating sect. However, just as everyone was ecstatic, a few days later, there was news that Qin Chilian didn't know why his fire spiritual roots had become waste spiritual roots. This was a great stimulus for the entire Qin family. After all, there was no hope at all, but now that there is hope, it will usher in the terrible news of this day. Seriously, the patriarch Qin Jingxiong didn't go crazy directly, he was already very good. However, because of this incident, Qin Jingxiong angered her, cancelled all her preferential treatment, and sent it to a remote courtyard. After that, the Qin family's treatment for Qin Chilian took a sharp turn. Three days ago, the treasure that was held in the palm of everyone's hands suddenly became a weed that anyone could trample on. Such a gap is like a world of difference. In fact, Qin Chilian is not to blame at this time, after all, this spiritual roots has become obsolete, it is not her fault, even he himself does not know what happened. But there is no way, the root of human inferiority is to fall into trouble. To say why this fire spiritual roots was abandoned, it was actually because Qin Chilian awakened his own special physique, Chilian spiritual roots, which is more domineering than the top fire spiritual roots. If there is no suitable way to guide it after awakening, it will temporarily be unable to mobilize magic power. This is why other people will think that Qin Chilian is a waste of spiritual roots. In the original game, after Qin Chilian was hired by Su Chen, if he was well guided, he would become an elite disciple. But the abusers tried their best to solve this problem, and after escaping from sect, Qin Chou got a way to repair the spiritual roots by coincidence. After that, Cultivation Base made rapid progress, and finally became the strongest female emperor. But now, even if everyone in the Qin family has no enmity against the genius who was once aloof, many people are eager to step forward and step on it directly. This also led to Qin Chilian's eyes and pains in these three years. Because of her experience over the years, her personality has become more and more indifferent, and she no longer swears about these hypocritical faces, and she has a frozen expression all day long. In addition, she was originally an extraordinary appearance, so she got such an indecent name as an iceberg beauty. Such a means of self-protection, instead of exerting its due effect, has attracted the most direct retaliation from the clan. Even Qin Jingxiong, the patriarch, had a direct mind, intending to squeeze out the last trace of her value. On this day, Qin Chilian received a call from the patriarch, so she wore a linen shirt and came to the discussion hall. Today, Qin Jingxiong, the patriarch who hasn't seen her for a long time, actually sent someone to summon her to discuss matters. Of course, Qin Chilian, who has already tasted the pain, would not feel that there is anything good waiting for him. But there is no way. Now she is not as good as a servant in the family. The only capital that still exists is her proud figure and outstanding appearance. There are many stray children in the clan who covet themselves. If they weren't for their alertness, they would have been insulted long ago. Qin Chilian walked into the chamber slowly, 
the tall figure and the alluring face, coupled with the ice-like facial expression, really made people feel an extremely cold and glamorous feeling. When they came to the chamber, there were two people sitting above the main seat, one of whom was a burly figure and a majestic face. This person was Qin Jingxiong, the head of the Qin family. The other was a thin young man. This young man had a frivolous face, and there seemed to be a lot of licentiousness in his eyes. In the seat where they started, there were still a few middle-aged people sitting. These people had this kind of aura, but there was no internal energy fluctuation. It seemed that they must be cultivators. Qin Chilian paid respect to the patriarch. I don't know what happened to the patriarch calling me. Qin Chilian immediately guessed the matter when he saw the young man. At this time, her heart was tight, and she was even more nervous, subconsciously clenching her fists, but still maintaining her usual cold complexion. Xiu Lian, come, this is Lin Tianguang, the young master of the Lin family. Today, I came to you to propose marriage and intends to marry you as his concubine. What do you think? Although Qin Jingxiong was asking, but in his tone, there was no room for discussion. Chapter, 4 when Qin Chilian heard that he was actually going to be someone else's concubine, he couldn't help feeling a sorrow in his heart, knowing that the status of concubines in this world is lower than that of ordinary servants. Even the children born to concubines are inferior. At this time, she watched this time looking up and down at Onlin family's great Shaolin Tianguang with a wicked look, and she felt nauseous for a while. Because it can be seen from his eyes that such a person must be a profligate boy. Although he is already a waste, how can he marry such a person? Patriarch, I'm sorry, although Qin Chilian is a small person with no father and no mother, but his own marriage, he can still be the master if he wants to come, don't worry about the patriarch. Such words of Qin Chilian almost stamped Qin Jingxiong's face under his feet. Lin Tianguang sneered at this moment and said, Patriarch Qin, it seems that your command is not very effective. Qin Jingxiong's veins were violent at this time, pointing to Qin Chilian and said, You are a member of the family, and you are doing your best for the family. Besides, if you have no parents, my patriarch is qualified to arrange marriage for you. Where do you refuse? The truth? After all, Qin Chilian is not an ordinary woman. After three years of cold eyes and bullying, her temperament is no longer like a teenage girl. She coldly said to the two of them, Master Patriarch, don't think that you can oppress me with family righteousness. Just ask, what has this family given me? The most given to me is discrimination. Cold-eyed. Bullying. Where is this kind of family worthy of my allegiance and devotion? At this time, Qin Chilian's eyes showed ferocious anger. Recalling the past, she was scheduled to be one of the candidates for the Patriarch of the family because of the talent shown in her childhood. At that time, she became a genius whom everyone admired in Wutan City, but all her glory disappeared after her spiritual roots was inexplicably abolished. That year, Qin Chilian was 13 years old. She has been through the world without knowing the truth. She has no father or mother, no sister or brother. No one can protect her peace, so he is discouraged and wants to live his life in a low-key manner. However, the erosion of the dark night did not stop. Because of the patriarch's disgust, Qin Chilian was completely reduced to a marginal figure in the Qin family. Those who had tried to flatter her jumped out and scolded her, simply venting the malice caused by the jealousy. If it weren't for the Qin family's face, she could not figure out what she looked like now. Maybe she had been killed or sold to a brothel. Qin Chilian stroked a scar on his wrist at this time. It was cut out by a woman from the clan with a dagger. All she could do was lick the wound silently. However, today, they actually want to sell themselves as goods, sold to a very profligate son brother, which is equivalent to throwing it into the abyss. Although she is powerless to resist, she is not a person who is waiting to die. Just as Qin Jingxiong was about to get angry when she said something, Lin Tianguang stood up and came to her in front of her with a folding fan. Lin Tianguang said to him, Qin Chilian, this young man can see you because you are a genius. Maybe the child you gave birth may also be a genius. I marry you and become my concubine, just for the success of an heir. However, if you followed me, it would be better than staying in this Qin family. 
at least the person who became the son of this son would not be humiliated and humiliated by others, would it? Lin Tianguang stretched out his folding fan and was about to pick Qin Chulian's chin. Seeing this, Qin Chulian stretched out his hand, the folding fan flew out directly, and coldly said to him, Don't touch me. Upon seeing this, Lin Tianguang was angry, and snarled at him, Bitch! It's your honor to see you, you dare to treat me like this. I'll kill you. Having said this, Lin Tianguang's palm came over immediately, and his speed was extremely fast. It seems that Lin Tianguang also has a kung fu. This obviously couldn't be handled by Qin Chilian, so she could only admit her fate and closed her eyes. At this time, someone appeared outside the door, Su Chen. At this moment, he saw that someone actually dared to deal with his future big disciple Qin Chilian, and realized that this was an opportunity. As long as he can brush up the favor of the big disciple, he can at least avoid cutting himself a few times, so he plans to make a move. At this time, the system's voice sounded again, ding, the apprenticeship scenario is triggered, now turn on the option. Every time he faces various options, Su Chen becomes very, very cautious. He always remembered that the own system is called the Dai Master System. In other words, the point is to dote on the own disciple, the others are not important, as long as the favorability is full, then everything will come naturally. This system is obviously not well-intentioned, and it simply catches the human nature. As long as you have a fluke mentality, you can easily die without a place to bury it. In fact, she has an extremely strong desire for those option rewards, there is no way, who makes the option so simple, and the rewards are so rich. For example, the optional reward Heavenly Emperor, according to the system explanation, this cultivating skill is created by the ancient Heavenly Emperor, and has extremely powerful power. The Heavenly Emperor used to be an existence that didn't ask anything about the world, but he was surrounded and killed because he was carrying a heavy treasure, so he finally proclaimed amidst many killings. He also gathered his many years of cultivation experience and wrote this Heavenly Emperor's celestial scripture, which directly allowed him to break free from the shackles, transcends tribulation in one second, and sword in place. The origin of this cultivation technique really shocked Su Chen for 10,000 years, this FCK, the background is too big. This is obviously not something he can covet for the immortal cultivator during the foundation building period. He faintly felt that among these generously rewarding options, I was afraid that there were extreme dangers. After all, this system is based on the theme of master of great love, and options that go against the purpose of this system are not a good thing. Therefore, the first and second options are directly skipped. As for the third option, isn't this still entering the original world line? To bully own big disciple, what should I do if I am bullied again in the future? Although the superb magical item is very attractive, forget it, it is too dangerous. Just choose the fourth option. So, Su Chen took a step and appeared at the door, and the voice of the system came, ding. Reward medical skills 1. At this time, Qin Jingxiong in the room seemed to have noticed an outsider, and he screamed, Who? Who dares to break into my Qin house? At this time, Lin Tianguang's hand also stopped, and when he saw the figure, he immediately shouted, Han Elder. You can take this person for me. At this time, Qin Chulian looked forward, and saw a slender figure appearing in front of the chamber, a man with a smile on his face, his face was so handsome. There was a misty breath lingering around the man, and he looked at himself with a smile. She felt a sense of peace of mind inexplicably. Many years later, Qin Chulian, who has become a female emperor, would say something like that when he said that day, the appearance of the master on that day became the first ray of light in my life. Chapter, 5 Lin Tianguang squinted his eyes and looked at Su Chen at this time. His thoughts at this time were to show off his own force in front of Qin Chulian, so that she could fall in love with himself. Han Elder and others, who are the guest youth of the Lin family, are three real repairers. The cultivation base has reached the cultivation base of the foundation building period. Although they are not very talented when they reach the foundation building period at this age, they are already an extraordinary existence in the mortal family. Su Chen surrounded by the three people suddenly showing a character shape. Su Chen turned his head and said to the three of them, three fellow Taoists, I'm just here to find someone. 
Are you sure you want to fight me like this? Han Elder shouted coldly at this time, Are you stupid for us? Does anyone pass by and go directly to someone else's house? Say, who are you? As soon as Su Chen appeared, the handsome face and the lingering Taoist rhyme made people couldn't help but exclaim when they saw it, even if it was a fairy in the sky. As soon as he saw it, Qin Chiu-yen was also dumbfounded. Lin Tianguang watched this scene, and he couldn't help but rise in anger, and said with an ugly expression. Okay. So you didn't marry me because you liked this kind of little white face. You actually pretended to be loyal and unyielding. Daddy killed you. Lin Tianguang raised his palm at this time and transported internal energy, even if he was about to blast directly on Qin Chiu-yin's body, at this critical moment. Even if Su Chen wanted to take action, the system's voice sounded, ding. Trigger options. Looking at this option, Su Chen was entangled at once. Again. Is this heavenly emperor going to be against yourself? Of Pete. After greedy for a while, Su Chen became angry. Lin Tianguang is afraid that this is not a top second generation, right? Otherwise, why would the reward be so rich just by playing with him? As before, Su Chen directly ignored the first two options. Because he thinks about it carefully and thinks that option three is the most trouble-free, so he doesn't need to make a move. Su Chen took a step forward, guarding Qin Chiu-yen behind him, and then threw out the token Lin Qin Yuan had handed him in full view. Stop it! Su Chen's voice was like thunder in the sky. People are more like a killing god, exuding inaccessible killing intent. The token hovered directly in front of Lin Tianguang, and Lin Tianguang waved it down with a palm, which happened to be bounced off by the magic power above the token. Lin Tianguang slammed heavily on the wall. Han Elder and others didn't care about dealing with Su Chen at this time. Instead, they flew over and helped Lin Tianguang from the ground. At this moment, Qin Chiu-yen looked at Su Chen's back. The broad shoulders and thin body blocked a mortal blow for himself. At this moment, his existence seemed to be more dazzling than the light on that token, as if a ray of light suddenly appeared in his dark life, that was the light of hope and protection. Su Chen turned his head and asked in a very gentle tone, Are you okay? Qin Chiu-yen looked at Su Chen's handsome face and concerned eyes. At this moment, she only felt that the man in front of her seemed to be a light of hope to shine again in her life. At this moment, she found that her nose was sore and her throat was a little congested, and she couldn't speak for a while. The cold face finally lost the coldness before. She shook her head with a blushing face and said that she was okay. At this time, Han Elder and others were about to do something, but when they saw the word Qin Tian on the token, their expressions changed drastically which represented the token of the head teacher of Lin Qin Yuan, who was so discolored. Everyone has heard of Cultivation World. Thousands of years ago, the head teacher of Cultivation World, the second-rate sect, once obtained a treasure, which caused several sects to besiege, and sect was almost destroyed. It was Lin Qin Yuan, who was just a big disciple of sect at the time, who killed several sects with one sword and one man. None of the people present escaped. The most frightening thing is that Lin Qin Yuan killed people while laughing, and his usual generosity was completely different. His fierce and mighty might be described as frightening. Since then, Great Sky School has become one of the five sects of Cultivation World, and no one dares to mess with it. At this time, the three Han and Elder took a look at Su Chen and directly pulled Lin Tianguang to his knees. Lin Tianguang struggled and said, What are you doing? You actually made me kneel with such a white face. Are you crazy? Han Elder directly ignored his protest, pressed his big hand, and directly pressed Lin Tianguang's head to the ground, smashing the bricks on the ground to make a big hole. Han Elder said in a trembling tone, I, 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 I don't know that the real person of the Great Sky School is here. I offended the real person. We are guilty. The sin is worth death. I don't know the real person Gao's name. Su Chen said lightly, I am Su Chen. The three of them shuddered again when they heard the words. There is no way, the three of them are just idle practitioners in Zhongzhou. In this life, being able to cultivate to the elementary level of the foundation building is already burning high incense. Where can I dare to offend gold core everywhere? 
Moreover, it is said that this Su Chen is Lin Qingyuan's younger brother, and even the rising star of this generation. Lin Qingyuan even plans to train him into the next generation of head teacher. Although this man has been practicing for less than 30 years, it is said that he has excellent talents and is now at the pinnacle of gold core. Some even say that he has broken through to nascent soul. In terms of power, he can't compare to others, and in terms of strength, he won't be able to run away with a high probability. It turns out to be real Su Chen from the Great Sky School, please spare your life. Your lord does not care about the villain, let us make a living. Qin Chilian looked at this scene in astonishment. At this time, everyone in the Qin family who came after hearing the news was dumbfounded. Who was this handsome man who directly caused Elder to kneel down and beg for mercy? Real Su Chen. Sky Sect. By the way, I remember it. A young man from the Qin family suddenly yelled, and everyone looked at him with curious eyes. The young man whispered, Three years ago, I was fortunate enough to watch the Great Heavenly Sex Quantitative Talents Conference. At that time, it was said that Su Chen had directly broken through to the peak of the Gold Core period in less than 30 years. It was precisely because of this. Lin Qingyuan's head teacher entrusts him with the important task and intends to establish him as the successor of the head teacher. Is this Su Chen really good? It's not just amazing. I heard that Su Chen is extremely talented. It is said that he was the reincarnation of the ancient immortal emperor. Even Mount Tai Northern Dipper of Cultivation World was shocked. Have you heard of King Xuanzong? That is our top fairy gate in Zhongzhou. After hearing about the name of the real Su Chen, they were even willing to exchange two talented closed disciples with the Great Heaven Sect. You must know that those two are very likely to inherit the position of sect leader in the future. Hiss. The people present at the Qin family took a breath. Su Chen has a question mark in his heart at this time. Why didn't I know these things? Who made the rumors? Although many people do not understand what the young people are talking about, they still hiss with the people around them. Su Chen really wanted to swear directly at this time, I am not. I do not have. Don't talk nonsense. Don't believe in rumors, don't spread rumors, don't you understand? Chapter 6 But seeing Han Elder and others lying in front of him, he temporarily gave up this plan, even if he said it, no one believed it, and it might cause trouble. Several immortal cultivators slowly walked to Su Chen's face. At this time Qin Jingxiong said, I have seen real Su Chen, and I don't know what is the real person to do in this martial arts city. Asshole, do you deserve to ask Su Chen real question too? Han Elder shouted at him at this time. Su Chen waved his hand helplessly, it's okay. He turned around and looked in front of Qin Chilian, who was surprised at this time, and said, Qin Chilian, I am Su Chen, the master of the Chujing Peak of King Tianzong. Today I intend to accept you as my disciple. I wonder if you want to. Ah. Uh. As soon as this statement came out, everyone present was stunned. Are you kidding me? This was the first thought that flashed through the minds of everyone present. Including Qin Chilian, who was less than two feet away from Su Chen at this time, was also shocked. Boom. 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 Qin Chilian swears, his own heartbeat has never reached such a fast level. Even though she was very excited at this time, the events of the past three years are vivid, and her temperament has already been tempered and tenacious. She suppressed her excitement and returned to her previous calmness. Calm down. Qin Chilian. This is definitely not true. She said to herself, he knew that this must be the excuse that real Su Chen asked to save her. After all, her spiritual roots are waste spiritual roots, and Qin Chilian's complexion darkened. Although she used to be a genius, she is now abolished spiritual roots for unknown reasons. Don't talk about top sects like King Tianzong now, even the small sects outside of Wutan City won't be regarded as own. It's not that Qin Chilian didn't hear the chats of the people around him. It is rumored that the disciple of King Tianzong was warm-hearted and often went down the mountain to help the people. Imagine that ordinary disciples are kind-hearted. As the peak master of the supreme sect, Su Chen said such words out of kindness to solve her crisis. 
it is also a matter of reason. However, Qin Jiulian smiled even more bitterly if it was what he thought, but seeing Su Chen smile, he decided to deal with the things in front of him first, after all, he could not lose his face at Qin's house. Disciple Qin Jiulian, pay a visit to Master. Qin Jiulian paid respect to Su Chen. Okay. Since today, you are my Chiu Jingfeng big disciple. Su Chen helped him up, very satisfied, and finally accepted the first apprentice, at least now the relationship with On is pretty good. Qin Chiulian looked at Su Chen's smile, she secretly made a decision, and when Su Chen left, she immediately left Qin's house. She wants to travel all over the world, no matter how bad the situation is, but the family betrayed to others to abuse her, maybe one day she can find a way to repair the waste spiritual roots. At this time, Qin Jingxiong walked out tremblingly, interrupting Qin Chiulian's cranky thinking. True person Su Chen, can you make a mistake? The most talented person in our Qin family is my daughter Qin Xiaosa. Qin Chiulian is just a waste spiritual roots that cannot be cultivated. Su Chen slowly turned his head to look at Qin Jingxiong, his own disciple, and couldn't tolerate such a small character to insult. The stare at that moment seemed to have caused the surrounding temperature to drop. Qin Jingxiong only felt a cold murderous intent all over his body, and his whole body was constantly shaking like a swing. Then he said in horror, I was wrong, real Su Chen, I shouldn't question your decision, I. Bang! At this moment, he couldn't stand anymore, and directly sat down on the ground, looking at Su Chen tremblingly. He is just the patriarch of the martial forest family, that is, he acts as a blessing in front of a crowd of mortals, against a well-known cultivation sect. Isn't that sick? Su Chen saw such an unbearable person and said coldly, from today, Qin Chiulian is my disciple. I will kill anyone who insults her. As soon as he said this, Qin Jingxiong was scared to pee on the spot, his crotch was wet, and a foul smell came out. Upon hearing these words, Qin Chiulian immediately felt an urge to die for Su Chen. No matter what the result is today, Su Chen has left an indelible mark in her heart. He turned his head and said to Qin Chiulian, Tire, I should vent my anger for you as a teacher and slaughter all the people here. But I will give you a word for the teacher, Chiu must personally report it. When you come to cultivation base and understand your own grievances, you will be able to eliminate your heart's demon robbery. Qin Chiulian nodded with tears in his eyes at this time. If there is a progress bar for favorability at this time, I am afraid that it is already an explosion at this moment. Hearing these words, everyone in the Qin family felt a cold killing intent, and they even imagined it. In the future, Qin Chiulian will be successful in cultivation under Su Chen's guidance, and when he returns to the Qin family, it will be a bloody situation. No. This Qin family can't stay. Must escape, go to other places to live incognito. Han Elder and others on the side heard these words too, and immediately shivered with fear, looking at Lin Tianguang's sluggish appearance, wishing to strangle him. An ordinary little family of cultivation, who actually provoke such a behemoth for a woman, really does not live or die. Although, they did not know before. No. We will soon leave the Lin family when we go back, otherwise the future will be a mortal end. This east of central state cannot stay, and we must leave quickly. At this time, Su Chen looked at the people half in fear and half regret, and said to them, You remember one sentence, Thirty years he dong, thirty years he she, don't bully the girl poor. Su Chen's cold words made everyone present like falling into an ice cave as soon as he said this, Qin Shulian suddenly seemed to feel a throbbing in his own heart that did not belong to his own. Her eyes were red, and she was speechless for a moment looking at the stalwart figure in front of her. A sense of warmth surged at On Dantian. At this moment, she was ecstatic. This is the power that real Su Chen poured into my body. Her spiritual roots that had been abolished had begun to revive. Since it is possible to repair the disused spiritual roots, then there is the possibility of going straight up. In fact, it's because Chilian's spiritual roots reacts to violent mood swings in the body and begins to awaken. Someone cheered, Okay, you deserve to be a real Su Chen you deserve to be a reincarnated immortal emperor. Su Chen is a real person. I really shocked my mother for 10,000 years. 
There were more shouts, Su Chen as if he hadn't heard him, he withdrew the token and took Qin Chilian's hand to himself. Disciple, is there anything I need to take away? Qin Chilian shook his head blankly. Then let me return to Qiu Jingfeng. After all, Su Chen led Qin Chiu Lian's Yu Jin away without any muddle, so that the people present were stunned for a while. They all sighed that Su Chen is indeed a fairy-like character, so free and easy. Qin Jingxiong, who was scared to pee, got up, and the person next to him quickly helped him, Are you okay, patriarch? Qin Jingxiong said with a grey face at this time, unexpectedly, my Qin family's hundreds of years of inheritance were destroyed in my hands. It is really a sin. Some people in Qin's family have hurriedly left the scene. They must rush to escape at this moment. If Su Qin comes back, they will lose their lives. At this time, Han Elder and others stood up. They were already sad at this time. Recalling the tremendous pressure they were under when the real Su Qin uttered that famous quote, the two of them instantly realized. There can be no mistake, it is the nascent soul power that can display such amazing magical powers. Even if they run out of lifespan, they may not be able to break through the gold core. People are really maddening than people. This east of central state can't stay, we have to hurry up. Half a day later, the real Su Chen was already a nascent soul power, and his aura, majesty, and famous words in Wutan city quickly spread throughout Zhongzhou. Chapter 7 the sky and the earth are vast, there is a sound of swords screaming across the sky, and a huge flying sword flies quickly. At this moment, Su Chen, who was flying with the sword, turned his head and glanced, Qin Chilian was a little uneasy on his face at this time. Real Su Chen, let me down here, Qin Chilian said. Okay. Su Chen drove the long sword to the ground. He thought Qin Chilian needed to make it easier. But after falling, seeing Qin Chilian thank Su Chen, he walked away step by step. Su Chen caught up with her and stopped her way and said, Apprentice, where are you going? Qin Chilian smiled bitterly, Zhongzhou is so vast, I think there should be a foothold for my side. Su Chen said in a puzzled manner, Trainer, Qiu Jingfeng will be your home from now on, why bother to go out and find a foothold? The real Su Chen Qin Chilian stopped talking at this moment. He he, let's go quickly. Su Chen said with a smile at this time. Wait, could it be said that you really want to accept me as a disciple? She suddenly realized that she might have guessed wrong. She blinked and said in a trembling voice, Real Su Chen, why do you want to accept me as a disciple who is a waste of spiritual roots? As soon as this statement came out, the system's voice sounded again, the plot is triggered, and the options are turned on. Su Chen jumped out of three options. I knew that your dog system made my heart immortal. What are these options? If Qin Chilian is done, isn't it returning to the main line of tragic death? After reading it, Su Chen chose three in seconds, although he was very keen on the reward of option one. Disciple, you must remember that being a teacher is the peak master of the Qin Tian sect. You are right to say that we don't collect waste, but in my eyes, you are not waste, but a rare piece of jade. Remember to be a teacher, I am born to be useful. Su Chen's sudden sentence directly brought Qin Chiu to the whole monk. Hearing that I was born with a talent must be useful, her Dantian felt a scorching sensation. The crippled fire's spiritual roots actually recovered in half. Such a change really made her ecstatic. She has been insulted all the year round and her personality has become very sensitive. If the real Su Chen was just saving her, she would think that it was a benevolent purpose and he was kind. But the words of Su Chen just now, I am born to be useful, and I can vaguely feel that there is a certain quality in my body that Su Chen needs. She raised her head and peeked at Su Chen. The handsome face and intoxicating temperament made Qin Chilian suddenly feel a tremor of heart. She thought in her heart, if real Su Chen is interested in own beauty, even if it is given to him, it doesn't seem to be a bad thing. Um. Where is the good lady Gao Ling? Why do you have to give it for nothing when you come up? Do you have anything else you want to ask? Su Chen said with a smile. Qin Chilian shook his head and said, not anymore for the time being. Then let's set off. Su Chen laughed. Under the lead of Yu Jianshu, 
the long sword was spread flat on the ground. In fact, Su Chen just discovered that this big disciple is very unaccustomed to flying with Yu Jin. Even with his old driver leading in front, his body can't stop shaking to the left. Su Chen once asked Qin Chilian to use his own hand as a steering wheel, but he still couldn't stabilize. No solution anymore. You hold on to my waist, so be stable. Ha! Huh. Qin Chilian blushed directly when he heard these words, but looking at Su Chen's smile, he stretched out his hand and slowly hugged his waist. Su Chen sat in front of On, her hands felt the warm breath of Su Chen's body, and her body trembled suddenly. Su Chen explained, it takes three days to fly to the immortal gate. You have never cultivated. I am afraid that it will be very uncomfortable to run such a long distance. You can sit down and sleep on my body for a while. Su Chen, who was full of game screens, was worried that Qin Chilian would misunderstand that she wanted to take advantage of her, so he offered to let her support herself. After all, there would be no chance to take the initiative. Perhaps Qin Chilian has experienced too many things today, and he leaned directly on Su Chen and fell asleep. Su Chen felt the breath of Qin Chilian at this time, and thought to himself, this big disciple is not very old, but his figure is very proud. Just relying on it like this gives people a strong sense of oppression. After flying for about a day, Su Chen turned around and found that Qin Chilian was asleep clutching the skirt of his clothes. Su Chen himself was in the foundation building period and was able to bigu. But Qin Chilian was still a mortal, and naturally felt hungry. I'm afraid that when this day comes down, I will endure hunger and dare not say anything, for fear of delaying the trip. Therefore, he decided to find a place to take a break and let Qin Chilian rest for one night. At this moment, he suddenly remembered that on the way back to Qintianzong, there was a small town called Qianyang Town that must pass by from above. In Qianyang town, there was Li Mayan, the second disciple he later acquired, the reincarnation of Heavenly Demon. In the original game plot, Su Chen had to rescue Li Mayan from a demon sect slaughter the village a few years later. In the plot, because of the inherent effect of the body of Heavenly Demon, Li Mayan looked very gloomy when he was immortal, and was regarded as an ominous symbol by the locals. Even several times, the local residents wanted to burn her alive, but fortunately, the body of Heavenly Demon protected her life many times. This second disciple is also the person who most pity the game player the most, no matter what environment she is in, she still faces life with a smile. Later, she thought that she had gone to the Great Sky School, and she finally ushered in the spring of her life, but she did not expect to meet Su Chen who was an abuser. In the end, after several ups and downs, Li Mayan found the method of heavenly demon cultivation in a desperate place, and awakened his own heavenly demon body, and the cultivation base was a thousand miles away. Later, under the influence of magic power, his temperament changed drastically, and he achieved the peerless reputation of a generation of devil emperors. Su Chen thinks about it at this time, let's take this opportunity to take her up the mountain, on the one hand. Don't let her suffer more from the mundane world, on the other hand, it is also conducive to creating an image of herself in her mind. Well, just do it. Su Chen glanced at Qin Chilian who was still sleeping, and then flew towards Qianyang town. Chapter, 8 Su Chen brought Qin Chilian to Qianyang town. Qin Chilian was already hungry at this time, but in order not to cause trouble to his master, he still kept a cold face along the way and did not dare to show any clues. It's a pity that Su Chen saw through them, so under Su Chen's proposal, the two came to a high-rise restaurant for dinner. On the one hand, it is because it is the best restaurant in the town, and on the other hand, because it has a good view of the whole town. The food in this restaurant is good. Su Chen ordered some, but Qin Chilian couldn't help it anymore and started to feast on it. Since she was judged to be a waste of spiritual roots, she. The food in the past is probably worse than that of the servants in the house, so she has not been exposed to meaty fish for many years. At this time, Su Chen also saw the unfair treatment Qin Chilian had received over the years. It's just that he has some questions. In such a difficult living environment, how she grew up to a height of seven meters and a proud figure is really strange. Just as the two were feasting, a voice sounded, Little Master. 
Su Chen turned his head and saw a handsome young man with a long sword walking towards him. He knew this person, and it was Chen Qing Lu, the big disciple of the head teacher. This person is a generation of Tianjiao, who was accepted by head teacher as a sect. This person is talented and cultivates assiduously. Now he has reached the pinnacle of foundation building. Only one step away, you can enter the gold core period. Knowing that it only took him 50 years to reach this level, he is one of the most outstanding people in the entire martial art. Qing Lu, it turned out to be you, did you come to this town to perform any tasks? Su Chen smiled at him and said that this person still gave him a good impression. After all, his big brother has a deep relationship with him, and he often sends him to own Xiu Jingfeng to send some magic treasures and resources. Chen Qing Lu said very modestly, Little master, I am on the order of my master to go to the Eastern Thousand Places Kingdom to find a kind of fairy grass. This small town has always been the only way to the east of Zhongzhou. So we have a transit point here. Today I am resting here for half a day. After tonight, I will go to thousand places. Su Chen nodded and said, It turns out that this is the case. I was ordered by my senior brother to go down the mountain to collect disciples. I also passed by here. After a short rest, I will return to sect. Come, let me introduce, this is the disciple I accepted this time called Qin Chilian. Qin Chilian stopped his chopsticks when he heard Master O's talking with a disciple in the door. Afterwards, he said to Qin Qing in a popular manner, Meet Brother Qin Lu. But in the process of her salute, her face remained as cold as ice. After all, in his heart, except for his master, who deserves a change of expression, everyone else in his mind is like grass. Qin Qing Lu didn't care about her face and expression, because among the cultivators, those with great talents had a rather weird temper. In his eyes, he can be accepted as the first disciple by his little uncle Su Chen. This person must have something to do with others. As a disciple in teaching, it is necessary to have a good relationship with Su Chen. After all, it is said that Su Chen is a strong candidate to run for head teacher in the future. Senior sister is polite, and I will return to the door in the future. If there are some things that can't be handled, you can come to the brother. If the brother can't solve it, you can find the younger brother. Chen Qingliu's words are quite in place. It can be said that he has put his posture extremely low, completely without the air of a big disciple under the head teacher's real seat. Qin Qilian also had a good impression of him, but he didn't show any rhetoric either. He just nodded slightly to indicate that he knew it. Then he sat down a little bit coldly and continued to eat. Su Chen didn't care about this either, because he knew that his disciple had experienced hardships that ordinary people had never experienced. At this time, it is impossible for her to open her heart and change her character. It can only be done step by step. Just as the two were talking, there was a noise from below the restaurant. Chen Qing Lu showed a helpless look on his face at this time. Su Chen looked at Chen Qing Lu with a puzzled expression. Chen Qing Lu is an exquisite person, knowing what the little master wants to ask, so he directly said, Little master, there is a strange thing in Qianyang town. Here is an ordinary girl who is born with something similar to a demon. The birthmark. Therefore, these residents regarded this girl as an evil evildoer, expelled and tortured every day, and even gathered at certain times and burned her to death. Hearing this, Su Chen immediately reacted and knew that this person should be the second disciple he was about to accept, Li Mayan. Then he asked Chen Qing Lu, then is this girl really a member of the demons? The demons are natural enemies for cultivation world. They are in another space and the living environment of that space is harsh. Therefore, they often tear the space to invade cultivation world and the cultivation world spiritual qi is weak. In many years of resistance and fighting, Cultivation world has wiped out most of the demons, and there has been no invasion of demons for many years. But because the demon race has caused great harm to the entire cultivation world in the world, once the demon race members appear, various sects, and even the common people will attack them in groups. This is not surprising, why the residents here treat a girl with magic patterns like this. Chen Qing Lu said angrily at this time, it's because this girl is not a demon, but a very kind mortal. 
Even though she was bullied in every possible way, she didn't feel harmful to others, and even helped some poor residents. Hearing this, Su Chen can basically confirm that this person is Li Mayan, the second disciple of Own to accept in the future. This distressed girl who was insulted in every possible way in the town, but who was always kind to others like a white lotus flower, was actually the reincarnation of the ancient heavenly demon, which is really ironic. In the original work, which heroine is the most popular is undoubtedly Li Mayan. Because he possessed the most extreme truth, goodness and beauty in him, even if he was later admitted to the great heaven sect, and master bullied herself in every possible way, she still did not have the thought of killing Su Chen. Until she awakened the body of the ancient heavenly demon in the secret realm, her temperament changed greatly due to the power and washing of the demon. But she always has goodness in her heart, so this person is also the most merciful to Su Chen among the five heroines, only cutting a knife at the protagonist to express own anger. At this moment, a shout came from below, the witch is parading. Su Chen's pupils flicked, and he led Chen Qinglu to look down. After that, his anger directly exploded. Chapter, 9 Su Chen and Chen Qinglu looked under the restaurant, and saw that more than a hundred residents were crowding a prison wagon. Standing in the prison car was a young girl tied up by the big five flowers. This girl has white hair and delicate features, and her face looks very delicate and lovely. If it is only this kind of face, it will definitely be pursued by some young talents. However, there was a black line on the left side of the girl's neck, which looked quite scary, and at the same time, her left eye showed a blood-red color different from ordinary people. There was an ominous breath in the scarlet eyes. Countless villagers kept throwing vegetable leaves and rotten eggs into the prison cart. This person is the second of the five heroines, Li Mayan, the reincarnation of Heavenly Demon. This Li Mayan pleaded bitterly in the face of more than a hundred villagers treated like this, except for panic but no hatred. Guys, I'm really not a demon, okay you let me go, you burned me to death last time, but the blood bursting out of my body hurt many people. For your safety, you also don't come near me. From these words, you can see Li Mayan's kindness. Although she was very frightened and burst into tears at this time, she didn't want to hurt others because of the sudden explosion of heavenly demon's power in her body. Why is such a kind person facing such a desperate situation? Su Chen looked down and almost burst out angry flames in his eyes. When he was reading this novel, he was very indignant. Why was she treated like this? Just because they are different from others, just because they are not accepted by the world, countless people will persecute her, and countless people will kill him. What kind of justice is this? At this time, the residents shouted at the prison car, You demons! It will definitely endanger us in the future, we must kill you. Devil to die! Your existence is a mistake in itself, so don't explain it anymore. You are the demon who harmed one party, but you still don't have the power to hurt us. After you have the power, the residents of our entire town will have no way out. Countless shouts of anger and humiliation echoed across the street, and Su Chen standing above said to Chin Qinglu, Qinglu, follow me to save people. Xiu Lian, stay here and continue to eat. After speaking, Su Chen flew down straight away. Yes. Uncle. Chen Qinglu jumped after Su Chen. Chen Qinglu himself is a man of integrity and righteousness. Of course, he was very angry when he saw the residents of this entire town who were not distinguished between right and wrong and bullied the weak. But because of the rules of the teacher, I can't interfere too much with things between mortals. Therefore, he can only watch from the sidelines, and now with the orders of his elders, he can finally take action to rescue Li Mayan. At this time, a person who seemed to be the leader of the town was speaking loudly to everyone. Last time we wanted to burn this demon girl to death, but we didn't expect that the demon girl had a strange spell on her own body, but it wounded dozens of our villagers. Today we directly punish her with a chaotic sword. As soon as the words fell, dozens of residents holding long knives came forward. Their eyes were filled with bloodthirsty breath, and at the same time they looked at Li Mayan with anger and licentiousness in their eyes. Under such circumstances, it seems that Li Mayan is really doomed today. At this moment, Li Mayan looked at the dozens of long knives, crying very sadly. 
I have lived in this small town for sixteen years, but I have never harmed anyone, and I have never had any hatred with anyone. Just because I am different from ordinary people, do you want to kill me? What is wrong with me? Those dozens of people turned a deaf ear to her cries, and then they even took their long swords in their hands and slowly approached Li Mayan. It seems that they have been determined to kill Li Mayan today. The leader was already only a few feet away from Li Mayan. The long knife in his hand was raised high, and he shouted, Devil, go to death. Then angrily cut off, Li Mayan's eyes showed a desperate breath and closed his eyes. At this time, she almost looked back at Own for more than ten years. She has never been wrong, but why should she face such bullying, why is she? Why? Thinking like this, intense emotional fluctuations appeared in her mind, and the heavenly demon body finally showed signs of recovery, and her body faintly glowed with black light. Just as it was about to die, a gust of wind set off and knocked the leader to the ground, and dozens of people around suffered a huge force of long swords in their hands and fell to the ground one after another. You're right, what's wrong is this world? A cold male voice sounded, and Li Mayan opened his eyes. I saw a young man in a moon-white robe standing in front of her. The young man's face was the most beautiful she had ever seen, and the whole body was filled with immortality, like a banished immortal who had fallen into the world. Seeing the young man smile, she felt a moment of peace of mind, and the black light on her body disappeared directly. She was a little frightened and said, You, are you here to save me? Naturally, this young man was Su Chen who jumped down from the restaurant. Su Chen waved his big hand and a few magic power emerged. The prison wagon caused by the wood shattered directly, as well as the shackles on his hands and feet. It's all shattered. Li Mayan's body was still scarred, without the strength to stand, he fell softly under his feet, but it was not the cold ground that greeted her, but a warm embrace. Su Chen held it in his arms with a big hand, and whispered to her, Okay, it's okay, no one can hurt you with me. When Li Mayan heard this, his eyes were hot. For so many years, no one has protected himself like this, and no one has treated him so well. She didn't know who this young man was at this time, but she was just talking about these words, she would rather break her bones for this person. The residents who had just been overturned to the ground all stood up one after another, glaring at Su Chen and Chen Qing Lu. The leader stood up, pointed to Su Chen and said, You are wearing Taoist robes. You must also be a decent member of Cultivation World. Why do you want to shelter such a demon? Su Chen looked at the awe-inspiring appearance of the leader, and then said to Chen Qing Lu, cut off his left hand pointing at me for me. Chen Qing Lu shrugged his shoulders, then reached out to his back, touched the hilt with his fingertips, and then sword ray flashed past. The left arm of the leader was chopped off, blood swayed, and the whole scene was extremely bloody for a while. Su Chen saw the girl in front of him, and a character suddenly sounded. He didn't want the second disciple of Own to have heart's demon in his heart. He was blindly kind and weak, but that didn't work. Thinking this way, Su Chen directly waved his hand, and a sword chi shot out, pierced into the man's thigh, and fixed it to the ground. Then he asked the person faintly, 1000 to 7, how much is it? Ah! Uh, what did you say? The man said in horror. Su Chen shook his hand again, another sword chi pierced the other leg again, and then asked again, I'll ask again, how much is 1000 to 7? Equal to, 993. The man said quickly. The answer is correct. Su Chen's sword chi burst out and cut off both of his legs, followed by his left hand. What's next? Then subtract 7. 986. Correct answer. Every time you ask how much 1000 to 7 is equal to, the person will lose a part of his body. After a while, the man lost too much blood and was dying. Li Mayan was shocked when she saw this scene. Before she could say anything, she made a very gentle voice, How? Can I lose a bit of anger? What she saw when she raised her head was the gentleness in Su Chen's eyes, like warm pool water, just like that sentence, it was the gentleness that bowed her head. Many years later, Li Mayan, who had become the lord of the demon world, recalled, 
at that moment, the master told me that blindly kindness is useless, and also told me how much 1000 to 7 is equal to. In the legends of later generations, every time after defeating a powerful enemy, the devil emperor Li Mayan would ask him how much 1000 to 7 equals, and then he will be a horrifying act of killing. Chapter, 10 Li Mayan looked at the young man in front of her. She tried hard to recall whether she knew such a man, but no matter how she recalled, this person had never been seen before. At this time, the surrounding residents surrounded them, looking quite agitated, and they wanted to gang fight them with a big disagreement. Before the tenth of a few breaths, Chen Qing Lu sent a signal exclusively for the Great Heaven sect. Several disciples who were stranded here gathered together and stood behind Chen Qing Lu. These people also included Qin Chilian. Although she was not yet a cultivator, she still stood firmly behind Su Chen. Chen Qing Lu was thin, holding a long sword in his hand, and said to everyone in a good voice, I have explained to you, this girl is an ordinary mortal, definitely not from the demon race, our disciple of the heavenly sect. You will not admit your mistakes. But at this time, the resident still refused to say anything, if it's not a demon, how do you explain the demon mark on her neck? Chen Qing Lu is still gentle and gentle at this time, everyone, peace is the most important thing. I have explained it many times. If you don't believe it anymore, our young master of the Great Sky School can testify. Chen Qing Lu has a very good temper, but the juniors behind him can't stand it anymore. They tugged at his sleeve and said angrily, Brother Qing Lu, don't be so polite with them. It's just a group of mortals. Let's fight out. Chen Qing Lu said indifferently, it's still important to consider harmony. The residents here seem to have anticipated the Great Sky School as the cultivation sect, and categorically did not dare to shoot at mortals at will. This is a taboo. So they were not afraid at all, and didn't plan to make peace at all. Seeing that they had been blocking them, they just picked up the guy and wanted to be able to do it when they saw it. Li Mayan, who was strictly guarded by the disciples of the Sky Bee and Su Chen, heard the noise and instinctively shook, pressing close to Su Chen's chest, seeming to be frightened. Chen Qing Lu looked at Li Mayan's reaction and drew his sword straight out, his face that had been gentle and gentle instantly sank. His blue shirt was suddenly blown by the wind, and his hand shook, sword ray flashed past, and the long knives in the hands of a group of residents on the opposite side suddenly broke, and the blade fell to the ground. Chen Qing Liu's expressions of humor and anger were gone. He was full of irritability and chewed the words harmony is precious. It's all fucking told you that this girl is not a demon. Not a demon. From which horn did you come from, haven't you even seen the strange birthmark? Are you full of dung and water in your mind and can't understand human words? It's a fucking knife. Can you afford to scare us in the future? Chen Qing Lu can see that Su Chen is very nervous about this girl, but there is no half-love in his eyes, but a kind of maintenance and pity. Therefore, he boldly guessed that the little uncle wanted to accept this girl as a disciple. So, on the one hand, because of his own sense of justice, on the other hand, because he wanted to please the little uncle, he just had the behavior just now. The Qing Lu disciple behind Chen Qing Lu has long been used to it, and is still shouting excitedly, Brother Qing Lu is mighty. The residents probably had never seen a cultivator who changed his face so quickly, and they were immediately scolded. The residents looked at Chen Qing Lu speechlessly, saying that peace is the most important thing. Do you King Tianzong keep saying that harmony is the most important thing? Chen Qing Lu was holding a long sword in his hand at this time, with a look of killing intent, and the disciples behind him were also urging magic power, and they had to do it when they saw it. At this time, a middle-aged man walked out of the crowd and pointed to Su Chen, and said, since you are disciples of the righteous and famous King Tianzong, why do you still help the demons? Is the King Tianzong a sect who is a helper? Old guy, are you going to die? Chen Qing Lu, as the head teacher's eldest disciple, definitely wouldn't let people insult Master Own in this way. Qing Lu, wait. Su Chen's voice came. Chen Qing Lu stopped the movement in his hands. When he turned his head, Su Chen led Li Mayan to the crowd. I am doing something in the Sky School, and it is not your turn to comment. Su Chen squinted at the old man. He clearly remembered that in the plot, the polite middle-aged man named Xiao Pu, 
who covetedly Mayan's beauty, but could not succeed because of his heavenly demon body, so he held a grudge in his heart. It was also the first time he spread the rumors that Li Mayan was a member of the demon race, inciting everyone to act. Ha! Huh. I don't believe that the disciples of the Great Sky School will kill my people. Are you not afraid of being rejected by all the decent sects? Zhao Pu said to everyone very provocatively at this time. Puff! With a sound, a sword ray flashed past Zhao Pu's hands and was cut off. For a while, blood was flowing, and the whole scene was like Shura Field. Your name is Zhao Pu, right? Do you really think no one can see through your intentions? Su Chen said with a cold face. Zhao Pu sat on the ground in pain, then looked at Su Chen with horror and said, No. You won't kill me. The Supreme Master's precept is that harmony is the most important thing. You can't kill mortals. It also seems that you know a lot about cultivation world, but I'm sorry, the rules you said don't apply to me. If it's sinful, you should be killed ten thousand times. Su Chen pointed to Li Mayan and said, What is the sin of this girl in front of me? You treat him like this, you know that you have put down the charge of almost killing innocent people. You know that Zhao Pu couldn't covet her beauty, so he instigated you. Zhao Pu intends to kill her. If she hadn't possessed certain spells and laws, she would have died tragically under your persecution. By then, each of you will be a murderer. Su Chen looked at the surrounding residents with cold eyes. These residents bowed their heads by such eyes, and did not dare to look directly at them. Mu Yen, you are highly qualified. Today, I plan to accept you as an apprentice. The first lesson of the introduction is for you to decide how to deal with these people. If you hate these people and plan to kill them, then I will do it right away. It doesn't take a moment or a half. There will be no survivors in this small town. As soon as Su Chen said this, the surrounding residents felt trembling, because they could obviously feel the murderous aura erupting from this cultivator, which had already enveloped them tightly. It was an aura close to death. Li Mayan was startled when he heard the words, and then looked at Su Chen. He knew from his eyes that Su Chen was serious. If he really intends to deal with them, then Su Chen will do it without hesitation. She has been compassionate since before, and he couldn't bear so many people died because of his hatred. So she glanced at the residents and said, forget it, let them go. After all, there are hundreds of lives. Su Chen said lightly, well, disciple, just follow you. At this time, he looked at the surrounding residents and said coldly to them, did you see? The people you tortured in every possible way have spared your lives at this time, and you should reflect on yourself. If you still don't know how to repent, then my disciple will personally take action next time and slaughter this small town. After speaking, Su Chen took a group of disciples Yu Jin into the air and left straight away, leaving a group of residents staring at each other. Chapter, 11 Su Chen returned to Great Sky School in the afternoon of the next day. When he stepped on the stairs to the sky in front of the mountain gate, a beautiful figure in a purple robe appeared in front of him. This majestic woman wears a purple gold hairpin on her head, and a luxurious purple robe highlights her noble temperament. There is a strong immortal spirit around her body, which is full of grace and luxury. This person is the peak master Shangguan Wanqing of Qingtianzong Tranquility Peak. This Shangguan Wanqing is Su Chen's elder sister, the youngest female disciple in Su Chen's generation, and the two started at the same time. In the original book, this person is also the type of the Lady of the Sky, with excellent cultivation qualifications. In less than 30 years, he has reached the gold core middle stage. This speed is also among the best in Zhongzhou. In fact, there is still a great holiday between Shangguan Wanqing and Su Chen, because ten years ago, Shangguan Wanqing, who was in love with Su Chen, once fell in love with Su Chen, and confessed in front of him, hoping to bond with him. Dao Companion Unexpectedly, Su Chen rejected him at the time, and he was fascinated by cultivation, but for the time being, he was not asking about the personal love of men and women as a reason. This made her suffer, and since then, she worked hard to practice, hoping to surpass Su Chen one day and step him under her feet. At this time, Shangguan Wanqing saw Su Chen walking into the mountain gate with two beautiful girls, her face immediately gloomy, 
and an extremely angry look appeared in her eyes. Su Chen, what a scumbag. Didn't you say that you don't consider the personal relationship between men and women? Today, I took two beautiful girls back to own Chiu Jingfeng and passed in front of me. You must be deliberate. Su Chen walked over with the shivering Li Mayan and the cold-faced Qin Lianxiu towards Shang Wan Wan Qing, so he stepped forward and said hello with a smile, Senior Sister Shang Wan. When Shang Wan Wan Qing saw Su Chen's smile, his heart became more and more angry, and he said with a cold face and cupped hands, Congratulations, Junior Brother, for breaking through to the nascent soul period. Su Chen listened to her as if she had eaten 800 kilograms of explosives, the smell of gunpowder was full, and she seemed to have a lot of anger. But when he heard that he had broken through the nascent soul period, he couldn't help but was taken aback. Ah. Sister, what did you say? The surrounding disciples also congratulated Su Chen again and again, that is to say, from these words, Su Chen learned that it was the people in Wudenqing who had spread it blindly. I can't stand it anymore. If you don't spread rumors, you will die. Shang Wan Wan Qing looked at Su Chen with a look of stunned expression at this time and said bitterly, Although I am still a lot short of the breakthrough gold core peak, one day I will ask you for advice. As soon as these words came out, Qin Lianxiu and Li Mayan both looked at their masters with expectant expressions. After all, someone was so provocative, and they didn't know how Master Own would respond. This, I am the pinnacle of the foundation building. Why do you guys keep staring at me and challenge me? I wonder if the people with Realm High and Realm Low are not called battles, but unilateral beatings. Su Chen tried to explain two sentences, but the system's voice rang again abruptly, in order to create an image in front of the disciples, the option is turned on. Um. It's not right. Where are the familiar rewards for not doing business properly? You make me very uncomfortable. System, you must have set a trap for me, right? Those familiar medical skills, cooking skills, and the like have disappeared. They are all serious rewards. How can I judge this? This dog system has a bug. At this time, the system suddenly set a reminder, only women and villains are difficult to raise. Seeing the explanation popped up by the system, Su Chen couldn't help but burst into tears, he understood. Creating evil. The prejudice in people's hearts is a big mountain. Why was he entangled by Shang Wan Wan Qing? It's all due to those cuties who spread rumors every day that he is the reincarnation of the immortal emperor. He swears that if he encounters a rumors, he must beat them into doubts about life. Su Chen chose option two and walked past Shang Wan Wan Qing. Su Chen walked past Shang Wan Wan Qing without saying a word, seeming to treat Shang Wan Wan Qing as non-existent. You ignored, she was ignored again. Shang Wan Wan Qing had mixed feelings in her mind. The most obvious of these is anger, uncontrollable anger. If there are not many sect disciples around, even if she knows she is out of enemy, she will go straight up to fight Su Chen. Shang Wan Wan Qing stared blankly at Su Chen's back. The blue veins on her white fist hidden under her long sleeves are exposed, and there seems to be an extremely strong magic power on her body that is constantly surging. Seeing that the situation was not good, the surrounding disciples immediately hid. At this moment, a figure came to Shang Wan Wan Qing's side and said to him, Junior sister, why are you doing this? Shang Wan Wan Qing turned around and saw that the visitor was actually head teacher Lin Qing Yuan, and he respectfully bowed and said, See you, brother head teacher. Well, you don't need to be polite, but junior sister, you don't have to treat junior Su Chen like this. As a senior brother, Lin Qing Yuan is the oldest. It can be said that he grew up watching all the seniors, and they knew nothing more about the matter of the two of them. Shang Wan Wan Qing rarely showed the attitude of a small woman in front of the big brother, and said angrily, Brother. This is Su Chen's fault. After telling me not to talk about the personal relationship between the children, he brought two little beauties back. This is clear. It's to despise me and wait, I'm never finished with him. After finishing speaking, her figure flashed, and she disappeared in place. Lin Qing Yuan also looked helpless at this time. These two people are a pair of enemies, and there is no good way to adjust. Chapter, 12 Su Chen took the two back to Onchujing Peak, 
which is a very clean place in King Tianzong. Not only is Su Chen sparsely populated because he has not yet accepted his followers, but also because there is a long distance from the mountain gate. Therefore, if there is nothing important, no one will come here deliberately. After all, Su Chen was such a lonely and strange-hearted person before. There is a small courtyard on the Chiujing Peak. It is Su Chen's residence. He came to the door and said to the two women, disciples, this will be your home in the future. You can choose a room to live in by yourself. The two daughters are both people who have experienced human suffering. For such a place like a fairyland, they couldn't help feeling a while, and looked at Su Chen tremblingly. Li Mayan said nervously to Su Chen, Master, we can just build a thatched hut on the side, and we can't pollute Master's yard. Qin Chulian also nodded in agreement. Su Chen turned around at this moment, stretched out his hands, and gently patted the two heads and said, What nonsense, you two are my disciples, there is no reason for you to live in thatched cottages. My home is your home. Come in. After speaking, they took the hands of the two and walked into the yard like a fairyland. Both of them felt warm at the same time, and then both blushed and followed Su Chen and walked in. Under Su Chen's arrangement, the two of them were living in their respective rooms, because both of them were unparalleled cultivation wizards. And at the same time, their qualifications were too terrifying, and it was really impossible to carry out some conventional cultivation teachings. Must be taught separately. As a result, he arranged the two in a room in both east and west directions so that he could conduct strategies one by one and check his favorability. It was night, the three of them were eating together. The food was cooked by Su Chen. Now he has gained some cooking skills. The two girls couldn't help but move their index fingers when looking at a table of delicious dishes. In addition, they were hungry before. Become a gluttonous. Su Chen smiled and looked at the two people who were devouring them, and couldn't help feeling satisfied. No matter what, these two disciples agreed with him, and he had to work harder. After finishing the meal, Su Chen took the two to the small courtyard. After the three of them sat down, he said to the two of them, Hee hee, since you two have become my disciples, then I will start teaching you started to practice. They both looked at him with extremely expectant eyes when they heard this. They were all mortals, and they were very much looking forward to the cultivation immortal ascension. Both of them asked in unison, Master, then what are we going to do in the first step? Su Chen was about to speak about his own training plan. At this time, the voice of the system sounded, be the first lesson for others, the option is open. Damn it! Dog system! You made my heart still immortal. Is this a human option? Are you poisonous? The first option is selected, I just wait for Ling Qi to forget it. Instead of doing this, I just wipe my neck. As for the second option, it's not much better. It's directly social death. Don't be a master yourself. Judging from past experience, this third option seems to be safe, but this sentence is not appropriate to say. However, this dog system will not give me the opportunity to give up the option. Forget it, I can only choose the third one. Well, the first step, students, take off your clothes. Su Chen said lightly. Ha. Huh. Qin Chilian was shocked immediately, looking at Su Chen with an incredulous expression, his thoughts were very confused, could it? Is it because Master is going to accept my beauty so soon? Me, what will I do later? Refuse? Wrong. Can't refuse. While Qin Chilian was still thinking about it, Li Mayan took off his own linen jacket without any hesitation, revealing his arms like white onions, but there were many scars on the arms. He really didn't expect Li Mayan to even ask what his purpose was, and immediately began to take off his clothes. When he felt amused, it was even more distressed. The look in Li Mayan's eyes was filled with anxiety, because she was afraid of making Su Chen unhappy, and thus lost this hard-earned shelter. At the same time, in her eyes, Su Chen is the most important benefactor for her, even if it is for him to die, it is nothing, and it is nothing to give oneself. After that, she was going to take off the remaining pieces. Su Chen was immediately silly. Dang even held her hand and said, Apprentice, let master look at your scars. 
At this time, Li Mian suddenly realized that after hearing this, it turned out that the master did not want to have any strange thoughts about them, but wanted to see their previous injuries. Qin Chulian on the side also blushed immediately. He had the strange thoughts in his head just now. It turns out that master is caring about us. So he hurriedly took off his own jacket, showing his arms there are relatively few scars on her body, except for a scar on her left arm, nothing else. Su Chen looked at the bruises and scars on their hands and frowned slightly and asked, Are there other injuries on you too? Qin Chulian shook his head and said, Except for the scar on my hand, nothing else. Li Mayan said timidly, I have some bruises and old injuries on my back and shoulders. Master, do these old injuries affect my cultivation? Su Chen shook his head and said, He he, nothing, disciple, come here. He pulled Li Mayan past, a green fairy lingering in his hand, filled with a breath of life. Now that the medical skills have reached the full level, he can use his own magic power to heal the two of them with confidence. He put his hands on Li Mayan's arms and back. The bruises and scars on the arm and back disappeared slowly visible to the naked eye, but after ten breaths, the injuries on his arm were restored. Li Mayan was overjoyed seeing Ohn's scar disappearing so quickly. After all, she was a girl and cared about Ohn's appearance. She was about to cheer, but Su Chen said, Wait a minute, I haven't fully recovered yet, Xiao Lian, come here too. While treating the two of them, Su Chen had enlightenment. It turned out that the system rewarded himself with medical skills to improve his favorability. Such an arrangement was too coincidental. Finally. Finally. Su Chen finally figured out the system's routines. At this moment, he wants to roar to the sky. Chapter, 13. After half an hour of treatment, all the scars and internal injuries on the two of them have been treated. Both are very happy. At the same time, looking at Su Chen's eyes are more grateful and moved. Thank you master, thank you master. The two said excitedly, as if they had received a new life at the moment. Su Chen looked at the two people in front of him at this time, nodded very satisfied, and then said to them, Sit down, I have important things to tell you about cultivation. The two sat down obediently and looked at Su Chen seriously. Does the two of you think it's weird? Why did I accept you as disciples? Su Chen said with a smile. Both of them nodded together, saying that they wanted to know, after all, in the eyes of both of them, they were pure mortals. He he, I, Su Chen, accepting disciples is not random. In fact, both of you are the best choice for cultivation aptitude. First of all, Zhou Yan, your spiritual roots is not a waste spiritual roots, but a rare one in 10,000 years. It is more advanced than the best fire spiritual roots. I don't know how much higher it is. Su Chen pointed to Chilian. Said. Master. I have Chilian spiritual roots. Are you making me happy? Qin Chilian looked at Su Chen incredulously at this time. He he, did you lie to you? You will know later. Su Chen looked at Li Mayan at this time and said, Mayan, you are not a member of the demon race but your roots are the body of the ancient heavenly demon, the roots that countless demons dream of. It's not difficult for the eternal demon lord. Li Mayan's eyes lit up, he was originally the body of heavenly demon, no wonder there were all sorts of strange things on own before, but this bone seemed to be very powerful. Master. I must cultivate well and protect master in the future. Li Mayan said immature words, which moved Su Chen's heart for a while. This girl is too kind. Well, you have this heart, and I am very happy to be a teacher. After Su Chen finished speaking, the smile on his face was constricted. I'm telling you this is not to make you proud, but to tell you that you don't need to be inferior, but you must also cultivate well and never waste your own qualifications, you know? Yes. Master, we must cultivate well. Both of them replied earnestly. Well, because you have different roots and bones, I can't use the same method for you. I need to teach you separately. Therefore, tonight, Chulian will come first. Su Chen said to Chulian. Li Mayan on the side didn't feel dissatisfied, but smiled and said, Hee hee, master, I'll clean up the dishes. You can take the senior sister to cultivate first. 
I will go back to my room to sleep later. Su Chen touched her hair and said, He he, okay, Mu Yan is really good, and Master will come and take you to cultivation tomorrow. This little girl is so sensible, it makes people feel distressed. Well, Chiu Yan, let's go to the back mountain. Su Chen took Qin Chiu Yan to the back mountain in the small courtyard. The evening breeze blew over the bluestone, and it was a bit scorching hot. Su Chen scrutinized the Chilian flame calling grass that had just been taken out of the system's temporary storage space. This is a fiery red grass, and the blade of grass looks like a burning flame. In this cold night, it exudes a hot breath. The description of the props displayed by the system is as follows. At this time, Chiu Lian looked at the Chilian calling flame grass and said, Master, what kind of grass is this? Why is it like a flame? Su Chen smiled and took out an egg from his own storage bag and put it on it. After a while, the egg was cooked very quickly. Obviously, what kind of heat there is on the grass? Su Chen looked at Qin Chilian with a serious face and said, This is called Chilian summoning flame grass. It uses extremely strong fire spirit power to motivate your Chilian spiritual roots and stimulate the awakening of spiritual roots. Once your awakening is successful, you will directly become a cultivator, and you will have the excellent qualifications of Chilian spiritual roots. After listening to this, Qin Chilian's eyes lighted up. This is the legendary fairy grass. If you eat it, you can become a cultivator. Such good things are really a godsend. Su Chen handed it to her and said, After eating, your body will feel hot and painful, so please bear it. Yes. Master. Qin Chilian actually didn't care about it. After so many years of hardship, what is a little pain? Under the guidance of spirit power, Chilian's summoning flame grass floated in front of Qin Chilian's mouth. Qin Chilian stretched out his hand and rolled it into a square, and then brought it to his mouth. She clicked her mouth and felt a bit hot, and it tasted a bit like ordinary chili. Why don't you feel it? Master, did you lie to me? Qin Chilian said to Su Chen at this time. Su Chen also felt strange for a while. What about the high fever? What about stimulating the body? Could it be that the system gave itself fakes? Dog system. Do you want to be so pitted? This is also the reward of the task. Just when Su Chen was about to breathe fragrance into the system, Qin Chilian's body changed. Um. At this moment, she only felt that there were thousands of insects and ants in her body gnawing every part of her body. Although a little uncomfortable, this kind of pain is really a piece of cake for her. But at this time, such a picture suddenly appeared in her mind. She stepped on her master Su Chen, and her eyes showed a red light like a beast. And many more. Qin Chilian realized that something was wrong with him. Her body became very hot, so hot that she could directly use it for cooking. But what was even more frightening was that a flame burst out from the deepest part of the body, and the turbulent wave came so fast and violently that it almost completely covered her consciousness. Hey! A strange voice popped from the girl's pale lips. Su Chen on the side finally felt something was wrong at this time. At this time, Qin Chilian looked at him, with a look in his eyes as if a wild beast was staring at its prey. What? Does this Qi Lian Yan summoning grass have the effect of stimulating the fire? At this moment, Qin Chilian was still staring at him, and it seemed that he was going to have trouble with him. Master! Qin Chilian flushed at this time and made a very charming voice. At this time, Su Chen directly scolded the system, the dog system. Do you use this to test cadres? Chapter, 14 Su Chen looked at Qin Chilian with a red face, and immediately said, Apprentice, you have to be calm, be calm. Qin Chilian shouted at this moment, I can't calm down. Then he rushed over. Su Chen did not dare to leave Yu Jin directly at this time, fearing that she would have an accident, but ran directly in the opposite direction, hoping to use this to consume her medicine power, after all, she does not know any spells now. In this way, Su Chen ran in front, and Qin Chilian kept chasing behind. At this time, Su Chen once again presented several options. Um. In the dog system, you don't play cards according to common sense. 
This time you will be rewarded with a special effect. What do you want to do? Don't I know that I will be fined for driving? At this time I dared to drive, and I would definitely not be able to escape by Ling Chi in the future. Sure enough, I could only choose not to move like a mountain, so he decisively chose the third option. As soon as the system's voice fell, Su Chen Deng Yen stopped. At this time, Qin Chiu Yen behind him had lost half of his sanity, and Deng Yen was about to embrace it. At this moment, an exclamation sounded, Ah! What are you doing? A figure came to Su Chen's face and stretched out his hand to directly restrain Qin Chiu. The person who came was Shang Wan Wan Qin. She had originally returned to her own house, but she couldn't get rid of the anger in her heart. So she went directly to the Chiujing Peak and planned to face Su Chen directly. But when she came to Chiu Jing Feng, she found that there was only Li Mayan in Su Chen's house, but she did not leave, but searched around. She did not expect to encounter such a scene directly. Su Chen ran ahead, and his disciple was flushing towards him, so she directly stopped Chiu Yin. Su Chen, what is going on? Why is your disciple hot like a flame? Shang Wan Wanqing's perception is extremely sensitive, and his travels over the years have made him extremely knowledgeable. This Li Chiulian's performance is clearly a manifestation of taking some medicines from the Albizia sect. Su Chen was about to answer, and the voice of the system sounded again, the process of master's teaching is not allowed to be questioned. Now turn on the option. System Pete. Choose the first option, Shang Wan Wanqing is a cultivator of the gold core period. I'll be gone with just one palm. You can't wait for me to be cut by thousands of swords, and plan to kill me in advance, right? And what is it to let me go? I dare to let me go. She can fly me to the sky with one palm, and then it will really let me go. But the third option is also problematic. This sentence is too misunderstood. What if she misunderstands that she is a beast against her apprentice? Su Chen struggled for a few seconds, and finally, the two evils are the lesser ones. Forget it, I'll choose three, at least I won't die. Su Chen said coldly at this time, Senior sister, this is how I teach my disciples, don't I need to explain it to you? Hearing these words, Shang Wan Wan Qing went straight away, and said to him, You beast! This is your disciple! You can do it too. Su Chen closed his mouth, knowing that if this continues, it will only get darker and darker. Shang Wan Wan Qing was already mad at this time, and immediately waved a big hand, a magic power released, directly stunned Qin Chiu Yan, and then placed it on the ground. Su Chen regretted it after watching it. Why didn't he expect to knock him out? Shang Wan Wan Qing looked at Su Chen at this time as if looking at a beast, so he said directly to him, Su Chen. I will tell senior teacher head teacher about the matter today, so you can do it yourself. He he, if you have evidence, go and sue. Su Chen said indifferently. Let's wait and see. After speaking, she flashed and disappeared in place. Su Chen looked at Qin Chiu Yan lying on the ground and couldn't help showing a wry smile. At this time, she couldn't move her. It was when the medicine was evaporating, she couldn't be disturbed by people. So, Su Chen immediately sat in the lotus position in front of him, took out a blanket from his own storage bag and covered him, then opened a barrier, and stayed by Qin Chiu Yan all night. At this time, in a tree not far away, Shang Wan Wan Qing had not left before, hiding her breath, and staring at Su Chen. Holding a record jade slip in her hand, she said bitterly, I'm guarding you. I don't believe I can't catch evidence that exposes your bestiality. Chapter, 15 In the middle of the night, on the back mountain of Chujing Peak, Qin Chiu Yan was still lying on the ground, but his body continued to emit terrifying fire, as if he was about to burn everything around. Su Chen built a barrier at this time to prevent the fire from spreading and attracting others. But there is no way to hide it from Shang Wan Wan Qing who is nearby. Shang Wan Wan Qing has been crouching on a nearby tree, holding a record jade slip in her hand, hoping to expose Su Chen's true face. However, after a while, Su Chen seemed to be just protecting the FA for his own disciples, and did not do anything else. I don't believe it. You hypocrite, you will definitely show your feet. Wan Qing on the official website still didn't believe it, 
and directly squatted on the spot. The night passed, Qin Chulian finally absorbed the medicinal power from her body. It was already dawn, and she slowly woke up and opened her eyes, only feeling that she was soaked with sweat all over her body. But at this time, she felt that Own had endless strength all over her body, and her whole person was as hot as a flame. She sat up hard, looked down at herself, and screamed, Ah! At this time, her clothes were very messy. Although she did not take it off, it was also very indecent at this time. She didn't know why she was like this. Disciple, are you awake? How are you feeling now? A gentle voice rang out, and she raised her head to see Su Chen squatting down and the beautiful face was less than three inches away from her. Puff! Qin Chilian blushed immediately, and his whole body became hotter like a cooked crab. That, master, I don't have much else except feeling energetic and a little hot. Qin Chilian's voice is very low. If Su Chen is not very close, I'm afraid I can't hear it. Well, the medicinal power of this red flame summoning herb has been almost absorbed by you. You feel energetic now, and it's also because you have entered the first door of cultivation, the Qi training period. Su Chen glanced at Qin Chilian's body. At this moment, the role of Chilian's spiritual roots finally came into play. Although Qin Chilian's realm is only the early stage of Qi training period, the strong magic power aura in his body has already reached the training stage. The degree of gas middle stage. Really? Master, have I really become a cultivator? How can it be like a dream? Qin Chilian asked expectantly. At this time, the system's voice sounded, as a master, encouragement for disciples is necessary. Now turn on the option. Su Chen rolled his eyes after reading the options. What are these things? The system's ability to make colors is getting stronger and stronger. Are you asking me to drive invisibly? Forget it, you are the system and you are awesome, can't I choose the third one? So, Su Chen stretched out his hand, and Shang Wan Wan Qin on the side came to his senses. Are you finally going to make a move? You hypocrite, I must keep the evidence. Just as Shang Wan Wan Qin took out the record jade slip and was about to directly grab the current one, Su Chen stroked Qin Chilian's head and said with a smile, Teacher, this is just the first step. You must continue to work hard in the future. Be proud of being a teacher. Shang Wan Wan Qin was stunned immediately. No, you should not behave against her at this time. Why do you look like a good master? Hearing this encouragement, Qin Chilian suddenly felt a sore nose. He had been bullied by his family for several years. No one had been so kind to him or had such a huge expectation of him. At this moment, Su Chen, who was originally the light of her hope, became the sun in her heart, the source of all gentleness and happiness. At this moment, she made up her mind. Master, don't worry. One day, the entire cultivation world will be moved for me, and I will be amazed because I am your disciple. One day, I am willing to crush the ages for master. This sentence is not only for Su Chen, but also a vow she made. Su Chen smiled, of course I believe you, but you are the eternal female emperor who finally unified cultivation world in the original, sitting on thousands of miles of rivers and mountains and countless romantic young men. Well, let's go, let's go home. Su Chen walked back slowly with Qin Chilian, while Sheng Wan Wan Qin, who was not far away, said bitterly, I don't believe it, I don't believe you are a gentleman, you there will always be a fox tail. The two returned to the small courtyard. Li Mayan was already cleaning the fallen leaves with a broom in the small courtyard early. On the stone table were bowls of porridge and a few plates of small dishes, still steaming on top. When she saw the two returning, she greeted them with a smile and said, Master, sister, you are back, it just happens that the porridge is still not cold, let's use some. Looking at the two clever disciples, Su Chen smiled and said to him, Mu Yen, you don't have to be like this. Between the master and the disciple, we don't have to be so alien. It may be that the previous experience was too painful, so Li Mayan was very sensible and didn't want Su Chen to dislike his own mind. Su Chen can also understand it, so he can only sigh, and then said to her, Your senior sister has entered the Qi training period last night and has officially become a cultivator. Congratulations, senior sister. 
Li Mayan said to Qin Chilian very happily, with a hint of envy in his eyes. Qin Chilian is usually cold and frosty in front of outsiders, but in front of her master and sister, she changed her appearance. At this time, she patted her chest and said, Sister, there will be someone bullying you in the future. Senior sister will help you out. Okay, eat, how can you protect your junior sister in the early stage? Su Chen patted her on the head with care. The three people came to the table to have breakfast, and then Su Chen said to Li Mayan, Mayan, your senior sister has already started, so in the afternoon, let me go out for cultivation. Hearing these words, Li Mayan said very happily, Yes, master, I will definitely follow you to cultivate. At this time, Shang Wan Wan Qing, who was hiding his breath outside the small courtyard, couldn't help but shine upon hearing these words. She remembered Li Mayan, a little girl I saw with pity. From her point of view, men treat this type of sex. Girls are the least resistant. So she decided, and this time she should follow up and find out. Chapter, 16 Su Chen took Li Mayan out of Chiu Jingfeng and walked towards Qing Tian sect leader peak. It's not that Chiu Jingfeng doesn't have good cultivation resources, but Su Chen knows that Heavenly Demon must have a body according to the system's prompts. Unique Way of Awakening and this way of awakening requires a certain amount of external environmental intervention, and it just so happens that the environment that meets this requirement is behind the main peak of the Supreme Sect. He had already asked head teacher Lin Qing Yuan for instructions last night and got approval. Qing Tian Sect Leader Peak is the core area of sect. Both the disciple and the elder must walk into the mountain gate, otherwise it will be disrespectful. Su Chen is no exception, so he took Li Mayan slowly up the steps of the mountain gate. There are many disciples here, all of them are the disciples of Su Chen's senior sister and senior brother. Li Mayan was a little nervous at this time, because her current image is too eye-catching. As one of the five sects, the disciples' knowledge and vision are naturally not comparable to ordinary sect disciples. Since Qin Chilian and Li Mayan entered the mountain gate, Someone has seen through their roots, among which Chilian spiritual roots belong to upgraded spiritual roots. Although it is very rare and precious, it is also within the range of disciples' acceptance. But there was an elder who saw that Li Mayan's roots were actually heavenly demon's body, and he spread the news, and there was a problem. Therefore, when Li Mayan appeared on the main peak at this time, everyone focused on her. The last person who had the body of heavenly demon was the venerable blood coat of the demons 3000 years ago, only one step away from the Mahayana period. But if the body of heavenly demon is used for cultivating the Tao, then there is no aptitude at all. It is estimated that Uncle Su Chen accepted him, probably to eliminate the possibility of another terrible demon cultivator and lead her to the right path. How can Uncle Master choose him? How can this kind of person worship Uncle Su Chen's door? She is not worthy at all. The voice of the people around was getting louder and louder, and Li Mayan's face became paler and paler. She seemed to have returned to the scene where she was pointed at by Qian Fu in Qianyang town. At this time, a disciple walked up and pointed to Li Mayan and said to Su Chen, Uncle Su Chen, I am Zhao Qianhua, disciple of inner sect. I have something to ask. I wonder if I can tell. Su Chen stood still and said coldly, you can ask. This Zhao Qianhua once wanted to join On's family, but was rejected by herself. In the end, she only became an inner sect disciple, not the true disciple of the peak master, so he has always been worried about Su Chen for not accepting him. Today, seeing such a person with heavenly demon's roots being accepted by Su Chen, the fire of anger ignited directly for a while, and even questioned Su Chen. Uncle Master did not accept me before, but now he chooses such a dregs. My disciples have no way to accept it. The reason I came to the Great Sky School is because of your true biography. The reputation of Master Uncle should not be tainted on this kind of person. I should just let her go. At this time, the system's voice sounded again, as a master, you must never make people despise your disciple. Now let's choose. Um. Just one option. You have no choice for me. System, do you spoil my second disciple like that? It is actually such a cultivation technique that suits her. 
It seems that this little angel likely Mayan can't help but spoil the system. However, I like this option. Zhao Qianhua's go to death. These two words failed to export. The disciples of the mountain gate were silent again, extremely silent, and the needle drop could be heard. A snow-white ice sword appeared in the air, and the biting blade of the blade pressed against Zhao Qianhua's eyeballs, and the extreme coldness froze all his eyelashes. The murderous intent of the peak master of Chiu Jingfeng, even if only for a moment, made people tremble and fearful. The person chosen by this seat does not need to be judged by others. Su Chen raised his hand and took the ice sword in mid-air into the void. His voice was like sword ray, short and cold. When the long sword disappeared, the temperature of the entire mountain gate returned to normal, and Zhao Qianhua was already weakened and sat on the ground. The feeling of life hanging by a thread is not something that a disciple who has not experienced true fighting during the Qi refining period can bear. At this time, his Tao heart has been damaged, and the road to cultivation has been declared over. And Su Qin didn't look at him more, just turned around and stretched out his hand to Li Mayan, come on, don't care about them, let's go. Complete the task, reward the Evocation Sutra. The blood-red eyes met him for a while, and then finally defeated the fear. Li Mayan held Su Chen's hand in full view. Su Chen's palm was covered with another person's fingers, carrying the temperature of others that he rarely touched. Su Chen looked at the bloody eyes that showed the body of Heavenly Demon, his eyes were deep and cold, and his voice was very weak, but it sounded smoothly. Li Mayan said, I listen to you, Master. This scene was watched by Sheng Wan Wan Qin. She didn't expect that Su Chen was such a short sighted master. Just from his eyes, it could be seen that they were clear eyes without any desire. She stopped because she knew that she had misunderstood Su Chen. The two left the mountain gate hand in hand and came to the back of the main peak, which was a cliff. At this time, the wind and thunder were violent, and the torrential rain poured over the cliffs. Su Chen stood quietly on the edge of the cliff, as if the snow-white clothes were not stained with dust, and there was no raindrops on his body. He stared at the cascading dark clouds in the distance of Fenyu Qianbian Cliff for a while. Li Mayan looked at the thunder surging ahead and couldn't help but said, Master, is this the place where I want to cultivate? Su Chen flipped through his hand at this time, and a quaint book appeared in his hand. Then he pointed to the front and said, This is the place where the sword repairs within the gate of the wind and rain thousand blade cliff is sharpened. Even when the foundation building period or even the gold core cultivator comes, they will often die. Hearing these words, Li Mayan showed a look of fear in her eyes, but she always controlled her body not to tremble, because she knew that Su Chen would not harm her. Don't ask, what do I do to bring you to the dangerous place? Don't you be afraid that I will throw you in? Su Chen asked lightly. Li Mayan gave Su Chen a smile and said, Hee hee, Master naturally has his own arrangement, but I can be sure that Master will definitely not harm me. Su Chen looked at this sensible disciple and said, Hee hee, except for Master, don't trust other people like this, you know. Listening to Li Mayan's psychology, this sentence is tantamount to an ambiguous sentence. Master, is this saying, does he want to occupy a special place in my heart? Su Chen didn't know her thoughts, and then said, This is a dangerous place. If you are not careful, you may die directly. But you are the body of Heavenly Demon. The body of Heavenly Demon can only be awakened and reach the highest realm after thousands of hard work. Therefore, the teacher regards this as your cultivation site. I have already applied to senior teacher head teacher. Su Chen said with a smile. Well, the disciple knows. Li Mayan looked at Su Chen at this time and said in a low voice, Master, before starting cultivation, can I ask a question? Chapter, 17 Su Chen didn't expect that she would take the initiative to ask questions. Soon he handed the magical sutra to her and said, This is the cultivation technique suitable for your heavenly demon body. Remember to cultivate it. Well, just ask what you want. Li Mayan's left eye released a bleeding red light, as if he had made some determination, and then said, Master, why do you accept me as a heavenly demon body? Li Mayan seemed to have used a lot of courage to ask this question just now, and now he is a little uneasy after speaking. 
This is Su Chen thinking that he should ask On on the day he met in Qianyang town, but after being so late, Li Mayan seemed to have determined a safer and more secure situation, and only now slowly removed his vigilance. At this time, his heart was a little moved, and it was really good to feel completely trusted. Ding! The interaction between the master and the apprentice is detected, now turn on the option. Damn it! Do you dare to look at the atmosphere of the system? Now that the atmosphere has just warmed up, you can directly come up with an option, is it sick? The first one you wish I was cut by a thousand swords, right? Second, you are afraid that I will not die fast enough, right? Dog system. Daddy remembers you. Daddy choose three. Su Chen reached out and touched his apprentice's hair like all the teachers in his mind. Li Mian's body stiffened, master. Su Chen gave a um and replied sincerely and frankly, because you have outstanding qualifications. Li Mian was silent for a moment, and then asked, Heavenly demon body is really excellent. Su Chen smiled and said, What about the foundation of Heavenly Demon's body? I feel very good for the teacher. The wind and rain on the horizon have softened, and after four hours, the weather will become bad again, until the next person rushes through the wind and rain Chimbian cliff. At this moment, the sky and the earth are wide, and the sunlight between the stratus clouds spreads past, projecting on his snow white sleeves. Li Mayan stared at the hem of the Taoist robe and smiled silently. She had never thought that I think the body of Heavenly Demon is very good would come out of Xianmen Jingdao's mouth. Su Chen didn't notice the obscure part of the other person's sight, but patted her on the shoulder and whispered, The apprentice in this seat must be the true pride of heaven. The magic power in his hand slowly penetrated, and the words fell softly and gently. Disciple, remember one sentence, I can't help it. Su Chen looked at Li Mayan. At this time, she only felt that Su Chen looked at her with a light full of hope and concern. At this moment, she was sure that this man who walked into her life and took her out of the darkness had become her biggest dream in her life, and also her goal in this life. Li Mian's face was solemn, as if he had made some decision, and then said to Su Chen, Master, I beg you for two things. Oh. You said. Seeing Li Mian's expression like this, he remembered the decisive female devil emperor in the ending. He thought he would not be awakened today, right? The first thing is, whether master can make a mask for me, the material is not important, I just hope it can be more ferocious. Only one of heavenly demon's eyes and mouth and nose are revealed, and everything else is covered, including my neck. Li Mayan's request is a bit strange. Well, this is not difficult, I promise you for the teacher. Even though it felt a little strange, Su Chen agreed. There is really a mask like this in his memory. That was the style worn by the Tokyo Fudi actor that he had seen in his previous life, and it fits Li Mayan now. It seems that Li Mayan wants to completely appear in front of everyone in the image of Heavenly Demon, and use his own efforts to prove that Su Chen's vision is correct. Even if it is the body of Heavenly Demon, it can reach the peak that millions of people have watched. The second thing, Master, I entered that wind and rain thousand blade cliff cultivation, if I didn't come out by myself, Master would not come in and save me. Li Mayan said decisively. Hearing these words, Su Chen imagined that Li Mayan, who was very timid before, would actually say such harsh words, although she is the body of heavenly demon, it is not easy to be killed. But you know, that is dangerous, even if it is a gold core master, if one is not careful, it will fall into it. This is tantamount to the act of retreat, even the average nascent soul might not dare to be so cruel to himself, Li Mayan actually be so cruel to himself. He wanted to refuse, but seeing the trace of determination in her eyes, he knew that he couldn't stop her, so he said, okay, I promise you for the teacher, but you have to be measured, you know. If you die, you will be very sad as a teacher, and you may cry. Su Chen said solemnly. Li Mayan said with a smile at this time, and then said, Master, don't worry, I can't bear Master crying for me, I will definitely not die. Hee hee, my life and death are not important, but I can't bear to make you cry. Li Mayan made a decision in his heart, that he must follow in the footsteps of the Master, spend countless years with him, watch the beauty of this world together, and sit on the whole world. 
From this day on, wind and rain Qianblade Cliff ushered in a girl who wears a black mask every day. Under the cover of that mask, the girl only showed scarlet eyes and mouth and nose. But her delicate face can be faintly recognized. Every day, she has to hold a black long sword, break into that wind and rain thousand-edged cliff, and continue to rush through countless thunder and wind and frost swords. From only being able to hold on for a quarter of an hour, to being able to hold on for one hour, two hours, until the whole day, you can continue to rush in it. It's just that the setting of this wind and rain thousand blade cliff is strong when it is strong. Therefore, every time Li Mayan came out, he was scarred. But its cultivation base is rising like a rocket. From the beginning of Qi training, it took less than two years to reach the peak of Qi training. Such a huge change made the people of Qingtianzong amazed. It's just that, every time a girl breaks out with scars, Su Chen will wait where she is, just like picking up her own child from school on time. Every time Su Chen picked up the bruised body with a distressed look in his eyes, then he brought it back to Chiu Jingfeng. That look is the greatest gift for Li Mayan. This cyclical process lasted for five years. Chapter 18 There are no years for cultivation, five years have passed in a hurry. The Sky High School has not changed much in these five years, but the legend of two disciples appeared in it. One is Qin Chiulian, who has beaten his disciple Invincible among the second generation of disciples. In just five years, with his spiritual roots and continuous hard work, he has reached the foundation building in a short period of time. Peak In five years, from the early stage of refining gas to the peak of the foundation building, this speed is also very good in Zhongzhou cultivation world, and it can be said to be one of the best in a million. Because of this, Qin Chilian became an idol among the second generation of disciples, and with his own cold face, he swept the entire sect disciples and became the iceberg goddess in the hearts of many male disciples. In the past few years, there have been as many male disciples pursuing Qin Chilian as the Christian carp who crossed the river, but she has never scorned anyone. If Qin Chilian is the idol and goddess in the hearts of sect disciples, then in the hearts of the disciples, Su Chen's other disciple is even more surprising. This person is Li Mayan. Li Mayan is a lunatic who wears a terrible mask and is dedicated to cultivation. The disciples of Qin Tianzong began five years ago, when Li Mayan wore that hideous mask entered the wind and rain champion cliff for the first time, and was forced to deepen this impression time and time again. This junior sister Li simply didn't leave a way for others to survive. Breaking through the Qi refining period and reaching the peak of the foundation building with a terrible speed, only one step away from the gold core period, is more advanced than Qin Chilian. She even crossed a big realm and pressed the senior who had been famous for decades in the early stage of gold core to rub on the ground. Those who once said that she was unworthy to be the apprentice of Su Chen's junior uncle were slapped in the face over and over again those disciples of other schools who were once hailed as 100-year-old disciples. Came to the door and challenged them, and they all lost their way to junior sister Li. Under the sword. If Li Mayan is not a disciple of Su Chen, and the Taoist skill is real, I am afraid that this speed of promotion will make people think that she is cultivating evil devil Dao. But these things, Li Mayan doesn't really care about other people's views. Today, she withdrew the black long sword in her hand and watched the blood on the blade drip down drop by drop. While the so-called senior expert from the heavenly sword gate who came to the ground to teach him, twisted and shuddered on the ground. Beg for mercy. Li Mayan said indifferently to him, what an expert, but so. It's a pity that this is Sky High School. For the sake of master's reputation, I won't kill you, go away. Li Mayan stretched out a finger and flicked the sword body, and the blood on the black sword spilled down. She turned her body, the disciples around her suddenly spread out, looking at him warily and fearfully. The black mask looked very hideous, her left eye exuded a terrifying red light, it was bloodthirsty and combative, it was a chilling breath. At this moment, a cold-faced Qin Chilian stood in front and waved to him, and the two of them rose up with swords and headed towards Chiu Jingfeng. After the two left, the disciples' onlookers moved the people from the heavenly sword sect to be healed. Those who saw the battle were all lingering fears. Some experienced disciples hate iron and steel while treating, and said, 
Gold Core early stage dare to challenge our sisterly Mayan of the Sky School. I really don't know that there is a way in the immortal world. Kill yourself. A Tsing Yi disciple on the other side also nodded, Gold Core early stage is great. Sister Lee can leapfrog to the foundation building middle stage. Go back and repair the Gold Core, fellow Daoist, if you hang out here, we are not easy to explain. This was because of some connections between the Heavenly Sword sect and the Great Heaven sect, I persuaded such a sentence, but I remembered that the tone was a bit bad. So he continued, this point cultivation base also came to make trouble. When our junior sister Lee was at the trial conference a few years ago, she was at your level. She had one sword at a time, just like cutting melons and vegetables. Before he finished his words, the Kintian Zong disciple who was helping to lift people froze, senior brother, don't tell me, isn't it also the Dobby? The last time I fought with Sister Li and Sister Qin, I was fast. There is a psychological shadow. When he said that, even the disciples of the Great Sky School seemed to be covered by a layer of low air pressure, like eggplants hit by frost. They hurriedly transported these people down the mountain, and then hurriedly dispersed. When Qin Chilian and Li Mayan returned to Chijing Peak, the sky was already dark, and Su Chen's small courtyard was still as quiet as it was five years ago. After the two entered the small courtyard, Li Mayan took off the masks on his face, revealing a beautiful and beautiful face. Unlike the youthful face of five years ago, she has become a peerless beauty nowadays. At this time, Qin Chilian put away his usual cold expression, and on that beautiful face, there was an extremely cheerful face. The expressions of these two people have never been seen by the disciples of the Great Sky School. It should be said that Su Chen is the only one who has seen these two people in this world. In their hearts, only one person can appreciate their true face and true temperament, and this person is their master, Su Chen. This unparalleled smile can only be seen by Master Su Chen. The two walked into the hall, and a candle was lit in the middle. The candle was made of a certain spirit beast fat and could continue to burn for several years. The candlelight illuminates a desk, and Su Chen is sitting at the desk reading a book. He didn't have his hair tied today, and his long black hair fell down, resting on his shoulders, curled up along the collar of the snow jacket, with a different lingering taste. Qin Chilian and Li Mayan didn't make a sound in a tacit understanding, but watched for a while, and then walked over until the door behind them closed automatically. Li Mayan stretched out his hand to open the lampshade, and Qin Chilian brought a cup of hot tea. The light in the room changed suddenly. Su Chen raised his head and watched his apprentice Li Mayan stretched out his fingers and shook it around. The fireworks on the lamps suddenly brightened. Li Mayan put back the lampshade and whispered in a gentle voice, Master, this is too dark and it's easy to hurt your eyes. Well, at the same time, it is not conducive to the mental development of the two of them that has nothing to do with respecting the teacher. Such an environment makes the two of them feel that the picture in front of them is beautiful and eye-catching. Su Chen is already the cultivation base of the Gold Core early stage. He has a clear vision and reminds him that he is easy to hurt his eyes. This is a futile move. However, his two apprentices have always taken care of him very well and can be said to be meticulous. Over the past five years, Su Chen's temperament and personality have become better and better, and he has not rejected the other party's actions. He put down the book in his hand and said, Sit down. Senior brother head teacher told me something before that the ancient secret realm, which is open once in a hundred years, is about to open. I want you two to participate. The position of the team can be regarded as an experience, are you willing to go? Chapter, 19 The two turned their heads and looked at Su Chen. Su Chen looked at them as clear as they had seen for the first time five years ago, and they were not mixed with the emotions they hoped to appear, which made them very disappointed. In fact, the two of them don't like to maintain a fellowship, and they don't have much affection for the Great Heaven sect, and they don't even know most of the disciples. They are here, but because Su Chen is here. They regarded this as their own home and home, and they also regarded it as a place where they wanted to do something contrary to respecting the teacher and respecting Su Chen. Su Chen looked at the two with a lot of expectations, because he not only cultivated two talents, but also led the original tragic world line in other directions. 
Seeing Su Chen's eyes, the two of them were both knowing, and they looked at each other and said, Okay, master, let us go and we will go. Su Chen nodded, feeling that the two disciples really love the same sect, but maybe they are more introverted, and the communication with the same sect is a little less, and they are still very gentle. Of course, he didn't know that this gentleness was only for him. In this great heaven sect, even head teacher Lin Qing Yuan had never had a good face when they met them. It seems that a respected master must give the disciples warm care and trust, which will help the disciples' physical and mental health. Su Chen thought so, and then remembered one thing. By the way, I have to travel this time. Su Chen continued. Li Mayan asked directly, where is the master going? There was a sudden outbreak of demonic beasts in Qingzhou, thousands of miles away. Some local sects sent people to ask for help. My Shangwan and I will go to suppress demonic beasts tomorrow. This Shangwan elder sister, the Jurchen who has had a holiday with Su Chen, Shangwan Wanqin. Master, I want to go with you. Qin Chulian and Li Mayan said at the same time. That won't work. You just agreed to participate in a secret realm experience. The demonic beasts trend is not a big deal. At most, it's just a visit. Don't worry. Su Chen said with a smile. When the two heard the words, their mouths slumped and responded. Li Mayan was about to stand up and pour a cup of tea, but she suddenly saw the sword stand that had been vacant for a long time, with the long white sword hanging from its body. She moved for a while and asked, Master. This long sword is your spirit sword Wangchen sword, right? Su Chen smiled and replied, Yes, what's the matter? Wangchen sword, didn't the sword fall? Li Mayan asked in a low voice. The sword is the favorite of the cultivator, and the spikes and pendants made by the cultivator himself are often hung on it. Originally, the Wangchen sword was stored in Su Chen's Taoist body, but when it was released this time, Li Mayan noticed that there was no decoration on it. In fact, Su Chen was a bit lazy and didn't like to do that kind of stuff, so he kept his sword hilt empty all the time. He then took a look and said, Yes, I don't have time to do it. He put down the book, not going to read it anymore. So the lamp that was bright because of Li Mayan was extinguished by the same person. Li Mayan's body was trembling at this time, and Qin Chulian hurriedly supported it. Su Chen frowned and said, Heavenly Demon's body, has the backlash effect begun to appear again? The cultivation of Heavenly Demon's body often encounters a lot of disorders of magic power in the body, and it is easy to qi deviation. When the breath spread over, Su Chen knew that her body was in a problem. Su Chen held Li Mayan's hand and injected magic power into his body. Magic power poured into the opponent's meridians, slowly smoothing the slightly chaotic inner breath. Su Chen was thinking about her internal repercussions are always chaotic these days, and she wonders if there will be any problems. Suddenly heard Li Mayan's low and gloomy words, Tui er make a sword pendant for master. As she spoke, she tentatively moved closer, and the heat swept across Su Chen's frosty neck. After hanging it up, master will think of me when he puts it in his body again. Li Mayan said lightly, and a trace of dissatisfaction flashed in Qin Chulian's eyes on the side, but it was quickly covered up. After some sorting, Li Mayan's situation stabilized, Qin Chulian helped her into her room, and then let her go. Qin Chulian sneered at him and said, Junior sister's heavenly demon body is really a good excuse. It can be taken care of by master every time. It turned out that Li Mayan's actions just now were all pretends. She has used the body of Heavenly Demon very skillfully, and definitely will not have backlash. However, she still uses magic power to pretend to be backlash symptoms every time. For, it is for Su Chen to take care of Ons' tenderness and the warmth from that hand, which makes her intoxicated. At this time, Li Mayan no longer had his previous weakness, but instead said with a smile, What's the matter? Senior sister is unhappy. Qin Chulian looked at him and said, Junior sister, you are different from five years ago. Both the scheming and cultivation base have grown very fast. However, I didn't say that I would give up on the master's ownership. Li Mayan smiled and said, I know this little girl. Why don't we come to compete this time? Oh. What is the law of competition? What is the stake? 
Qin Chilian became interested all at once. This time we entered the secret realm for the experience, we went to find the materials for making the sword pendant for Master, and see who can make it more satisfying to Master. Li Mayan smiled and said, If I lose, you will get the right to wash Master's clothes for one year, how about? Okay. I bet. The power to wash clothes was originally Li Mayan. She has always been very jealous, but now she actually used it as a bet. How could she not seize the opportunity? You know, washing the clothes for the master can take the opportunity to taste the breath of the master, haha. Qin Chulian unconsciously showed an obsessive look. Li Mayan said angrily, Senior sister, don't be too happy. If you lose, then give master the power to serve tea. You have to give me one year. Li Mayan was also very enthusiastic about this power, because after master finished drinking the tea, the warm breath of master still remained on the rim of the teacup, and then he could do something blushing in heartbeat. Okay. It's a bet. Qin Chulian agreed, and the two of them gave a high five. Chapter 20 In the early morning of the next day, the weather was fine and there was a loud voice on the sect leader peak. In the Great Hall, dozens of inner sect disciples from the foundation building period are waiting in the Great Hall, and everyone is full of spirits. They are all outstanding figures of the Prime Minister's generation, and they have the qualifications of foundation building in less than one year. Making them sure to become the mainstay of the Prime Minister in the future, and even well-known figures in the future of cultivation world. Each of them is not very old, and they are still full of ambition and high spirits. It is a good time for experience. Which Gold Corps elder will lead the team this time? A pretty female disciple carrying a long sword asked softly, Brother Zhao has always been well informed, do you know about this? She looked a little expectant and thought, will it be Brother Zhou? I heard that Brother Zhou's closed-door training was ten years ago. She just left the customs a few days ago. Perhaps she has made a breakthrough. The young cultivator who was called Senior Brother Zhao turned his head and gave her a frustrated look, with a look of despair. He sighed heavily, and said in a very short and fast tone, Junior sister, don't think about it. According to my master's message, the secret realm experience leader is the two junior sisters of Chiu Jingfeng. The female disciple Gold Core hadn't finished speaking, she suddenly heard the bad news and stayed in place, yes, it's Sister Li and Sister Qin. The fame of Li Mayan and Qin Chulian is almost unknown in King Tianzong. Of course, they are not famous because of their amazing behavior. Li Mayan is a madman who only has cultivation. It is absolutely lifeless to cultivate. He goes in and out of the Qianbian cliff every day, and he keeps going in the next day. This is completely non-human. In addition, she is the body of heavenly demon, which has attracted the attention of many people, and many people come to challenge her. For those who dare to challenge her, Li Mayan is really ruthless. For those who choose war practitioner, in line with the principle of fighting to death as long as they can't be beaten, it can be described as extremely cruel. Whenever she appears, sect disciples must avoid it for fear. Qin Chulian is also powerful. Unlike Li Mayan, she was not forced to accept a challenge, but took the initiative to provoke her. As long as there are outstanding characters in sect, she will definitely hit the door with her red sword. It's almost a daily battle, never stopping. As long as you go to the door, you must be a winner. In this way, the disciples above the foundation building middle stage in sect and elder directly talk about Qin's color change. For a long period of time, they almost all close door training to avoid Qin Chilian. However, at present, the two of them have not yet become the characters of the big devil. They have only killed one person over the years, and they have shot at the same time. That was a disciple of the king of medicine, one of the five sects, and his disciple's name was Wu Qian. This person is a well-known figure in Zhongzhou, who has reached the gold core early stage in forty years. Because of the communication between the two sects, I came to the Great Sky School and happened to meet Su Chen. He was naturally dissatisfied with the same Tianjiao figure like Su Chen. In addition to his usual domineering habit, he came up with disrespect to Su Chen and said a few provocative words. Then, it was a tragedy. Li Mayan and Qin Chulian shot together, and they came up with a life and death battle. 
Although Wu Qi was in the gold core stage, he was beaten by the two for a while and wanted to escape, but was finally killed by the two. For this matter, the two sects almost started a battle, and in the end it was forced by the two head teachers. After this battle, everyone understood that the two of them are extremely powerful among the disciples. Although they are the pinnacle of the foundation building, they can leapfrog and beat the enemies in the gold core stage. It's just that although the two of them are powerful, they don't have much friendship with the disciples of the same sect. They have always been indifferent to people other than Su Chen. Worthless Garbage When all the disciples heard the news, there was a lot of discussion, the giant hall behind the great hall moved to both sides, revealing the appearance of the inner hall. Head teacher Lin Qing Yuan and the peak masters are all on the seat of the inner hall, and Su Chen is sitting next to Lin Qing Yuan at this time. With such a ranking, it is not difficult to see that Lin Qing Yuan values Su Chen. At this time, the two silhouettes behind them, one black and one red, were Qin Chulian and Li Mayan. It turns out that two junior sisters really led the team. How can this be good? The disciples that had been talking softly and talking about it suddenly became silent, and seemed to be choked in one breath, unable to go up and down. Before the female disciple's eyes went dark, she felt that she would almost be able to pass on the spot. On the other side of the great hall seat, Lin Qing Yuan, the head teacher of the great sky school, glanced at the disciplines above the great hall, and said to Su Qin, I have said almost everything that should be explained. Look at what you can add. Yes, if not, let the children go. In the eyes of Lin Qing Yuan's generation, these young cultivators, whose bone age is no more than one piece, are indeed just children. Su Chen nodded slightly, turned his eyes to look at his apprentice, and saw the two of them staring solemnly. He still knew something about the two of them, although he was very gentle, but his heart was tough. So he stretched out his hand and patted the shoulders of the two apprentices, and comforted, you don't have to think about it, we all know your belligerent heart. The outer layer of taining secret realm is not dangerous, as long as you try your best. Remember, if possible, try to ensure the safety of the same door. Su Chen's speech has always been plain, with a touch of gentleness in his tone that is only available when speaking to his own disciples. He didn't set up a soundproof barrier when he spoke, and the waiting disciples listened to the six words safeguard the same door with a complex face. At this time, everyone is spitting out incomparably. Little master, you really don't know, or don't you know what is fake? You two disciples are the biggest security threats to the disciples of the same sect. Normally, don't you really know how badly we were abused by the two of them? The two lowered their eyes slightly, and at the same time glanced at the fingers that fell on their shoulders. They were slender and thin, with a frosty color, and the light and cold dark fragrance seemed to spread through. It is Su Chen's own Daoyun breath, this breath has made them fascinated in the past five years, and sometimes even almost lost their own reason, and made some jockeys behaviors that scorn their ancestors. Li Mayan raised his hand, covering the back of Su Chen's hand with his palm, and holding his fingers in his palm, his bloody eyes looked darkly for a moment, and said, Master, don't worry, I will try my best. Qin Chulian was even more direct. He pulled Su Chen's hand with both hands, and said to him, Master, don't worry, we will return when we go, and we can bring you some gifts back. The spectacles of the Qin Tian sect disciple who saw this scene were all broken. We read it right, are they still the belligerent madmen and cultivation madmen we know? How about your usual cold and fierce appearance? What about the goddess of high cold? What about the cold-blooded god of war? You ruin your original set of people like this. Su Chen heard the words of the two of them, nodded in satisfaction, and then heard the words of the two in unison, we will not let Master be ashamed. After all, we are the only two disciples of Master. This is a fact. Su Chen froze for a moment, and subconsciously replied, yes, you are the only two apprentices of the teacher. Therefore, you should not have an accident. You would rather return without success than risk it. You know. Yes. The disciples obeyed. The two said respectfully. Chapter, 21 Under the leadership of the two women, a team of dozens of people went to participate in the experience of the Taining Secret Realm. At this time, Lin Qing Yuan said to Su Chen and Shang Wan Wan Qing, Senior Brother Su Chen, Junior Sister Shang Wan, 
the situation in Qingzhou it may be more serious than we thought. Shang Wan Wanqing asked strangely, Brother, isn't it just an ordinary demonic beast's wave? The situation is serious, is there something wrong with it? Yes, you have to be clear about one thing, that is, Qingzhou Prefecture, Qingshan City was frozen for unknown reasons half a month ago. But after the ice was frozen, the demonic beast's tide broke out. Hundreds of masters of the demonic race are all wandering in Qingshan City, seeming to be looking for something. In the process of their search, conflicts broke out with local cultivators, and finally formed a huge battle. But those monsters are at least the cultivation base at the peak of the foundation building period, and there are many monsters in the gold core period. There are even a few big demons in the nascent soul period. When Lin Qingyuan said this, Shen Shen said, in order to avoid a bigger battle between humans and monsters, the five sects have joined forces this time to control this matter in a limited space. Do you know? Lin Qingyuan told the two of them a lot, Shang Wan Wan Qing responded with a serious face, while Su Chen on the side was in deep thought. Qingzhou City, Yaozu. Isn't this the place where the third disciple of On, Tu Su, first appeared in the game plot? It seems that it is necessary to take a serious trip on this trip. Senior brother Su Chen, what do you have to say? Lin Qing Yuan looked at Su Chen and said. I don't have any comments, I will go with senior sister Shang Wan and that's it. Su Chen said with a smile. Okay, then you can get ready when you are ready, don't delay business matters. Lin Qing Yuan said earnestly. The two said goodbye to Lin Qing Yuan, without any delay, directly raised their swords and flew in the direction of Qingzhou. Along the way, Su Chen seemed very silent, because he was recalling all kinds of information in the game. In this great world of Zhongzhou, there are different types of cultivators, which can be roughly divided into four categories, cultivators, demon cultivators, demon cultivators, and ghost cultivators. These four types of cultivators accounted for the majority. Each of them occupies a piece of territory or a realm of their own, among which the cultivators and the demon cultivators occupy the main location of the Zhongzhou Great World. In terms of quantity, the numbers of the two are roughly the same, but in terms of combat power, the demon cultivator has a certain advantage, because the demon cultivator himself has good combat power and has some weird magical powers. In the original work, Su Chen's third disciple, Tu Su, was born as an ancient great demon who was rare in a 10,000-year-old monster. His roots and cultivation qualifications are naturally terrifyingly advanced. It is also because of this that when the major races in the demon race are aware of her existence, they are afraid that once she rises, they will threaten the status of the current demon emperors, because they directly send their subordinates to hunt down and kill her. Tu Su Panic did not choose his way, and fled directly into the human city, but the big monsters did not give up chasing and killing them, but directly swaggered into Qingshan City. Although Tu Su's roots are very good, but at a young age, he has only reached the foundation building realm. These are the opponents of the big demon in the gold core stage at every turn. Not long after, he was overtaken by the big demons to besiege. Just at the moment of his death, Tu Su urged a forbidden supernatural power called Frozen 3000 Miles, which directly turned the entire Qingshan city into an ice city. She was originally the reincarnation of the ancient ice emperor Fox Demon, and this environment was just right for her to hide her figure, and then she was hidden in a certain corner. But the big monsters of the monster race suffered a loss, and where they were willing to give up, they immediately surrounded Qingshan city, digging three feet in the city, and slaughtered the mortals of the human race. The nearby human cultivation sect came to the door and couldn't understand the demon clan slaughtering mortals. Even if he started with it, the demon clan didn't help much, and directly evolved into a melee of hundreds of people. Because of the limited strength of these sects, the Terran cultivators suffered a big loss, and immediately retreated, contacting the five sects, and then there is the current monster war. Su Chen smashed all the information. What he thought at this time was to take this opportunity to rescue the three disciples, otherwise it would be unpredictable. Although in the game plot, Tu Su finally escaped from life, but he is not afraid of 10,000 just in case. Thinking this way, Su Chen accelerated Yu Jian's speed, Shang Wan Wan Qing saw it, and hurried to catch up. Um, it seems that my apprentice is only Fox Demon, 
doesn't it mean that he wants to accept a fox spirit into the door? Ha! Huh. There seems to be something wrong with this sentence. Qingzhou, Qingshan City Originally Qingshan City was a very prosperous human city, but since the eerie ice disaster broke out, the entire Qingshan City has become a city of snow and ice. A large number of mortals have fled here, and now the only monsters and human cultivators who remain in the city, they occupy the east and west of the city to confront each other, and startling battles erupt from time to time. However, within half a month of work, the entire Castle Peak City has become a ruined wall. At this time, the human cultivator side is in charge of the overall situation of the Tianjinmen Yi Wuji Elder. He is the cultivation base of the nascent Soul Middle Stage, and is the strongest existence among the cultivators. At this moment, he frowned and looked at the west, only to see that the monster clan side had already summoned a large number of troops, and seemed to want to fight a big battle. At this time, he said to the disciple beside him, the reinforcement we called has not yet arrived. The disciple said with a distressed expression, except for our sect, the other four sects have agreed to send people, but they are very far away from here, I'm afraid it will take time. Yi Wugue smashed the desktop in front of him and said, damn it. Can't they hurry up? If the monster race comes over, this little manpower can't hold it. Just as he was distressed, a cold voice sounded, inorganic real person, I am here, shouldn't it be too late? Yi Wuji turned around, only to see a man looking at him with a smile, and the rhyme lingering around him, like an immortal, this person is Su Chen. Chapter, 22 Seeing the incoming person, Yi Wuji laughed immediately, uh. I didn't expect that Qin Yuan head teacher would be willing to send you out. For Su Chen, Yi Wuji had met him. He went to the Great Sky School three years ago and met with Su Chen. He naturally knew that Su Chen was very important to the Great Sky School. This person is not only amazing in aptitude, the cultivation base is unfathomable, and he is more stable. He is almost cultivated by Lin Qin Yuan as the next head teacher. Then, Yi Wuji saw Shangguan Wan Qing, and said to him, I have seen Shangguan fellow Daoist, this time with your help, this monster clan can't think of any advantage. Shangguan Wan Qing is a very proud person. Hearing what Yi Wuji said, he was naturally very useful. Dang even said, Don't worry, inorganic fellow Daoist, I will fight for a while later to boost morale. Yi Wuji didn't take this sentence seriously, but said to Su Chen, Su Chen fellow Daoist, I haven't seen you for several years. With your qualifications, you should have reached the peak of nascent soul, right? Or, it has been a breakthrough. Have you arrived at realm? Su Chen is also a direct hit after hearing this, and who has spread the rumors and who is the rumors, I have been looking for five years, who is rumorsing me, I must kill him. I'm gold core early stage. How did it become the pinnacle of nascent soul? No, this time you must get this person out. Must. I want to see who is making the rumor. Seeing Su Chen's indifferent expression, Yi Wuji said with a smile, Hee hee, Su Chen fellow Daoist doesn't want to say it, it's okay, I understand, I understand. What? What do you know? You know a hammer. He decided not to reason with this person for now, and directly changed the subject and said, well, inorganic fellow Daoist, we just arrived, let's talk about business first, what's the situation here? Yi Wuyo also said solemnly at this time, okay, Su Chen fellow Daoist, Shangguan fellow Daoist, look at it, the East is the territory of the monster race. Today they suddenly added dozens of troops, and they are all masters. I am afraid they will rush over today. After all, our brigade has not yet arrived. Among the monsters, there are two big monsters in the nascent soul stage, ten monster cultivators in the gold core stage, and more than two hundred monster cultivators in the foundation building stage. Their strength should not be underestimated. Su Chen heard this and nodded and said, Inorganic fellow Daoist, I have a strategy here to stop the enemy's offensive edge. Oh. It seems that Su Chen fellow Daoist has a plan for a long time. Let's talk about it. Yi Wuji was catching the blind. Su Chen said there was a way, and he immediately became energetic. At this moment, night is about to fall, we can send some people to sneak attacks in the Yaozu camp, not for the purpose of killing the enemy, 
but to cause them not to distinguish the enemy from us, and cause a chaos. After all, Yaozu is based on a group. If they can accidentally kill each other, then they will naturally not be in the mood to attack us tomorrow. Su Chen said calmly. In fact, he had thought about this proposal before he came. This would not only benefit the battle, but also help him rescue Tu Su, the third disciple of Own in time. Although his cultivation base is limited and only gold core early stage, the various magic treasures and supernatural powers rewarded by the system over the years are enough for him to protect himself. Well, I agree with this plan. Su Chen fellow Daoist is really resourceful. Let's start right in the middle of the night. In order to avoid casualties, we only send out personnel above the peak of the gold core period. We are understaffed. Please also ask two fellow Taoists to help me. Su Chen and Shang Wan Wan Qing gave their cupped hands together and said, That's right. At the time of the child, the eastern part of Qingshan City. At this time, the demon race in the city did not rest, but searched again and again in the city. The order they received was to catch the fox race woman and offer it to the demon emperor. No matter who caught it, the demon emperor directly accepted it as a true disciple. Such rich conditions made them very tempted, so everyone in the monster race is looking for them in the city with their ethnic group as a unit. What they didn't know at this time was that someone had broken into their territory, and an illusory figure appeared under a broken wall. This person was dressed in a robes and had a handsome face. It was Su Chen. He remembered some of the plot. This too Su was hiding in a certain ice wall. He remembered the approximate location. He had to get ahead of them and find it and take it away. He evaded the people of the monster race through some hidden magical powers and came to the depths of their hinterland. After searching for a long time, he finally dispatched all other possibilities and came to an ice wall. It was a thick layer of ice, and there didn't seem to be any objects in it, just pure ice cubes. At this time, the system prompts the sound, here is one of the host's disciples. As a master, you must protect it. Hearing the sound of the system, Su Chen affirmed his own judgment, and then Su Chen stretched out his hand, and when his fingertips touched the ice, an unmatched magic power burst out. The ice layer cracked one by one, shattered to the ground, and a figure appeared inside, and an icy body fell into Su Chen's arms this is really cold body temperature. This is a girl who seems to be only 13 or 14 years old. She has two ears symbolizing the fox race on her head, and a tail behind her. Her face is pale and she seems to have been severely injured. This person is the third disciple of Su Chen in the plot, the reincarnation of the ancient demon, Tu Su. Su Chen's body was cold because of the environment, but when he hugged Tu Su in his arms, he felt like he was holding a piece of ice. This piece of ice will still move, as if awake in a daze from the ice, raising his arms and hugging Su Chen around the neck, whispering, pitifully, cold. Her condition is really bad, even her voice is a little trembling. Su Chen took out a black robe from the storage magical item and put it on Tu Su's shoulder, then picked up the opponent, and then activated the fire magic power to heat her body. At this time, he reached out to explore the other meridians, facing the meridians who were frozen into pieces by the ice, and choked speechlessly. Just as he was a little startled, Tu Su in his arms raised his head, revealing a beautiful and beautiful face. Face. Water clear eyes shone on, accompanied by the girl's dumb, low voice. Help me, I'm so cold. Su Chen seemed to be hit by something, and a paternal love spread uncontrollably. He poured magic power into Tu Su's body, passing by the cold soaked meridians, forming a silver white body protector imprint on the girl's eyebrows. He lowered his head, pressed his chin against Tu Su's forehead, and said in a low voice, I will save you don't be afraid. That warm language made Tu Su feel as warm as the warm winter sun at that moment. She raised her head and looked at Su Chen's gentle and concerned eyes, like a pool of warm water. At that moment, she seemed to feel that in the future, she could not do without this warm person. Many years later, as the lord of the demon world, when she recalled that day, she would always say with emotion, from that day on, the warmth of master has become an addiction that I will never be able to quit. At this time, an exclamation sounded from a position less than ten feet away from Su Chen, who. Enemy attack. 
There is an enemy attack. Chapter 23 Who? Enemy attack. There is an enemy attack. Someone from the monster clan shouted directly, and countless figures surrounded Su Chen's position. However, after a few breaths of effort, dozens of people had already managed Su Chen. Surrounded by groups. Facing dozens of demons and horses, Su Chen is still in danger. At this time, a big man walked out of the demons and horses. He was wearing a wolf robe. His eyes were dead in the hands of the girl in Su Chen's hands. Body. This person is the leader of the demon race here, wolf slayer, and nascent soul middle stage cultivation base. It can be described as a big demon. He released his demon knowledge at this time, and wanted to see through the people in front of him, but what did he do? I can't even feel it. The person in front of him seems to be in chaos and there does not seem to be any magic power, but the Tao Yun lingering beside him cannot be faked. Therefore, the wolf destroys the judgment, this person is definitely not simple, at least is the power of the nascent soul stage, and may even be the god-shifting stage. Who is your excellency? Why do you want to break into the area of my demon race? Wolf Mia cupped hand said. Hee hee, can't you see it yet? I am a human cultivator. I have nothing to do and come to your area for a walk. Su Chen said with a smile at this time. Seeing Su Chen's calmness, Lang Mia didn't dare to be careless in his heart, so he said directly, Our monsters and humans have always kept the water in the well. We are really here to surround Qingshan City this time. You said it should be her, right? Su Chen pointed to Tu Su and said. Seeing Tu Su, Lang Mia couldn't help but feel energetic for a while, so he said in a deep voice, Yes. We are for this person. If you hand this person to me, we will not only let you leave safely, but you can also get it. The friendship of my monster race. Su Chen was about to reply. Unexpectedly, Tu Su in his arms opened his eyes and said weakly, Please, don't give me to them. The pleading color in those eyes was so sad, Su Chen's heart trembled, and then lightly brushed her forehead and said, Don't worry, I will protect you. After receiving Su Chen's answer, Tu Su felt relieved and fainted again. How? You can think about it clearly. It's a bit unwise to come against our monster race for a woman, isn't it? Lang Mia said. At this time, the system's voice sounded, Ding, it has been detected that someone is unfavorable to your disciple, now turn on the option. Uh, this option seems a bit tangled, and the reward for escaping seems a bit rich, it's a fairy weapon. However, Su Chen is too aware of the urinary nature of the system, and two rich rewards are not good, so he can only choose three. As a master, you must work hard for your disciples. How do you say that? It's time to show the real technology. At this moment, he suddenly showed sharp eyes, and then coldly said to Wolf Mia, I have already planned to accept this person as a disciple, and I definitely won't give it to you. The smile on Lang Mia's face stiffened at this time. He didn't expect the people in front of him to be so unwise and dare to oppose them. So, he didn't hesitate, and said murderously, Humph, since you don't want your life, then we will fulfill you. Kill him. Lang Mei gave an order, and the demons directly killed Su Chen. Faced with this situation, Su Chen stamped his feet, and a shocking aura burst out of him. With a sound of OM. An invisible wave spread like a ripple in all directions. All the demons couldn't open their eyes due to the impact of this wave, and then retreated several tens of feet. When the demons opened their eyes, Su Chen had already lifted off at this time, looking at them condescendingly, like looking at ants. All the monsters raised their heads at this time. They felt an aura that made them feel a deadly threat from Su Chen, and they stopped their movements one after another. Su Chen looked at the demons condescendingly, and then said loudly, if you can stand my trick and don't kneel down, I will hand this woman to you. Before the wolf could react, Su Chen released golden Dao rhymes, and those Dao rhymes formed a touching and shocking formation in the entire area. And Su Chen stood in the position of the front eye, and his body released an extremely noble and extremely powerful aura. It seems that at this moment, he is the supreme king in this cultivation world. Then tens of thousands of golden long swords appeared behind him, forming a huge sky screen, 
completely obstructing the sky, and the surroundings became pitch black. Dang! Countless long swords contended at the same time, and their swords were all moving in their direction. At this moment, they actually felt extremely desperate. At this moment, Yi Wu Wu and others, who were attracted by the movement here, had already arrived around, looking at the golden sword sky curtain above the sky, he revealed a god like a ghost. He then said loudly, Golden Sword Sky Curtain. That is the method of the ancient immortal emperor, why would he use it? It's impossible. Other people on the side looked at Su Chen's figure and muttered to themselves, could it be that this person is the reincarnation of the ancient immortal emperor? Just when everyone couldn't believe it, Su Chen's fingers raised, and countless golden long swords flew down, toward the monsters. The aura of the monsters on Su Chen's body at this time could not move at all. Dang dang dang. Countless golden long swords shot, but did not penetrate their bodies, but shot on the ground around them. The demons opened their eyes, and they felt afraid for a while. They knew that if Su Chen wanted to kill them, they would have died just now. God has the virtue of good life, you have cultivated for many years, it is not easy. I don't want the war between monsters and monsters to continue, give you a chance, let's go. Su Chen said lightly while looking at the monsters. Lang Mia raised his head at this time and said to Su Chen, Your cultivation base is through the sky. I admire you. This will lead the tribe to leave I wonder if you can leave your name. Su Chen looked at him and said faintly, I am Su Chen, if you are not satisfied, you can come to me in the sky high school. Wolf Mia cupped hand said, Thank you Su Chen for not killing the real person. In the future, we will go to the Great Sky School to ask you for advice. Let's go. Under the leadership of Wolf Mia, the monster clan took the initiative to retreat from the power of Su Chen, and Su Chen alone eliminated the monster war that had happened. Chapter 24 A group of monster races obeyed Wolf Mia's order and rushed away from the city. They stopped until a large mountain 300 miles outside the city blocked the flood. At this time, a monster cultivator from the gold core stage of the monster came to the side of Langjia, panting and said, Lord Langjia, why are we leaving? Although the cultivator just now has good strength, we have a large number of people. Sweeping may not have no chance of winning. Lang Mia turned his head and looked at an idiotic expression, and then said to him, If you want to die, try it. Do you know what the Golden Sword Sky Scream vision just was? The monster cultivator asked with a strange look, What is that? Lang Mia showed a look of fear at this time, and then said, That is the top level vision that the ancient immortal emperor has just had. Just now, Su Chen, I can't feel his realm at all. Such an unfathomable opponent, you actually want to fight him? My lord, you mean, Su Chen might be the reincarnation of the ancient immortal emperor? Isn't that impossible? This is too amazing. The monster cultivator looked incredulous. Ha! Huh. What's so amazing, we have all truly felt the pressure just now, as long as the countless golden swords are moved, we will be wiped out. Such a character is more shocking than the demon emperor, only the ancient immortal emperor reincarnation has such a bold spirit. In fact, it is a great exaltation that Lang Nye compares the demon emperor with it. After all, their demon emperor is only a monster cultivator in the transcends tribulation period, and there is still a distance from the Mahayana period. But the reincarnation of the ancient immortal emperor is different. It was reincarnated and rebuilt by the fallen mighty of the upper realm. The various magical powers and various magic treasures in his memory were enough to crush everything. As long as this kind of person rebuilds to a certain realm, he does not have to reach the Mahayana period he can be invincible in this lower realm. This is why the demon emperors wanted to kill Tu Su while she was still in her infancy. Otherwise, waiting for her to grow up, I'm afraid it is going to unify the demon world directly, and they should get rid of them. I can say that the person just now is at least the power of the fit phase. This person can be said to be able to walk sideways in the lower realm. Even if the demon emperor comes, I dare not say that he can be cleaned up. Lang Mie directly under the own judgment. But, this person wants to protect Tu Su, we're afraid we can't kill her, how can we explain it when we go back? A monster cultivator said worriedly. Lang Mie said indifferently at this time, he he, confess. 
Just report the matter back, and tell the news that Su Chen is the reincarnation of the emperor, I think who dares to blame daddy, they will come if they have the ability. At this time everyone heard, yes, it makes sense. We can't beat this kind of power, and it's worthless if we haven't offended it too much. What else do they want? Well, that's right, we go back, the daddy can't beat them desperately, that's no way. All the monster cultivators went back to the core city of the monster race without any surprise. As expected, they explained the situation to the monster emperor, not only did not blame them, but also rewarded them with a big prize. Later, several demon emperors of the demon race issued such an order, everyone of the demon race must not offend the great sky school. Especially one of the great sky school named Su Chen, that is the reincarnation of the immortal emperor, and it is now close to invincible master. As soon as this news came out, the entire cultivation world was a direct earthquake. Unexpectedly, Su Chen was actually the first immortal emperor to reincarnate in hundreds of thousands of years. Three days later, Wanshan City, Qingzhou. At this time, Su Chen didn't know that own name had resounded throughout the cultivation world. After solving the Qingshan Castle matter, everyone was grateful to Su Chen. Yi Wu Wu even hosted a banquet to entertain Su Chen and told the world about it. Even if Su Chen stopped him, he didn't want to be overly concerned by cultivation world. He just wanted to be a good teacher to the apprentices in a low-key manner. Respect. Therefore, he declined Yi Wuji's invitation and left Qingshan City, but instead of directly returning to Qingshan City with his sword, he spent a few months walking slowly back to Qingshan City. Tu Su is very lively, but very obedient and insecure. According to her, he had no parents since he was a child, and struggled to survive among the monster race. A month ago, she finally reached the foundation building period, but she did not expect that the Sky Fox vision appeared in the sky when she was in the foundation building. At that time, she awakened the memories of her previous life. It turns out that she is the great demon of ancient times, the Xientian Ice Fox reincarnated. She was ecstatic at the time, after all, she was the reincarnation of the ancient great demon, and she was properly cultivated, so there was no problem with her ascension. But before she was happy for two days, the monster race sent a large number of people to kill, and the lowest was the monster cultivator at the peak of the foundation building period. Although she was the reincarnation of the great demon, it was only the foundation building early stage after all. Where was their opponent? Dang even fled towards the human territory. But in the end it was caught up here. In the end, she worked hard with her determination to die, and used her forbidden magical powers to freeze herself in icicles. She thought she was bound to die, but she did not expect Su Chen to save her. Su Chen saves him, has a life-saving grace to him, protects her, has a recreation grace to her. These are the original words of Tu Su. They have been walking for a few months, and they are not far from the great heaven sect. They stayed in an inn, the candlelight in the room trembling slightly. Su Chen sat cross-legged on the couch, stretched out his hand to warm the long sword on his knees, a trace of satisfaction in his eyes, he finally accepted the third disciple. The own progress is not too slow. The door rang, and Tu Su, dressed in a dark green robe, brought in a plate of sweet snacks and placed it in front of Su Chen. Tu Su raised his eyes and did not look at the snacks on the plate. Instead, he carefully examined her expression and asked, Well, Tu Su, when you walked almost three minutes, the breath on your body was also messed up, thinking what? Did something happen? Tu Su didn't expect Su Chen to notice. He raised his eyes in a panic, and said awkwardly, Master, am I too different from others? Su Chen was taken aback, and then asked, What's the matter? I ran into a person just now, and she said that I said I was an evildoer, let me get away a little bit, don't pollute her eyes. Tu Su's voice became lower and lower, she raised her hand and wiped her tears very carefully. In fact, it is no wonder that this Qingzhou has been ravaged by the monster clan for a long time, and the hatred of mortals towards the monster clan has been very deep. Master, I know that people who are cultivators can't care in the accidental epidermis, but I really don't know whether my enchanting evildoer will be looked down upon. Su Chen heard this, a wave of paternal love surged in his heart, and he reached out to comfort her, but at this time, the voice of the system sounded again. 
Chapter 25 Just as Su Chen was about to comfort Tu Su one or two times, the voice of the system sounded, faced with the disciples' low mood, Master must do a good job of comforting, and now turn on the option. System. Do you dare to be a man? This is a fourteen or five-year-old little lowly. What do you want? Punishment, you are getting more and more sentenced. The system you really deserve to be struck by lightning. The first option directly reduces the favorability to zero, I still play wool and yarn. What is the second option, do you want to be taken away? You a perverted system. Daddy chooses the third, chooses the third, you are a perverted system. Daddy despise you. He held Tu Su's slender jade hand. Su Chen's fingers were slender and soft, and the frosty whiteness was slightly cold. When they touched Tu Su's palm, they showed an exceptional warmth. She is ugly in her heart, so she feels that others are evildoers. Su Chen looked at him and said, Promise Master, not to be contaminated, Tu Su will always be a meek and kind person. Tu Su was stunned, with a drop of tears in his eyes rolling a bit, lowered his head into Su Chen's arms, and rubbed Su Chen's arms a few times. After a long while, Su Chen heard the other's low voice, I want to be the best person in the heart of the master. Just as Su Chen brought Tu Su to the village near Qingtianzong, the taining secret realm in the Cape of the Sea suddenly opened. The light from the outside suddenly poured in, and two heroic figures appeared at the exit. At this time, Qin Chulian was blood-stained in his long gown, and he was standing in the center of the Xian men, wearing blood qi. The red sword in his hand was still dripping with blood. To her left, there was a woman wearing a black mask, with blood stains on her mask, and a fierce killing intent lingering all over her body. Behind them, there were only dozens of people from the Great Heaven sect and more than twenty people from the remaining sections. The rest were buried in the secret realm. In fact, it is quite normal to explore the secret realm disciples fighting to death. However, there are more than a dozen sects participating in the secret realm trial this time. There are hundreds of people sent by each sect, and now only dozens of people survive. This elimination rate is much higher than before. This is because the two female cultivators led by the Great Sky School are too cruel. Only the cultivation base at the peak of the foundation building actually killed a bunch of cultivators in the foundation building period and dozens of gold core periods. As long as someone provokes them or grabs treasures with them, they will kill them without mercy. What is even more surprising is that the two of them were actually in battle, and they all broke through to the gold core early stage. This talent for enlightening Tao in battle has amazed all the disciples. As soon as the secret realm door opened, the rest of sex people hurriedly flew out, separated from the two of them, and then looked at them with fear, no way, the two of them were too scary. On the other hand, everyone in King Tianzong holds a treasure in their hands. These treasures were snatched by Qin Chilian and Li Mayan, but the two of them looked down on them, so they threw them like trash. And it's still one for everyone. This kind of boldness made the disciples of the Great Sky School directly look forward to the two of them and regarded them as idols. At this moment, the two suddenly turned around and stood opposite each other. In the middle of the two of them, there is a cold jade mirror stone, which is a Xientian spirit treasure that has not been polished, but the cold jade mirror stone seems to be in the second place. Under the magic power of people, it is about to split. This is the mirror stone in the inner layer of Taining Secret Realm. It is an unpolished Xientian spirit treasure. When the two of them took the cold jade mirror stone from the cold light and mysterious ice, the entire secret realm collapsed in an instant, and disappeared after everyone walked out of the secret realm. At this time, Li Mayan said to Qin Chilian, senior sister, in the secret realm just now, I have more treasures and kills than you. This mirror stone should be given to me. Qin Chilian said coldly, junior sister, I don't recognize this. If you can beat me, I will give it to you. Okay. That's easy. At this time, Li Mayan burst into a very strong devilish energy. A magic cloud was lingering around her body, and the black cloud sword in her hand was shining with black light, and an icy meaning was released. Qin Chilian was not weak either. The magic power burst out, and an extremely hot flame circle appeared directly around him, 
with a scorching flame lingering around him, and the temperature in the air suddenly ascending. Come on. Junior sister, let me see how far your heavenly demon is. Qin Chulian directly sacrificed a fire dragon and attacked Li Mayan. Seeing this, Li Mayan didn't avoid it. Instead, the black cloud on his body condensed, and a huge demon claw formed and grabbed it towards the fire dragon. The attacks of the two continued to collide in the air, and everyone around them looked stupid. What's the situation? Aren't these two sisters? Why did the spoils become unevenly divided and fight, and it didn't seem to be a division between teachers and students? This seems to be the opposite of life and death. At this moment, all the disciples of King Tianzong on the side didn't care. It was nothing new for the two of them to learn from each other in sect, and everyone was not surprised. As long as they fight, no one except Master Su Chen wants to stop them. Even head teacher Lin Qin Yuan can't do it, let alone their ordinary disciples. The fighting between the two lasted for two hours, and they were still indifferent. Both were panting, planning to adjust their breath before coming back to the fight. At this time, a female disciple seemed to have received a call from the teacher, and then hurriedly came to the two of them and said, the two junior sisters, just received the call from the teacher, and the uncle Su Chen has gone back. Head teacher asked us to hurry up. Time to go back. Qin Chilian and Li Mayan looked at each other at this time, and then Li Mayan said, senior sister, at this time we are a tie, can the master wait for us to go back to serve? Well, this time we will be considered a tie. This is the treasure we won together and used it to give to Master. Qin Chulian finally agreed. Then the two left with a group of Great Sky School disciples and returned to the Great Sky School. The other sect's surviving disciples swallowed with difficulty looking at the site that had been turned into ruins after the battle between the two. These disciples have reached a consensus from today, and they will definitely not be able to provoke the disciples of the High Heaven sect in the future, especially the disciples of Su Chen. Chapter, 26 The next day, Su Chen took Tu Su back to live in the small courtyard of Qijingfeng. The small figure of Tu Su was very well behaved at this time and walked around with Su Chen. The disciples around saw that his little teacher brought one back. The monster cultivator was a little surprised. But that's all, after all, the little uncle even took back the body of heavenly demon, let alone a monster cultivator. Su Chen looked at Tu Su with a well-behaved face, touched the ears on her head, and smiled softly. Su Chen sighed in his heart, he is so good and sweet, how come the little apprentice I met is so good? Knowing that he has now accepted the third disciple, he is one step closer to the completion of the main line of the previous period, and his mood is better, and he stretched out his hand to hold Tu Su's hand. Tu Su turned his head and called out Master, then looked away and looked at the opponent's cold hands. It was the setting sun at this moment, the afterglow of the setting sun behind him, and a cold fragrance that seemed to be absent on his side. Tu Su is like a little beast that has just awakened, imprinting Su Chen's breath in his mind. When the two were watching the sunset together, two voices sounded behind Su Chen, Master. Master. Su Chen pulled Tu Su and turned around, saw Qin Chilian and Li Mayan, and smiled immediately, Chilian, Mayan, you are back. Seeing the two come back safely, his hanging heart finally fell. After all, he is a disciple of own. Before the cultivation base has reached a very high level, although it is the protagonist template, it is still possible to die. However, at this time the two women's mood was not very good. On the way back, the two awkwardly and roughly weaved knots countless times, and they made sword pendants only after thousands of trials and tribulations. As long as this sword fall is placed in the palm, when you look down and stare, you will feel a bang in your heart. At this time, Su Chen took Tu Su's hand, and the two walked forward. They had an idea at this time, where did this fox spirit come from? Li Mayan took the lead and said, Master, who is this person? Su Chen looked up and felt that Mu Yan's tone was so cold, which seemed to be a rare event for the second disciple with a mild temper. He released divine sense to probe again, and found that both of them had no damage to their abilities, and he felt relieved before he said, He is Tu Su, your junior sister. 
Qin Chilian walked in front of Tu Su, her beautiful eyes looked at her as if considering her, she paused for a moment, and said, this junior sister Tu Su seems to be injured. Qin Chilian didn't know why the strong one had to say this sentence. Before rushing back, what she thought in her heart was that the scars on her body were not decent. Even if she doesn't feel the pain, she doesn't want Su Chen to see it. Therefore, on the way back, the two repaired their own injuries as much as possible. But now, when faced with such a situation, the two of them wanted Master to take a look at their injuries. The core area of the Taining Secret Realm is a place where many real humans have not dared to set foot. The news that the two of them took away the entire Taining Secret Realm spectacle stone, I am afraid that it will soon be circulated among the various sect schools. But those insignificant people, no matter how they discuss the two names of Qin Chilian and Li Mayan, whether they admire or fear them, they actually don't care. But at this time, the two couldn't help but want Su Chen's gaze to fall on them. Su Chen let go of Tu Su's hand, and while explaining the origin of Tu Su to the two apprentices, he stretched out his hand and applied a dust removal technique to clean up the dust on both of them. At this moment Li Mayan turned around and grabbed Su Chen's wrist. Su Chen was startled, feeling something on his palm. Taining secret realm is nothing good. Li Mayan said calmly, this was made after I found it together with my senior sister. In the center of his bright white palm is a mirror stone shaped like a cold jade, which is woven into a sword pendant. The breath of Xientian Lingbao on it is constantly spreading, with a little coldness that fits his body. Feel. Su Chen was stunned for a long time. After recognizing what it was, he asked, you have entered the inner layer of the secret realm? You two usually look calm, how do you do such impulsive things? The two bowed their heads in silence, as if waiting for Su Chen's blame. At this time, the system's voice sounded, the disciples are too risky. Master must correct it in time. Now turn on the option. Dog system, you really made my heart immortal. You just make color every day, review it. Luckily you can figure it out. Is this a system for cultivating masters? Obviously it is a system for training old hooligans. Daddy just won't be trained by you to become an old gangster, you bite me. No next time, do you know? If you die, you will be very sad as a teacher. Su Chen's voice was extremely gentle. The task is completed, the cooking skill will be rewarded one. I see, master. The two replied respectfully, their hearts were a little sweet, because Master still cared about them very much. Su Chen wanted to say a few more words. Head teacher senior brother Lin Qingyuan's sound transmission note suddenly lit, and Lin Qingyuan's voice sounded in the fairy house, junior brother Su Chen, Qin Tiandian, there is something to discuss. Su Chen asked him to interrupt the words, but he didn't say the second half of the reprimand, but he squeezed the cold jade sword pendant in his hand and glanced at the two of them and said. Your junior sister Tu Su was hunted down before. Now she is seriously injured and has a fragile physique. However, you have always been gentle and kind. You should take good care of your junior sister, you know. He looked at the two disciples in front of him and nodded seriously before stepping out of the profound gate, and the Yujian flew towards Qing Tian Temple. After Su Chen left, there were only three of them on the top of Chiu Jingfeng. At this time, Tu Su was no longer as innocent and cute as he was just now, with a hint of charming and arrogant in his eyes. He looked at the two and said, it turns out to be the body of Chilian's spiritual roots and heavenly demon. It's really rare. At this time, Li Mayan and Qin Chilian also returned to their indifference and murderousness. Li Mayan said to them, Master said, you are the reincarnation of the ancient demon? Yes, I don't know the two senior sisters, do you have any advice? There was a trace of hostility in Tu Su's eyes. It turned out that this is the true face of Tu Su, no longer the pure and lovely in front of Su Chen. If you want to be innocent, how can you escape from the sky and run for thousands of miles under the besieging and blocking of the monster race? This is absolutely difficult to do without a persevering character and great wisdom. Hee <laughs> hee, I don't have any advice, but I want to chop off the hand you just held master. Qin Chilian said lightly. Suddenly, above the Chiujing Peak, the murderous and vinegar smell immediately filled the air. Chapter, 
27. Qin Chulian stretched out his hand, and the scarlet long sword condensed from her palm and plunged into the ground. She sat aside with her sword hilt supported, and the gentleness that had just been in front of Su Chen disappeared without a trace, a fiery violent air burst out, and the whole body was overflowing with murderous intent. Li Mayan spread his hands, the black cloud sword was released, and then countless magic clouds were released, surrounding Chiu Jingfeng, and then put his hands around his chest, and his red eyes projected cold murderous aura. Monster Qi lingers around, a little ominous. Qin Chiu refined, well, how about I send you back to the monster clan? No, senior sister, please leave her hands behind before sending her back. Li Mayan's voice was frighteningly cold. The cold light on the sword pierced Tu Su's eyes, and Tu Su's glaring eyes rolled a little, and he looked at them for a moment like it was very interesting, and said, I'm a monster, what are you? A heavenly demon who's transformed into humans. A militant fireman. With a loud sound, the long swords in the hands of the two broke through the wind, sword chi burst out, and then the sword blades all pressed against Tu Su's foundation building spiritual platform. But Tu Su didn't move. She was an ancient great demon, with the toughest physical body. Moreover, there are extremely strange magical powers in her inheritance memory. This magical power allows her to repair it even if her body is destroyed countless times. This seemingly foundation-building spiritual platform is not very useful to her. The foundation-building spiritual platform is located next to the mouth of the heart, and the blades of the two long swords break open the epidermis, sucking blood. Li Mayan stopped staring at him for a few seconds, and said, Why are you approaching Master? I happen to ask you about this too. Tu Su raised his eyebrows, exuding an almost unthinkable madness. A demon, a ball of fire, how can it be worthy of a character like a master? Qin Chilian and Li Mayan did not move their eyes, and then slowly pulled out the sword body, watching the other side's broken wound that was pierced by the blood sword quickly healed. Monster! They all looked at Tu Su indifferently, if you dare to hurt master, we will kill you directly. Hee hee, I want to warn you, if you too dare to break his skin, I will swallow you directly. Tu Su said without showing any weakness. In addition, I really want to eat him, but this is eaten in another sense. I think you should be the same, right? Tu Su said with a smirk. Qin Chilian and Li Mayan didn't show any dodge at this time, instead they nodded firmly in agreement. If Su Chen is here, he must have a question mark on his face. Do you guys dare to drive my car? Tu Su's topic directly led the conflict just now in an alternative direction. Qin Chilian said directly, Yes, since we all want to eat master, as a master sister, I should be the first. Vision Li Mayan and Tu Su rushed up at the same time. For a time, the three directly fought together. Qin Tian Temple, the important figures of Qin Tian Zong are gathered here. It's inaccessible on the ice. It's a good place to cross the transcends tribulation heavenly tribulation there. Shang Wan Wanqing said, Brother head teacher has been preparing for so many years, so I should be confident in his heart. It's just a way of cultivating immortals and climbing up. There are always dilemmas. It turned out that Lin Qing Yuan was about to go to transcends tribulation, and then everyone came to discuss the matter. For many talented practitioners, the transformation of the gods is the end of their lives. In the upward stage, only a few people can get involved. In their hearts, among sects, only senior brother Qin Yuan and junior brother Su Chen hope to achieve realm beyond the transcends tribulation period. Lin Qin Yuan discussed with Su Chen face to face this time. It was when he was going to transcends tribulation and asked Su Chen to attend the 50 year regular meeting of the five sects. Lin Qin Yuan's head teacher's heavenly tribulation has been suspended for many years. Many people in the Supreme Sect have known about this, but they also know that with Lin Qing Yuan's full preparations, this time should go well. Hearing the five major sect conferences, Su Chen suddenly remembered at this moment, it seems that after the sect conference, the Wanxian conference is also coming soon. That is his most important world line node. In the story of the game, Su Chen was attacked by an unknown person at the 10,000 Immortal Conference, and the five disciples had a chance to escape. It can be said that the person who attacked Su Chen was the person who changed the world. 
However, the game did not say who this person was, but vaguely said that the assassin was a member of the Great Sky School. After that, I don't know if the author of the game script dug a hole and forgot to fill it in, and this assassination incident actually disappeared. This is a real pit. What is the truth? Who is going to kill me anyway? If you can't find out now, you will still be in danger in the future. After all, in the game, Su Chen is already at the peak of the god transformation stage, and is still severely wounded and dying. That's not to mention his current cultivation base and small body. Lin Qingyuan looked at Su Chen in a daze and said, What? The younger brother is not willing to participate? Su Chen said after listening, Senior brother asked me to go to the meeting. I am willing, but because of my three disciples, sex senior brothers have to take care of them. Hearing this sentence, everyone's discussion stopped immediately, and Qin Chiyuan and Li Mayan appeared in their minds, and their hearts trembled inexplicably, according to. Can't talk about them. They are inexperienced geniuses, don't need to be. Intervention by others. Su Chen shook his head, my two disciples led the same door into the secret realm this time. Although they did their duties, they also entered the secret realm without authorization. Lin Qingyuan smiled and said, according to the two people's ability, there should be no major problems. Su Chen sighed, they took away the Xientian Lingbao from Taining secret realm, and killed hundreds of other sect people. Oh Lin Qingyuan thought he was fully psychologically prepared, and just responded calmly, and then his words stuck abruptly, and he was smashed in his mind by Xientian Lingbao and hundreds of people killed. I was stunned for a while before saying, Ah. Uh, what are you talking about? Before Lin Qingyuan cultivated, he was from the northern part of Zhongzhou. After so many years of self-cultivation, this is the first time that the local language of the country has been exploded. The so-called secret realm is often born by Xientian Lingbao. Although everyone knows it, they generally don't take it for two reasons. The first is that it may not be available, and it is more likely to be injured and fall. Second is the experience of the disciples, who also deliberately use the secret realm. Did they get it? Lin Qingyuan's voice suddenly raised a few tones. These two children led a team and took away the secret realm. Did they kill hundreds of people? Su Chen gave a light cough, and said embarrassingly, Well I got it, and killed someone. You two disciples are not cultivation techniques of the ice and snow attributes, and the taining secret realm is also the ice and snow secret realm. What are they doing so desperately with this thing? Lin Qingyuan's forehead was sweating. This place is not owned by King Tianzong alone, many sects will go to experience it. Lin Qingyuan held his chest for a while, feeling that his blood pressure was rising. Could it be that which male cultivator is given to him? and he can also borrow two Dao companions together. Su Chen listened to this and felt that his apprentice was very filial, so that senior teacher head teacher said that he became the love of men and women, and he was a little unwilling to say, does it have to be a male cultivator? Lin Qingyuan's eyes widened, his beard was stroking, and his heart trembled, what's the matter, you two apprentices gave it to the girl. Su Chen said silently, ah. Uh, Seeing that he didn't answer, Lin Qingyuan thought it was really the case, his entire face was distorted, he slapped his thigh abruptly, and said loudly to Su Chen. This matter will soon reach the Heavenly Sword sect, Yao Wangzong and other schools. All sects know that the Taining Secret Realm will be destroyed by us. Your apprentice is still for the two female cultivators. The whole child is unparalleled in love. Su Chen saw him speak more and more biased, and quickly interrupted, the two of them are naturally given to me. Lin Qingyuan was taken aback for a moment, his blood pressure suddenly dropped back, and while stroking his beard, he said, why didn't you say it earlier, isn't this a model of respecting teachers and respecting the Tao? But at this time, the other peak masters all looked at Lin Qingyuan, and thought in their hearts, brother, how unclear you are. What respect for the teacher? Who doesn't know the Sky School, the two disciples of junior brother Su Chen think about Jockey Mizu every day. Isn't this sending things just sending things out? Chapter 28 When Lin Qingyuan heard the words, he calmed down, drank tea and was shocked, and continued, it's okay. If you say that, the disciples under your seat are tyrannical. 
There is no violation of the rules, even if it is to kill people and take treasures, that is their ability. Other sects can't envy them. After a few days, Junior Sister Yun will leave the customs, let her help you watch your disciples, and you can go to the sect conference for me with peace of mind. Sister Yun's name is Yun Qianhua, she is a disciple of King Tianzong. She has been in closed-door training for 200 years to study Taoism. She is also the youngest of this generation except Su Chen and Shang Wan Wan Qing, and she is Su Chen's younger sister. Su Chen nodded slightly. Just as he was about to say something, the entire Qing Tian peak suddenly fluctuated, the Qing Tian hall trembled and shook, and the cups and saucers fell apart. Not only Su Chen was stunned for a while, Lin Qin Yuan also followed the dumbfounded, and the two immediately walked out with swords. When everyone stayed in the air and looked towards the place where the earth was trembling, they saw a clean and secluded mountain slanting down from the air, being cut to pieces. Lin Qing Yuan waved duster, a cyan light held up half of the mountain and slowly placed it on the ground. The disciples surrounded and watched, talking and wondering. He then turned his head, looked at Su Chen's frosty and cold jaw curve, and said, Junior brother, this broken mountain seems to be your Chujing peak. Su Chen watched his house collapse blankly, and several possibilities emerged in his mind until he saw the three figures above the broken peak. At the same time, the trembling words of the head brother sounded in his ears. Junior Su Chen, it seems that your apprentices are he thought for a while, did not say fighting, and said implicitly, discuss. Su Chen. Am I raising a group of huskies? Why is the efficiency of house demolition so high? The entire Chujing Peak was split by the sword's edge, the original Xianfu Dong Tian was turned into a broken wall, and the place where the three of them fought was even more messy. He had just started, and the three apprentices Tu Su, who was not long after the foundation building, had a few broken bones. The magic power in the foundation building spiritual platform was exhausted and almost depleted. The second apprentice Li Mayan's clothes were broken at this time, and there were many wounds on his body. At this time, he was standing on the ground panting. The eldest disciple Qin Chulian was also embarrassed, and his injuries were similar to those of Li Mayan. It seems that only Tu Su suffered a big loss, did the other two beat her together? Two gold core early stages beat one foundation building period. Su Chen immediately shouted, Stop it! What are you doing? Want to rebel? Seeing Su Chen coming, the three hurriedly stopped their hands, and then stood in front of Su Chen with their heads down and a guilty expression. Su Chen helped Tu Su up and raised his eyes to look at Li Mayan and Qin Chulian. Just as the attack was about to happen, he saw that the surface of the two sword arms were torn apart inch by inch, and it seemed that the injuries were serious. Su Chen's heart jumped, and he just remembered that these three people are not good, they are all talents, and now this super combat power is understandable. So he stretched out his hand to connect the broken bone to Tu Su, his original cold expression was a little relaxed, and asked, You are fighting? You two are senior sisters, why do you want to fight the younger sister? Tu Su rubbed Su Chen's arms, and whispered innocently, We didn't fight, it was two senior sisters who taught me. The behavior of no one else makes the eyes of Li Mayan and Qin Chulian angry. You fox spirit, dare to be so intimacy with master in front of us. We hit you too lightly just now. I'll find a chance to continue playing later. Su Chen turned around and walked in front of Qin Chulian and Li Mayan, watching them stand motionless in place, his eyes obscurely not knowing what he was thinking. Advice? Su Chen watched him put away the blood sword, and took the hands of the two of them. As usual, they used spirit power to penetrate in. Sure enough, they found that the two of them were also in aura disorder, and the blood was surging and had not stabilized for a long time. Li Mayan let out a deep breath at this time, his tone eased, and said, well, for advice. Su Chen originally let these three people arrive, but looking at the scene now, he couldn't say words like punishment. While calming down the qi and blood in the eldest and second apprentices, he sternly said, Are you trying to teach and discuss, or do you want to tear down the house? Next time you fight like this, you will all go out to face the wall under Chiu Jingfeng. The three of them looked at him for a long while, the expressions on the face that had always been deep and solemn, slowly warmed up, 
and returned to their impression of peace and gentleness. It's the disciples' fault. It's just a discussion. It's too late to pass. The three of them bowed their heads very bachelorly and admitted their mistakes. Su Chen looked at the three disciples, really angry and funny, but didn't blame them much. Xiu Jingfeng was rebuilt by Lin Qingyuan with a spell, but it didn't hurt. It's just that he thought he had resolved the contradiction between the three of their brothers and sisters, but he didn't notice the peace between the three of them, just barely maintaining it on the surface. The night was cold and the wind was cold, and when the courtyard was built, Tu Su was running universe and cultivation under Su Chen's eyelids. Her body is still in the growth stage, and from the outside, she is only the image of a fourteen or five-year-old lowly. Cultivators must exercise their physical bodies. This is what Su Chen requires of his disciples, and it is related to subsequent development. While thinking, he put the sword of the long sword on his knees, put the sword made of cold jade mirror stone on the hilt, and slid his fingers across the knot woven on it. Su Chen just put on the sword pendant, he heard Tu Su's voice on the side. Master. When she called these words, she did not have the cheerfulness of Qin Chilian, nor the gentleness of Li Mayan, but a hint of playfulness and cuteness. Su Chen raised his head in response and saw that Tu Su finished running a universe, his eyes fixed on the long sword in his hand. Sister Qin and Sister Li, what kind of people are they? Tu Su asked gently. Su Chen heard these words at first, thinking that she was scared by the battle just now, for the sake of harmony between the seniors and sisters. So he explained to Tu Su patiently, your senior sister Qin is a cheerful and kind person, and your senior sister Li is a gentle and compassionate person. Tu Su was startled for a moment, cheerful and kind. Gentle and compassionate. She recalled the appearance of Li Mayan's red eyes in the daytime, and the murderous intent of her whole body was almost condensed, and she couldn't see what was in the way of the word gentle. That Qin Chilian was even more exaggerated, he was simply a human-shaped Tyrannosaurus, and that shot was called a cruel and terrific. Xingxing broke a few own ribs. On the contrary, it is Su Chen, who looks cold on the surface, but there is always a very soft breath in the conversation and words. It's not like a cultivator in cultivation world, but like a modest gentleman who grew up in an extremely orderly social environment. Maybe this is gentleness. Tu Su stared at his fingertips, watching that white finger move on the sword pendant. Your elder sisters care about the same class. This time the taining secret realm experience was led by them. Su Chen said, as for today, they just want to teach you, and they are measured. Tu Su recalled again, if it weren't for her own strength, I'm afraid that they would simply fight to death. Tu Su thought of a momentary tremor in his gaze looking over here, and then looked at the sword fall, silently for a long time, then said, then the master does the senior sisters. Do you like them very much? Su Chen thought she was asking about petting, so he smiled and said, yes, I like them very much. After speaking, a trace of jealousy flashed in Tu Su's eyes, watching the sword fall, and there was an impulse to destroy it. Chapter, 29 Ten days later, Qing Tian Temple Lin Qing Yuan is dressed in Tsing Yi, with a snow-white duster on his arms, turning his head to the human side, junior sister Yun said that you can come back today and you can explain it to her. Su Chen asked with a wry smile, oh. Is she going out today? Lin Qing Yuan knew what he was thinking, and comforted, sister Xiao Yun showed her love to you back then, but she only made such an improper behavior if she was caught by the spell of the people of the Acacia sect. Things should have expired long ago, and you don't have to worry too much. Ten years have passed since that incident. Su Chen just asked me the usual question, but it reminded senior teacher head teacher to remind me. He was inexplicably cold behind him. Before he could speak, he felt the light wave of spirit power, which shook a piece of air outside. The light wave entered the main hall with a white light, and then slammed into Su Chen's arms. Junior brother. I'm here, I'm here, I'm flying through heavenly tribulation. Do you want me? Do you want me? A woman wearing a white robe with a bumpy figure flew over. The woman's face looked quite beautiful, but at this time she looked very enthusiastic. Su Chen flashed his expression blankly, and then reached out to pinch the back collar of the little senior sister, picked up Yin Qianhua, and asked faintly, 
sister, is your foundation still solid? Yun Qianhua has black pupils and black hair, and a snow-white dress. She looks like Su Chen, but she doesn't have the loneliness and coldness of sword repair. Sturdy and stable, there is nothing wrong with it. Junior brother, I miss you so much. I haven't seen him for hundreds of years. This person is still the same virtue as before closed-door training, rubbing his neck into Su Chen's arms, exhausting the rights of the little sister. Junior brother. You smell so good. Lin Qing Yuan couldn't stand it and coughed lightly. Before he could say what kind of body, he saw a sudden ray of light shining out of Su Chen's body. When he pressed his throat, he made a sharp turn, ah. No. Su Chen has. I only heard a bang. The snow-white shadow that just lay in Su Chen's arms was like a broken line kite or a butterfly with folded wings. It got stuck in the ground outside the main hall and smashed into more than ten meters deep. Lin Qing Yuan, Amulet Charm Su Chen didn't move his eyebrows, and the corners of his clothes didn't mess up a bit. He said, Brother Head, this is none of my business, but the spell on me has worked. Su Chen has a few amulet charms on his body, which Li Mayan and Qin Chilian brought back when they went out to practice. He didn't think too much, so he took them and took them with him. Lin Qing Yuan looked tired and said, It seems that this spell is very powerful and still effective. It doesn't matter if junior sister Xiaoyun lacks arms or legs. Don't knock down her breakthrough realm. Su Chen glanced at the door and took a sip of tea, that's for pretense. He had an impression of Yun Qianhua. In the original work, he could be said to be an unkillable Xiaoqiang. When Qin Tianzong was besieged, she was seriously injured and smashed out of the siege. The hole is a Zhao Zilong from Changbanpo. Ha! Huh. Pretend. Su Chen didn't reply, but looked at the ground in front of his feet, gently put down the tea cup, the thick bottom of the cup made a ding on the tabletop. At the same time, the floor of the originally quiet and usual main hall was torn apart, and a snow-white figure rushed forward with sword ray. Folding out thousands of brilliance in all directions, and then suddenly condensed into a snow-colored edge, and approached the door. That snow-colored sharp edge is an extremely fierce sword intent. In an instant, Su Chen released a golden sword vision on Su Chen's body and collided with the snow-colored sharp air. There was a sound of ice and snow hitting the iron from the two intersecting. This sharp sharp edge was swung back by the golden sword. In an instant the sound resounded, Yun Qianhua was swept out for more than ten meters, half kneeling in the center of the main hall. With her black hair tightly tied and her white clothes untouched, the cupped fist saluted, Thank you brother, brother, this sword intent is really tough. At this moment, the ripples on the water surface of Su Chen's teacup have just stopped, and everything is silent. This is a kind of special effect of Su Chen's immortal emperor. It has no power, but it is enough to deal with such sword intents. As for why it is shot, it is also to prevent her from continuing to annoy herself. The sword intent only appeared for a moment, then disappeared into Su Chen's hands and was incorporated into his Taoist body. At this moment, Yun Qianhua walked up and saw the mirror stone filled with spiritual qi on the sword. The sword falls. Yun Qianhua got up and approached, and suddenly asked with a cold face, Is it possible that junior brother has a Dao companion? Seeing this, Lin Qingyuan didn't want the two of them to do anything again and explained, It was given by the disciple under Su Chen's seat. Isn't this kind of mentor and apprenticeship more precious than the mutual gift of Dao companions? Yun Qianhua's expression turned cloudy directly after hearing the words, and then said with a smile, Junior brother actually accepts apprentices. Su Chen said, Yes, there are still three. This time I went to the sect conference. Since you have come out, you can help me take care of them one or two. Yun Qianhua sat in the seats under the heads of the two of them and agreed without pressure, Okay, since it's a little brother and sister, I naturally have no objection, but it's just looking at the children. Su Chen thought about it carefully, and felt that the three Chiu Jingfeng's backgrounds were pitiful, but they were kind-hearted, talented, and diligent. They were all good children, so he nodded with deep conviction. Lin Qing Yuan on the side took a sip of tea, and said lightly, it's just that the three children fighting with Qi Shan are nothing. Yun Qianhua's complexion became stiff, what is it? 
Su Chen just wanted to explain that it was pointing, when he heard the senior brother on the side say quietly, If you go, you may also be cut. Yun Qianhua. She had a strange feeling at this time, did she do a very important life choice question wrong this time? It was the night, Su Chen and the three own disciples talked about their going out. All three of them looked reluctant, and obviously they were reluctant to leave Su Chen. Li Mayan seemed to think of something suddenly at this time, and then stood up with a smile on his face. She said to Su Chen, Master, let me go with you. You also need someone by your side to serve you. Otherwise, the dignified Uncle Qing Tian will go out and you won't be able to watch it. Right? Su Chen heard the words and touched her chin. What she said seemed to make sense. After all, there seemed to be something wrong with her alone. It would be better to bring a disciple, and it would be considered a pomp. Well, Mu Yen, what you said makes sense, then you can go with me. Su Chen decided it all at once. After all, Li Mayan had done his own daily life, and he was indeed the person who knew his habits best. Qin Chilian and Tu Su finally reacted at this time, Li Mayan, a little bitch, dared to sneak away. Master, I want to go too. The two said to Su Chen together. Naughty, if I took you all out this time, people thought that Xiu Jingfeng was very domineering in sect. Su Chen directly rejected the two's request, and then settled the matter. Li Mayan glanced at the two of them very proudly, which made them tickled with hatred, and wondered whether the two would join forces and directly beat her up. But Li Mayan didn't give them a chance. He thought Su Chen's package and salute as an excuse and ran into Su Chen's room. This behavior made them jealous to the point of explosion. Qin Chilian and Tu Su looked at each other at this time, and an alliance directly achieved it, and the goal of the next stage was to combat Li Mayan's arrogance. Chapter 30, From Now On, It's Li Mayan's Round Three days later, Qiu Jingfeng was under the mountain. On the third day of Yun Qianhua's return to the Great Sky School, her junior brother Su Chen was going to attend the five sect conferences, and she, with the mission of taking care of the children, came to Qiu Jingfeng. At this time, Qiu Jingfeng was drizzling, and there was a beautiful atmosphere everywhere, and there was no way that Qiu Jingfeng had been cut off. Standing on the peak of Qingjing Cliff, Yun Qianhua took a deep breath of air, feeling that it was not as terrible as senior brother head teacher said, it turns out that senior brother head teacher is joking, there is no such exaggeration. Just when she was going to take care of the younger brother's disciples and make a good relationship with them, she was able to use this as an excuse to come to the younger brother every day. At that time, we will be able to make the relationship between the younger brother and own go a long way. While she was still immersed in own imagination, the rock under her feet suddenly trembled. Yun Qianhua was shocked, what's the situation? Is there an earthquake? In the blink of an eye, a red light flashed, and a boulder on Qujingfeng Mountain was chopped off by Sword Qi, and it fell down all at once. Fuck! These kids are really cutting the mountain. She rolled down with the shaved boulder, and barely strengthened into a sword ray in mid-air to stabilize her figure. But before she could stand firmly in the valley, she looked up and saw a fox girl entangled in monster chi holding a long sword, blocking the flame that cut the mountain peak under the sword, and then it became even more evil. Laugh. Your three-legged cat's kung fu is not enough to teach me. Sister, sister. Tu Su made the word senior sister clear, and paused for a moment. It sounded malicious, even with a hint of arrogance. Advice? The other person was dressed in red, with violent aura lingering. On the sword body of the red sword, there seemed to be faint flashes of fire, and then he said fiercely, You are not worthy of my advice. While Monster Chi is raging, while the flames are raging to the sky, it stands to reason that someone in the Sky High School should have noticed this kind of battle. But I don't know who has arranged what spells around, and the sound of it can't be heard. This caused Yun Qianhua to see the scene before his eyes. She hadn't reacted yet. She looked at it for a while with a blank face, and reached out her hand to wipe the dust off her body. She hadn't fully realized what was going on in her mind. Then I saw the girl in the red dress turning her head, her red eyes looked like a whirlpool, staring straight at her. On the other side, the lowly girl followed her gaze. 
The eyes of the two condensed strangely on Yun Qianhua's body, and the confrontation between the two in front of them suddenly ended. What do you want to do? Tu Su suddenly said to Qin Chulian. Qin Chulian withdrew his gaze indifferently, in order to avoid being blamed by the master, we can only kill. Tu Su touched his chin and rubbed it for a while, it's not so good, what do you say, master, come back, wash your memory. Qin Chulian frowned in disgust, then you come. Well, let's go together. Tu Su waved, and the two rushed towards Yun Qianhua at the same time. Yun Qianhua hurriedly set up a long sword to fend off the attack of the two. Judging from the attack power of the two, it is not like the cultivation base of the gold core period and the foundation building period. She was roaring in her heart at this moment, little junior brother, what kind of apprentices have you accepted? The five sects will be held in the next fifty years. After all, they are the champions of cultivation world. The five sects must be consistent. For some major issues that must be reformulated, decisions must be made in such meetings. The five sect conferences are generally held at the gates of the five sects. This time it was chosen to be held at Tianjinmen. The Heavenly Sword Gate is a pure sword repair sect, specializing in cultivating sword immortal characters. Therefore, the attack power of the disciples under the sect is extremely powerful, and it can be described as the existence of the top attack power among the five sects. As a sword repairman, Su Chen is very interested in the Heavenly Sword Gate and hopes to get some from it. The dog system gives the own option, and most of them are not improving the own cultivation base, so compared with the own disciples, the progress of the own cultivation base is slow enough. If you can find a little opportunity in the Heavenly Sword Gate, and can improve by one or two, you can be considered to have a certain degree of self-protection. On the day of departure, Su Chen brought his own disciple Li Mayan to sect. Today Su Chen wore a moon-white robe. A blue silk is tied behind his back by a hair band, a long sword is carried behind him, and a warm Taoist rhyme surrounds his body. Today's Su Chen is just like a sword fairy costume, looks extremely chic and handsome. A group of female disciples screamed secretly. And standing beside him was a young girl, wearing a green hairpin skirt with a scarf around her neck, blocking her neck, her face looked unparalleled, and attracted the attention of many male disciples. This girl is Su Chen's second disciple, Li Mayan. Because this time I was going out to do errands, which represented the image of Sky High School, it was a bit wrong for Li Mayan to wear a mask to show others. Therefore, at the request of Su Chen, Li Mayan rarely wore more delicate clothes. Here, there are several disciples waiting here early, the one-headed is Lin Qingyuan's eldest disciple, Chen Qinglu, who has been with Su Chen. Chen Qinglu saw Su Chen coming over, and said to him, Little master, this time my master asked me to use the Tingyun boat to send you to the heavenly sword gate. The Tingyun boat is shaped like a white cloud and rises in the wind. It is a snow-colored giant boat that can travel thousands of miles a day, and it is a transportation tool that the big sect can afford. After Su Chen smiled, he said to Chen Qing Lu, he he, brother head teacher is interested, well, let's go. Everyone boarded the Ting Yun boat. Chen Qing Lu glanced at Li Mayan, feeling a little strange, so he said, this junior sister is? Ha, huh, Qing Lu, you are really forgetful. This is the Mu Yen we rescued in Qianyang town. Su Chen said with a smile. Oh. It's really the 18th change of women. Junior sister Mu Yen is so beautiful. Chen Qing Lu recalled the girl who was bullied by the townsfolk at the time, and it was so different from the beautiful and unparalleled girl in front of her. Li Mayan and Chen Qing Lu met with a gift, but did not say too much, but kept their eyes on Su Chen. Must. Be sure to take advantage of this opportunity to be alone. Master, you are mine. From now on, it's Li Mayan's round of raiders Su Chen. Chapter, 30 Su Chen boarded the Tingyun boat under the leadership of Chen Qingyuan. After all, it was on behalf of the Great Sky School to attend the conference. It should not be too shabby and low-key. Before Lin Qingyuan left, he specially asked Chen Qingyuan to prepare for the trip. Applicability 
including 20 elite disciples and five Tingyin boats, Su Chen is the largest one, and the rest of the Tingyin boats are escorted around to escort them. The Heavenly Sword Gate is on the sea east of Zhongzhou, so it needs to pass through the East China Sea. The demonic beasts of the East China Sea are notoriously brutal. Although they have confidence in Su Chen's strength, they need some guarding power after all. Ten Jianzhao started. In the cabin of Ten Jianzhao, Su Chen read the scroll in his hand again. This was given to him by Lin Qingyuan before he left. Some details and precautions about the sect conference. After all, he is one of the giants of cultivation world for many years, and he has a very thorough understanding of the situation of the entire cultivation world. Today, the five sects all have their own characteristics. Among them, the Supreme Sect has always been known for its strongest overall combat power and chivalrous heart. Heavenly Sword Gate has the strongest attack power with sword repair, and it shocks the world. The Hundred Flowers Sect is because they are all female cultivators, and they are extremely beautiful in the world. The King of Medicine is admired by the world for its medical skills and poison. The last one is Luoshenzong, this sect has amazed the entire cultivation world with its unparalleled formation. Su Chen read the information of the other four sects several times, closed his eyes and considered it in his mind for a while, and then heard a familiar sound of footsteps. It was so familiar, he didn't need to start his eyes at all, he knew that Li Mayan was here. There was a sound of tea pattering by the hand, the breath of Linglu mixed with the light tea fragrance spread, and it came into the palm of his hand with warmth. Su Chen opened his eyes and saw that she was delivering the teacup to On. He felt that it would be great to bring such a careful apprentice. He took a sip of tea slowly and said, What are they doing, Qin Lu? After Su Chen drank the tea, a drop of tea dripped from the corner of his mouth, and then it passed through Su Chen's apple and fell on the skin in the clothes. This scene, coupled with Su Chen's unparalleled beauty, directly caused Li Mayan to swallow unconsciously. The blood-red eyes stared at him, and he forcibly endured the urge to rush forward and do something to deceive the master and destroy the ancestor. Li Mayan said in a calm tone, When I just flew over the sea, I met a few demonic beasts on the bottom of the sea. They were escorting the Tingyun boat below. Su Chen nodded, and said to him, Mu Yan, you have worked so hard in cultivation over the years, and sometimes you need to relax. Su Chen said that, wanting to comfort her as usual, only to realize that the other party was already so tall. After all, five years have passed, and the eighteenth woman has changed. But he just stretched out his hand and stopped in the air, and when he couldn't touch the other party to take it back, Li Mayan grabbed his wrist. As a sword repairman with the body of Heavenly Demon, her fingers have always been slender and symmetrical, thin and powerful. And this hand that holds the black cloud sword all the year round, at this moment, clasped the pale fingers of the master, and she felt a little afraid to hold it tightly. This thought only appeared for a moment, and Li Mayan then remembered that Su Chen is an unfathomable figure. Legend has it that he has reached the realm of transformation. He will never be like a piece of fragile porcelain, so he can easily be made by himself. Pain Su Chen's skin felt like a cold jade, and Li Mayan held it in his palm, but there seemed to be something burning. Originally, her heartbeat, which was steady all the time, followed the pulse of her wrist for a moment. Li Mayan slowly let go of Master's hand and whispered, Does Master need the disciple to do anything? Su Chen stretched his waist and said, Hee hee, it's okay, but I want to sleep a little bit. You can help me maintain the stability of the Tenjianzhao. At this time, Su Chen's lazy posture and low tone of voice blew through Li Mayan's heart like a breeze, making her only feel that she had an impulse again, wanting to do some Jockey Mizu's actions. Master, don't do this. I really can't help it anymore. She took a deep breath, suppressed the impulse, and then hurriedly said, Yes, Master, I will go outside to stabilize Tenjianzhao. There was something wrong with this voice. For Li Mayan's usual temperament, this sentence was a bit hasty. Together with her walking out, it was a little messy. Su Chen was holding a teacup in his other hand, and the two apprentices who had always been considered in front of him turned around and got out of the cabin. He looked at On's wrist with a little puzzlement, and then at the back of Li Mayan's leaving. What's the matter? Su Chen didn't think about it for a long time. 
After a while, he rubbed the teacup while thinking that this might be the case. Isn't it because the apprentice grows up and doesn't like the master to touch his head to comfort him? Su Chen shook his head, feeling a little sleepy, and fell asleep on the couch. At this time, Li Mayan came out of the cabin, leaning on the door, panting heavily, her face flushed at this time, she kept swallowing, her body temperature was ascending, and the whole figure seemed to be on fire. It's dying, master, don't do this, I really almost can't help it. At this time, on the other Tingyin boats, Chen Qing Lu and others were struggling to resist the attack of the demonic beasts on the seabed. These demonic beasts are extremely hostile to the cultivators, and some of them are in the gold core period, and the leader is a demonic beasts in the nascent soul period. Chen Qing Yuan is now just the cultivation base of the gold core middle stage. Under such an offensive, some can't bear it. At this time, he is hesitating whether to call out the junior uncle. At this moment, a figure came next to him, and Chen Qing Lu glanced at him and said, Sister Mu Yan, why did you come out? Li Mayan raised her hand at this time, and a black mask appeared on her face, revealing only the scarlet light of her left eye. She held a dark long sword in her hand, which was the black cloud sword. My master is sleeping peacefully, let me come out to stabilize the Tenjianzhao. Li Mayan has recovered from the indifference of the past. At this moment, she is the frightened female murderer of the Qingtianzong disciple. Junior sister, the leading demon clan seems to be the cultivation base of nascent soul early stage. I'm afraid we can't figure it out. Shall we let the little uncle come out? Chen Qing Lu said tentatively. After all, Li Mayan said to him, I said, my master is sleeping peacefully. Don't be disturbed. I will kill whoever disturbs him. At this time, the magic power on Li Mayan's body was released, and the fluctuation seemed to be the cultivation base of the gold core early stage. Even if it was the body of heavenly demon, the cultivation speed was too fast. Originally, at the peak of the foundation building, you could leapfrog and defeat the cultivators of the gold core stage. Now that the gold core is in the early stage, her combat power may be able to meet the nascent soul stage early, right? When Chen Qing Lu heard these words, she was shrunk by the murderous intent released from her, and then said, Then junior sister, what can I do about the danger in front of me? Li Mayan pulled out the black cloud sword at this time, and then the whole body of the magic cloud spread out, and the East China Sea immediately obscured the sky. You hold Ten Jian's how, I will solve these beasts. After finishing speaking, she jumped directly. Several sea clan demonic beasts rushed towards her. Li Mayan didn't even look at her. With a trembling of the sword's edge, a black sword chi shot out, directly slitting the head of demonic beasts, and smashing the monster inside. Core is revealed. At this moment, Li Mayan moved his hand and the two demonic beasts' monster cores spun out of thin air and flew into her hands. Then they tossed the monster core a few times, and then threw them into her mouth like eating jelly beans. It was crunched. Well, it's pretty useful. Li Mayan rushed towards the demonic beasts of the nascent soul early stage, and said coldly, I ask you, how much is one thousand to seven? A group of demonic beasts were stunned by the question. What do you mean? Think we don't know how to count? Before they could react, Li Mayan rushed towards them with a black sword in his hand. Suddenly, murderous intent on the surface of the East China Sea, Blood stained the ocean surface, and a young girl in the demonic beasts group continued to rush and kill. Chapter 31 Su Chen stayed asleep for half a day. When he woke up, he found that Li Mayan was sitting next to him, looking at him with gentle eyes, and the sense of dependence in those eyes seemed to overflow. He he, I slept long enough this time, Mu Yan, where are we? Su Chen reached out and touched her hair. Li Mayan narrowed his eyes at this time, seeming to enjoy Su Chen's movements very much, and then said with a smile, Brother Qin Lu said, in ten minutes, he will be at the heavenly sword gate. Okay, then let's get ready and go out. Su Chen tidied his own clothes and walked out with Li Mayan. When they went out, Ten Jianzhao had already arrived in front of the mountain gate of Tianjinmen. This time, the battle of the Great Sky School was indeed bigger, and the twenty flying boats were very eye-catching. When Ten Jianzhao arrived at the Heavenly Sword Gate, it almost attracted everyone's attention. 
Although the young talents of King Tianzong made people feel very good, more attention was put on the Tianjianzhao that finally landed. Among the many sights, the curtain in front of the Tingyun boat swung to one side without wind, and a slender figure as a bamboo appeared from it. Su Chen's clothes are snow white, not stained with fine dust, long hair tied up by a silver crown, star eyes, and sword eyebrows. Thin lips slightly reddish, elegant and distant, and his whole body exudes a cold and lonely air, with a hint of sword repair for a thousand years. Feel. This is in line with his reputation outside, and he is an extremely handsome sword repairman. Many people held their breath and did not dare to be disturbed, especially some female disciples, almost irresistibly developing some admiration and admiration. There were a lot of female cultivators present, because Hundred Flower Sect was not far from the Heavenly Sword Gate. So the disciples under the sect were all here to see the grand occasion of the sect conference, and the head teacher of Hundred Flower Sect never stopped. There is no shortage of hot and straightforward people in the Hundred Flower Sect. A glamorous female cultivator in a red dress and a sword saw Su Chen's heart sprouting, and immediately asked, Su Chen has no companion for dual cultivation, is it his? Is the vision too high, or is there any other reason? The companion on the side pushed her and said with a smile, I guess you have no chance. If you don't believe me, you might not even be able to compare with the disciple under him. The red sister was quite unconvinced, and was about to refute, and then saw a girl in a green hairpin dress walking up to Su Chen. She whispered something in her ear, her face was very beautiful, and she was smiling like a flower at this time, and her face made people fascinated by it. Seeing this, the lady in red couldn't help but feel a sense of inferiority. Some of the male cultivators on the side looked dumbfounded. These women with extraordinary temperament not only looked unparalleled, but also had that healing smile. They could hardly wish to hold them in their arms for a while. Fuck. Who is this young girl? This temperament is really amazing. Is this the disciple of the legendary real person Su Chen? But according to rumors, isn't the disciple of real person Su Chen two female murderers? Little sister, come here, come to big brother. Does the real Su Chen really accept his disciples by looking at his face? In front of Li Mayan, all the female cultivators of the Hundred Flower sect felt that they were immediately beaten down, and they had no chance of winning. Many other sect male cultivators are already thinking about finding a chance to get to know him later, and see if it is possible to kiss Fangza. Just when the whole scene was very chaotic, a female cultivator with a long sword flew over and said to Su Chen, Elder Lu Ru, the Heavenly Sword Gate, has seen real Su Chen. Today, I will guide the real person. It turned out to be Lu fellow Daoist, thanks a lot, let's go. Su Chen didn't like such a noisy atmosphere, and he just heard the voice of some male cultivators, he instinctively didn't want Li Mayan to contact them. Ding! It is detected that there is a pig who wants to pick up your cabbage. As a master, this is unbearable. Turn on the option. What? What kind of thing, let the own apprentice to talk about the object, and you will reward me with the best magical item. This seems very reasonable. No, what is the killing stick? Do you want to summon me to kill me? You silly system, why has the system been critical to the host? Um. The second option seems very strange, what is tea art? Are you suggesting that I am a green tea bitch? Dog days system. Daddy just won't let you hit me, daddy just wants to be green tea, otherwise you bite me. Apprentice, don't have to contact those people later, I'm not happy. Su Chen said lightly to Li Mayan. When Li Mayan heard the words of master, he suddenly felt sweet and smiled. The smile was like a hundred flowers in full bloom, making the male cultivators around him feel intoxicated. I see, master. Mission completed, T Art 1. Su Chen felt like he had made the right option at this time, but he had lost his life. He was a good green tea. Real Su Chen, let's go, the other sect representatives have already arrived. Lu Ruji reminded. Okay, Mu Yan, you are here to wait for me, I will go in and have a meeting. Su Chen asked her to stay, after all, it was inappropriate for her to go in for the occasion. Okay, master, I'm here to wait for you to come out. Li Mayan stood aside obediently and watched Su Chen walk into the mountain gate. 
When Su Chen walked out of her sight, the smile at the corner of her mouth disappeared. At this time, a true disciple of the Heavenly Sword sect walked up. He claimed to be the proud boy of the Heavenly Sword sect with a handsome face, so he walked in front of Li Mayan very confidently. This junior high school sister, I am Gao He, a true disciple of the Heavenly Sword sect. If you are fine now, why don't you come with me for a cup of tea? Gao He looked at Li Mayan expectantly, but at this time, Li Mayan said with a cold face, My master will not let me talk to strangers. Junior sister, don't want to see outsiders like this, come, come and have a cup of tea with me, your master will not blame it. Gao He stretched out his hand and wanted to pull Li Mayan's hand. Fuck. Li Mayan gave a cry, and then waved it out, and Gao He flew out like a kite with a broken line, then slammed heavily on a wall and passed out into a coma. That looks, how miserable and miserable, this is directly seriously injured and dying. Hiss. The male cultivator present all took a deep breath, fucking, this woman can't afford to offend, and she will beat people to death as soon as she makes a move. How about the gentleness just now? Did you learn to change face? Li Mayan was condescending, and glanced at the male cultivators present. The strong aura, the male cultivators evaded one after another, and no one dared to go up and talk to each other. This woman can't afford it. Don't get close. This is the first cognition of the Tianjinmen people. Su Chen came to the main hall of the palace gate of the Heavenly Sword Gate and saw a man in a black robe waiting here, and smiled slightly. This person is the head teacher of Tianjinmen, and his name is Tong Bugui. He is a powerful cultivator of the same level as Lin Qingyuan. Tong Bugui had visited Lin Qingyuan in the Great Heaven sect. He met Su Chen at the time, and the two of them had some friendship. I've been waiting for a long time. Tong Bugui cupped hands said, Su Chen can come, but it really makes my heavenly sword gate shine. Su Chen glanced at Tong Bugui, who is the leader of a sect, and said, Tong head teacher is serious. I am here for the first time at Tianjin Gate. If there is something wrong, I also asked Tong head teacher Hai Han. Tong Bugui smiled and said, He he, Su Chen is really serious, please come in, the representatives of all sects have basically arrived. Su Chen stepped into the Great Hall and found that there was a round table in the Great Hall. Three people were already sitting before the round table. They were the representatives of the other three sects. The white-haired young man sitting in the middle is Yao Wan Jun, head teacher of the King of Medicine. On his left hand is a beautiful woman wearing an aqua blue dress. She is Huaying, the deputy sect leader of the Hundred Flower Sect. On his right hand is a handsome man dressed in a Confucian shirt. This man is the great elder Wenjing image of Luo Shenzong. These people are all leaders of Zhongzhou, and they are all overlords who can start a sect. Tong Bugui led Su Chen to sit down, and then said to him, This is the real Su Chen of the Great Sky School. Now the five sects are all here, then the sect conference, let's start. Chapter, 32 As the host of this meeting, Tong Bugui naturally assumed the responsibility of presiding over this meeting. So he first began to say, You are all the leaders of the five sects, that is, the overlord of cultivation world, so I won't say more polite words, and go straight to the topic. When Jingxiang first said, Tong fellow Daoist, you are the host of the meeting this time, so all the topics should be initiated by you. This has been the practice for hundreds of years. Please speak directly. Other people agreed, and nodded to see if the child would return. Tong Bugui nodded and said, well, since fellow Taoists don't want to make a mistake, then I will just talk about this topic. There are two more urgent topics about the recovery of the demon world. The revival of the devil Dom, is this alarmist? After all, the entire cultivation world worked together to slaughter almost all the demon race. The Lord of the Rings was also broken into a broken space. The demon race can still be revived. This is simply unbelievable. Bai Wazang Huaying said. Yes, boy brother, can you be sure that your news is really accurate? After all, after so many years, I have never heard of the news that Mozu re-entered cultivation world. Yao Wanjun, head teacher of the King of Medicine, said. I dare to guarantee this matter with my life. It is absolutely true. 
This is still ten years ago when my address was stationed at the border between the demon world and cultivation world. At that time, I already felt the abnormal fluctuations in the demon realm, and then a few demon people flew out of it by accident. We did not stop them, but conducted close monitoring. That said, the war between the human race and the demons might start again in the future, so I don't know what the boy brother thinks about this matter, or what he wants us to do. Wen Jingxiang said. Although it is still too early to say whether the war between humans and demons will break out again, everyone knows that if the demons really recover, and they are plotting cultivation world here. This is really a disaster for us, so what I want to suggest to you today is that we should prepare early, or prevent the slightest failure. Tong Bugui said calmly. At this time, Su Chen thought of Li Mayan, the second disciple of On, to consider what kind of status he would be in under such circumstances. After all, she is the reincarnation of the ancient heavenly demon, and she is considered a high-ranking person among the demons. If she is really welcomed back to the demons, it is normal to become a demon king. From the very beginning, Su Chen fellow Daoist has been silent. I don't know what to think of this matter. Tong Bugue knew his opinion, which represented the opinion of the entire Qingtian Zong. The supreme sect is considered to be a pivotal existence among the five sects, not only because their comprehensive strength is the strongest, but also because of the awe-inspiring righteousness of their own sect. Many years ago, Optimus was the mainstay role and existence in the battle between humans and demons. It can be said that the last battle between humans and monsters was able to win, and Qing Tian took at least half of the credit. After all, in that battle, their sect lost more than half of Elder. But they had no fear in the war. They went on to protect the cultivation world at the expense of their own lives. This is why the Great Heaven sect was able to achieve a heavyweight status among the five sects. Su Chen looked at everyone and said, Dear fellow Daoist, I am a member of Cultivation World. Naturally, I can't stand by and watch such a big event as the battle between humans and demons. Therefore, I agree with the plan of the Heavenly Sword Gate. Sending elite disciples to cooperate with their actions in the future is already the behavior of the demon race. If necessary, I will send an army to destroy them. When everyone heard the words, they all cast their admiring eyes, thinking in their hearts that they really deserve to be the best peak master of the Qingtian Zong generation, and such courage is also rare. It's no wonder that Lin Qingyuan was able to reject all opinions and train him as the successor of the head teacher in the future. Well, since Su Chen fellow Daoist has already stated this, then I also agree to this surveillance operation of the demon race on behalf of Luo Tianzong, and will definitely send people to support it. The Hundred Flowers sect and the Medicine King sect also expressed the same opinion. Tong Bugue looked at Su Chen with a deep look, and he was indeed the leading figure in the heavenly sect. Although I don't know everyone here, but my own words have pushed the whole scene to be true. It is worthy of a generation of outstanding people. Then after this matter is settled, I will send a specific plan to your various schools and implement it accordingly. If you have any opinions, you can send someone to discuss this matter. It was finalized. Everyone also said that they had no opinion, and at this time Su Chen asked, before the boy said there were two things, what is the other one? Everyone's nerves at this time are a bit solemn, after all, the first thing is a major event involving human devil war, then the other thing should not be as easy as it is. Hee <laughs> hee, you fellow Daoists don't want to be so serious. The second thing is that you don't need to look like this. This is a good thing for us. Do you remember that we said that we would hold a meeting every 100 years? The Wanxian conference is used to hone the disciples under the sect. Tong Bugui said with a smile to everyone. Hearing the Wanxian conference, Su Chen's heart was stunned. Because he was too sensitive to this incident, in the game, after Su Chen was attacked in this conference, five disciples fled one after another, which kicked off the final battle of the five emperors. Although he has brought the three disciples into his sect and has greatly improved, the relationship with them is not as evil as Su Chen in the plot of the abuser. However, there are so many things that can happen at this point in the storyline, and Su Chen has to take it very seriously. It is absolutely impossible to restore the original plot line. I want heaven to find to change my life. Everyone said they remembered at this time, 
and when Jingxiang asked, so what does this matter have to do with the previous war between humans and demons? In order to better cope with the battle that may arise in the future, we can use this Wanxian conference to select elite children from disciples who are less than 100 years old for training, and let them become the backbone of the future war. Everyone nodded when they heard the words, but it seemed that heavenly sword sex consideration was very thorough. Then this Wanxian conference is more important than the previous ones. Everyone agreed to hold the 10,000 immortal conference at Tianjinmen, and all discussions were over. Tong Bugue invited everyone to stay overnight and hosted a banquet in front of the mountain gate tonight to contact the feelings of the five sects. Everyone agreed that only Su Chen's eyebrows had a trace of worry, but he concealed it well and did not let others see it. Chapter 33 That night, a grand banquet was held in the Great Hall of Tianjinmen to warmly celebrate the successful holding of the sect conference. Before Su Chen took Li Mayan to the Great Hall, Li Mayan frowned. She really didn't like this noisy environment, especially the eyes of the men who looked at them. It made her want to kill them all. Impulse Su Chen saw her frowning expression, so he said, Hee hee, compared to our Chiu Jingfeng, is it too lively here? It's normal if you are not used to it. You will get used to it if you participate a few more times. Li Mayan secretly said in his heart, I don't want to participate in this, it is best to be alone with the master. But she didn't dare to say this, so she changed the subject and said, Master, someone has come out to meet us. Su Chen didn't have such sensitive nerves, and the subject was changed in an instant. He turned around naturally, looked at the door of the great hall of the heavenly sword gate, and saw a man in a gorgeous Taoist robe waiting here. Su Chen fellow Taoist, I have been waiting for a long time. Tong Bugui cupped hand said, Is this your lover? If there was a point in his tone, Su Mayan could instinctively feel a slight threat, but there was no escape at all. Instead, the scarlet eyes released a terrifying breath like a beast. Tong fellow Daoist, my disciple is more afraid of life, please don't keep staring at it. Su Chen's voice was a little low, with a hint of warning. Before becoming a head teacher, this Tong Bugue was known for his harsh and decisive methods in cultivation world. Once the person he targeted, there was absolutely no reason to survive. At this time, he instinctively felt that Li Mayan had a breath different from ordinary people, and wanted to find out, but at this time Su Chen's warning tone stopped this idea. Tong Bugue didn't dare to offend Su Chen easily. He glanced over at the apprentice next to him, and couldn't help but muttered, I'm still young, but I just look at the fierce. How did this raise him? How can a gentle person raise a carnivorous beast? Naturally, he didn't say this to his face, but took Su Chen into the seat, and by the way, he took a good look at his apprentice. Tong Bugue's gaze shifted down and looked at Li Mayan. At this time, she was smiling like a flower in front of Su Chen, and her complexion was like jade, just like a young girl who had just begun to love her. Just when such an idea emerged in his mind, he saw Li Mayan turn his eyes and gave him a smile. At that moment, he only felt that the girl in front of him was like a whole plant with poisonous flowers, under the most harmless and most beautiful appearance, full of sickly fatal feelings. Tong Bugue was half observing, making his scalp explode at this glance. Just when he wanted to remind Su Chen, he saw this piranha flower approaching Su Chen's side and let his master touch his hair. As obedient as a kitten. Tong Bugue was stunned, with only one thought in his heart. What the hell is this? The peculiar sense of threat flashed past in the field of vision as if it were an illusion. Tong Bugue blinked, and the beautiful and well-behaved girl opposite had already taken away all the strange things on her body. Tong Bugue smacked his lips, a little suspicious of his own eyes. The two entered the seat of the Great Hall, not far apart. Su Chen is only surrounded by Li Mayan, and Tong Bugue is surrounded by three heroic female disciples. It's just that if you look at the appearance, these three female disciples are not enough for Li Mayan's own appearance. As pure as Su Chen, sometimes she suddenly shakes her face because of her face. She feels that Li Mayan has magic lines on her neck, probably because God is jealous of this face. The banquet began immediately, and everyone pushed their cups and changed their cups. It was so cheerful. Su Chen drank dozens of cups with a group of representatives. 
Everyone did not use magic power to resolve it. Su Chen's face was already full of blush. Seeing this, Li Mayan leaned in very obediently and said, You still drink less, your body is important. Su Chen was already drunk at this time. He instinctively pulled his own shirt open, revealing the delicate collarbone. Li Mayan suddenly felt a dry mouth and a little red on his cheeks. Disciple, did you drink a lot, right? Your cheeks are so red. Su Chen stretched out his hand and squeezed her cheek as if it were years ago. In his eyes, Li Mayan is still the helpless little boy before. Girl. Master has never been so intimate with me for many years. It seems that after Master is drunk, there will indeed be a lot of opportunities. Thinking of this, Su Mayan couldn't help turning his head and glanced at Su Chen, vaguely seeing the moon white belt that outlines the lines on both sides of the master's snow white robe. Surrounded by a circle, embroidered with plum blossoms the waist is thin and slender. She retracted her gaze and looked at her hand, feeling a little impulsive, and wanted to hold master's waist. Just as her thoughts continued to deviate, countless cultivators have entered the palace, including almost all the disciples of the five sects. There was a fire in Li Mayan's heart at this time, and he almost wanted to drew his sword and slashed everyone in front of him. Will you die a while later? Ah. Will it die? Almost. Tong Bugue stood up at this time and said loudly to everyone, Since you are all here, I will announce one more thing before today's banquet begins. It will be the Wansien Conference in the near future. The sword goalkeeper took out a treasure as a prize. Everyone was interested in hearing this, after all, it is definitely not a simple thing to be regarded as a treasure by a character like Tong Bugue. In the eyes of the cultivators, Tong Bugue changed his words and suddenly said, Presumably all fellow Taoists have heard of the famous swordsmanship of cultivation world, right? The famous swords are all famous swords in the world. According to the situation of each famous sword, the ranking may rise and fall. This conference is fortunate to be held at the Heavenly Sword Gate. In recent years, we have obtained a magical item of the famous sword book that can be entered, which can be used as one of the rewards for the younger generation. As soon as this remark came out, there was a burst of conversation below. Famous swords that can be entered into the famous sword spectrum. Isn't it the level at the end of the ranking? What's wrong at the end of the ranking? The owner of the 99th Dragon Soul Sword, but the king of medicine king elder. Hey, is the heavenly sword gate bleeding? Dare to show this sword in front of the five sects, it must be top grade. With the ear power of Su Chen and the child, as long as they are willing, they can hear the discussion of the cultivator below clearly. The privacy of conversation among cultivators is mostly based on cultivation base realm. Su Chen took a faint sip of his wine, looked at the opposite Tong Bui and said, Can you make it into the top ten? Tong Gueyu smiled mysteriously, more than that. More than the top ten. Su Chen raised some interest and glanced over. Seeing the heavenly sword gates he elder stretched out his hand and pinched a fight, spiritual qi fluctuations surfaced in the air, with some effort to unlock the first stage restrictions, a silver long sword slowly unfolded. Chapter, 34 This sword is dark silver, with a faint grey luster, and the grip of the sword on it is carved with a pattern of hundred ghosts and night, spreading grey and dark ghost chi. Everyone was stunned, and they couldn't help thinking of a terrible thought in their hearts. The needle was dropped at the meeting place, and the needle was audible, staring at the dark evil sword with stagnant breathing. Presumably everyone has heard of the name of Zhanyin sword. He said in a loud voice, three thousand years ago, the lord of the demon realm spent heavenly tribulation and became the unique Mahayana demon cultivator among the demons. The magic treasure Sword of Destiny has also become the most precious treasure of the demons. As the name suggests, the Sword of Luck can cut away the luck of others, even the little world and the big world. The lord of the devil world in the past held the Sword of Luck and was not recognized by heavenly Tao. The body of the demons shattered a total of seven heavenly thunders. In the silent field, there seemed to be several sounds that were so nervous that they swallowed saliva. And this sword was recast after the fall of the Lord of the Demon Race, using the original Zhan Yun sword fragments, but the demon energy on it is too strong. 
This is too far away from the cultivation technique I practiced at the sword gate, so the head teacher reluctantly gave up his love and gave it to the current cultivator who performed best in the Wanxian conference afterwards. Protector He's voice was full of regret, and the cultivators below also breathed a sigh of relief seeing that there were no restrictions on the sword. If this is the real sword of luck, you only need to draw an inch of the sword, and the remaining demon cultivators under the world will be crazy, I am afraid they will rush here to take away the treasure of the demon in the first time. But even so, the sword repairmen below were already shocked by the backing of this sword, and the noise of the exchanges was utterly overwhelming. Su Chen suddenly said to Li Mayan, Mayan, your dark cloud is only a middle grade magical item. This sword seems to suit you. Why don't you work hard at the next 10,000 immortal conference? How about winning it? Is this the request that master made to me? When Li Mayan spoke, his eyelashes trembled, and the look of expectation appeared in his eyes, if I take it, master will be happy. Ding! A qualified master must know how to guide his own disciples, now turn on the option. Dog system, you want to kill me again. With this sentence, you will fry the pan directly, and come to my collapse. Do you want her to kill me with a sword on the bed? Say. Do you want to fly solo, do you want to find the next host? I just didn't follow your wishes, I chose the second one. Well, I will be very happy to be a teacher. Su Chen said with a smile, then rubbed her hair with a look of encouragement. Mission completed, T Art 1. At this time, Li Mayan looked at the Zhanyin sword, showing a fierce look. She is bound to win this sword. At this time, Tong Bugue looked at Su Chen and said, Su Chen fellow Taoist, you are a leader in swordsmanship. I don't know what you think. Do you think this sword may be ranked in the top five in the famous swordsmanship? Su Chen was stunned for a while, and then he remembered that the Su Chen in the original book was a famous sword repairman in Zhongzhou, but he didn't know much about it, so he could only follow the conversation and say, it should be possible. Tong Bugue laughed and said, you just let your disciple seize this sword in the 10,000 Immortals Conference. Is there nothing good in your private possession? Su Chen glanced at him, yes. It's just not suitable for my apprentice, I think. He spoke, and raised his eyebrows slightly, the red face sword in Tong head teacher's hands is very good. Although Tong Bugue looks very chic, but the swordsmanship he cultivates is sentimental, and his sword is the top ten beauty sword in the famous swordsmanship. He himself is also very romantic, otherwise he would not have so many beautiful female disciples around him. Tong Bugue choked with laughter, coughed a few times, almost choked himself, and then pulled Su Chen's white sleeves. He whispered, Hong Yan sword likes beautiful people, and your apprentice is indeed amazing, but this is a sword for cultivating love. You have been single for decades and have no companions, and you want to teach your disciples to cultivate love. Su Chen listened without changing his face at first, and when he heard I haven't even had a companion for decades, he thought of being alone and widowed for half his life. Not only did he have no girlfriend, but even the few cranes at the entrance of his small courtyard were all male, and his face turned dark suddenly, and he couldn't help but become colder, I love to be alone. I'm keeping you in the way. Let go. Just when Tom didn't return it and wanted to continue speaking, the hand holding Su Chen's sleeve was suddenly flicked away by a tingling pain, and he shrank his hand abruptly. Li Mayan, who was listening from the side, pulled back the snow-white sleeves, and then smiled at him. That smile makes the scalp numb inexplicably. Li Mayan's bloody eyes looked indifferent and indifferent to everything, but as long as she was interested, she would give people a feeling of my life is over except for his master. Tong Bugue's emotional experience is so rich. When he glanced at it with such a smile, his whole body was transparent, and he realized something in an instant. So while pouring wine for Su Chen, he said, it is good to guard your body like jade, but, have you heard a story? Su Chen raised his eyes to look at him, what story? Tong Bugue glanced at Lu Mayan, and watched the seemingly weak young girl lower her hand, and put half of her hand gently on Su Chen's shoulder, staring at her master's white side jaw with that look. It's like I've been hungry for a long time and want to eat it. Tong Bugue pondered his words and said, I heard that your kind of icy sword repair is the easiest to be taken away by junior, such as apprentice. Impossible, absolutely impossible. 
Su Chen said simply and neatly. He answered too decisively, not only Tong Bugue was stunned for a while, even Li Mayan felt unreasonably shaken in his heart, eager to hear the reason. In terms of the cultivation environment of the supreme sect, there will be no disciples who deceive the master and destroy the ancestor. If there is, this seat will be the first to kill him. Su Chen looked serious. Tong Bugue looked at him speechlessly, I feel that what I am talking to you shouldn't be a kind of deceiving the teacher and destroying the ancestor. Su Chen was taken aback, there is a second one. Tong Bugue glanced at Li Mayan, trying to explain, it's like, um like the Hahuan sect. His words were not exhausted, and the voice of He Hufa, who was introducing the situation of the famous swordsman, was suddenly interrupted. A sharper, resentful voice was transmitted through the amplification technique and scattered into the entire venue. He Hufa, I said this sword book is too biased. Junior heard that Su Chen's sword is made of ice and snow. Can it be called a sword weapon? Tong Gueyu's voice stopped abruptly, and his eyes turned to look down. There are two swords of Su Chen, one is the commonly used one, and the other is Xuejian Wangchen. Some people call it Xuejian directly. This sword ranks second in the famous swordsman spectrum. The blade is indeed made of ice and snow, and the chill is heavier than the spirit. Chapter, 35 The voice continued, Furthermore, Su Chen is not a real person. What kind of people are the disciples that he has received? Can both the body of heavenly demon and the waste spiritual roots cultivate? Although it looks good now, I am afraid that real person Su Chen used a panacea to force ascension's realm, right? Skyzong is ashamed to be one of the five great sects. Instead of cultivating true geniuses, you will go to ascension, which is a mess of waste physique. If you do this for the sake of fame, you are not afraid of losing too much. As soon as this statement came out, there was a low voice of conversation among the five sects underneath, and the disciples on the side of the great sky school slapped the table with anger. The leading disciple walked around and pointed at the man and cursed, dog things use gold core's sound transmission skills. Such a villain is not worthy to lift Sister Lee's shoes. The empty mouth and white teeth have to frame others, the realm piled up with panacea has never been on the table, our junior and sisters are the masters who cut the mountains in fights. It's just that, although the disciples of the Qingtian Zong were indignant, they didn't dare to act rashly because Su Chen was watching from a height. Just as the surrounding discussion echoed louder, the gold core cultivator who was among the people walked out, looking at his appearance, he was still magnificent, but he did not know his actual age, so he saluted the place where Su Chen was. He didn't know where his self-confidence came from, Junior Lu Tianqing is a disciple of Tianxingzong. Real Su Chen has been faint in recent years. He actually received such a heavenly demon body, but killed us a lot of sect a few days ago. People and Horses Tianxingzong is second only to the five major sect sects, and also has a very high status in cultivation world. This person seems to have been instructed by the own teacher to ask Qingtianzong to question the crime at the conference. He might have expected it. The great heavenly sect had not dared to commit public anger before, so he dared to come out and ask his guilt. Before he could say anything, a violent chill came, pressing down from a height, carrying the black lingbo with his head and covering his face, and the coercive pressure mixed with devilish force fixed Lu Tianqing to the ground. Everyone's breathing was stagnant, and they looked up and saw Li Mayan who was standing next to the real Su Chen floated out. She stretched out a hand, which was as white as frost, with slender knuckles, and the dark lines on her clothes faintly glowed in the sunlight, but her voice was cold and solitary, and it was chilling to the bones. Cultivating to gold core is not easy, I advise you to hesitate. She said very coldly. Su Chen glanced at Li Mayan. The two of them didn't need to communicate too much. Li Mayan understood what he meant. And in his heart, Li Mayan is always gentler. Although she is angry, she still has a sense of measure. Su Chen nodded slightly, and Li Mayan jumped into the center of the round table in the field. A black long sword was turned into his hand, and he performed a courtesy between sword repairs towards Lu Tianqing. Since you think that I killed your disciple of sect last time to have a grudge with you, today, I will give you a chance to beat me, and I will leave it at your disposal. 
At this time, Li Mayan's eyes were almost murderous. Master own, he couldn't bear to touch him. How could he let others say something bad? Okay, I will abolish you today. Lu Tianqing thought he was the cultivation base of the gold core middle stage, and he could definitely defeat Li Mayan, even he thought about how to humiliate after defeat. After speaking, he drew his sword out and killed Li Mayan, and the two immediately fought together. Su Chen said to Tong Bugue, Tong head teacher, I let my disciples come to help, don't you have any comments? At this time, Tong Bugue knew where to stop the battle. He could only look ahead, thinking that if Li Mayan was defeated, he would rush to rescue him. Don't really annoy Su Chen. Su Chen lowered his head at this time, ready to pour another glass of wine to drink. A glass of wine has not yet been filled, and the sound of the sword wind swept across, and the surrounding area that was full of noise suddenly became silent, so quiet that even a needle can be heard clearly. The opposite Tong Bugue drank a sip of wine in silence. He didn't know whether it was shocked or something else. He cautiously said, Su Chen fellow Daoist. Ha! Huh. Su Chen raised his head and looked at him. Your apprentice shattered that cultivator's gold core Tong Bugue said hesitantly. Su Chen looked at Yuan Tai with a look of surprise, what? He stunned steadily, then turned his head and glanced at the stage vaguely, and saw that his apprentice was still standing calmly on the spot. There was not even a drop of blood on the black sword in his hand, and it was as clean as it had just been unsheathed, but the cultivator named Lu Tianqing was already lying on the ground. Just when Su Chen was stunned for a while, Li Mayan had already come to the owner, and gently pulled his sleeves, and said, Sorry, master, this person offended master. I'm in a bad mood and no more hands. Severity Seeing Li Mayan with such an expression, Su Chen couldn't bear to say a heavy sentence, Well, you have a sense of measure. You should have missed it by accident. Tong Wugue, who witnessed the whole process from the side, was speechless for a while, how careless this is. This is an immortal way to ruin others. There were hundreds of cultivators present in the whole banquet, and there were hundreds of cultivators present in the whole banquet, and there were many heroes in the world participating. And just under the eyes of everyone, Lu Tianqing, who had been a gold core for many years, was swept down by Li Mayan with a sword. The gold core shattered, and realm fell to the original point, only to practice again. She was said to be cruel, but she also saved her life, but the skill of one sword to smash the same realm's gold core cultivator is really too horrible. Only the disciples of King Tian Zong were secretly refreshed and felt extremely relieved, junior sister Li's strength should have been like this. And the entire King Tian Zong avoided Chiu Jingfeng's people, not just because of the face of Uncle Su Chen. In cultivation world, Li Mayan's bone age is not very old, and he has no reputation or title, but when the disciples of the Great Sky School discuss in private, they feel that Junior Sister Li is simply a great demon king. The blood-colored eyes alone make people feel don't dare to look directly. Amidst the silence, Li Mayan in a green suit stood in place, the black sword in her hand reflected a terrifying light under the sun's rays. Then, the sword slowly dissipated in her hand and was taken in. In his gong body. For some reason, everyone was relieved. Li Mayan didn't pay attention to other people's gazes, but turned to look at Su Chen. In his eyes and heart, he was alone. When the scene was stalemate for a while, Tong Fugue's slightly low voice sounded from above, since it has proved the strength and the innocence of Su Chen and the entire King Tian Zong, then continue. Guardian he watched Li Mayan turn back to Su Chen's side, calculating the situation in his heart, and that sword himself would definitely not be able to avoid it. So I couldn't help sighing, settled, and continued the process just now. The banquet that had been interrupted unexpectedly went on again. Su Chen stretched out his hand and squeezed his eyebrows and watched Li Mayan come back. When he was about to say something, he immediately stopped talking and said in a low voice, Go back and tell you. Tong Bugue on the opposite side smiled, You disciples instructed by King Tian Zong are all hiding and tucked away. Let me say, your disciples are right, the sword has no eyes, let alone smash the gold core, it is true. What's wrong with killing him? Well, you're right, I didn't say that my disciple was wrong, I just thought it could be a little harder. Su Chen said lightly. 
Tom Bugue looked at them with a silent expression, and then said lightly, the protection of shortcomings is ancestral and mutual. Chapter, 36 The sect conference ended as scheduled, and the people of the supreme sect never made a move. However, many people are also muttering in their hearts, they are afraid that Su Chen's disciples will take action. If Li Mayan is really allowed to take action, I am afraid that the gold core of a few people will be smashed again. The schedule of the Tianjin goalkeeper and his disciples was very well taken care of. Only Su Chen was delayed for a day before leaving because he was not returning to the Taoist school. Li Mayan is the body of heavenly demon, and doesn't like to listen to their content at all. While waiting to return, she sits bored on a tree wiping a flute. She is beautiful, and the magic pattern on her neck is what she can leave, in order to remember the scene when she met Su Chen. The emerald green flute in Li Mayan's hand is transparent, and it looks just a little more refined on the surface. He wiped it while adding restrictions to it, and engraved it with first stage first stage. This is the soul-breaking flute of the ancient demon race. Its appearance can change at any time. In the legend of the demon clan, the ancestor of the demon race was a long sword transformed into the soul-breaking flute and killed seven of the tens of thousands of troops in Cultivation World. Seven in and out. This flute was given to her by Su Chen, and it was also one of the rewards of the system, which also included some sonic magical powers. Li Mayan wiped it with care, thinking of the light and clear fragrance of Master's body in his mind. When he was in a trance, a voice of walking and talking suddenly sounded not far away. Have you seen it? Real Su Chen, the one who just discussed with our head teacher. Hey, then who can't see it, it's just that our disciples from the heavenly sword gate can have such a blessing to see one of the top ten beautiful men in cultivation world from such a distance, tusk tusk. The action of wiping the bicolor flute paused, and Li Mayan shifted his gaze to look at the two women who were wearing the uniforms of the Tianjinmen disciples who approached. Looking at his cold and arrogant energy, I want to put it in the room, hey, I have to find this human cauldron when I go back. Bah, just you. I heard that when Su Chen was just practicing, there were many people who wanted to raise him. Guess what, he was beaten to the ground one by one and killed a few excessive ones. Ha ha ha, you said so if you look good, why don't you let it be touched? Obviously it is a win-win for dual cultivation. The kind of sword repair they can only practice, they just haven't tasted this. Earlier, the woman gave a wry smile, why don't you give us a pot of Mandarin Duck Spring Love Wine to our real Su Chen, who is like ice and snow. He might still pester you. Do you dare to do this? The person behind followed, I think the sword repairman who pretends to be so serious, should use some strong medicine, it is almost the same to take out the seven-day Albizia. Before she finished her words, she choked in her throat suddenly, interrupted by a sudden sound of a flute. The sound of the flute penetrated the eardrum and seemed to have been penetrating into the brain, containing an extremely terrifying sense of danger. But the two who were pierced by the flute's ears were completely unable to move and fell to the ground with a bang. Just when the two of them couldn't even scream out, and they were extremely surprised and afraid, there was a soft landing sound between the flutes. Afterwards, there was the sound of footsteps smashing leaves. After these slight noises rang, the two of them couldn't move even once, and their eyes couldn't move. The flute sound stopped. The two of them received amnesty, just remembering that when they stood up and shouted, a heavier force pressed their bodies into the ground, and there was no sound from their mouths. The person who spoke first couldn't even cry now. She felt that the back of Owen suddenly sank again, and was stepped on the ground with one foot, only to see the dark green clothes of the person in front of her. She heard a burst of seeming laughter. This boy seems to have a girlish feeling, and it has some lively and playful meaning. You guys are so bravely Mayan seem to be saying this with a smile. There was a faint murderous intent between her eyebrows and eyes, and a smile filled her eyes, my master, it is also you. Can you covet someone? The question was too loose, it didn't seem to be a question at all, it even seemed to be a joke. The woman whose spine was trampled was lying on the ground, trembling all over with severe pain, while the person next to her raised her head with all her strength and saw Li Mayan's faintly smiling face. But it was this beautiful girl who cut off a person's left hand with a sword. The blood was overflowing for a while, and the smell was scattered. 
but the person who was witnessing by the side couldn't even make a scream of fear, and could only hear this beautiful girl who was almost weak in appearance, continuing to speak in her clear voice. My master's name, my body and mind, all belong to me. She raised her lips, and the ink in her eyes was not bottoming, as for you you have polluted him. At the moment when the ending sound of this sentence fell, Li Mayan waved the blue flute in his hand, and the bodies of the two suddenly turned into dust, and even the blood on the ground evaporated, and nothing was found. The girl wiped her flute again, turned her head and looked in the direction where Su Chen had talked to Tong Fugui, and said to herself, Really, there are always some little slut coveting master, and they blame her too. Too tempting. She finished wiping, put the flute away, and went to look for her master with a smile on her face. After a while, when she came to Su Chen, the battle between the two of them just ended. Su Chen stood up and gave a simple ceremony to Tom Bugue, saying, Although there are many words to talk about, this is the end. Tom Bugue sighed, If you and I have a smooth road to ask questions in the future, and we haven't seen them for many years, it will only be a flash of fingers. Don't be so pessimistic, it's not too dangerous after all. Su Chen knew that he was worrying about the heart's demon family. Hey, nowadays cultivation world is also a lot of strange things. Not only the demons have changed, but some ghosts are starting to move around. Tong Bugue said, there is one thing that may be of interest to you. Su Chen saw that he was so solemn, so he said, what's the matter, just say it. On your way back to the Great Sky School, there is a place called Dong Hai Bay, where some ghosts have been doing evil there recently. Since you like disciples with special physique so much, why don't you go and see it? Tong Bugue said. Su Chen heard the three words Dong Hai Wan, and he was certain in his heart, as if he had thought of something, and then said, Okay, since you have spoken, I will go there and have a look. Okay, then please fellow Daoist. Cherish it. Tong Bugue said goodbye. Su Chen took Li Mayan, Tong Bugue and others to bid farewell, and then took a group of disciples Yu Jian to set foot on the way home. Chapter, 37 The East Bay, here is an important place on the coast of the East China Sea. There are more than ten small fishing villages and a population of up to 10,000 people. When Su Chen arrived here, the entire East Bay was shrouded in a black mist, and it was obvious that Ghost Chi had already been shrouded here. The coast of the East China Sea used to be the junction of the ghost world and the mortal realm. In the past, it was possible for ordinary people to draw a clean place from the place where ghost repairs were located. But now that the rules are broken for some reason, those newly born ghost repairs are often brutal and terrifying, surpassing boundaries, and ravaging the world. Chen Qing Lu stood next to Su Chen, holding the magical item Soul Bell in his hand. When the bell rang, the spirit of the ghosts around was greatly reduced. He turned his head to look at Su Chen, and said, Master, here Ghost Chi is quite rich, what shall we do next? Before he could finish his words, the long sword in Li Mayan's hand over there was already volleyed out, and wherever he went, he cut down the ghost of Ghost Chi and turned it into a clean one. Chen Qing Lu was stunned, and put away the soul bell without changing his face, rolled up his sleeves and rubbed his hands, Junior sister is mighty, I'm going to save the wounded. After that, Su Chen said to Li Mayan, You too, help, as it is to increase the actual combat experience. Yes, master. Li Mayan caught up with Chen Qing Lu, and together with Chen Qing Lu, he killed the unjust ghosts and rescued the wounded. Su Chen was lost in thought at this time, because he was too familiar with Dong Hai Bei, and it was where his fourth disciple Nye Qian Yun appeared in the plot. Yes, in the plot, Su Chen's four disciples are ghost cultivators, and they are also the reincarnations of ancient ghost emperors. When Su Chen stood in the East Bay and recovered the long sword that smoothed Ghost Qi, divine sense swept away and suddenly found a strange place. The Ghost Qi scattered all around, only the invisible flesh tangled in the center of the ghost city, still cold and gloomy. Su Chen held the sword forward, feeling that this irregular body resembled the guardian boss he used to play games on the earth. The ghost flesh group wriggled for a while, and it was a bit ugly. Su Chen stretched out his hand, pinched a clean and threw it over, without responding, he directly split the surface of the flesh with a horizontal sword. 
The surrounding flesh and blood poured for a while, and the cut flesh was wrapped in a curled figure. The figure is like an ordinary girl, seemingly without self-consciousness. Su Chen took a first look and felt that this might be his fourth disciple who was swallowed by the body of this grievance, and he stretched out his hand to pull the figure out. With this sudden pull, all the flesh and blood surrounding this body separated, and the body with residual temperature poured into his arms, as if he had just regained consciousness, and suddenly hugged her. This is a hug with a little nascent feeling. Nye Qianyun struggling to open her own eyes, she didn't expect that she would wake up like this. In the touch of her for thousands of years, there has always been only coldness and darkness. But now, she is hugged by someone who exudes fragrance and is full of delicious feelings. She couldn't help her Adam's apple rolling, and her eyes opened slightly to see the dazzling whiteness. The endless pain of recasting the body is slowly diminishing, and this embrace is light and stable, exuding a rich fragrance. Nye Qianyun felt that her own tooth was itching secretly, her current state was extremely weak, and her consciousness was not particularly clear. As a ghost, she instinctively wanted to bite the person in front of her, lick his seductive soul, and turn the other person into a part of her own. She thought so, and did the same. The moment Su Chen hugged her, a system prompt sounded in his mind, confirming that the woman in front of him was the fourth disciple of On. As soon as he touched the opponent's wrist to explore the age of his bones, he was bitten by the child. This time, the teeth bit on the collarbone, and I felt a little blood coming out. This bone age is only 17 or 18 years old. Unexpectedly, this woman was covered in ghost chi, and she was quite biting. Su Chen hissed softly and didn't throw the person away. Instead, he reached out and patted her on the back and said, Don't be afraid, I'm here to save you. You are safe. The body of the person in his arms stiffened, as if he hadn't expected Su Chen's words. Su Chen thought he was scared, and patiently continued to comfort him, by my side, you are safe now. Nye Qianyun's movement stopped, her body was full of evil spiritual qi, and her body was tattered, weak and hollow, but she was not rejected by the person in front of her, and instead spoke softly and comfortingly. This was a unique situation for Nye Qianyun. She was taken aback for a moment, and her thoughts broke apart. After biting this person, he was held tighter and firmer. What's the reason? Nye Qianyun thought, swallowing the blood in her mouth. Su Chen felt the other person's movements, are you hungry? Nye Qianyun leaned on his shoulder, her voice was slow for a moment, and then softly said, yeah. It really tasted delicious, the breath on the body was light and gentle, and the roots of the teeth that could not be restrained were itchy and swallowed into the abdomen. Su Chen stretched out his hand and stroked the bite scar, his fingertips touched the faint red cut and the tooth mark on the clavicle, healed the scar with spirit power. Nye Qianyun lay in his arms, staring at his slender fingers with a concealed, thoughtful, and slightly eager gaze. At this time, the system's voice sounded, to accept the disciple, you must give a little bit of sweetness. Now turn on the option. System. Did you know that the first option is to be a hooligan? What do you want to do? The rhythm of the second option is also very wrong, this is a restricted picture, right? I really want to smoke you, your color system. I choose two. Su Chen stretched out his finger at Nye Qianyun, a magic power cut it apart, and then whispered to him, come on. Nye Qianyun's eyes lit up, as if someone who had been hungry for a long time saw the food and took a bite. At this time, Su Chen looked at the pale woman in front of him, and couldn't help but smile and said, I didn't expect to accept the fourth disciple so quickly. It seems that the fifth disciple is not far away. Well, since all four have already been accepted, it is time to formulate a training plan after going back. They can't let them keep the sheep all the time. Su Chen thought like this, and then held Nye Qianyun's body and talked to Chen. Qing Lu they meet. Later, when Nye Qianyun recalled this day, it was quite regrettable. At first, she was the first person to eat Su Chen. Of course, she wanted to eat it in another concept. Chapter, 38 Su Chen knew that the girl who was rescued from the mass of flesh and blood in her grievances said that she was hungry, not because she was greedy for appetite. He temporarily arranged it in a private house, and Nye Qianyun was lying quietly on the bed. 
Su Chen sat outside the room, and after many fellow Taoists from other sects solved the ghost qi raging here, they all bowed to Su Chen, thanked the watchman of Qingximan, and then left. He was immersed in own memories at this time, for no other reason, because the four disciples this time were really an anomaly. In the storyline of the plot, although Nie Qianyun was a ghost repairer from the beginning, she never harmed anyone, just swallowed some wronged souls to strengthen herself. However, he did not expect that after encountering a stream of abusers, Su Chen regarded it as a fresh experimental subject and performed various operations. In such a harsh environment, Nie Qianyun's temperament changed drastically and became a true righteous evil ghost repairer. Later, after accepting the inheritance of the heavenly ghosts, he finally became a generation of ghost emperors. In the end, he made the most effort in the process of slaughtering Great Heaven Sect. Even, at the beginning, it was Nie Qianyun who captured Su Chen. During that period of time, Su Chen became a murderer Nie Qianyun who could not afford to vent his desires. After I got tired of playing with Su Chen, I just handed it over to execute the torture of thousands of swords and slashes. For Su Chen, this disciple is the most dangerous and the least easy to be controlled by him. Therefore, in order for him not to go to that ending, he must lead his disciple's character to good direction. After ten days of calming down the grievances, Chen Qin did a lot of things to soothe the wounded and purify the evil spirits. The people here set up several confession cards. In the past two days, he was worrying about the human aspirations used by these Shinto cultivators. He sighed, and said, Uncle Master, this person is a ghost cultivator, so she can lead her to the beginning. Wouldn't it be necessary to feed her with blood from time to time? Would your three disciples be willing? Su Chen said, He he, I will be willing, because I want to accept it as my fourth disciple. Chen Qing Lu glanced at him in surprise, Uncle Master, you have accepted four disciples over the years. I think everyone in cultivation world should be coveting your seat again. Su Chen looked into the room and said calmly, This is fate. Ordinary people can't enter my door. Chen Qing Lu thought of the many young talents who were eager to worship Su Chen many years ago, and thought of several of them now realm. Coupled with Qin Chilian's Qilian spiritual roots and Li Mian's realm of heavenly demon, he immediately sighed at Su Chen's vision and distraction. Does the unborn genius attract other unborn geniuses? He shook his head, as long as you accept disciples, my master must be happily unable to fall asleep overnight. It's just that you disciples, whose physiques have competed one by one, are special. I don't know that you think you are saving the dead and healing the wounded. Su Chen raised the teacup in his hand and took a sip, rubbed the teacup for a while, and said, accurately accept disciples. When the words fell, the precise apprentice object inside woke up from the body's self-repair, and there was a little movement. Su Chen stood up, walked into the room, and saw the grey girl's eyes turn around at a glance, it was the kind of chilly iron grey. Her appearance is not a very stunning type, but she is very delicate, and there is a silent but deadly feeling in her eyes, with a sense of defensiveness. Su Chen sat on the side of the bed and said calmly, Become my disciple under my sect. I will teach you how to cultivate immortals. It's really straightforward, and there is no room for turning. Before the other party responds, Su Chen added, If you don't want to cultivate immortals and ask, at most three to five years, your ghost cultivation body will turn into dust under extremely weak conditions. Nie Qianyun was shocked at this time, this person actually saw her ghost cultivation body directly, and planned to lead her into Taoism cultivation. It's really a long time to see, such a righteous Taoist would actually come to rescue a ghost repairer in this way. Nie Qianyun was very scared at this time, and said to Su Chen, Is what you said is true? Su Chen knew that Nie Qianyun still lacked trust in him, so she agreed by tacit consent, lowered her head and slid the index finger of the other hand with the thumb of her left hand, and his skin split immediately, revealing a bright red liquid. He reached for his hand and passed it to Nie Qianyun's lips, his voice softened a little, It's me who will save you, and it won't hurt you. Come on, eat. Nie Qianyun is extremely weak at this time, and the blood on Su Chen's hands is a great temptation for her, and it is also the best nourishment for replenishing the soul. 
Those iron-gray eyes moved, looking at the dazzling red spots on the cream-white skin, she licked her lips, and the temporarily weak spirits and true spirits were attracted by the fragrant fragrance in front of her. Nye Qianyun grabbed Su Chen's fingertips. She used to deal with those cultivators who claimed to be decent and decent. Of course, she was chased and killed by these Taoists, but it was the first time she was treated like this. In her impression, in the cultivation world thousands of years ago, the struggle and evil thoughts within the right way are no less than the vulgar ghost sect. There is no one like this person, who talks about the highest goodness like water, how can this person take it seriously? Nye Qianyin's tongue was pressed against the wound, and the sweetness of the other's soul could be seen from the crack. He spit out Su Chen's fingers suddenly, got up and approached him. Su Chen did not hide. Given Nye Qianyin's weakness, there is no need to be too vigilant. I'm cold. Nye Qianyun said weakly, and then Su Chen's thoughts suddenly stagnated, feeling the other party hug him. She was too insecure. After she rescued Nye Qianyun back, she never heard anything from her. In the original book, she was originally from a human race, but she was victimized by the unjust souls, and the whole family died of unfavorable lives, which made her a ghost. Su Chen sighed in his heart, thinking that if this were in a modern society with a harmonious and happy system, it would be so miserable that it would be able to make money. He was thinking the child is too miserable, so Nye Qianyun lay on his neck and took another bite. Su Chen, are you a dog? Nye Qianyun in his arms didn't say a word, opened a mouth with his fangs on the right side of his neck, and slowly licked the blood that dripped out. This is the blood in Su Chen's body. Although it has little effect on Su Chen, it is still a little painful. He frowned, feeling that he couldn't be bitten in vain. He stretched out his hand and patted Nye Qianyun, and said in a low voice, Call master, otherwise you won't be allowed to eat the long one. The naturally pointed Su Chen's slender fingers, the blood on that finger seemed to be more infatuated by Nye Qianyun. Uh, but there seems to be an ambiguity in this sentence, which sounds weird. Nye Qianyun's movements between Su Chen's neck stopped for a while, Su Chen vaguely heard her soft smile, like an illusion, the other party's expression seemed to have not changed. Perhaps the so-called love at first sight is the case. Nye Qianyun slowly moved his gaze and glanced at him. He didn't know what was thinking in his head, and it took a long time to say, Master's kindness, disciple Nye Qianyun, I can't remember it. Chapter, 39 Half a month later, the autumn quiet peak, the dark night spread, and the cold wind howled. In Su Chen's room, a few candles burned on the lampstand, the light hanging down, reflected in Su Chen's pale sleeves, and lightly swayed in Li Mian's line of sight. What's the matter? Su Chen untied the silver crown from his hair, and black hair fell down, softly tied to his shoulders. He sullen his face a little, and continued to ask, Mu Yan, at the sect conference, you broke the gold core, ruined the way to the immortal. If you leave no room for it, you will be hated by others. Li Mayan stood in front of him with a black robe. Her eyes were as red as blood, extremely faint and unpredictable, and only when they fell on Su Chen's body, could she reveal a bit of special tenderness. Master. Her voice was a little aggrieved, I can't help that person slander you. Li Mayan only said this sentence, it was enough to make Su Chen feel soft. The lights were faint, reflecting in Li Mayan's eyes. She watched Master's slender knuckles bend slightly, and suddenly a big rebellious thought popped up in her mind. These hands are suitable for holding swords, but also more suitable for being pressed on the softest bed to do things like this. The blood in her eyes became gloomy for a moment, and finally faded quickly. Li Mayan raised his eyes and saw Su Chen's slightly tangled clothes and hair, and those cold but soft eyes reflected his own figure. How can I lose my mind because of me? Strongly come forward. Although Su Chen still blamed it, his expression has calmed down. There was a book spread out beside him, and the text in it was some information about the Ten Thousand Immortal Conference. Did you really miss it? Su Chen asked, Mu Yan, don't deceive Master. Perhaps the two words deceive Hurtley Mayan's nerves. She frowned, did not say directly, but raised her hand to hold Su Chen's finger. The last time I grasped, I was on the Tingyun boat heading to the Heavenly Sword Gate. 
Even if Su Chen had a cold body temperature and placed it in his palm, he felt his heart beat hot. Su Chen didn't know why at first, but then suddenly he felt the turbid qi running around in his body this was one of the side effects of heavenly demon's body, but it hadn't happened for many years. Because of this? Su Chen found the answer. There was no thought of punishing the disciple. He hurriedly squeezed his hand and introduced a magic power into it. The physiques of the four of them are more fragile and strange than the other, and Su Chen has been mentally prepared from the beginning. When this magic power entered Li Mayan's gold core, he realized that the turbid energy in the opponent's body had accumulated to the extent that it affected meridians. He endured and endured, still glanced at Li Mayan, his tone of anger became a bit hasty. You you and your senior sister are of the same temper. No, you can bear more than Xiao Lian. What can't you tell me? You have to wait until one day when you really fall into Devil Dao with Qi deviation. Tell Master. Li Mayan's bloody eyes stared at him silently, and said in a low voice, Master, you seem to remember the other juniors even more. The jealousy of this sentence is so jealous that it can't be concealed, or it can't be concealed at all. Her heart was furious, every time the other party touched her, it seemed to have touched her deepest and most hidden place, making her feel uncomfortable, and then when she woke up, she felt bloody pain. Li Mayan squeezed his hand, the raging turbid energy in his body broke through the meridians, and even the surface of the skin on his arm was a little cracked, and blood dripped little by little. Don't I remember you? Su Chen's first reaction was this, and he directly refuted it. He had a feeling of being questioned by his apprentice, and he was dull and dull, the teacher hasn't asked you why you endured it, so you feel wrong first and feel that I am partial. The blood dripped from Li Mayan's arm and soiled Su Chen's pale sleeves. She soiled the master. Li Mayan stared at the scarlet that passed through his sleeves, and when he condensed his thoughts and raised his eyes, he suddenly said, Master. Um. When was the tea set purchased? She was referring to a set of green tea sets on the jade case on the side. Su Chen's things here are all added little by little. Once there is something that doesn't pass Li Mayan's hands, he will definitely remember it. Su Chen followed his gaze and took a look, it was sent by Tu Su. Li Mayan took a deep breath, and there was a moment of hostility rising in her bloody eyes, but she still remembered that she was in front of Su Chen, forcibly suppressing all irritable emotions, and slowly following the guidance of her master. Get rid of the raging foul air. In fact, this side effect did not materially damage Li Mayan. As long as she was willing to abolish her own Dao body, she could change to Devil Dao, but she didn't dare. How dare you, the more you experience Su Chen's few gentleness, the more you desire to have more. In fact, to a certain extent, the previous speculation of Tong Fugue is not wrong. She really wanted to encircle Su Chen in her arms, not as a human cauldron, but as a Dao companion. So even though Li Mayan was going crazy with jealousy, he slowly endured it. She stared at Su Chen's dark hair and watched a long strand of hair slip off the other party's thin shoulders. The tip of the hair circled slowly in the air. Obviously it fell into the air, but it seemed to touch the tip of her heart. What do you do with this? When Su Chen guided the breath in his body and repaired the meridians, he didn't feel so angry. He looked up and said, the set you gave before is stored in the magical item storage. Tu Su said that the set is very precious and ordinary water will damage the wall of the cup. Tu Su this dog thing. Li Mayan thought coldly in her heart, and on the surface she didn't seem to care, well, that's it. The set of natural gold that he sent is worthy of his master only in this way. But the set that Tu Su got back was not much better. A small amount of dust and dust would ruin a whole set of equipment. I don't know how the evildoer had the face to say those things. Master. Li Mayan retracted his gaze, rubbing his fingertips, in your heart, which of us is the most important? Ding. To the disciple's question, you must answer sensibly. Now turn on the option. Um. What kind of stuff, why are the two options rewards the same, is this messing with me? How do I choose? Well, it seems that the first option is more able to brush favorability, anyway, only she knows. Let's choose the first one. Su Chen touched her hair and said softly to her ear, 
don't tell me, you are the most important thing in master's heart. Task Reward, Cultivation Base Ascension to Nascent Soul Early Stage Li Mayan heard this, his eyes were hot, then tears flowed from the corners of his eyes, and he hugged Su Chen. Su Chen only said that she was moved, hugged her, and said faintly, Why are you crying? Master is here. Master, can I stay with you all night tonight? Li Mayan said softly. This sentence is almost a blatant hint, which is simply for Su Chen to do something that should be done. Su Chen saw that Li Mayan said this at this time, and after thinking about it, he said, Yes, come, I haven't preached to you for a long time as a teacher, come, let's preach all night. Li Mayan looked stunned at this time, not knowing whether Su Chen really didn't understand or pretending to be stupid. She just wanted to shout out, Master, you are a real beast. You are actually pulling a young girl all night long. Preach. Don't you want to do something else? Chapter, 40 The next morning, the small courtyard of Chiu Jingfeng. There are four sets of tables and chairs in the small courtyard today. The four disciples of Su Chen sat at the table and the atmosphere between them was rather solemn. None of these four people are waiting for leisure, except for Nye Qianyun, who has just started to learn, and the other three have been learning for a long time, and they have extremely deep grievances with each other. Second junior sister, going out with master this time must have gained a lot, right? Qin Chilian said indifferently, rubbing the hilt of the Chilian sword in his hand, but with a slight jealousy in his tone. Yeah, second senior sister, let's just talk about it quickly, did the master teach you another secret technique? Tu Su was also on the sidelines at this time, but at this time she felt a sharp hand in her hand. Dagger. The two are now in the same camp, and it seems that they have formed an alliance. Nye Qianyun on the side saw the fierce light in the eyes of the two, and couldn't help but spit out secretly, what's the matter with these two people? Isn't this ready for a long time? Guys are all ready. Li Mayan covered his mouth and said to the two of them, the elder sister and the third elder sister really bothered to worry about it. This time I went out without a big deal. That is to say, I went on the same boat with master, drank a few glasses of wine, and helped him teach a madman. I just smashed its gold core. Her words were such an understatement, but the smile at the corner of her mouth could not be hidden. At this moment, she was still thinking about what Su Chen said in her ear last night. You are the most important thing in master's heart. These words fell into her heart like honey, making her feel extremely sweet. Such a smile was simply a kind of provocation in the eyes of the other three people. Qin Chilian stood up and said to him with a smile, it seems that the second junior sister must have made some progress when going out this time, and they will be able to break gold core. Yeah, second sister, why don't we test it out, how good is your realm now? Tu Su also stood up, and surrounded Li Mayan before and after, both of them were full of magic power. Nye Qianyun on the side retreated to the side, making the appearance of sitting on the mountain and watching tigers fighting. Three elder sisters, please do it now. She was even standing aside. Li Mayan shook his hand at this time, and the long sword leaped out and said to the two of them, since the two want to test. I will accompany them, but if you lose, master's daily life for the next year the affairs are all up to me, and you must not interfere. Ha! Huh. Don't think about it. Today, if grandma doesn't beat you so full of peach blossoms, you don't know why the flowers are so red. Qin Chilian gave a sigh of relief. The red refining sword is full of extremely powerful magic power. If it is cut, even if it is a gold core cultivator, it will be severely damaged. Tu Su was also like a ghost at this time, jumping up and coming behind Li Mayan. With a wave of the folding fan in his hand, a gust of wind rushed towards Li Mayan. Just as the two attackers were attacking, Li Mayan's eyes flashed, and the magic cloud all over his body suddenly burst out, pushing the violent wind directly away, and then even more forced Qin Chilian back with a sword. With just one move, two similar realm gold core cultivators were repelled. From this, it can be seen that Li Mayan has indeed made considerable progress. Okay. The second junior sister has indeed grown, but you are not alone. Qin Chilian showed a blaze of flames all over her body at this time, and her whole body suddenly rose. 
her cultivation base had actually reached the gold core middle stage. On the side, Tu Sume laughed, and a burst of pink magic power was released from his body, and nine pink foxtails appeared behind him, and the dagger in his hand turned into a folding fan. Looking at the fluctuation of magic power on her body, her cultivation base has also reached the gold core early stage. Facing the two gold core cultivators at the same time, Li Mayan did not retreat at all. Instead, the blood-red eyeball released a bleeding red light. Then there were many magic clouds surrounding him, and the power of Heavenly Demon had been revealed at this time. Undoubtedly. Although the entire courtyard was built by runestones and was very strong, Nye Qianyun on the side was very sure that once these three people started, the courtyard would be destroyed in an instant. The fluctuations in the three of them were stronger than any gold core cultivator she had ever seen. The momentum of the three of them is constantly fighting in this small space. The faces of the three of them are very cold at the moment, and it is obvious that a big battle is about to start. Just as the aura of the three people had risen to the highest point and they were about to start their hands, a figure came behind Nye Qianyun, patted her on the shoulder, and then said to the three of them, Are these three of you huskies? Is the house going to be demolished again? As soon as these words were said, the magic power on the three of them instantly dissipated, and then put away the magical item, and then looked at Su Chen with a guilty face. The three were originally like three wild wolves about to fight a battle, but as soon as Su Chen appeared, they immediately turned into three guilty little milk dogs, looking at Su Chen pitifully. This kind of cuteness blinded Nye Qianyun's eyes and gave her a deeper understanding of Su Chen. She looked at Su Chen's slightly angry appearance, a little distracted. Su Chen frowned slightly at this time, and a pair of sword eyebrows were erected. The facial features looked like a heroic posture that he had never seen before. With the blessing of the system, his face was full of charm in all aspects. At this time, the three women with their heads down also secretly raised their heads to look at Su Chen. An idea emerged in the four of them at the same time. What happened? The angry look of Master seems to be even better. It's dying. Master, is your appearance still growing? Can the charm value be ascending? At this time, the four of them all turned red and breathed slightly. But thinking that besides myself, there are three bidders, I couldn't help thinking at the same time, if only I could lead the Master's scenery alone, it would be an eye-catcher. Su Chen didn't know what they were thinking, and he was very angry. The last time the three of them had a fight, they directly cut off Chiu Jingfeng, which made Su Chen reprimand him, and Su Chen had to ask Lin Qingyuan to repair Chiu Jingfeng. Su Chen looked at the three girls and said angrily, Next time I will demolish the house, you can see how I will clean you up, sit down now. The four of them sat down very obediently when they heard the words. It looked like a few obedient elementary school students where there was the killing intent just now. Su Chen nodded in satisfaction. He was still very satisfied with his ability to tame such a few proud men of the sky. So he coughed slightly and said, Cough cough, okay, I announce that Chiu Jingfeng will be the first time the conference is held. The four of them were all feeling novel when they heard this, and couldn't help but cover their mouths and smile. Their own Chiu Jingfeng is only five people, and the whole assembly, master is really funny enough. Su Chen then said, Well, there are two agendas for this conference, both of which are related to you, so I will listen to them carefully. Chapter, 41 Su Chen looked at the four disciples with a serious face. Although he has not yet accepted the fifth disciple of his own, at this time, there is not much time left before the important event, the time of the 10,000 Immortal Conference. The first thing is the Cultivation World 10,000 Immortals Conference jointly organized by the five sects. It is about to begin. I will take you to participate in it. What do you think about this? Su Chen looked at the four of them. He roughly talked about the 10,000 Immortal Conference, which was a training conference for young cultivators. The four of them looked at each other after hearing the words, then Qin Chilian raised his hand and said, Master, I have a problem. Oh. Come on, let's talk about it. Su Chen said lightly. I want to know, if I get the first place, what reward will the master have? Qin Chilian said this, and several other people also showed extremely interested expressions. 
Su Chen didn't expect Qin Chiyuan to ask such a question. After thinking about it, he was planning to come up with an own magic treasures as a reward. At this time, the voice of the system sounded. Ding! As a qualified master, you must encourage your disciples appropriately. Now turn on the option. Um. Why are these two options so wrong? Can you actually harvest the best fairy tools after taking out magic treasures? This option is very suspicious no matter how you look at it, so it's better not to choose it. However, the second option is somewhat ambiguous, right? It doesn't look right at all. With one day, can I still do one thing? Isn't this the one day master experience card? I want to serve these little boys for one day. Why is this rhythm a bit ambiguous? But I should be able to reject some excessive things, um, then choose second. Well, speaking of rewards as a teacher, I can promise you. If one of you wins the first place, then the teacher will accompany him alone for a day, and you can also provide some services for the teacher. Su Chen followed the system. The words came down. Hearing these words, the four of them suddenly lit up, and their eyes were full of longing expressions. This is simply a fatal temptation for them to be able to spend a day alone with Su Chen and let him do something unconditionally, as long as it is not related to life, which means that the operating space is very large. It is equivalent to acquiescing that they can order Su Chen to do something like this. Although they know that Su Chen may not really agree to it, there is a great hope after all. After all, they all dreamed of doing something contrary to respecting the teacher. They didn't have the courage before. Now, when the reward is released, it is like a Pandora's box, and a flame of desire is ignited in their hearts. Really? Qin Chilian stood up, then looked at Su Chen longingly, and the other three especially wanted to know the answer. Without a word, it's hard to chase the horse. Su Chen said lightly. Fortunately, with the reward of Master, then I will desperately want to get this first place. Qin Chilian said decisively. Senior sister, there is only one first place. Are you so sure that we can't beat you? Tu Sujiao said with a smile. Yes, senior sister, don't forget, there are still a few of us here. Li Mayan said coldly. Nye Qianyun also raised his hand at this time and said, And me, master, I will definitely work hard. Su Qin saw that the four of them suddenly became interested, and thought that he inspired them to win and lose. How did they know the nasty thoughts that these four of them were thinking at this time? These thoughts are all Jockey Mizu content. Ahem, okay, let's talk about the second thing next. In fact, this thing is an extension of the Thousand Immortal Conference. After I accept you, I will give you a systematic guide. Then, and then I will carry out cultivation one by one. Su Chen looked at the four of them and said very seriously. Master doesn't know what kind of form this guidance will take. Tu Su seemed to have thought of something, and said with a look of anticipation. The form of this guidance is that I will give you a one-to-one -one guidance, just like I gave Chiu Lian and Mayan the introductory guidance before. In the next year, each of you will cultivate with me for three months. During this period of time, you will go out and cultivate together with me, and you must not slack off. Although Su Chen does not know how to guide his disciples, he believes that the system he carries must have relevant guidance options. Anyway, these four people are the pride of heaven. Even if they don't teach seriously, they can become good, so he can safely teach, and at the same time change their dispositions during the teaching process. After all, Su Chen didn't want to enter the tragic ending anymore. He was stabbed by these disciples a thousand times. As far as the current situation is concerned, the disposition of the eldest disciple and the second disciple has been greatly changed, and he has a great deal of him. Strong dependence, so you can rest assured for the time being. However, the newly acquired three disciples and four disciples are the reincarnation of the sky demon and the future ghost emperor. The original late stage is both cruel and cruel. Only transforming them is a necessary step. As soon as these words came out, the four of them all brightened up, being able to get along with the master alone and cultivate together. Isn't this what they desire most at the moment? Before, Li Mayan spent a few days together with her master, and it was enough to make them jealous. Now they can also have such a benefit, which is like winning the lottery. 
At this moment, they are extremely grateful to the 10,000 Immortals Conference for giving them such an opportunity to live alone with their masters. They even have already thought about what will happen when they are alone and what they will say. As for whether they have thought about the names of their children in the future, I don't know. Master, I have a problem. At this time, Tu Su suddenly thought of a problem. Tu Su, tell me. Su Chen said after taking a sip of tea. Since the master is four people taking turns to study with you, how should the order of study be arranged? When I asked this sentence, the other three were also interested. After all, it is very cool to be the first one. All four of them looked at Su Chen expectantly, wanting to get answers from him. Chapter 42 Su Chen squeezed his chin and thought for a while, and said to the four of them, Well, this question is a good question. It is indeed time to put it in order, so let's do it like this. The four of them cast extremely expectant glances at Su Chen. They all hope that they can be the first lucky ones. Once they come out on top, it will be a symbolic victory. Because after all, it is to guide cultivation, so let me get started earlier, and those who have been guided by me will be put behind. The priority of guidance is given to Qian Yun who has just started. Su Chen thought for a while, let's start with the weakest. As soon as these words came out, the other three were disappointed. Then Li Mayan asked, Master, who is the second one? I just said that the order of entry and cultivation base should be used as a criterion. Therefore, the second one is Tu Su. After all, soon after you started, I went out. You have not received my teaching. Su Chen thought about it again, and said to Li Mayan, Mu Yen, you have been out as a teacher for so long, so this time, you will be the last one. You want a bowl of water for the teacher. Hearing this, Li Muyandang showed a disappointed look, but Qin Shulian raised his eyebrows at him, expressing gloat. Looking at the expression on Li Mayan's eyes, the veins were violent. If Su Chen were not there, I'm afraid it would be a fight right away. Well, that's it. You have to rest for one night today, and then Qian Yun will let me go out to practice tomorrow. This is also a way of cultivation. Especially because she has a melancholic personality at the moment, and the cultivation base is low, then she needs to go through the red dust before she can enter the Tao smoothly. Su Chen said with a final word. Ding! It is detected that the host has turned on the master guidance mode, and now I suggest that the most suitable way to guide Nye Qian Yun is the red dust experience. It is recommended that the host take the disciples down the mountain to experience, to achieve the greatest efficiency. This cultivation method was also prompted by the system. Su Chen knew that the method spoken by the system was not cheating so far, so he still followed it. Although Nye Qian Yun's expression still remained melancholy, a hint of joy flashed in his eyes and said to Su Chen, Yes, master, I will go out to pack my luggage tonight and be ready to go out with you. Well, good. Su Chen said to the other three, The three of you stay and take a good look at the family. Of course, the progress of cultivation can't be slowed down. There is one more thing, you must remember. The three thought that Su Chen had any important instructions, so they asked, What? Su Chen smiled and said, During my absence, you are not allowed to demolish the house. You must know that there are disciples from other peaks around you, you can't hide from me. If you let me know that you hit, and then cut our Chiu Jing Feng, then I will hit your ass when I come back. Hearing Su Chen smiled and said such words, everyone felt hot on their faces, and seemed to faintly want Su Chen to punish them. Thinking about it, it seemed a little shameful and a little expectant. Okay, the matter is over. If you have no other questions, I will leave first. You can communicate with each other, especially for Shi Yuan who does not have a newcomer with cultivation world walking experience. You have to tell it well. She has some experience. After Su Chen finished speaking, he took a step and left without even looking at them. He left Nye Qian Yun alone to face the three senior sisters of On. At this time, the three of them all looked at her with a smile, but there was a faintly permeating meaning in that smile. I said the three senior sisters, this order is set by the master, and not by me. You don't have to be like this, right? Nye Qian Yun said while looking at the three. Qin Chilian said with a smile, after all, 
the youngest is more favored, right? Chu Su covered his mouth with a folding fan and said, Yeah, yeah, junior sister is still more favored. Third sister, I have eyes were red. It's better tonight, junior sister, please accompany us to resolve this grievance. Okay. Come on, junior sister, let's sleep together tonight, sister sister will tell you some experience. Li Mayan was the most direct, pulling it over, and then toward the own room. It makes sense, we also took the bedding and went to the second senior sister's room to teach the younger sister together. Tu Su glanced at Qin Chulian and seemed to have reached a consensus. No, no. Master, master. Nye Qianyun was dragged in by Li Mayan before she finished her life-saving words. Although Nye Qianyun is the reincarnation of the Ghost Emperor, but has not yet carried out enough cultivation, but the current strength is not the opponent of the other three, Realm is just foundation building early stage. Then the other two teamed up to set up a soundproof barrier, isolating everything, and blocking all factors that might disturb them. As for how they taught Nye Qianyun and how they did it, then it was not enough for outsiders. Anyway, afterwards, Nye Qianyun had a psychological shadow on the three of them. In her words, these three were evil spirits and demons. Being able to let the future generation of ghost emperors evaluate them as evil spirits, it can be seen how impressive the three of them taught that night. Chapter, 43 Early in the morning, Su Chen opened the door of own room and saw Nye Qianyun waiting in front of the door. At this time, Nye Qianyun had a pair of panda eyes, and her mood was very depressed. Su Chen was a little confused when he saw this. What's wrong? Qianyun, what's wrong with you? Su Chen asked lightly. Nye Qianyun was looking at Su Chen with tears in his eyes, wanting to talk about what he had experienced last night, but at this moment, the three women walked out of Li Mayan's room together, and Li Mayan gave a look. Nye Qianyun trembled at this moment, as if remembering what happened last night, and then hurriedly waved his hand and said, Master, I'm fine, I'm fine. Su Chen frowned. Although he wanted to ask, he didn't delve into it. After thinking for a while, did his own disciple have something on his mind? He recalled Nye Qianyun's current state, something like a girl who was struck by love and had insomnia. Could it be that the disciple own already has his heart? Well, okay, Qianyun, ready, let's go. Su Chen said. Nye Qianyun was overjoyed when she heard these words at this time. She was about to hurry up and stay away from those women. Master, take care on the road. Qin Chilian said to Su Chen Chichi with two junior sisters. Okay, please take a good look at the house. I will be back in three months. Su Chen took Nye Qianyun's sword and rose up and disappeared in front of the three of them. As soon as Su Chen left, the expressions of the three of them changed directly. The original cheerfulness and gentleness disappeared. Instead, they were apathetic and murderous, and the temperature of the entire courtyard dropped a few degrees. Su Chen's worry is right. When he comes back, the absence of Qiu Jingfeng will be a problem. Su Chen took Nye Qianyun's sword to a place called Mushue Town 30 miles away from Qingtianzong. When seeing the three words Mu Xuezhen, Su Chen felt familiar, and felt that this seemed to be a place written in the game. But it is not the main storyline. After all, he can't memorize all the plots, and the specific details can't be remembered. Regarding this, Su Chen felt nothing after shook his head, so he didn't think about it, and directly devoted himself to teaching his disciples. Since they are practicing in the world, they have to experience all the experiences of mortals. It is absolutely impossible to keep the sword, so they bought a carriage in the small town as a daily means of transportation. Su Chen taught Nye Qianyun how to drive a horse-drawn carriage, temporarily acting as a groom, which can also be used as a way to increase knowledge. Nye Qianyun may be a little sad every day because of the tragic experience in the past, with a little gray in her eyes, which reminds Su Chen of Lin Dayu in the book of the previous life. Such an image aroused the desire for protection in Su Chen's heart. He felt that as a master, he had the obligation to untie the disciple's heart and make him cheerful. Of course, what Su Chen didn't know was that this melancholy appearance was pretended by Nye Qianyun. She knew how the other three senior sisters aroused her master's affection, and she couldn't do the same with them. 
so she remembered that she could use her own experience to pretend to be sad to make Su Chen care about herself. There is also such an image of Lin Daiyu. After that, he sat in the carriage and Su Chen was worried about one thing at this time. Although he took Nye Qianyun to travel through the world and planned to walk slowly, he spent most of the time thinking about Nye Qianyun's love for the first time. At this moment, thinking about this, he feels that this is the most possible. As a single mother and a single dog, how does he know about this love matter? Can only rely on own guessing. The beginning of love, miserable life experience, the body of a ghost. Su Chen slowly knocked on the jade handle duster on his hand. Suddenly I remembered something, it sounds like a target that is easy to be captured by a scumbag. It seems that you have to be careful. Su Chen stopped thinking and suddenly felt that he had found the truth. Although he is a single female player, he can't hold back his courage without a target. Right now he stretched his hand to lift the curtain of the carriage and said to Nye Qianyun who was driving, Qianyun, come in. The focus of this kind of mortal experience is not to temper her cultivation base, but to slowly polish Nye Qianyun's aspirations. The more advanced the cultivation base is, the more people will face the vastness of the world in the journey of tempering Dao Heart. Found that own is ordinary. Nye Qianyun was driving a carriage at this time. In order not to be too glaring, she wore a long dark cloak and only used one hand to drive the car along the way. She heard Su Chen's call, stopped the carriage, turned around and got into the carriage, Su Chen's figure was reflected in the iron-gray eyes. Come in. Although this sentence was accidentally said, Nye Qianyun immediately noticed the subtlety of the dialogue. She licked her lips and asked, Master, what can I do for you? Su Chen said, Qian Yun, I think you didn't sleep well yesterday. It seems that you are a girl who is pregnant with spring. Come and tell me honestly as a teacher, among our sex, do you have anyone you like? The tone of this sentence was calm, but it exploded into Nye Qian Yun's back stiff. He was a ghost cultivator, and even asked such a non-serious sentence to the extent that he was speechless. She almost thought that she had revealed too much that Su Chen was aware of it, and even suspected that it was secretly implied by other seniors. None of her seniors was a good thing. Nye Qianyun stared at Su Chen's eyes, and couldn't see the slightest unique emotion in those eyes. He got closer again, feeling that his always cold body ignited a fire from the inside out. At this moment, her heart was in a mess, and the hand hidden under the cloak grasped the other end of the duster between Su Chen's fingers, and her voice was anxious, you know it? Nye Qianyun herself didn't realize how obvious her attitude is now. Su Chen just asked casually, but he didn't expect to ask if he really asked. He blinked unexpectedly, he couldn't think of any male show in sect who was intimate with Qianyun. At this time, the system's voice sounded, as for the issue of disciples' love, we must pay attention to it. Now turn on the option. System. Will you die if you don't engage in HS? What kind of operation is coming to my room? Do you really have a hole in your mind? Oh, no, you have no brains. How is the second option a bit like the plot of a romantic drama, are you kidding me? What is the body shape? Do you think I am too skinny? You really are. I choose two. Who is it? Su Chen said with a solemn expression, and took Nye Qianyun's finger and said, I will give him five million no, give him a car of magical item and let him leave my apprentice. Task Reward, Body 1 Nye Qianyun, Master doesn't know who it is. Su Chen was slightly startled, thinking that the other party felt that he did not pay enough attention to him. And couldn't help but said, it's not that the master disagrees with your companionship. It's that although you are currently in the foundation building period, your realm is not stable. It is a word of love. The most misleading. Otherwise, wait for your realm to stabilize. He feels that he is a gentle parent, and he will be able to convince the other party if he is moved by emotion and knows the reason. Nye Qianyun stared at him for a moment, not knowing what was thinking in his mind, and his gaze shifted to the finger of the other party. Only then did she know that Master Own had misunderstood, and she didn't realize her thoughts, so she smiled and asked, Master doesn't have a Tao companion, how can I know the word of love, is it a mistake? 
Su Chen didn't expect Nie Qianyun to reply such a sentence, feeling that the dignity of the single dog was offended, and frowned, wait for sect, let me meet that male disciple. I know you are still young, facing this things will be very dedicated, let's take a long-term view. Before he had spoken, he felt that Nie Qianyun was too close, and the other party's aura of a little rush was close to him, gently sweeping the edge of his collar. Just as Su Chen ducked backward subconsciously, he saw Qian Yun raising his hand and smoothing his slightly folded collar, even the edges and corners were taken care of. I'm used to Taoism, and wearing my own clothes these days is indeed a bit sloppy. Su Chen wears a pale green Taoist suit with white plum blossoms embroidered on his collar. Nye Qian Yun's fingers slowly passed by, and he also smelled the lonely and quiet cold fragrance on Master's body, like snow-covered pine and bamboo. Long-term plan Nye Qianyun seemed to have made some determination in his heart, and then said nervously, when the time is right, I will tell master who that person is, okay? Su Chen, what's the matter, do you still engage in underground love? Nye Qianyun relied on own to understand and taste the meaning of the three words underground love, and asked tentatively, is it the love of life underground? The people under the earth, aren't they all dead or ghost repairs? Su Chen rubbed his eyebrows and felt the helplessness of Otherworld for the first time. He explained, it means avoiding me. Nye Qianyun's eyes became firm at this time, she didn't know what she was thinking, and then replied, don't avoid master. Real? Yeah. Nye Qianyun said, in the future when I express my intentions with that person, I will ask master to fulfill it. As soon as this words came out, Su Chen's heartstrings suddenly relaxed, thinking that the original apprentice from the family hadn't confessed his heart yet, and the matter should have just begun, and it could be restored. Otherwise, in case the person is entrusted to blacken again, wouldn't he be in danger? He nodded, if the other party's conduct is good, and it is beneficial to both of you at the same time, becoming a Tao companion, I can naturally agree. Nye Qianyun blinked and said, Master, don't worry, there is absolutely no problem with that person's conduct and we know each other very well. Su Chen suddenly felt a sense of marrying a daughter, feeling a little sour, but he touched her hair and said, it's okay if you like it. You can confess it boldly in the future. If you are bullied, the master will give it to you. You are in the middle. Nye Qianyun smiled in her eyes at this time, and said with a smile, master is the best. Chapter, 44 Before nightfall, the carriage stopped by a house called Lin Shan Inn, where people came and went, full of red dust and fireworks. Su Chen searched the jade slip in the magical item storage, carefully analyzed Nye Qianyun's current situation, and at the same time gave the list of male disciples inside the door, but still felt clueless. This inn room was placed by Nye Qianyun. There was no blindfold on her body, and the cold air on her body could only be exposed in front of others. Therefore, the inn's Poutang shower was quite curious about these two guests, but because Nye Qianyun looked too cold, she had to stay away. In the end, it is ghost repair. Although she is like an immature little cute girl in front of On, she is still relatively indifferent to the people around her because of her past experience. Su Chen condensed his thoughts and looked at the human storybook by the window. Originally, he just flipped through it casually, but when he found that there were illustrations on it, he became more and more interested. As the night fell, the moonlight passed over the window lattices, and the candlelight quivered slightly. The door rang. Su Chen didn't look up, turned the page, and said, Qian Yun. There was a somewhat naive response from the other side. She lit up the lights just like Li Mayan, and then closed half of the window. The night breeze was slightly cold, but it was obviously okay for the cultivator. Su Chen reluctantly looked up from the story and saw Nye Qianyun pouring a cup of tea on the opposite side. The sound of the water pattered, and when it entered the wall of the cup, it swelled. Nye Qianyun frowned and paused when she poured the tea, and said, Second senior sister said that the water is used to brew Enchi Yulu and spoil the tea. Su Chen didn't care too much, and habitually took the tea cup from her, took a sip, and said, There is no shortage of tea, how can it be so precious? Nye Qianyun knew her master's personality and knew he would not be angry, so she smiled and asked, Master, this is the tea that I learned from the second senior sister. I don't know how it tastes like. 
Well, it's not bad, but you don't need to learn from your second elder sister. After all, you have different types of personalities. Su Chen looked at Nye Qianyun, looked at her tea pouring, and thought, you are the ghost emperor in the future anyway, so it's better not to overlap the character. Hee hee, come out with master, you can't let master do everything by yourself. Nye Qianyun said very sensibly. In fact, she has already figured it out. Su Chen likes a sensible and generous girl, and there will be an inexplicable affection of love. Therefore, she happened to be still in her infancy at this time, looking very young. It happens to be able to take advantage of this. Su Chen thought to himself, she is really a sensible little girl, such a little lowly, if it is a cheap kid, it really cannot be tolerated. Um. How come I am becoming more and more like an old father, more and more like a middle-aged man who has raised several daughters? While Su Chen's thoughts continued to deviate, the bright moon on the horizon was obscured by dark clouds. And the peaceful and noisy streets just now showed a faint dark red air, and the bloody air was so weak that it was imperceptible to spread into the air. This is the ominous aura of Xia Xiao, and I don't know if it is a ghost or a member of the demons. Suddenly, Su Chen was reminded by this breath. It turned out that there is a very important person in Mushua town who will appear here. Su Chen stood up suddenly and said as he walked, I'll take a look, Qian Yun, stay here. Master, Nye Qian Yun said, Master, I'm afraid, I want to be with you. At this time, Nye Qian Yun was not really scared, but didn't want to leave Su Chen's side, so she said with a pair of big bowing eyes. Su Chen was about to comfort her when she saw her so uneasy, but before the comforting words were spoken. She saw the ominous atmosphere that had just loomed for a moment resurfaced, right in the middle of the first floor of the inn where the crowd came and went. He stared at Pipa on the high platform in the center of the first floor for an instant, and felt that it was a disguised magical item. Xie Xiao appeared in such a place with heavy dust, smoke and fire, then she must have practiced this way, and it is very likely that she was a cultivator who had practiced the Acacia Dao. Among the demon cultivator with a surname in the world, there is only one who fell from the demon cultivator. Su Chen is very familiar with this person. In the original book, Su Chen had a few close friends when he was young, and the most special one was the dream of the Acacia sect. Huan sect has a bad reputation in cultivation world, but it is not an evil sect. It can be regarded as a sect that is both good and evil. The head teacher of King Tianzong once had a close relationship with Elder, a super senior of Huan sect. Therefore, for a while, Qin Tianzong and Huanzong had exchanged for a while, and Su Chen, as the disciple of the previous generation, met Meng Kier, a former generation of Tianjiao figure in Huanzong, by chance. It's just that when this Tianjiao character was exploring a certain secret realm, he obtained an evil devil Dao cultivation technique, then his temperament changed drastically, and he eventually fell into devil Dao and became an evil cultivator. If this is the case, then this character is nothing special to Su Chen. This Huan sex Tianjiao Menkir has been obsessed with Su Chen for a long time, and even almost did a thing to stun Su Chen with Yin Yang and Hezen. In Su Chen's memory, Menkir was in the plot, but the second disciple Li Mayan of the owner was an important guide. After Li Mayan escaped from sect, it was precisely when Li Mayan met her, the body of heavenly demon, who had just awakened, became a demon of a generation. Emperor. This person is in the late stage of the plot. Su Chen fell into the hands of five heroines and tried to save him. If Li Mayan hadn't let her go in the past, she would have fallen on the spot. It can be seen that Meng Kier is deeply rooted in Su Chen. Su Chen stared at the past for a long time and saw the devilish energy wrapped around the purple pipa. He didn't expect to bump into her in such a place. Qian Yun, an unknown enemy, is coming. Su Chen said lightly. Nye Qian Yun asked in a low voice, Master, who is here? Ding. Answer honestly when facing the disciples' inquiry. The system's voice suddenly sounded. Um. Do you play me in the dog system? The two options are almost exactly the same, is this also a choice? Don't you know that this sentence is very impactful? It is good. Dog system, I remember you. Anyway, both are the same, I just forget it. 
He took a gentle breath and said softly, Qian Yun, this person is one who has always wanted to sleep with me before. Task Reward, Cultivation Base Ascension to Nascent Soul Middle Stage Um. Nye Qian Yun has a question mark on her face at this time. Master, can you be more direct? Do you want me to hide from you and create a chance to be alone? Although Su Chen knows that this dream is a celestial posture, he must have reached at least the realm of the God transformation stage. But he himself has a system in his body, plus a series of magical powers and magical items self-protection should be possible. Of. Okay, Chen Yun, you hide, it's dangerous. Su Chen frowned and said. I don't. I want to be with Master. Nye Qianyun's heart was alarming at this time. What if Master Own is eaten by someone who has looked at him for years? Even if this top pick is picked by a few masters and sisters of Own, it is better than being picked by an outsider. Master must be guarded at this moment. Su Chen interrupted, go and evacuate the people, be obedient. Su Chen rarely blames them, his last gentleness and patience are poured into his own apprentice, like this kind of tone, it is already very strict. I don't. I will never leave. What does the life and death of those people have to do with me? Teachers respect it. Nye Qianyun's words were full of determination. Su Chen got stuck in his chest and felt that she couldn't control her anymore, but now the situation was urgent, so he decided to go back to educate. He reached for hand seals and placed an enchantment around Pipa's high platform. This kind of enchantment is easily broken, and it needs the support of the cultivator's spirit power to solve it quietly. According to Su Chen's knowledge of that person, since her magical item is there, she must be here too. Su Chen got up and went downstairs, slightly blinded other sight with a blinding technique, walked alone in front of the purple pipa, and entered the enchantment he had laid down. At this time, the devilish energy and a strong blood qi slowly emerged and dispersed. Su Chen said lightly, Meng Kir, the old man is here, why don't you show up? Chapter, 45 A breeze blew by, and a figure appeared at the table, placing his hands on Pipa. The visitor was dressed in a purple hairpin dress with blue silks scattered randomly behind his back. His figure was bumpy, his brows were filled with a charming atmosphere, and his eyes looked quite ecstatic. Meng Kir Su Chen said lightly, it seems that you have the intention to lead me. Meng Kir rolled her eyes and smiled unexpectedly at Su Chen. You know, but you will always be fooled by this kind of incomparable simplicity, and throw yourself into the net. She stood up and approached Su Chen step by step, seeming to remember some memories. Those mortal lives are no more than a hundred years, humble as dust, just ants under your feet, but they always make you so cherish. You see, if you don't have so many years, as long as you use the lives of some ants as a bargaining chip, you still don't want to fall on in my hand. She raised her hand, trying to touch the hair beside Su Chen's ear, but was avoided by the other party. Meng Kur had already expected his reaction and gave a low laugh. What do you want to do when you are looking for me today? Are you here to take my life? He raised his hand slightly, and the snow sword contained in the Taoist body slowly emerged in the air, condensing the snow white sword body and it settled firmly in the palm of his palm. Su Chen's eyes were cold and cold. Behind him, Nye Qian Yun is lingering endless ghost qi, as long as the other party dares to touch a single hair of Su Chen, she will use her forbidden magical powers to fight the woman desperately. I don't know why you fell into Devil Dao back then, but if you want to harm these people today, don't blame me for not remembering your old feelings. Su Chen said coldly, the Wang Chen sword in his hand, screaming and shaking suddenly. The opposite Meng Kir, who was once his young fellow practitioner, was the person he had taught and instructed, and it was this kind of person who fell into Devil Dao so easily and ruined his future. In his eyes, Meng Kur had become an evil cultivator, and he definitely lost his old feelings, so today's battle is inevitable. However, something unexpected happened at this time, only to see Meng Kir put away the pipa, and then with a big wave of his hand, a table of wine and food appeared on the table. She smiled and said to Su Chen, Hee hee, you really are getting more and more boring. Do you think I will do such boring things as fighting you? Meng Kuo's aura suddenly disappeared, and the surrounding environment was restored to its original state. 
Su Chen saw this, squinted his eyes and said coldly, What do you mean? Hee hee, I just want to meet your old friend for a while today. Meng Kier sat down and said to him. Su Chen couldn't feel any murderous aura from him at this time, so he sat down, Nye Qianyun stood behind him, looking at Meng Kier with a vigilant expression. Bitch! Don't you think about playing master's idea? I am staring at you. If you want to come, you won't come to me for no reason, let's talk, what do you want? Su Chen said to Meng Kier alone. Meng Kier opened a jug of wine at this time, poured a glass for Su Chen, then poured himself a glass, and then said softly, Su Chen, you and I have not seen me for many years, do you want such a bonus? Su Chen picked up the wine glass in his hand, and then said, Okay, I believe you once, you and me, clink a glass. Bang! The two cups made a soft sound, and both of them drank in one fell swoop. Putting down the wine glass, Meng Kuo stretched out three fingers and said, I'm looking for you this time, there are three things, and it's for two people. You said it. Su Chen didn't have any nonsense. The first thing, it is said that you accepted a girl with the body of heavenly demon in Qianyang town as a disciple, right? Meng Kier said. Yes, that girl's name is Li Mayan, and she is now my disciple, what do you want? Su Chen is wary. Now she has fallen into devil Dao, just like a demon cultivator. It's not to blame Su Chen for being so alert. Hee hee, Su Chen, don't be so vigilant. Meng Kier smiled at this moment, and said after pouring Su Chen again. I originally intended to accept her as a disciple. After all, she is the body of heavenly demon. The remnants of the demons covet this. But since you have accepted it, I won't say anything. The second thing, the disciple behind you is a ghost with good aptitude. I have been looking for her for a long time. Meng Kier looked at Nye Qianyun with a very cold look in her eyes. What? Do you have a conspiracy for my little disciple? You are not a ghost. Su Chen said coldly at this time. He he, I'm not a ghost repairer, yes, but this pure ghost repair body is a big compliment to the demon. Meng Kier licked her own mouth. Meng Kuo, dare you. If you move her hair, I will kill you. Su Chen stood up directly and blocked Nye Qianyun behind On, which was almost instinctively protective. Such behavior made Nye Qianyun feel sweet in her heart. Su Chen, you really have changed. You didn't have such a big temper before. Meng Kier smiled and said, Don't worry, if I want to swallow her, I just started. Su Chen looked at him suspiciously at this time and said, then what is your purpose, don't tell me, you just squat with me when you are idle. Meng Kuo shook her hand, and two books appeared, with the words Heavenly Demon and Heavenly Demon on the cover. This is the Heavenly Demon Dafa and Heavenly Ghost Dafa that I have obtained. I originally planned to accept these two disciples. Unfortunately, you have already started it. In order not to waste it, I gave it to your two disciples. N.S. The two books fell on Su Chen's desk. Su Chen was still very vigilant at the moment and said, You really came here to send this? It shouldn't be that simple, right? I remember you are a person who is not profitable and cannot afford to be early. Meng Kuo stood up, then set his eyes on Su Chen, and said to him, The third thing I am looking for is to let you accompany me to a place. Su Chen asked inexplicably, What? Where do you want to go? There is a place called Heavenly Ghost Valley to the north of here. There are the relics of Heavenly Ghosts. I am planning to go there, but it is unavoidable to go there by yourself. It is unavoidable that it is dangerous to go alone. Why don't you go with me? He pressed his own chin and asked eagerly. Su Chen saw this and said vigilantly, You want me to be with me? Did you know that I would pass by here, so wait for me here? Yes. These years, I have some eyeliners in your great heaven sect, and I know your whereabouts. Meng Kier said with a turn of his eyes. It's rare to see you traveling alone with a disciple, which just provided me with an opportunity. Meng Kier said, how about? There are things that are very helpful to ghost cultivation. You should do it for your disciple. Isn't it to go? Su Chen faintly felt the danger in this, especially Meng Kuo looked at him sternly, 
and wanted to refuse in his heart. But the system's voice sounded, ding. As a master, you should take a little risk for your own disciple, and now open the option. Um. Just one option, how do you want me to choose? Also, what the hell is the figure? Are you planning to turn me into a perfect figure, with eight pack abs, can you help Menkir? You beast system. Are you human? I'm going to take a look this time to see what else you can make. Well, well, for the sake of my disciple, I will come with you. Su Chen looked at her and said. Mission completed, body one. Su Chen clearly felt that the muscles under his clothes had become stronger. Ha, huh, I knew that you would agree to it. Okay, when we are done, let's set off. Meng Kier seemed a little impatient at this time. Nye Qianyun looked at Meng Kier with a guarded face at this time, and said in his heart, Everyone is a monster of a thousand years, what do you play? What do you want to do, I know too well. Snort. You bitch. I will never let you succeed. Chapter, 46 In the early morning of the next day, Su Chen took Nye Qianyun and Meng Kier and set off together. Along the way, Meng Kier introduced the situation of Tiangue Valley to the two. The Valley of Heavenly Ghosts is said to be the place where a heavenly ghost was extinguished by several immortal emperors in ancient times. If it's just a battlefield site, it's no surprise, but the legend says that the Sky Ghost released all of its own Ghost Chi before death, and Ghost Chi formed a special space in that valley. There are all the treasures and relics of the Sky Ghosts in that space. It sounds like a good place, but this place is too tasteless for ordinary cultivators. After all, the treasures of Sky Ghosts are only suitable for ghost cultivation. In cultivation world, the power of ghost repair has become extremely weak after thousands of years of suppression, and has never appeared in the world easily. Therefore, this day, Ghost Valley has become a place of death that no one cares about. Su Chen was impressed with this Tianguagu, because he remembered that the four disciples of On came here after escaping from Tianqingzong. It was also the place where she awakened her memories of previous lives. It can be said that it was the fate of Tianguagu. Just now created a generation of ghost emperors. Nye Qianyun listened to Su Chen's talk about the heavenly ghost valley. Even though she was energetic, although her realm was low, she still had some basic common sense of ghost cultivation. There might be great opportunities in such a heavenly ghost ruins. Su Chen looked at Nye Qianyun with an expectant look at this time. She didn't know what this girl was thinking. But he still gave a few words to him sternly, after all, he didn't know what danger was waiting for them next. Meng Kuo on the side tilted her head and looked at Su Chen with a serious look. A little saliva flowed from the corner of her mouth, and she quickly wiped it. How do you say that sentence, after the meeting, unconvinced tears flowed from the mouth, eh? That's it. Nye Qianyun saw this scene. She thought in her heart, I guessed right, she really wanted to eat master. You bitch. Just when Nye Qianyun was very angry, they had already reached the sky above the heavenly ghost valley. Hundreds of years ago, Tiangue Valley was a barren and wild forest. It was famous in cultivation world for its extremely rich ghost chi and gloomy. Until the sky ghost fell here, it directly became a secret realm-like existence, and the only entrance was the Taniguchi with two stone monuments. Today, Ghost Valley is a secret realm where danger and opportunity coexist, but because the environment is too harsh, not many practitioners will go in, and even ordinary ghost cultivators dare not enter easily. At this time, Su Chen, who had been ascension from the cultivation base to the nascent soul middle stage, suddenly felt dozens of powerful auras appearing below. At this time, Meng Kier waved his hand, and a hidden enchantment enveloped them. Meng Kier cast a soundproof barrier around the three of them, and then said to Su Chen, There are a lot of ghost repairs here. I opened the method of concealment. They can't find us. Let's watch the changes first. Although Nye Qianyun didn't have much experience, she knew the importance. At this moment, she just pulled Su Chen's sleeves, pretending to be trembling. This was to get Su Chen's concern. Sure enough, Su Chen took her hand when she saw it and said comfortingly, Don't worry, there is a teacher. All this fell in Meng Kuo's eyes, a gleam of light flashed in her eyes, and she thought, 
this little girl wants to steal a man from me, he he, I won't lose to you. Oh, girl, come here big sis, big sis protects you. Meng Qiu didn't know what method was used, and she pulled Nye Qianyun directly into her arms. Nye Qianyun wanted to break free, but she heard her whisper, Little girl, you want to grab a man from me, you are still a little tender. Su Chen was obviously not paying attention at this time. He used a small spell and began to eavesdrop on the conversation of Ghost Xiu below. He faintly heard a few words such as Secret Realm and Ghost King, and then they looked in the same direction, which was the location of Taniguchi. Hundreds of figures appeared there, all of which were haunted by the black mist, and there was an ominous aura all over the body. The magic power fluctuations on the body showed a state of evil cultivation. Su Chen, these people are also ghost repairs, and cultivation base is not weak. Meng Qiu said while looking at the figures. Well, yes, there are as many as five powerful players. Su Chen saw the lineup in front of him at a glance. These seven people are enough to call themselves the King of Ghosts. What a grand occasion it was for the ghost repair kings to gather together. In a short while, Taniguchi surrounded the inner and outer three floors, and the surrounding hillsides were all occupied by their subordinates. Looking from a distance, there were seven figures standing in the only clearing area, surrounded by crowds surging in darkness. The three Su Chen heard that all the surrounding ghost repairs were honored as the ghost kings, from the arrogant ghost kings to the seven ghost kings. They represented the supreme ones of the ghost repairs. Although this strength is not comparable to the first class sect, it is already commendable among the fading ghost repair group. It seems that this is the treasure that Gui Xiao intends to enter directly into it. Su Chen couldn't help but hesitate when looking at the group of ghost repairs. There might not be any chance. Nowadays, there are so many ghost repairs. If he stepped forward, he could guarantee nothing, but Nye Qianyun was afraid it was dangerous. What is your plan? He said to Meng Qiu. Meng Qiu said, He he, I don't have any plans. I originally planned to go straight in. Now that there are more ghost repairs, it's a little more difficult. Su Chen frowned, the situation now is quite embarrassing. At this time, when Su Chen hesitated, the system's voice sounded, for the sake of the disciple's chance, the master should have his own consideration. Now turn on the option. Su Chen looked at these options, his face was speechless, the system, if you want me to go in, just say straight, do you think I don't understand criminal law? How old is my disciple? Still playing this set with me, really, the dog system, I've seen you clearly a long time ago. Well, I choose to go forward courageously. Task reward, stand in puppet. This double puppet can block an attack that exceeds two realms for the user, and it is a very useful defensive magical item. Su Chen said to Nye Qianyun, apprentice, for your chance, let's hide our figure and enter the ghost valley that day, and then look at the situation and snatch the chance, you know? Nye Qianyun heard this and looked at Su Chen very moved at this time. He didn't expect that Su Chen would do this for his own opportunity. Master, this place is very dangerous, you don't have to take risks like me. Nye Qianyun said. Su Chen thought to himself that he has already decided on his options, so he should be more handsome, so he raised his hand, rubbed her hair and said, Silly girl, I am your master. It's okay to take some risks for you. Nye Qianyun was moved by the words. Su Chen said to Meng Qiu at this time, You follow behind me, remember to protect my disciples, I will have a good return in the future. A gleam of light flashed in Meng Qiu's eyes, and then nodded and said, Okay, this is what you said. Chapter, 47 It's going to open. Su Chen looked ahead, and then suddenly a word popped out of his mouth. Then a white light suddenly appeared from the Taniguchi, a door slowly opened, and a dark entrance appeared. Finally opened. It's time for the revival of our ghost repair community, let's go in. Hundreds of ghost repairers rushed in. Su Chen knew that it should not be too late and rushed in. Meng Qiu rushed in with Nye Qianyun. A white light flashed in front of the three of them, then opened their eyes and saw a shocking scene. A huge space appeared in front of him. Hundreds of ghosts stood on the spot, looking at the sky. There are hundreds of ghosts who walk in the night like ghosts that are constantly gathering in the sky. 
these ghosts have sluggish eyes, and they are obviously some remnants. The earth chi in the Tiangue Valley was completely destroyed, all directions collapsed, and the cold and gloomy chi swayed around, which was more serious than a hundred years ago. These remnants are of no use to ordinary cultivators, but for ghost cultivators, they are simply a supplement. At this time, among the ghost cultivators, except for the seven ghost kings, half of the ghost cultivators are all done. Flew up, wanting to devour more remnants of soul to strengthen himself. For a while, there were many ghosts in the sky, which looked quite horrible, but Nye Qianyun behind Su Qin seemed to be a little moved, and then said to Su Qin, Master, can I go? Su Qin instinctively stopped her and said, Disciple, don't worry, I think, that day, the ghost will not be such a cheap role for others. Nye Qianyun was thoughtful at this time, and then looked into the sky, a gold core stage ghost correction who was constantly devouring the remnant soul in the sky was laughing wildly. This ghost repair can feel that the remnant soul he swallowed will soon turn into his power, helping him break through to the nascent soul period. Ka. Before he had time to be happy, he felt his own body suddenly began to swell, and there was an extremely powerful force that seemed to be about to burst out. Suddenly he discovered that own body actually started to burn, from own dantian to the chest cavity. His ghost body, which was originally not tough enough, was burned alive within a minute. There is definitely a problem with this remnant soul, everyone, stop. Shouted to the people around, but unfortunately it was too late. At the moment these ghost repairs in the air, at least each of them had swallowed three remnants at the moment. Everyone's body began to burn, turning into a fireball after another, turning into a beacon in the air, a normal existence, and then after it burned out, it fell down. This is the horror of Ghost Valley this day. What a character the sky ghost is. How could it be so simple to steal his treasure? This is as simple as thinking about it. These ghosts were too focused on the immediate benefits, and forgot to think, which caused them to fall into the trap of the heavenly ghosts in the first step. Nye Qianyun squeezed a cold sweat at this time. If Su Qin hadn't stopped him just now, I'm afraid he had already rushed up, then his ending would be no different for these ghosts. The disciple will teach you something for your teacher. In the secret realm, remember not to be greedy for small profits, the big head is always behind. Su Chen said lightly. Nye Qianyun nodded in agreement and said, Yes, master, I know. Meng Kur also said to the side, Su Chen, when you taught me, you were not so careful. Su Chen ignored him, but looked in the direction of the seven ghost kings, who was talking about it at this time. I rushed up when I saw such a little bit of petty little Lee. Do you really think that you are going to Giga this day? The big ghost Wang Yan Wutian said with a look of disdain. It's not to blame them, after all, this temptation is too hard to resist for these lower realm ghosts. Said the three ghost king Lu Zhuang. Well, since all the idiots are dead, then we will start to go down. Seven ghost king Lianqing said indifferently. Gui Xiu was mostly ruthless, they looked at the corpses of their companions in the same place without any fluctuations, and then walked towards the depths of the heavenly ghost valley. Su Chen glanced at the environment here, and it seemed to be roughly the same as in the original book, which also determines that he has an understanding of each level and can be invincible. Qian Yun, Meng Kuo, follow my instructions later, as long as you let you go up, your door rushes up directly for me, do you know? Okay, I listen to you. Nye Qianyun knew that Master On would not harm On. Meng Kuo rarely saw Su Chen's domineering appearance, and suddenly felt novel, and smiled and said, Well, listen to you. Su Chen remembers some of the content in the plot, and Nye Qianyun was able to get a chance in Ghost Valley this day because of her protagonist's aura. At the same time, there were some ghost repairs who came in together at that time. Although they were not as large as they are now, they all suffered heavy casualties and directly became her stepping stones. This is to use the familiarity with this environment and what opportunities each level has to guide own disciples to get the most benefits to promote her cultivation base. I hope everything is similar to the plot. Su Chen thought of this idea at this time, and no longer followed behind Gui Xiu, and searched for his hidden figure in the heavenly ghost valley. Su Chen walked toward the front for about a hundred meters, and when he looked toward the front, he saw a stone steel that had been sealed for a long time. To be precise, 
this place has not really entered the depths of the heavenly ghost valley. This stone tablet is just the inscription on the front door of the heavenly ghost valley, and it probably serves as a house number. Su Chen stepped forward and saw that it was covered with heavy dust, so he used a dust removal technique to remove the thick ash from the inscription one by one. The dust was swept away, revealing the true face of the steel. Su Chen originally glanced at it casually, but his gaze suddenly stopped, staring at the inscription in a daze. This world uses fonts that are similar to seal script, even more difficult to understand than Xiaozhuan, and the handwriting engraved on the steel is simplified Chinese. Pete, I said why all the characters in the Ghost Valley in the plot can't understand all the characters. It turned out to be such a reason. You, the author, are really a bit skinny. The people around didn't understand it, and he didn't look too serious, so he glanced more casually and saw that it said. No surprises, no surprises, if you can understand, congratulations, I wrote in Chinese at every key location the strategy for each level. Su Chen the author of this plot does not seem to be very serious. He continued to look down and saw a slightly smaller lettering below this line of words, here is the divine punishment array, with continuous and full coverage attacks. Do not break through. The spell can be broken when the spell is lifted. The spell is, attention Sahue core values, please recite them in full. Su Chen cursed in a low voice, this author is a middle school politics teacher, right? You are having fun. Master, what are you talking about? Nye Qian Yun asked strangely. Su Chen said helplessly, Well, it's nothing. Chapter, 48 A group of ghost cultivators stepped into this area, and the scene in the entire sky ghost valley suddenly changed. The originally flat valley became a huge dark space, and various spell attacks and restrictions were continuously released in that space. A group of ghost repairs panicked immediately, except for the seven ghost kings, they all released their own magic treasures in a hurry to block the attacks. These attacks were so dense that almost all the ghost repairs were scattered. The seven ghost kings are not the general generation, the weakest are the early stage of transforming gods, and they can easily block all the attacks. However, these attacks are like surging rivers, endless, and many ghosts can no longer support them. They are shattered by magical attacks. Only the seven ghost kings in the entire field can remain calm. However, within a quarter of an hour, hundreds of ghost repairs were half killed, and the whole scene was extremely fierce. At this moment, Su Chen and Nye Qian Yun standing in the distance looked at the tragic situation in front of them, Nye Qian Yun pulled Su Chen's sleeve and said, Master, what should we do? Su Chen twitched the corner of his mouth, and then said, it's time for the three of us to show up. Ha! Huh. Master, will it be too dangerous for us to show up? Nye Qian Yun was a little panicked instinctively. Don't be afraid, I have confidence for my teacher. Su Chen's face was indifferent. This unchanging calmness of Mount Tai almost filled his charm value, and Nye Qian Yun's eyes became star eyes. The master is so handsome, it seems to make him my Tao companion. In fact, it is not Su Chen who is calm, but he has already grasped the secret realm password at this moment, what else is there to be afraid of? Meng Kuo asked, since you are going to show up, then what is your plan? Don't you let your disciple go out to die? Su Chen heard that he was about to speak about the own plan, and the system's voice sounded again at this time, Ding, it has been detected that someone is suspicious of your original intention as a teacher, now turn on the option. System, your color work has improved again. Daddy admire you. You really want me to become the best old hooligan. I will never let you succeed. I choose to. According to the truth. Task reward, body one. At this time, Su Chen only felt that his muscles had begun to transform, and eight pack abdominal muscles appeared in his abdomen. What is this? Does the system help me manage my figure? Forget it, this pit is better than the system's intentions. Su Chen turned his head to Meng Kuo and Ye Qian Yun and said, I can easily get rid of the big formation. When that happens, we will use this to frighten them. Don't talk, I'm here. Upon hearing this, the two nodded when they saw Su Chen's confident face. Meng Kuo directly unlocked the hidden spell, the figures of the three were revealed, 
and the seven ghost kings were all shocked to the three who suddenly appeared. They didn't actually see when these three people appeared. Such a mistake was fatal enough. The leading ghost king suddenly swung back several attacks, and then leaped to Su Chen's face. Coldly said, Who are you? Why are you here? He looked up and down at the three people in front of him. The handsome man in front of him was dressed in a Taoist gown. He was obviously a righteous man. Another girl was haunted by ghost chi, obviously a pure ghost repair. The remaining woman made him very vigilant, her demon lingering on her body, she should be a cultivation base no weaker than own demon cultivator. Such a combination is really suspicious, so he had to come to find out. You are the big ghost king, huh, don't be nervous, I have no time to trouble you. Su Chen said indifferently, after all, he has enough chips in his hand. Who is your excellency? Since you didn't come to trouble us, what's the purpose? At this time, the big ghost king felt that the cultivation base of the person in front of him could not be judged by himself. Obviously, the cultivation base of the other party was unfathomable. My name is Su Chen, and I came to this ghost valley today to help my disciple find opportunities. Su Chen stepped forward and stood opposite the big ghost king. When the big ghost king heard the word Su Chen, his expression changed greatly, Are you Su Chen, the young master of the Great Sky School? The future head teacher of the Great Sky School? At this time, all the ghost repairers were shocked and they heard this. You must know that compared to the already declining ghost repair sect, the Great Sky School is simply a behemoth. Today, in the cultivation world, the Great Heaven School dares to call itself second, and no one dares. Called the first. Yes, I am Su Chen of the Great Sky School. Su Chen knew how much they must be afraid of the Great Sky School, so he simply admitted. At this time, a spell attack hit the big ghost king, the big ghost king jumped away with a big wave, and then looked at Su Chen with a vigilant look. Forget it, talking like this is too tiring. Let me solve this formation first. Su Chen took a step forward. The big ghost king snorted coldly at Su Chen, ha. Huh? This is the restriction set by Lord Heavenly Ghost. Even if you are a natural resource, it is extremely difficult to untie them. Really? Su Chen smiled and said twelve words without changing his face to the direction that the spell was flying from. As the words fell, the original dense and fierce attacks disappeared, and a giant gate that was too heavy to move in the distance shook abruptly. The restrictions above it turned repeatedly for a week, and then opened to both sides. The big ghost king lags for a while, looking at Su Chen's lonely appearance, the doubts and exclamations in his heart have reached the peak, and he can't help saying, Su Chen, how did you do this? Su Chen chuckled and said, I got the cracking method from ancient books. The great ghost king looked solemn, which ancient book is it? Maybe there are more records about the heavenly ghost valley, and we can also reduce the loss. Su Chen glanced at him silently, and said quietly, Am I obligated to tell you? The big ghost king was choked back directly. Indeed, the other party had never known him, so why should he tell him? Seeing that the attack stopped, a group of ghost repairers suddenly fell to the ground. The remaining six ghost kings surrounded Su Chen, and the big ghost king had apparently passed the sound transmission channel for them. Several people faced Su Chen together with cupped hands and said, Thank you Su Chen fellow Daoist for helping me. Su Chen waved his hand and said, No, I am not here to help you, but for my disciples. Don't be affectionate. After speaking, Su Chen took Meng Kier and Ye Qianyun and walked towards the gate. The seven ghost kings looked at each other, and the five ghost kings said angrily, This Su Chen is too arrogant. He actually sees us as nothing. Humph, if you are upset, go up and kill him, I will lend you two courage. The seven ghost kings sneered. Okay, noisy, you just want to deal with Su Chen, not to mention the power of the Sky High School, just because of Su Chen's unfathomable strength, you are going to die. The big ghost king scolded everyone. Everyone is stunned. You must know that the big ghost king is a powerhouse at the peak of the transformation, and it can be described as unfathomable, at least it must be the power of the transcends tribulation period. If Su Chen is really in the transcends tribulation period, then it is not too simple to kill them. 
Well, I think you can follow Su Chen. He just said that he is here for the own ghost repair disciple. We might as well follow him directly. Even if the big head is obtained by his disciple, we can share some soup. That's right. The three ghost kings said with a look of emotion. The three ghost kings are reasonable. The big ghost king agreed to his suggestion. After all, they had seen Su Chen's strength and methods just now. Instead of fighting half dead by himself, it would be more affordable to follow Su Chen to find out what was left behind. All the ghost repairs are very unambitious to make such a determination, and follow Su Chen to pick up some leftovers. All in all, everyone walked in towards the gate together. Chapter 49 Su Chen led Meng Kier and Ye Qianyun into the depths of the Heavenly Ghost Valley, where it was a half hillside, and there was a house on the hillside. There is a stone tablet at the entrance of the house, on which a line is written, Don't release magic power, go directly in, otherwise it will attract backlash. Well, Qianyun, Meng Kuo removes the magic power shield, and then goes in with me. Su Qin still chose to believe the reminder on the stone tablet. Although the second daughter was a little puzzled, she still chose to believe in Su Qin and directly released the magic power bodyguard. The three of them walked into the house, and there was nothing terrible in the house, nor anything that looked weird. But correspondingly, there is no trace of magical item, the treasure left by the so-called heavenly ghost. This seems to be just a very simple residence. Su Qin walked into the lobby, and saw that the furnishings inside had an earth-like decoration style, and he couldn't help but complain about the author of the game plot. It was really weird. The author of this plot probably didn't expect someone to actually cross into the game and write those words on the inscription jokingly. Unexpectedly, there is still another one who walks on the road and loses his footing and becomes an eternal hate. As soon as he closes his eyes, his soul passes through the world is unpredictable. Su Chen walked through the outer courtyard and opened the door. This is a simple room. All the utensils in the room are as smooth as yesterday and spotless. As he walked, he suddenly discovered that the things inside seemed to be in pairs, and there was a pair of celestials on the case, and even the hanging sword stand was in duplicate. It's just that the aesthetics of Zhuangjiantai is very distorted. The upper part is the simple style familiar from the previous life, and the lower part is the strong and vivid color impact. The aesthetic style is comparable to that of Su Chen. He walked a few steps closer and saw an unfolded book on the side of the Xianjian platform with a shining talisman seal on it. The back of the Fu seal wrote a sentence with Chen Mo on the uncorrupted paper, still in simplified Chinese. It reads, This is a good place I prepared for the visitors. It is suitable for Jin Wu Zhangjiao, but be careful of the ghosts. Su Chen has a strong awkward feeling, a little lost, but he can only calm down and think carefully. What is this? Is it a prank? The question marks in Su Chen's mind popped up one by one, but finally he thought of the spoof character of the plot author and was relieved. It is not an author with a hole in his head to write this kind of essay. He let out a sigh of relief, waiting to explore other places, and suddenly an exclamation sounded from the side. Just behind the Xianjian platform, Nye Qianyun accidentally touched the mechanism, and the entire jade wall collapsed, exposing all kinds of spirit treasures magical item, Fuzhou medicine pill, and stacked mountains. But correspondingly, in front of the treasures stacked into the mountains, there is a thunderous lightning net, and every trace of cold and cold light that flows through is at least the aura of the virtual world. Su Chen found the target, and through the flashing electric light, he saw a strong vitality radiating from the green bottle medicine pill placed on the table. As he got up, he said to Meng Kyun Ye Qianyun, You stay here, if there is a change, go out immediately. Nye Qianyun held his arm and said, Master, will these magic treasures be fraudulent? It seems a bit dangerous. Su Chen was about to wave his hand and said that there was no problem, but the voice of the system rang, For disciples' worries, you must answer correctly and turn on the options. Um. Su Chen saw this option, his eyes straightened, did you conscience discover the system? There is actually such an option, the system, it seems that you also have normal times. Su Chen gently pulled out his sleeves and said, if the situation is dangerous and reluctant, I will leave immediately. After all, these are your chances. 
Besides, in the eyes of the teacher, even dying for the disciple is nothing more than a trivial matter. As soon as this remark came out, Nye Qianyin's mind exploded. She felt an unprecedented touch from Su Chen's words, and her cold skin also filled with a warm and extremely warm feeling. Master, I really am the best person to me in this world. The mission is completed, cultivation base ascension to the peak of nascent soul. He stepped forward, raised his sleeves and probed his hands. He exuded a chilling air. Magic power penetrated into the grid, slowly touching the flowing purple thunder that sealed these treasures, and then intruded extremely cautiously. In the electric light. The chilly magic power separated the entire power grid and froze in the slightest. The process required great concentration to complete. Su Chen let his own magic power wrap all the electric lights, and then suddenly withdrew his hands. The mighty thunder net turned into ice, shattered inch by inch under his finger, and fell to the ground. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief, and when he was about to take out the green bottle of elixir, a terrible premonition suddenly surged in his heart. He raised his eyes suddenly and saw a mirror hanging above the many magical items suddenly shined brightly, and a mighty force that was too great to resist rushed out. In the mirror, a ghost chi burst out, and the ghost chi turned into a black sword, rushing toward Su Chen directly. Meng Kuo also reacted at this time, and immediately shot a magic treasures in his hand, but after a step, the black sword was less than three inches away from Su Chen. Before he could react, he was surrounded by a familiar breath in an instant, and he was slammed to the ground, blocking the shadow of the sword. Master. Be careful. This figure is Nye Qianyun. But this level of sword intent, Nye Qianyun couldn't stop it at all. Qian Su Chen just blurted out a word, and his voice stopped abruptly. Nye Qianyun showed a sorrowful smile, and said softly, Dying for the master is just a trivial matter. He stared at the scene in front of him blankly, his mind was blank because of the impact in front of him. Nye Qianyin's body was not penetrated by the black sword, nor was he suddenly disintegrated by this mighty power. On the contrary, he was intact, reflecting the light from that mirror on his body. Under this ray of light, the flesh and blood of Nye Qianyin's body was continuously dissolved and evaporated, leaving the skeleton of the skeleton. In the end, even the skeleton of the white bone was illuminated, leaving only the soul that appeared in front of him. No, this is not a divine soul, this is an extremely solid, evil spirit. From the emptiness of Hun and Pu state, her body was solidified section by section, removing the shackles and confinement of the body. The thick and shocking ghost chi radiated from her, with extremely terrifying pressure. At the same time, Nye Qianyin's realm is also constantly climbing, from the foundation building period, the gold core period, the nascent soul period, and the god transformation period. Her realm didn't stop until the peak of the transformation stage. At this time, Nye Qianyin's long hair fell down, and the ghost chi on her body surged to the surroundings, lifting her hair in the wind. The whole body was filled with an extremely bloody and tyrannical atmosphere. Su Chen stared at the other person in a daze, seeing the other person's eyes also looked at him in a loss, Gui Xiu's body is cold and terrible. And even the place where his chest is closest to his heart can't feel the breath of creatures, and can't feel the reality. The beating. Su Chen just remembered the prompt just now, and then stared at Nye Qianyun and said, You are not my disciple, you are a ghost, are you? At this moment, Nye Qianyun spoke, and the voice was like a devil whispering from the abyss. This body is really good, it's a pure ghost cultivation body, and it doesn't waste my layout for so many years. The person who was taken away by me this time can be regarded as the posture of heaven. Su Chen unfolded his palm, and the ice-like snow sword was condensed and formed in his palm, and the sharp edge reflected coldly cold light. Meng Kuo on the side also sacrificed a long sword, and the two looked at the sky ghost coldly. You got me out of my apprentice. Su Chen's voice was as cold as ten thousand years of ice, even if it was a heavenly ghost, it changed color suddenly. Who is this person? Why is there such a powerful aura? Chapter, 50 At this time, the ghost took Nye Qianyin's body and stood opposite Su Qin. At this time, there was a ghost chi-like substance beside her. Qin Gui's gray eyes kept staring at him. 
When he saw the sword in Su Chen's hand, he said in a dumb voice, Who are you? Why can't I see you? Shut up. Su Chen took a deep breath, and the Wangchen sword in his palm was so cold that he almost froze him. He didn't expect that this place was actually a trap of the Sky Ghost, and the Sky Ghost directly occupied Nye Qianyin's body at this moment. Although Su Chen had seen the matter of taking homes in the book before, he still couldn't remember how to crack it. At this time, the Guixiao and others who came after hearing the sound had already arrived outside the courtyard. Two nascent Soul Realms Guixiao movement techniques had already rushed in, but they did not expect the restrictions of this small courtyard to open. The two of them were blasted into ashes and wiped out. Oh! I didn't expect that there are so many ghost repairs in the world. It seems that it is time for me to get out of trouble today. There was a bloodthirsty smell in the voice of the sky ghost, and then he didn't care about Su Chen, and rushed out. The small courtyard. When the seven ghost kings saw the heavenly ghosts attacking them like lightning, they suddenly felt a chill, and the big ghost king headed to him shouted, Aren't you Su Chen's disciple? What are you attacking us for? At this time, Nye Qianyin's body was taken away by the heavenly ghost, where would he answer his question, only to see ghost Qi lingering on his body, and then rushed into a group of ghost repairs. It is an ancient heavenly ghost who was once half a step immortal. Both attacks and methods are extremely fierce. I saw ghost Qi all over his body transformed into countless ghost claws, rushing to a group of ghost repairs, those who are below the nascent soul stage. His neck was strangled all of a sudden, and then he was pulled towards the sky ghost. In front of the sky ghost, there was a big mouth of the blood basin condensed by ghost Qi. All these ghost repairs were pulled in, and then they made screams and turned into a group of ghost Qi. At this time, the sky ghost opened his mouth, swallowed the group of ghost Qi, wiped the corners of his mouth, and showed a satisfied smile. It's the magic power of ghost repair that I miss, but the magic power of the cultivator is more delicious. The sky ghost looked at the seven ghost kings at this time. At this time, the seven ghost kings only felt that they were being stared at by a lion who had been hungry for countless years. They only felt that their backs were chilly. You are not Su Chen's disciple, who are you? The big ghost king has lived for the longest time. Naturally, he knows how ghosts cultivate their homes. At this time, he saw that Nye Qianyun, who was originally a little timid, suddenly became so cruel, and he thought of this. Haha, <laughs> yes, I am a heavenly ghost. It seems that there are some characters in the ghost cultivation, and they still know the method of seizing houses. The heavenly ghost looked at the big ghost king and said, Well, yes, the cultivation base of the peak of the gods. The end is a good nourishment. Heavenly ghost. Impossible. He has been dead for countless years. The six ghost king looked incredulous. The big ghost king said to the other six people at this time, This is the sky ghost valley. It is not too surprising that the sky ghost is returning from the corpse. Don't panic. Whether you panic or not has little effect on your life and death. The heavenly ghost rushed to the seven violently, ignoring the ordinary ghost repairs for the time being. The big ghost king saw the sky ghost rushing forward like this, knowing that the other party must want to swallow seven of them. In response to this critical situation, he immediately issued an order, kill the seven ghosts. Since the same Dharma seal was formed at the same time, ghost Chi lingered on his body, and a large formation immediately formed. A ghost image measuring thirty feet in size appeared above them. Oh! You still have this kind of ability. I really underestimate you, but it's just a matter of taking a little longer for me. The sky ghost has just seized the house, and its cultivation base has not yet returned to its peak state, but neither his spells nor his combat experience are incomparable. For this kind of big formation, the sky ghost is still very sure to destroy it, but it will take some time. At this time, Su Chen said to Meng Kur, Meng Kur, go and join forces with the seven ghost kings, first drag the ghost that day, I will find a way. Meng Kir knew that the situation was critical at this time, so she didn't say much, she said directly, okay, you owe me a favor. After speaking, she entered the circle of war with a long sword. After she joined, the battle situation finally showed a state of equilibrium. 
When the ghosts fought against a group of ghosts and Menkir, Su Chen did not rush out, but was looking for clues in the small courtyard that could break the law of seizing homes. He still remembered that in the original game plot, the own apprentice also swallowed the sky ghost after being taken away by the sky ghost. In the end, he successfully raised the cultivation base and improved his own physique, laying a solid foundation for becoming a ghost emperor in the future. It's just that he never remembered what method she used in the game plot, so he thought that the clue must also be in this small courtyard, so he began to slowly look for it. At this time, the system's voice sounded again, the disciple's body has been taken away. This is unbearable. Now turn on the option. God uses her body to influence her. Are you sick with the system? She is still a child. Besides, for the heavenly ghosts, my body can influence the ghost. What is this? System, you watch less anime. I beg you. Are you the daddy in Jackie Chan's adventures? Let me defeat magic with magic. Su Chen had an impulse when he saw the spell. If the system is a person, he would take a machete and take off his three legs alive. System. You have a kind, don't let me know your weakness. Otherwise, daddy will kill you. It's just that at this time he didn't have time to complain about this system, because at this time the sky ghost had already defeated all the ghost repairs, and the big ghost king and Meng Kuo were still struggling to support it. If the heavenly ghosts really swallow these ghost repairs, then his strength will be restored to a certain level, and the solution will not necessarily be effective at that time, so Su Chen can only quickly grasp the time. Boom! A loud bang sounded, the ghost repair's great formation had been broken open, the big ghost king and Menkir were both knocked into the air and suffered serious injuries. The big ghost king half kneeled on the ground, looking at the sky ghost with a frightened expression and said, Please forgive us, we are also ghost repairs, we will become your most loyal eagle dog. The sky ghost said disdainfully, Since ancient times, I have never lacked eagle dogs. As long as I can regain my strength, I will create a group of ghosts that are stronger than you again. That's my nourishment. Hearing this, the big ghost king closed his eyes in despair. At this time, a gust of wind blew up, and a figure stood in front of him. You guys have worked so hard, so leave it to me next. There was a slight smile in Su Chen's voice. Chapter, 51 The big ghost king saw Su Chen coming and said to him, Su Chen, your disciple has been taken away by the heavenly ghost, you are not an opponent, go. Meng Kier also shouted loudly, Su Chen, go. You are not his opponent, don't die. At this time, the ghost cultivators were completely desperate, and they had no power to fight back in the face of the supremely strong Tian Gui among the ghost cultivators. Even though Su Chen's cultivation base is higher than them, they actually have no hope in the face of such a ghost. That's my disciple. I don't allow a sky ghost to live in my disciple's body. Su Chen slowly walked towards the sky ghost. As an old antique that has existed in ancient times, the sky ghost has a very keen intuition for some crises. Looking at such a young cultivator, walking towards him so easily, a sense of disharmony flashed in his heart, but as an ancient power, how could he see a junior kid in his eyes? Boy, you are not a ghost cultivator, but a cultivator, more delicious than them. Tian Gui licked his tongue and said, I wanted to put you at the end. It seems that you want to jump in the queue. Tian at this time, the ghost looked at Su Chen cruelly. Be my nourishment obediently. With a wave of the sky ghost's hand, a ghost claw flew toward Su Chen. Su Chen didn't have any fear when he saw this. Instead, he took a step forward and moved slightly, as if he said something in a low voice. Then the ghost claw broke directly in the air. The ghost kings on the side were all stunned. Could it be said that Su Chen could really deal with this heavenly ghost? The ghost was stunned for a moment, and then said with a cold face, I really underestimated you, but after all, you are still the meat on my chopping board. Su Chen was still walking towards the sky ghost step by step at this time. With a grip of the sky ghost's right hand, the endless ghost chi burst out, transforming into a skull, and rushed toward Su Chen. Facing such an attack, Su Chen still had no intention of avoiding it. The skull head swallowed Su Chen without any hesitation. 
The ghost kings on the side showed desperate expressions. They thought Su Chen was their savior, but they were swallowed so easily. What can this little white face do, don't you know how to hide? Three ghost king complained. Just as the ghost kings were desperate, a sentence suddenly came out from the huge skull, demon ghost, go away. Boom. The skull broke apart, and Su Chen walked out of it, unscathed. Is that possible? This attack, he was unscathed. The big ghost king was shocked, because he could feel that there was a magical power aura in the skull. The ashes went out. Who are you? The sky ghost finally showed a solemn expression at this time, because from the beginning, he didn't feel Su Chen used any magic power and broke his own attack. At this time, Su Chen had come to a place less than three feet away from the sky ghost, and his eyes were fixed on the sky ghost. The sky ghost felt a chill in his heart for no reason, and then he said to Su Chen, No matter who you are, go to die. Make ghost sword. A long sword created by ghost Qi condensed and pierced Su Chen's eyebrows. Su Chen said again at this time, The demon ghost go away. OM. A wave of righteousness spread from Su Chen's body, and the ghost sword was melted by this righteousness. Immediately afterwards, the sky ghost only felt that he was stiff and unable to move at all. Then Su Chen came to his side and said to him, Heaven ghost, in your secret realm, there has long been a record of killing you. It's a way, but you don't know it. The sky ghost suddenly remembered something at this moment, and then shouted loudly, It is the text that I can't understand, right? But why can you read it, why? You are not educated, so you can't blame others. Su Chen looked at him coldly and said, I was only here to find opportunities for my apprentice, and I didn't want to move you, but you should never do it. I took away my disciple. Now, I want you to be her nourishment. Su Chen said coldly, Chen Yun, wake up. Devour him. Ah! As soon as the voice fell, the heavenly ghost cried out in pain. He felt an extremely powerful tearing sensation in On's mind, and the soul of Nye Chen Yun, who had been swallowed by him, was actually reunited. Demon ghost, go away. Su Chen chanted the spell again, and the sky ghost only felt that a great power had actually suppressed it. In this scene, the surrounding ghost repairs and main Ker were all taken aback. What kind of stuff, Su Chen didn't show any magic power, and after a few words, he forced the heavenly ghost to such a degree, which is simply incredible. Big Ghost King, Su Chen is so unfathomable, you can actually rub the heavenly ghost directly on the ground. The three ghost kings, this Su Chen is really terrible. You must never be an enemy with him in the future. Meng Kuo gave Su Chen a lot of wintry eyes, and felt that he seemed more charming, so she said, Su Chen, you really deserve to be the man I swear to sleep in in my life. Seeing that the heavenly ghost was suppressed at this time, everyone hurriedly sat down to heal and adjust their breath. Then Ye Qi and Yan Juhan and Po woke up, the girl opened her eyes, and then rushed towards the sky ghost, and the two formed a wrestling in their minds. At this time, the sky ghost has been weakened to a certain extent by Su Chen, but Nye Qian Yun is really too weak. After trying his best, there is still no way to suppress it. Master. I can't suppress him. Nye Qian Yun's voice reached Su Chen's ears. Su Chen couldn't help frowning, and suddenly there was nothing he could do. This is the confrontation between willpower and mental energy, Nye Qian Yun must rely on his own power to defeat the gods. Just as Su Chen was in a hurry, the system's voice sounded again, ding. It is detected that the host's disciple is in crisis, now turn on the option. Um. What kind of thing, I add oil to get the best fairy, which seems to be wrong. What is the second option? It's all in my mind, escaping Pete. What the hell is the third option? What is a warm quilt? Are you addicted to the color system? But it seems that this option is the right one. If this disciple is really swallowed by the heavenly ghost, I will regret it. System, you are dead if you dare to lie to me. No matter what, choose the third one. Apprentice, work hard. You have defeated the heavenly ghosts. Master will warm you up tonight. Su Chen said lightly. 
Hearing this sentence, the surrounding ghosts all looked surprised. When did you even have an air-conditioned drama, own disciple, you are still not a human being. But what happened in the next second was beyond their imagination. Upon hearing these words, Nye Qianyun suddenly burst into light in his eyes, and then released an amazing mental energy, which immediately suppressed the heavenly ghosts. Heavenly ghost, is this all right? Chapter, 52 Nye Qianyun had already exhausted all his strength in the fight with the heavenly ghosts. When he was about to collapse, he heard Su Chen's words, If you win, I will warm your bed. As soon as this sentence came out, it seemed to give her endless motivation. God knows how greedy his master is this girl who just started. When Su Chen rescued him, her heart was directly tied to Su Chen's body. It was just a sentence, I saw Su Chen missed his life. She could feel that several senior elder sisters were a bit unruly towards Master Own, her strength was the weakest, and she was definitely going to be ranked last. However, I didn't expect that this time I came out to experience the Master's top spot. All fools understood the meaning of that warm bed. The Master was lying on the bed, his clothes half opened, and his brows waiting for her affectionately flashed through her mind. Suddenly, a great power was directly released, and she shouted directly in her heart, I must let Master give me a bed warmer. Tian Gui immediately felt a tremendous pressure. His Hun and Po were gradually broken apart under the pressure of the other party. He didn't expect that he would die in the hands of a little girl. No. Even if I die, I will pull you guys back. Hun and Po of the Sky Ghost at this time swelled violently, and Ye Qianyun felt that he might not be able to suppress him at this time. Ha! Huh. Even if I die. I will use my evil thoughts to expand your desires. Let you become a wicked ghost repairer, I see how you can get back to Su Chen's side. The voice of the heavenly ghost was like a curse, his Han and Pa burst directly, turning into endless evil thoughts and poured into Nye Qianyun's Han and Pa. Ah! Nye Qianyun regained control of her body at this time, but her face was pale at this time and she screamed. Su Chen hurriedly stepped forward, and then said to the group of ghost repairs, my disciple is going to lose control, you guys go. The big ghost king also knew what was going on at this time. Knowing that Nye Qianyun would turn into another heavenly ghost if he was bad at this time, he immediately stopped hesitating and said to Su Chen, Su Chen. The real person, the great kindness does not say thank you, and it will definitely be in the future. Good news. Let's go. The seven ghost kings quickly evacuated the scene with a group of ghost repairs, and ran towards the entrance of the secret realm. Only Meng Kura remained in the same place, still closing her eyes and adjusting her breath. She was too worn out just now and has not recovered. Ah! Nye Qianyun screamed again and again at this time, Su Chen stretched out his hand and grabbed his shoulder, trying to pour magic power into her body, but at this time, a sudden change occurred. I saw Nye Qianyun grabbing Su Chen's waist with his backhand, leaping forward, and rushing in the direction of the small courtyard. Kacha. After a burst of cracking sound, the two rushed into one of the rooms in the small courtyard. Su Chen just heard it, the sky ghost wants to expand Nye Qianyun's desire with his evil thoughts for thousands of years, and make him a ghost repairer who does no evil. What he thought at this time was whether Nye Qianyun's desire to kill had been strengthened. If so, how can I stop her? While Su Chen was still thinking, he was pushed into the room and into the room, suddenly felt a strange feeling. This room, in it, is too weird, it is not a simple room, but a hidden great hall, Su Chen was pushed down on top of a collapse. He lay on the soft bed, looked at the dark and gloomy sky outside, then lowered his head and glanced at the faint blue lamp next to him. The great hall is empty, with murals of Yiksha Shura and Hayaki Yeshing painted on all four corners. The lights are like phosphorus fires. They are not warm to the touch, but cold. Ha! Huh. What's the situation? Why is this scene so like a new house that was arranged long ago? At this moment, he looked at the wall in front of him. On the wall, there was a sentence written in simplified Chinese, This place can be used as a new house, don't thank me. I thank the Pete. What are you doing? Pick me. How did you become a fine author? At this moment, Nye Qianyun walked in. 
At this moment, her eyes were full of desperate desire. She scanned Su Chen's body up and down, and then said to Su Chen, Master, you said you want to help me warm my bed. What? Su Chen didn't know what happened at this time. The devil really blew himself up just now, and he really used evil thoughts to urge Nye Qinyan's evil thoughts. But Su Chen didn't expect that the evil thought he urged was actually lust. Qianyun, you have to calm down. Su Chen is not restrained at this time, but he can't use any magic power. It seems that this room should have a large array, which directly imprisoned all non-ghost fixed magic power. At this time, Nye Qianyun walked toward Su Chen step by step, with tenderness in her eyes like running water. At this time, the whole house released a pink light, and for a while, the whole house was full of ambiguous breath. Master, I'm coming here. Nye Qianyun sucked in her hand, and a quilt flew directly to Su Chen. Su Chen was hit by the quilt and fell directly onto the bed. Well, this really warmed the quilt. Nye Qianyun waved his hand, and several magic power tore through Su Chen's shirt, revealing eight pack abdominal muscles. Seeing Su Chen's perfect figure, Nye Qianyun's breathing suddenly tightened. Damn it! Is it just for this that you add a little bit to my figure? At this time, the distance between Nye Qianyun and Su Chen is less than ten feet. Su Chen is anxious. If something really happens, what can I do in the future? In case the own disciple wakes up, I really can't tell. Just as Su Chen was in trouble, the voice of the system sounded again, a good master, to learn to deal with this special situation, turn on the option now. Oops, the system finally gave you a conscience, and actually helped me on this important plot line. It turns out that Su Chen still thinks too much. Um. Dog system, what magical option is this for you? Say yes to save me. Your rhythm is wrong. The first option is absolutely impossible to choose. If you choose, you will really become an old hooligan. But the second option doesn't seem to work either. If he ran away, Qianyun would still be too dangerous to be here alone. If you meet someone else, isn't it even more deadly? The third option doesn't seem quite right, but seeing the reward, it seems that this is the right one. Forget it, it seems that there is really no choice, I choose third. Su Chen did not have any resistance, and lay directly on the ground with the quilt covering on. At this time, a sudden change occurred. Chapter, 53 Just as Su Chen was lying on the bed, Nye Qingyun's eyes showed a beast-like look. She stretched out her hands and was about to rush toward Su Chen. At this moment, a lot of ghost chi suddenly appeared in her body. The girl's body, which was originally slightly immature, was actually under the Kai Hao of Ghost Chi, and began to become plump at a speed visible to the naked eye. The figure that originally appeared to be only fourteen or five years old suddenly became the Wanisan appearance of more than twenty years. The graceful figure is not inferior to Qin Chilian. Immediately afterwards, those Ghost Chi gathered on his body, and finally gathered into a pair of black battle armor, the original delicate most Qianyun looked very heroic at this time. Along with these changes, Nye Qianyun's expression changed, his eyes full of aggressiveness became a bit painful, and then the whole face began to become distorted. Su Chen saw this situation and did not step forward to stop it, because he knew that this was Nye Qianyun's power that had completely refined the heavenly ghosts, and it was a period of pain to accept the power at this time. Ah! Nye Qianyun screamed at this time, spouting a mouthful of inverse blood, and then a trace of scarlet flashed in his eyes, and that scarlet carried an extremely evil murderous intent. Apprentice. Don't be corroded by demonic nature. Su Chen reminded him at the right time. As soon as this statement came out, Nye Qingyun was struck by lightning at this time, and the whole person trembled twice. After that, the ghost chi armor on his body was completely broken, and the whole body was taken away as if all his power was taken away, and the body 983 directly fell on him. Body. Su Chen saw this and knew that it was Nye Qianyun who had already succeeded. He looked at her body. At this time, she had already refined a part of the energy of the Sky Ghost. Its cultivation base has been ascension to the nascent soul middle stage, this is the cultivation base. 
It has surpassed Su Qin and is the strongest cultivation base for the young generation of Tianqingzhou. Just as Su Qin was about to move it, Meng Qiu rushed in directly. At this time, what she saw was Nie Qianyan pressing Su Qin's body. The scene at this time is properly a Shura field where the rape is caught in the bed. Okay. Su Qin. It turns out that you rejected me for so many years because you like little lowly. Meng Qiu stepped up and first picked up Nie Qianyun and set it aside. Then he said to Su Qin, You beast. Wouldn't you look for me if you need it? My old lady won't refuse you, you actually harmed your apprentice. Su Chen quickly stood up at this time, but did not expect Meng Kier to grab his shirt directly and roared, I have liked you for so many years, don't you know? Su Chen was stunned by this sudden confession, Meng Kier was also stunned, and the two of them fell into weird silence. Well, that, I just helped my apprentice get rid of the heavenly ghosts, nothing else happened, don't think about it. Su Chen said after a while of silence. Bad Meng Kier saw Su Chen's neat clothes at this time, and couldn't help but blush, and then said, Who, who is thinking about it? Humph! What you do is not my business. Meng Kier walked out towards the door, and then turned around and said to Su Chen, Su Chen, there seems to be someone in your sect who wants to be against you. Be careful yourself. I'm leaving. We will see you again soon. After speaking, Meng Qiu flew out and disappeared in front of Su Chen's eyes. Su Chen suddenly felt a bit of a loss, and then healed, and picked up Nye Qinyun who was lying on the side. Nye Qinyun woke up at this time and saw Su Chen hugging him, feeling Su Chen's body temperature on his skin, and said with a tired face, Master, I seem to have succeeded. Su Chen looked at Nye Qinyun with a tired face and couldn't help but said distressedly, Yes, you succeeded, I am proud of you. Master, remember, you want to warm me up. After Nye Qianyun said this, she passed out completely. Hee hee, Master has already warmed you up, so I'll cover it for you. Su Chen smiled bitterly when he heard these words, and then put it on the bed. At this time, he changed the quilt that still had his body temperature on Nye Qianyun, and said softly to him, Master has fulfilled my promise. Nye Qianyun didn't know if he heard these words, but a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth and fell asleep deeply. Su Chen saw this and knew that the opportunity for his disciple had already been obtained, so when she slept for a while, he could take her away. The purpose of this journey was also over. There is still about one month left before the three-month deadline. He intends to take Nye Qianyun out to travel the world in the next time, which can be regarded as a solid Tao heart. OM there was a dull sound, Su Chen suddenly jumped up and looked around with alertness. Could it be that besides the remnants of the heavenly ghost, is there anything else here? At this time, a wooden sign fell from the roof and landed in front of Su Chen. It said in simplified Chinese, There is a chance here, under your feet, please step on it. Su Chen glanced at the wooden sign and thought, This author is still conscientious, and besides being funny, he can also leave some opportunities for the visitors. After sensing that there is no danger to me, Su Chen stomped hard on the ground. Crack. With a sound, the floor below shattered, and then an underground secret room appeared. The secret room was not deep, that is, four meters deep. Su Chen planned to go down and take a look. He signed a seal and set up a protective formation to protect Nye Qianyun who was sleeping. After all, he is so close, even if there is an emergency, he can rescue him in time. After doing all this, Su Chen jumped down and fell into the secret room. This secret room is not big, only 30 square meters in size, and there is only a simple table and chairs in it, and three things are placed on the table. Su Chen walked forward and saw the three objects on the table. Before the objects, there was a piece of paper with something written in simplified Chinese. First of all, looking at it from left to right, the first thing is a hatchet that goes around Ghost Chi. The paper before the long sword says, Ghost Immortals Knife, the strongest female ghost immortals in ancient times, Yan Ye's magic treasures, Gui Xiu can play his strongest strength with this knife. This is a good thing, the best fairy artifact, and since it is owned by ghost immortals, it is not comparable to ordinary fairy artifacts in terms of its power or other aspects. This hatchet can be used by Nye Qianyun. 
After accepting the sword with satisfaction, Su Chen looked at the next thing. It was a gray skirt. The material seemed very special and it looked strange. The paper before the skirt read, Ghost Immortal Skirt, also Yang Ye's thing, is the ultimate defense magic treasures, which can withstand the attacks of a big realm higher than the user. Well, the growth of this magic treasures is very impressive, as long as Nye Qianyin's cultivation base comes up, it can withstand stronger attacks. With these two things alone, this trip was not wronged. The two magic treasures of offense and defense are enough for Nye Qianyun to reach the Transcends Tribulation period safely and even to pass the Heavenly Tribulation. Su Chen looked at the last thing, it was a thick book without a cover, and on the paper before that book was written two large Chinese characters, spoiler. Seeing these two words, Su Chen felt his own heartbeat began to accelerate, could it be said? Su Chen couldn't wait to pick up the book, and then open the pages to read it. At this time, with his realm, which is about 100,000 pages of books, it was only a few quarters of an hour to finish reading. After reading it, Su Chen took a big breath and calmed himself down. He was right, this one was the original work of the Battle of the Empress. Such a treasure is the most precious in this world. Although he probably remembers the general content of the original book, some details are impossible to remember. Now that he has this book, he can consult it in time, thoroughly predict the enemy's first opportunity, and make the correct answer at every important fork in the road. Options This is the biggest opportunity this time, both for him and for his five disciples. Chapter, 54 Half a day later, Su Chen walked out of the Sky Ghost Valley with the most awake love cloud. On the way, Nye Qinyun did not dare to look at Su Chen directly. Because at that time, although she was affected by Ghost Qi of Heavenly Ghost, her consciousness was sober. Of course, she still remembers what she did. Under the influence of the Heavenly Ghost, her inner desire was infinitely magnified, and she actually planned to do something like this to Su Chen. Thinking of this, she felt Ong's cheeks hot, especially when Su Chen seemed to be lying on the bed without resistance, covering Ong with a quilt. She swears that at the time Ong's heartbeat exceeded at least 200 beats per minute. At that time, she wished to take Master Ong directly and do something that had nothing to do with respecting the teacher. But no matter what, Meng Kuo broke in at the time, and immediately knocked her out. Otherwise, maybe at that time I had really taken the lead. I really almost ate the master. Damn! Can't you come in so few minutes late? Nye Qianyun hates the woman named Meng Kier at this time. At this time, she did not have the joy of cultivation bases skyrocketing and gaining the treasure, but a sense of loss of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This also led to Su Chen's proposal to her whether to travel in the world for a few days, but she also rejected it. At this time, she lost this mood. Of course, Su Chen didn't know the careful thoughts of his disciple, nor did he know that this disciple felt very regretful for not having the jockey Mizu succeeded, otherwise he had to expel from the teacher's door. The two imperial swords did not fly very fast, and they returned to Chujing Fong after about a day. At this time, there were three figures at the entrance of Chiu Jingfeng's small courtyard. Two figures were practicing with swords. It was a skill exchange without any magic power fluctuations. The swordsmanship of the two had reached a very high realm. These two people are Qin Chiu and Li Mayan. The other person was sitting on the steps, with a sad color on his face and anxious expression in his eyes. We are back. A cheerful voice sounded, Qin Chiu and Li Mayan stopped their movements, and Tu Su also stood up with surprise. Master! The three said in unison. A stream of light flashed, and Su Chen and Nye Qian Yun appeared at the entrance of the small courtyard. All three of them looked at Su Chen with surprise and said, respectfully welcome the return of Master. Well, don't be so polite. Su Chen waved his hand and said. Li Mayan stepped forward, raised his hand, and turned into a duster, which wiped the dust off Su Chen's body. His movements were very gentle, not at all like Shura in the eyes of outsiders. Didn't the master say that it takes three months to return? This time, I came back only after two months. Su Chen comfortably enjoyed the service of his disciples, and then said to the three of them, Hee hee, this time out, your junior and sisters have gained quite a lot. 
Now that the goal has been achieved, Qian Yun has no intention of staying outside, so we will come back. N.S. Hearing these words, Qin Chulian, even though he was energetic, said to him, Oh! What chance did Junior Sister get this time? Nye Qian Yun said happily at this time, Thanks to Master, my current cultivation base has reached the nascent soul middle stage. What? The three women exclaimed Qi Qi, after all, Nye Qian Yun two months ago, but only foundation building realm. Now, under Su Chen's separate teaching, he skipped several levels directly, directly surpassing the three of them to reach the nascent soul middle stage. They were very surprised. Seeing the expressions of the three, Nye Qian Yun couldn't help being more excited, and said to the three of them, the three elder sisters. The younger sister just broke through, I don't know if you can give me a good look and help me consolidate realm. As soon as this statement came out, Qin Chulian and Li Mayan both showed a hint of fierceness. Good guys, they had to pick the authority of martial master as soon as they broke through. This is unbearable. Okay. Then I will come to see how much junior sister has grown. Qin Chulian said. Su Chen glanced at the four of them. When his eyes fell on Tu Su's face, he read a trace of worry from her eyes. Then he said, Okay, Mu Yen, Chiu Lian, you two go. Practice your hands with Qian Yun, Tu Su, stay, and I have something to ask you. Yes. Master. The three people who were going to learn from each other were already fighting, and they left directly, leaving Tu Su face to face with Su Chen. Tire, there is a trace of worry in your eyes, is there anything unspeakable? Su Chen said directly without going around. Look for flowers zero. Tu Su didn't expect Su Chen to see Ohm's worry, and then he said, Master, I have encountered something, and I plan to discuss it with you. Well, sit and speak slowly. Su Chen lotus position sat on the green grass, and Tu Su also sat down and said to Su Chen, Master, you know, I am a member of the demon race. Western Yaozu area. Well, I know, go ahead. Su Chen knew that she must have something important. I grew up in a monster clan, and later was hunted down. If I hadn't met the master, I would have died long ago. Tu Su gave Su Chen a grateful look, and then said, Before I escaped from the Yaozu, a close friend of mine was caught by the Yaudi's men in order to help me escape. I wanted to save her. Su Chen heard these words, and his eyes lit up. This is an important story point in the original work. When Tu Su escaped from the Great Sky School, he learned that his friend was imprisoned by the Demon Emperor, and then went back to the rescue and got it on the road. After the adventure, he got the inheritance of the ancient Demon Emperor, and finally became a generation of Demon Emperor. Although it is a very bleak plot, but there are a lot of cool points, so Su Chen remembers it very clearly. So, do you want to go back and save her? Su Chen asked softly. Yes, I hope Master can allow me to go. Tu Su said with a begging expression. Su Chen was about to agree, but he didn't expect the system's voice to sound, it is also a compulsory course for Master to accompany the disciple to save people. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. Just one option. Your dog system is too lazy. Don't even bother to give another option. But this is a good opportunity to get closer to own disciples, and I still agree to it. Well, saving the benefactor is the right thing to do. For your safety, to accompany you as a teacher is also time to teach you. Su Chen rubbed Tu Su's fox ears and said. Tu Su didn't expect that Su Chen actually planned to go out and help him save people himself. With excitement, he hugged Su Chen's waist and whispered, Master is the best to me. 3. Chapter, 55 Su Chen had agreed to Tu Su's request, but at this time Ye Qian Yun had been dragged away by Li Mayan and Qin Chilian, and the three came to the back mountain. Ye Qian Yun looked at the two with a vigilant face at this time. She knew the tempers of the two of them. They were the two devils who just started. But at this time, Qin Chilian and Li Mayan were sitting on two rocks, in a state of wanting to chat with her. Qian Yun, you didn't do anything to master this time, right? Qin Chilian smiled at this time, but there was a chilling murderous in his smile. Li Mayan was stroking his scabbard at this time, 
and he was obviously ready to fight. At this time, Nye Qianyun is no longer what she used to be. The cultivation base of the nascent soul middle stage made her not afraid of one enemy too, so she said directly, Hee hee, if it wasn't for being disturbed, master has already been eaten by me. Lost. When the two heard the words, they looked at 983 directly, and then laughed out. Qin Chulian said, Haha, junior sister, you are really naive, I tell you, it's not so easy if you want to eat master. In the past five years, the two of them have been with Su Qin day and night, and naturally they have more chances to eat Su Qin than Qian Yun. But I don't know what's going on, there will always be something wrong when they are about to succeed. Although they are angry, they are all used to it. You can only comfort yourself with good deeds. Nye Qianyun clenched his fists heavily and said, Next time, next time I must succeed. He he, okay, junior sister, let's make a point of business. Li Mayan said to Nye Qianyun. At this time, Li Mayan and Qin Chulian both had serious expressions, and Nye Qianyun also knew their tempers. Such a posture naturally had important things. Two elder sisters, you say, I will listen. Nye Qianyun also sat down and said. Sister, you speak. Li Mayan put away the black cloud sword in his hand and said. Well, two juniors, I have heard that Tu Su wants to go back to the monster clan to save her friend. According to the temper of the master, if you know it, I'm afraid I can't help but follow her to the monster clan, you guys are you right? Qin Chulian said lightly. Both of them nodded, because Su Chen is such a person who can work hard for own disciples, which is why they are all addicted to him. From this point of view, Master will not let us go together, for fear that we are in danger, but this time we must follow it for two reasons. Qin Chulian stretched out two fingers. 1. It is for the safety of Master. The three of us are now cultivation base with nascent soul. With the ability to protect ourselves, we must contribute to the safety of Master. Are you right? Yes. That's right. Nye Qianyun and Li Mayan said at the same time. Yeah. Qin Chulian continued at this time, secondly, in order to prevent that fox spirit from having a chance to eat Master. As soon as this remark came out, both of them flashed a trace of killing intent in their eyes. Yes, Tu Su, the fox spirit, usually likes to sell cute in front of Su Chen, rubbing his own master clothes. The appearance just made them feel a bit of gnashing their teeth, and they can't wait to beat them directly. Let alone, among the crowd, perhaps the one who is most likely to eat master is the fox spirit that makes their teeth itchy. Hmm, sister, the two of us listen to you. In order to protect master from being eaten by the fox spirit, we can do anything. Nye Qianyun said. Qin Chulian nodded and said, Okay, we are divided into two teams I will follow the master and the fox spirit in secret. If the fox spirit dares to do anything, I will dispose of her. You two will disguise yourself, sort out relevant information along the way, and catch an important person back by the way, so that you can save people, so you know. Qin Chulian said with a serious face at this time, and her authority as a master sister was undoubtedly revealed at this time. Yes. Senior sister. Both of them were shocked by this momentum at this time, and then agreed. Fox spirit. I will never let you succeed. Qin Chulian clenched his fists and said viciously. The other two are in the same state. Su Qin didn't know that a Shura field that brought together his four disciples was waiting for him in the near future. The cruelty of this Shura field even exceeded the maximum scale of the original work. After Su Chen agreed to Tu Su, he ordered Tu Su to prepare the items for the trip. After all, she was familiar with the place of the Yaozu, and then he went to the main hall of King Tianzong. He had received the news before that Lin Qingyuan's Transcends Tribulation was successful and officially became the superb power of cultivation world in Mahayana period. Now, there are only a handful of people in cultivation world who can do two tricks with him. When he came to the main hall, Lin Qingyuan was dealing with some affairs in sect. When Su Qin arrived, he smiled and stood up and said, Brother, you are here. Congratulations, senior brother head teacher, for the success of Transcends Tribulation. You will be able to enter the fairyland soon. Su Qin said with a smile. 
After passing the Thunder Tribulation and reaching the Mahayana period, about a hundred years later, it will fly to the Immortal Realm. This also means that Lin Qingyuan has only a hundred years left to shelter the Qingtian Zong. Ha, huh, it's fortunate. Lin Qingyuan asked Su Qin to sit down, and the two sat opposite each other. Brother, since I have reached the Mahayana stage, then you must be mentally prepared to begin to bear the burden of the Great Sky School. Lin Qingyuan said meaningfully. In his mind, Su Chen is the most qualified head teacher candidate, and the skills and cultivation base of the other brothers are not enough. Su Chen smiled bitterly at this time. He originally wanted to refuse. After all, a master of martial arts, but the pressure is very high. But when he saw Li Qingyuan's ardent gaze, it was difficult to refuse, so he followed his words and said, Yes, brother, I will be mentally prepared. Seeing that Su Chen did not refuse, Lin Qingyuan was relieved and smiled with joy. At this moment, he was finally relieved. Well, if you agree, then you will gradually take over the affairs in the door. Su Chen heard this and said to Lin Qingyuan, Brother, if you want to take over the affairs, please delay for a few months. I still have things to do. Oh. Lin Qingyuan became interested at this time and said to Su Chen, Junior brother, what do you need a few months to do? He he, don't dare to hide it from senior brother, my disciple Tu Su has a friend trapped in the land of the Yaozu. I will accompany her out of the Yaozu for a trip. Su Chen informed Lin Qingyuan of the causes and consequences of this matter, without concealing the least. It turned out to be so, and it should be. Lin Qingyuan raised his hand at this time, and a jade slip appeared in his hand. This is to transmit jade slip. If you encounter those old monsters in the monster race, you can crush this, and I will be there immediately. Lin Qingyuan said with a smile. Ha, huh, thank you, brother. Su Chen is not polite, which is tantamount to adding another layer of insurance to himself. Well, go, when you come back, it's time for me to officially canonize you as the successor of head teacher, get ready. Lin Qingyuan said solemnly. Yes, brother head teacher. Su Chen also replied with a serious face. Chapter, 56 Half a month later, in the western part of Zhongzhou, in an inn on the edge of Yaozu's land. Su Chen and Tu Su rose up with swords and plunged into the realm of the monster race very quickly, into the arrogant ancient forest and the forest sea, and then into the city of monster cultivators. This is the boundary between the human race area and the monster race area. It is called the Ten Thousand Demons Frontier Fortress. On the first day after arriving at the Ten Thousand Demons Frontier Fortress, Tu Su told him to pretend to be a foolproof, meticulous, and thorough disguise. Su Chen agrees very much and feels that it is good to be low key. After all, the hostages are in their hands, and if they expose themselves too early, the safety of the hostages cannot be guaranteed, and the own line is meaningless. This thought continued until Tu Su took out the disguise equipment, his mentality was suddenly shattered, and he felt that his current male dignity, no. His current dignity as a human race has been trampled on. Because Tu Su's hands are earless. Su Chen just wanted to shout out at this time, you are a rabbit, and your whole family is a rabbit. Su Chen stared at the thing in a daze, his brain filled with strange things swiping over, and then he saw the simple faces of his three apprentices. Perhaps Tu Su didn't even know what Miana Yi meant. Master, to enter the gathering place of the monster race, you must have this unique disguise. Tu Su said solemnly, it is easy to be seen through by others if you only cover it with blindfolds. At that time, it may cause unnecessary turmoil. A demon emperor is stationed in the frontier of 170,000 monsters. More is better than less. Hearing these words, Su Chen opened his mouth to refuse, but the voice of the system rang. As a master, sometimes it is necessary to satisfy the request of the disciple. Now I open the option. Ah! I can't stand you anymore. You are a dog system. Before, you just wanted to train me into an old-fashioned critic. You want to train me directly into a big pervert. System, you show me out, I want to fight you. Daddy choose three. Choose three. Mission completed, beauty one. He was silent for a moment, and said, how do I wear this? 
need to import spirit power. Tu Su smiled and said, it's better to let me put it on master. Su Chen could only give a wry smile, and then the ghost said something badly, okay, then you should be lighter. Tu Su immediately blushed when he heard these words. Master, what are you talking about? What did I not do to you? Are you trying to imply what I am going to do? At this time, Su Chen controlled his thoughts about interrogation everywhere, telling himself that this was just a means to avoid danger, and it was an emergency. Su Chen's black hair is extremely soft, and his hair is very thin. When it is wrapped around his hand, it feels better than the fluff of some animals. Tu Su pressed his shoulders, let the master sit on the ground, and then wiped his hair. Tu Su also has a fragrance on his body, but it is different from the light and cold fragrance on Su Chen. Tu Su's body is a subtle and fragrant fragrance, which is exactly the same as his appearance, revealing a sense of indistinguishability in elegance. Her hands are also very white, thin and slender. When she brushes Su Chen's sideburns and hair, it almost blends with the color of the skin under her fingers. At this time, the reward of Su Chen's beauty one is in place, and his appearance looks more beautiful. Tu Su swallowed lifelessly at this time, thinking, Master is really getting better and better. She restrained her inner impulse, adjusted the master's hair to a more suitable position, then picked up the two earless, and slowly introduced spirit power. The rabbit ears activated by spirit power shook, it was more like the characteristics of a real monster race. Tu Su attached the snow-white rabbit ears to Su Chen's hair and reached out to touch the ends of his hair. Su Chen hadn't felt this before, but he suddenly touched him, feeling that the pair of disguised magical items used to cover up his identity seemed to be connected to his body, as if he really felt touched. This feels too bad. Su Chen took a breath, and then felt Tu Su pinch his ears, rubbing his fingers back and forth on the tips of the ears. His body was taut, and he said to her in a little surprise, What are you doing? Tu Su only rubbed it a few times, then reluctantly withdrew his hand, and said with a smile, It's very rare for people to have fun. For a while, Su Chen couldn't tell whether he was talking about the rare pair of magical items, or whether he had a pair of monster ears that seemed more rare. Tu Su took a step back and admired the masterpiece of Own. When he watched the master lower his head slightly, a pair of long ears fell a little. She had just looked at it, but when she looked at it, she felt that her own idea was a bit wrong, and she ran all the way in a strange direction. She didn't dare to look more, and took out the last device to conceal her identity. A fluffy tail. Su Chen saw this prop and immediately said, Don't be so cautious, right? Tu Su said with a stern face, Master taught me to think twice, and teach me to think carefully and act cautiously, how can I retreat from such a small difficulty? Su Chen suddenly wanted to kill himself before death, why did he teach such a sentence? Su Chen looked at the rabbit tail in Tu Su's hand and felt speechless for a while, and then said, Okay, let me do this myself. Su Chen passed the soft and fluffy rabbit free tail from her point of view, and sighed, Why do you have to wear a demon shape? I remember some demon kings with only faintly illuminated demon patterns on their bodies. Tu Su said, The number of demon kings is too small, and that would be very eye catching. Isn't it the original intention of losing the hidden identity? I didn't expect this reason to be extraordinarily reasonable, I was speechless. Su Chen pinched Mitzi's tail, and then said, Okay, you can go out first. Tu Su blinked, trying to dissuade, or let the disciple come, what if the master can't do it? This thing is difficult to wear. Don't make trouble, you are all a big girl. You are a man as a teacher. Get out soon. Su Chen drove her out as he said. Tu Su closed the door and said with a squishy mouth, Master is stingy, and I don't see any less meat. While speaking, Tu Su turned his head directly and punched a big hole in the door. At this time Su Chen has put on his clothes. Behind him is the moonlight coming in from the window, falling on by Tempen skin, projecting a soft and shiny luster like water. Tu Su stared at the black hair that fell on his shoulder when he put it down, and the snow-white rabbit ears that shook with his movements. Suddenly, Tu Su felt that this was not something he had been longing for, it was just pouring oil on her flames day and night, making the flames burn even more intense. 983 Master, 
you are simply playing with fire in front of me. It is still my heart's fire. Sure. Su Chen said lightly. Su Chen put on the tail again, and felt like wearing this kind of thing, it should be connected to the tail bone, right? Su Chen turned around at this time, a cold finger touched the tail, and looked a little trembling. He quickly turned around and looked at Tu Su with a strange look. Tu Su quickly restored his face and said, well, this disguise should be fine. Su Chen asked at this time, since you have to pretend, do you have any plans? Before the other party could answer, there was something soft about the hair he pointed. Standing up, a pair of fluffy ears came out, exactly those of the fox. Su Chen stunned and said with a smile, I forgot that you were fox demon. Of course, it's not a disguise. Before he finished his words, a beautiful and long plush tail came around, wrapped around his waist with great force, and brought it in the direction of Tu Su. Su Chen was taken a step off guard and almost fell into the arms of the apprentice. This tail is also too big. Su Chen stood firmly on his shoulders and heard Tu Su's slightly lower voice, can't the master react slower? Speak well, your tail is so happy. Su Chen looked at the fox's tail that had been holding his back. I don't know why, Tu Su, who is usually so well behaved in front of him, actually took a lot of initiative when he came to the Yaozu area. In fact, it's not to blame Tu Su for taking the initiative. After all, when he was alone with Su Chen, the aura on his body was too alluring, and it just so happened that this fox spirit had its own attribute bonus. Chapter 57 There are many monster inns like this in the 10,000 Monsters Frontier Fortress, and there are also many monster companions passing by to settle in the inns. In their eyes, Su Chen and Tu Su are a pair of typical demon couples. Many monster races like this kind of rabbit spirit that looks clear and coldly, but is actually indescribable. After all, creatures like rabbits are very suitable to be Tao companions, and they are particularly eager for that aspect. Besides, they are generally weak and non-aggressive, so they are very suitable for being Tao companions, and can practice some kind of cultivation technique. And the other Snow White girl, on the contrary, revealed the breath of carnivorous animals all over her body. So when the guys at the inn chatted, they couldn't help discussing it. The rabbit monster who went upstairs before. A shopkeeper with dog ears wiped the table and started talking, how come Monster Chi looks so light? Is it just transformed? I look like it. The other little girl shook the fox's tail and licked the seeds. The demonic beasts next to him is different, it's a bit unrecognizable. I guessed it, if I hit it. Fist, that rabbit demon should be able to cry for a long time, right? Xiao Er sighed, it's so beautiful, I also want to abduct such a rabbit spirit. Although he looks cold, I always feel that he is gentle and gentle when his eyes are swept over. Dream you. The little girl spit out the skin of the melon seeds, doesn't that meaty demonic beasts bite your throat? Still thinking about your partner, that meaty demonic beasts is so beautiful that it's so beautiful. Beautiful male rabbit demon. The two chatted and talked, and the topic continued to deviate, and began to develop in a slightly colored direction. Until the door of the inn suddenly opened, and a person who was obviously not a monster stood at the door, glanced forward, and was polite. Angrily, is your boss here? This person was a human woman with a tall stature and carrying a crimson sword. Her beauty could be described as an overwhelming country, with a hint of heroism in her beauty. It was Qin Chulian who came here. She followed Su Chen from a long distance and came to this monster inn. Jian Shaoer and the little girl looked at this person in a daze. They have never seen such stunning beauties. As soon as the voice fell, a head came out from behind the counter. A thousand-year-old Jinsang Jinsang who was about to be bald leaned forward and looked at the other party with his beard for a moment. As if sensitively aware of the powerful aura hidden in this person, he solemnly asked, I am the boss, may I ask? The person on the other side smiled, and said in a gentle and gentle tone, Here is the human cultivator, who came to the demon realm to find someone. Ted asked the boss about two people, please let the boss know. It turned out to be the cultivator of the human race, I don't know who you want to inquire about. Jinseng Jing said very cautiously. 
This was originally the junction of the human race area and the demon realm, and the human race cultivator could not be more normal here. Have you ever seen a man and a woman here, one of whom is Fox Demon? Qin Chilian said. Well, yes, it's in the room B upstairs. Jin Sang Jing saw that this person was not malicious, so it was estimated that he had come to find friends, so he directly informed. Thank you, boss, I'll leave Qin Chilian laughed and walked out of the inn, leaving behind a group of monsters with inexplicable faces. In the early morning of the next day, Xiao Er with dog ears came in with the food, and the dishes on the dishes were all the things that monsters were accustomed to eating. The dishes are quite extensive, and even raw meat. Don't say that Su Chen has long been bigu, even if he really wants to eat something, he has no appetite for these meals. Su Chen glanced at him, his tone was flat, let it go. Jian Xiao Er looked at him, and suddenly said, Well, the little one presumptuously asks, Do you have two partners? And you still pedal two boats at the same time? Su Chen stunned, and asked, Are you a couple or two? Yes. Xiao Er nodded quickly, Did you dump your other partner and elope with this one now? Su Chen didn't even understand what he was talking about, so he heard the kennel in front of him continue on his own. Guest, don't blame me, you provoke that too bad, at least start the gold core period, right? People are looking for you, we are a small shop, we really can't provoke big people. Just as Su Chen looked reluctant, a rush of footsteps sounded, and a fiery red figure came to Su Chen, gasping slightly and said, Master, I found you. Then, the figure directly hugged Su Chen, and the person here was Qin Chilian. At this time, Qin Chilian was a little embarrassed, with the remaining unhealed wounds on his body, and the blood that penetrated soaked through the black robe. Chiu Lian, what's wrong with you? Why are you here? Su Chen hugged Qin Chilian and brought him into the room. The shopkeeper on the side smiled as if to say, Look, I guessed it right. It turned out to be in love in the triangle year of the master and apprentice. Well, it's really a good conversation, a love story that can be eloquent. But this person is really thick-skinned, and he is so calm and confident. He is really rare in the world. Su Chen took it into the room and looked at the wounded disciple on, feeling distressed in his heart. He helped him to lie down on the couch, and then asked, Chiu Lian, what's wrong with you? At this time, despite the serious injuries on his body, seeing Su Chen's concerned eyes, Qin Chiu Lian felt a burst of sweetness in his heart. Master, I originally didn't want to see you with this scarred body, but I really can't hold it anymore. Qin Chiu Lian is stubborn by nature. If it weren't for his serious injury, he would definitely not come to see Su like this. Chen's Su Chen stared at her blankly, staring at the scarred and delicate body for a moment, then asked with a slight face, Did you meet an enemy in the monster race? No, shouldn't it? I didn't let Xiu Lian and the others come out, why did she rush to the realm of the monster race? The thoughts in his mind suddenly broke, and he felt something touched by own hand. He lowered his head and glanced down and saw that there was blood between his fingers. Su Chen was so shocked that she couldn't recover from the shock. She felt that she had gone into the Yaozu realm single-handedly. It was a great fortunate not to die. He suddenly felt sore and distressed to his death no money is good. He whispered, why did you run around and suffered such a serious injury? Why are you looking for me in such a hurry? The smell of blood on Qin Chilian's body was too strong. Su Chen lowered his eyes and checked her injury carefully. He felt that the soul was not hurt, and he was slightly relieved, Fox. He immediately asked, didn't I let you stay on the Chiujing Peak? Why come down the mountain without permission to come to this monster race land? Qin Chilian raised his head, exhaled like silk, and said softly, it's not because I'm worried about Master. After that, Qin Chilian told Su Chen that he and a few junior sisters had sneaked out, and they asked for information from the monster clan separately. Su Chen was really very angry when he heard the words, but seeing Qin Chilian's wounds and feeling distressed, he couldn't say anything to blame her. Su Chen glanced at her reproachfully, then took out the wound medicine and medicine pill, and began to heal the wound carefully. The healing process lasted until midnight. Chapter 58 Yeyue is silent. Outside the inn, 
there was the sound of a little demon playing a gong, and the moonlight shone from the window and fell on the ground. This is the first time Su Chen saw this scene of Ten Thousand Monsters Frontier Fortress. He also met with many big monsters in Qingtian Zong, and he had tolerated the little monsters who were devoted to cultivation. But it was the first time to come to a place like the Demon Clan. I didn't expect the Demon Clan with animal instincts to be so orderly. Su Chen sat in front of the window and blew the wind for a long time. He held a book in his hand. It was the original work of the Battle of the Empress. Remember every detail. Come to this Yaozu area, then the storyline about Tu Su must be clear. There is one thing that Su Chen paid special attention to, that is, Tu Su was reincarnated as a sky fox. Every monster emperor in the monster clan was very jealous of her, and even wanted to punish her. Therefore, Tu Su came to the monster race realm, no matter how to hide, I am afraid that there will be a time of exposure, then Su Chen needs to anticipate the enemy's first opportunity and consider everything that may happen. Although King Tian Zong is very powerful, if facing the combined forces of the entire monster race, I am afraid that it will suffer a heavy loss. The last time they rescued Tu Su by themselves was already the limit of their tolerance. If you let them know that they dare to send it to the door, they are afraid they will not be polite. The last time I went on a trip with Nye Qianyun, it can be said to help him find opportunities. It is a searching behavior and is not very dangerous. However, coming out with Tu Su this time, it was obvious that 987 was a risky act of saving lives. A person who is inconvenient may face the powers of the monster race. Although there are not no monsters that are familiar with the Qingtian Zong, but there are not many. The only demon emperor who is familiar with King Tian Zong is the Tianlu Demon Emperor, but unfortunately he has been closed door training for thousands of years. Su Chen frowned, sorted out all the possible enemies of Tu Su, memorized the other party's information, and began to think about countermeasures. What should I do to save Tu Su's friend and retreat all over? At this time, the snow white rabbit ears between the hairs fell down, preventing the ears from touching the scalp softly almost feeling the strange touch of a pair of ears. He couldn't help but raised his hand and squeezed it, and then suddenly withdrew his hand after touching it, feeling that his ears and cheeks must be red why didn't he know that he was so sensitive. Su Chin turned around and looked at himself from above. The screen was constantly being swiped by you are finished, you are not clean. He calmed down and touched the pair of magical items with connected touches unbelief. No, why is a big man so sensitive? Just because of magical item? If this is to let Tu Su know. Do you want to own face? He was already thinking about how long he would be laughed at when he talked about it. In the end, Su Chen was rubbed into the Tao body by this strange feeling. Just when his strange feeling subsided a little, he suddenly felt a familiar figure coming to his door. Master, it's us, can you come in? The voices of Tu Su and Qin Chilian came in. Well, come in, I haven't slept yet. Su Chen was trying to find out about the situation of the monster clan. Tu Su will not mention it for the time being. Qin Chilian is spying on intelligence in the area of the monster clan these days, and he knows a lot. Tu Su opened the door and walked in. She changed into a water blue dress, her hair was tied into two ponytails, and a pair of fox ears trembled slightly. What a pure and lustful fox spirit. This is what Su Chen gave her. Qin Chilian also changed his appearance at this time. Under Tu Su's suggestion, he actively selected a pair of grey wolf ears for the big apprentice. He talked with the little demon who set up the stall in a Chinese-style bargaining for a long time before he completely took this thing down. At Qin Chilian's strong request, Su Chen helped her wear it personally. After putting it on, Su Chen frowned and said, When I bought it, I looked at the milky little wolf ears. Why do you wear it so fiercely? Qin Chilian said a little aggrieved at the time, You look fierce, doesn't the teacher bad like it? Not really. Jiang Yingha looked at it for a while, maybe because the sense of aggression is too strong. It seems that wolves and foxes eat rabbits, right? He fell into deep thought and suddenly felt that he had chosen for so long, as if he had made a wrong decision. Su Chen saw the two open them, and waved them to come over. He didn't know, the moonlight was dim at the moment, 
and his cheeks were slightly red because of the sensitivity of the bunny ears. Even the ink-colored eyes showed a surging wetness and luster, just like the spring water greeted by the melting of the frost and flowers on the branches. At this time, Tu Su and Qin Chulian looked at the ears on Su Chen's head, swallowed, and turned their heads back to find that they were so hopeless. Master is so good-looking, the pair of long soft rabbit ears suits him very well, making people want to do something disrespectful. Qin Chulian suppressed the impulse in his heart at this moment, and approached the opponent casually, came to Su Chen and whispered, Master, are you uncomfortable? Su Chen reacted when he reminded him. He reached out his hand and touched his reddish face, and he felt a little hot as expected. No. Su Chen calmed his voice, I'm fine, don't worry. After he spoke, he saw the three apprentices in front of him stretch out their hands and touch the rabbit ears on the left of Own. Tu Su's fingertips were very soft and he moved carefully, almost as if he was stroking some precious porcelain when rubbing his palms her gaze kept falling between Su Chen's eyes, and she whispered slightly, Master, you are blushing. Qin Chulian also stretched out his hand and grabbed the ear of Mian Tu on the right and said, Junior sister is right, Master, do you have a fever? I didn't. Don't talk nonsense. Su Chen's eyes were flustered at this time, and his dignity as a master must not be lost. He calmed down and said, How can you guys say that, I'm just a little hot. This sentence is vague, in an attempt to get through. But Tu Su and Qin Chulian are obviously not easy people to let go, and while talking, they pinched the long ears worn by Su Chen's hair. Ha! Huh. Su Chen felt the weird feeling again. In the next instant, he pushed out the two disciples who hadn't said much about it. He calmed down for a while before suppressing the weird feeling. He even breathed, and was silent for a while before he whispered, You two go back to sleep first. Neither Tu Su nor Qin Chulian answered. Su Chen also didn't hear the footsteps of leaving, just when he thought that his two apprentices were sad, he just wanted to raise his head to explain to them. Unexpectedly, just standing up, a fluffy tail hooked his calf. His body is slender and thin, and his calf is straight, so he can be completely wrapped by this fluffy tail. The tail also gradually became presumptuous, constantly rubbing against Su Chen's white skin. How could this tail look so serious? Qin Chulian was also unbearable to fall behind at this time. He walked over to Su Chen step by step, his eyes were a little blurred, and her head and ears were shaking slightly. Su Chen finally panicked at this time, and said to the two of them, What do you want to do? Don't come over. Chapter, 59 Finally seeing Su Chen's panic, the two stopped their jockey Mizu's actions with satisfaction. Afterwards, Tu Su put away his own tail, and said with a serious face, I'm about to enter the inner territory of the Yaozu, Master should also find us to discuss the next itinerary. Seeing Tu Su who suddenly looked serious, he was speechless and could only say, Well, you guys stay here, let's discuss it. Su Chen said to Tu Su, Disciple, I haven't had time to ask, the group of monster cultivators who chased you back then, which monster emperor belongs to? A trace of pain flashed in Tu Su's eyes. The experience of fleeing thousands of miles was an extremely painful experience for her. Well, if you don't want to remember, just wait. Su Chen also felt the pain in her heart and stood up patted her on the head. Every disciple of Own has an unbearable past, and he is unwilling to expose their scars. Tu Su looked at Su Chen, the master of Own. Without knowing the demonic area, he promised to come together to save people. This kind of love and accommodation has already moved her very much. Facing such a respected master, I didn't hide the reason from him. So she made up her mind. Master, I don't want to buy you, I am the body of the ancient demon fox, you should have seen this. Tu Su said while looking at Su Chen. Su Chen nodded and said to him, Yes, I can see it, this should be the reason you were chased. Master is like a god. Tu Su looked at the bunny ears on Su Chen's head that was shaking because of nodding. This is too cute. Master, don't tempt me anymore. Looking at the distracted Tu Su, Su Chen said, What about then? Oh. Tu Su returned to his senses at this time and said, When my foundation building period was over, I still couldn't control my own power, 
showing the real vision of the ancient monster fox. At that time, my friend Luo Xian was the only one by my side, so I asked her to keep it secret. Tu Su couldn't help but said sadly, but I didn't expect that a member of the same tribe of ours was also seen not far away. That person is called Onren, he is a despicable villain. He actually told a fox demon general about this, and finally attracted the people sent by the demon emperor to kill me. The next thing Tu Su encountered was a very old-fashioned plot, because he was afraid that Tu Su would grow up to threaten their status. The demon emperor sent people to chase and kill Tu Su. Although Luo Xian was just a little demon, she was very loyal and dragged the other side. Tu Su immediately fled toward the human race area without his life, and finally reached Qingzhou city, met Su Chen, and rescued him back to King Tianzong. It may be that they are afraid of the great strength of the great sky school. The demon emperors dare not confront directly, and the industry does not dare to declare the true identity of Zhang Tusu, so they send people to the great sky school to assassinate. But where is the great sky school, but the first sect in cultivation world, there are countless masters among them, and all the people they sent have been killed, and finally had to give up. They couldn't make a new plan. They caught Luo Xian at the time and didn't kill him. After that, they just used it to lure Tu Su out of King Tianzong. This is why she asked Su Chen to go to the Yaozu area to save her friend Luo Xian. Having said all this, there are many painful colors in Tu Su's eyes, which is indeed a very painful memory. Originally, an ordinary fox girl, living an ordinary life, working hard to cultivate, but unexpectedly suffered a misfortune because of her own talent, and fled for thousands of miles. Facing an opponent that she could not defeat at all, she could only wait to die in the ice in despair. Unexpectedly, Su Chen appeared to save her and gave her a new life. When everything was over, Tu Su said emotionally to Su Chen, If it weren't for Master to rescue me from the ice, I'm afraid I would have lost my life in Yellow Springs. Well, two masters and apprentices, don't want to talk so much. Su Chen touched her hair, soothing her emotions. I know that since you come back to the monster race area, you must have a certain plan in your heart, let's talk about it. Tu Su wiped the tears from the corner of his eyes at this time, and then changed his eyes and said, Master, my plan is like this. If we forcefully go to save people, it will definitely be irrational. So, we must be outsmart. The only way I can think of is to exchange hostages. Tu Su's tone actually contained a hint of banditry. Oh. It seems that you already have a goal. Which demon emperor's family's meat ticket is it? Su Chen has no dissatisfaction with Tu Su's banditry. In cultivation world, all means should be used for the enemy. Tu Su grinned at this moment and said, This piece of information, the master sister has already obtained, let the master sister speak. Qin Chilian took the conversation and said, According to the news I got, the demon emperor Shi Tian has an only son named Shi Gang. Seeking Flowers Zero Su Chen has heard of this Lion Sky Demon Emperor. It is the strongest demon emperor in the demon clan realm, and the true king of the demon clan. The cultivation base has reached the Transcends Tribulation period, and it seems that it has not yet been Transcends Tribulation. His strength is only a tiny bit worse than Lin Qing Yuan before Transcends Tribulation. You are so courageous. Su Chen smiled and said to Tu Su. Normally, I really can't see it. This disciple actually has such courage. Master is afraid. Tu Su said, licking his lips. Hee hee, I have always been courageous as a teacher. Su Chen suddenly changed his tone and said, But, how did you find that Shirtian's only son? Hee hee, we don't have to look for it, the lion will be delivered to the door automatically. Tu Su said with a smile, In a few days, but the puppet festival of the monster race, the lion just happened to be lustful again. At this time, Tu Su looked at Su Chen, with a strange look in her eyebrows, and then she said, There is something, I need help from the master. He he, let's talk about it. If it can be done, I will agree to it for the teacher. Su Chen agreed carelessly. For the own apprentice, he has always been responsive. Tu Su grinned at this moment, and it seemed that there was a conspiracy to succeed. She said to Su Chen, the lion gang especially likes male rabbit spirits. 
therefore, it is necessary to sacrifice the master, and then make a fragrance. Bait. Ha. Huh. What? You want me to seduce that sure gang? How dare your apprentice sell me as a teacher? Su Chen was about to oppose, and the voice of the system sounded, as a qualified master, for the main task of the disciple, we must try our best to meet the needs, and now turn on the option. System, you shit, make it clear what he he is. You shit. You can do HS, right? Daddy sacrifices himself and doesn't make you. Daddy choose too. Su Chen stretched out his hand and pulled the ears of the two disciples and said, Really, I can't do anything with you, I promised you for the teacher. The second girl was unable to do so by Su Chen's sudden petting action and her face of petting, and the mood of teasing the master just now disappeared, and her pretty face blushed and lowered her head. 3. Chapter, 60. The puppet-seeking day of the monster race seems to be similar to the Qiqiao festival of the human race. It is the day when the male demon and the female demon travel and meet during such a festive season. Su Chen went out with the two of them. On the left was Tu Su in a yellow dress, and on the right was Qin Chulian in a red Chongsan. He didn't think there was anything wrong with the trip. His nerves in this area are always slow and slow, or else he can't be single on the earth, until now. But Su Chen didn't have this consciousness himself. He couldn't afford the interest, but when he walked to the stall of the little fairy who sold things, he got some interest instead. Thinking that I was at the frontier of 10,000 monsters, no one knew my own identity. I didn't need to pay attention to Penwai's image and my identity, so I saw several small stalls all the way. The monster clan really sells everything, the special product 987, the tears of the white bone spirits, the mirrors used by the ancient monsters, etc. All piled up together. Su Chin stopped in front of a deer demon, picked a few special directional communication tokens, and only saw the curious and enviable gaze of the deer demon's little boss when he paid for spirit stones. Su Chen subconsciously asked, What's wrong? Is there something wrong with me? The little deer demon boss heard his voice and became more excited. He opened his eyes and approached him in a low voice, Can I ask you something? Just ask. The deer deer shook the horns of his head, swallowed, and asked, you are now, are your health okay? Will your legs be soft? Su Chen was stunned for a moment, did not understand what he meant, what? Why do your two partners follow you? The little boss stared at round deer eyes. The boss looked at Su Chen's long white ears in his hair, with a serious tone, I knew they were very ferocious demonic beasts. This kind of demonic beasts is always easy to abduct the bunny monsters. The little boss lowered his body, picked something out of the groceries, and then whispered, whether you're going shopping for the holidays, you can forget one, why are the two together? I think such a baby, you are not physically weak, do you? I tell you, you are such a look, don't go to places where there are too many monsters, otherwise the two partners will not be able to watch you. Su Chen was completely stunned, and said with difficulty, two, two what? My partner. Lu Yao said logically, can't you have two at the same time? The monster qi on you is so light, it must be very hard every night, right? Su Chen doesn't know how to answer at this time, his face is speechless, this FCK, the car wheel is pressing on my face, boss, your hometown is not Chiu Ming Shan, right? Seeing that he had nothing to say, the little boss thought he was embarrassed, so he opened the thing picked out from the sundries very familiarly and put the small porcelain box with the little daisy and the communication token bought by Su Chen. Come together. Don't be shy. The horns on the head of the deer deer dangled with his movements, his tone was very envious. A few days ago, I heard that a certain demon king forced a bunny spirit. There is no way. The one we ate is hard to beat the meaty demonic beasts, but the two of them are so precious. Of? He pointed to the small porcelain box, and said kindly, I gave it to you. I used to sell this thing. This is in stock. Also, don't you all year round? It can match any kind of demonic beasts. If you can't stand them anymore, I will introduce one to you. Su Chen numbly heard this, Sanguan has been greatly shocked. Originally he was shopping with the little boss Lu Yao, 
Xiu Lian and Tu Su stood not far away waiting for him, just arbitrarily determining his position. But when the little boss said introduce one, Su Chen immediately felt the eyes of his two apprentices were sharply fixed. What is this called? Why are they two disciples when they are clearly two disciples? Perhaps this feels so obvious that even the chattering little boss has a chill in his back, and his crisis consciousness is extremely strong and stops talking. Su Chen looked at this kind gift, neither receiving it nor throwing it away, and then heard the dear demon whispered instructing and adding, this is to supplement the kidney chi, I think you should be able to use it. Su Chen condensed speechlessly, his words stuck in his throat, and he said a little annoyed after a while, my body is very good now, and I will definitely not lose it. The little dear demon boss stayed for a while, then showed a horrified look, it turns out to be a master. Su Chen faced this kind of unreasonable situation for the first time. When he had previously traded privately with the little fairy to buy Qin Chiu Yin wolf ears for disguise, he had never expected that he would face this kind of thing. Su Chen was inexplicably angry and irritated. He endured and endured, still opening his mouth, what a master, it's not what you think, we are just peers. The smile on the little boss's face stopped abruptly. The look in his eyes was like looking at the innocent young rabbit who was abducted by his uncle in his teens. He took a peek at the two meaty demonic beasts and leaned in, walking. Not your partner. Beauty rabbit, are you too innocent? Damn it! What is the name of the beautiful rabbit, why is it so weird? Su Chen took a deep breath and realized that he really couldn't communicate with the other party, so he had to say, I will pay attention, thank you for the gift. The dear dear hasn't realized that he has touched other people's minefields, and he is friendly and ill-spoken, don't thank you, take care of yourself. Su Chen nodded slightly, then turned back to the apprentices and put away the directional communication token that he bought back with the small porcelain box. What did you buy? Qin Chiu asked, Master talked to him for so long. Su Chen didn't believe that he didn't hear it, it was not far away. When he thought of what the little boss said just now, he made up the picture inexplicably, paused for a moment, and said, aren't you two listening all the time? Qin Chilian did not conceal it, and slightly said, Master is indeed very beautiful, and he deserves to be called Zero. Free beauty free. That boss is right, we have to be careful, the province was taken away by other monsters. Tu Su also spoke to the side. Well, you guys be more serious. Su Chin shrugged helplessly, and said with a laugh, your purpose for bringing me out today is not to get me caught. The two covered their mouths and laughed. At this time, there was a sound of rapid flight over the market. Dozens of figures fell on the city wall. This person is the son of the strongest demon emperor in the demon world, the young master of the lion clan, Shi Gang. The lord is here, we should act. Su Chin said lightly to the two disciples. Chapter, 61 Su Chen knew that the lion demon that appeared at the head of the city was their target, Lion Gang, so he looked back at his two disciples. At this moment, he found that Tu Su was selecting this hairpin at this time. He went up and said angrily, Your master has been taken away, don't you know? Isn't the master still here, how could he be taken away? Tu Su said with a smile on his face. Bah, this damned kid is nothing. Su Chen turned his face and just wanted to talk to Qin Chilian, but before he could even speak, he was stuffed with a piece of sugar cake. Tu Su bent his eyes and gave Master a piece of the cake he bought on the road, and then leaned in and said, Master, is this delicious? Su Chen bit off half of the sugar cake in his mouth, melted by the sweetness, and suddenly forgot what he was going to say. Without checking for a while, the three apprentices in front of him suddenly approached, stretched a finger over, and wiped the sugar cake residue from his lips. Before Su Chen could react, the wind blew up in his ears. The red sword body crossed from the other side of his side, scraped two Su's seventeen cheeks, and cut the strands of hair that strayed from her. It only took half an inch to penetrate her shoulders. Didn't you say that you are not allowed to sneak away in front of the business? Qin Chilian looked very cold at this time. Tu Surua licked his fingers nonchalantly, and smiled, senior sister is serious, right? I'm just acting like a baby with master, don't you need to be so nervous? 
Qin Xiuyan's eyes grew colder, and the long sword in his palm, together with the master's heart, made a whisper eagerly. Just as the atmosphere of the two was tense to the touch, a woman suddenly emerged from the weaving flow of people, and hit Su Qin directly. Qin Xiuyan immediately withdrew his sword, turned his wrist to block the incoming people, and guarded the master behind him. Tu Su also pulled out his head at this time and leaned against Su Chen. It only took a second from the time the two faced each other to the outside world. Su Chen was pulled back by the two, and saw a female jackal with animal ears emerging from the street, as if she was smelling something. She even walked around the three of them three times, showing a row of fangs at Su Chen. Rabbit Spirit She seemed to be greedy for a long time, how much do they give you, come with me. I will give you double. Su Chen, do you have such a big prejudice against the rabbit monster? The jackal chuckled and said, Anyway, you can avoid demons at any time. You look so beautiful and still follow the two carnivorous beasts. Isn't that what you do? The jackal seemed to be drunk, with a breath of alcohol on his body, and the halatsi in his mouth was about to flow out. It reminded Su Chen that when he was just practicing the Taoism, he had encountered several cultivators who coveted him like this man. It's just that those cultivators were killed one by one under the sword of Wang Chen. But it was different at this moment. It was in the realm of the monster race. Su Chen just thought about handling it carefully and acting in a low-key manner. Su Chen said helplessly, Chiu Lian, good job. Qin Chiu Lian protected him and treated him nicely. Naturally, he couldn't be blamed, but his behavior seemed to be a lot impulsive. As he thought, he took Qin Xiuyan's hand and rubbed the back of her hand like a smooth hair, don't be angry, I'm fine. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief, and then heard Qin Xiuyan's low, slightly aggressive voice. This is where you chose. This sentence was followed. Tu Su on the side glanced at the corpse on the ground, and looked away without any emotional change. She extended her tone, raised her eyes casually, and a subtle smile appeared on her lips, it seems that the senior brother is bothering, but senior sister, you it seems that success has attracted attention. At this time, Shi Gang on the tower was attracted by the commotion that had just occurred. When he looked at the center of the commotion, he suddenly saw the three people standing in the center. As the son of the demon emperor and the young lord of the lion clan, he can be said to read countless beauty, but at this time the appearance of the two women and one man on the street is truly overwhelming. Especially the male rabbit demon under the guard of the two females was truly beautiful and moving. When he saw him at the first glance, Shi Gang made a decision. Tonight, this bunny demon must appear on his bed, no one can do it. So he immediately jumped down and shouted in the air, who is the one who committed the murder where the young master is? Su Chen only felt that a strong wind was blowing, and a burly figure came in front of the three of them. The three of them looked at each other, and all nodded, indicating that the target was in place. Then Tu Su winked at Su Chen, meaning that Su Chen could start his own performance. Su Chen knew it immediately, and a mist appeared in his eyes. Then he took out a handkerchief from his waist, covered his own mouth, and put on a look of pity that I saw. Su Chen's monster qi is faint at this time, and it looks like the cultivation base is not deep, but there is a faint fairy air on his body, which is light and cold, but there is always a feeling of seduction. With such a look, Tu Su and Qin Xiuyan, who were standing on both sides, couldn't help but swallow. A fire broke out in their hearts, and they couldn't help but complain. Master, don't get into the drama too deeply, are you trying to get your apprentices to commit crimes together? The two of them looked at each other and seemed to be discussing who would hold Su Chen's hands and feet later. Master, do you have three good points? Shi Gang approached Su Chen at this time, raised his eyes and saw a rabbit demon wearing a plain white robe standing in front of him, his black hair was like lacquer, and his eyes were like cold stars. His how come this bunny demon is so pretty when he comes closer? Lion Gang's movements were stagnant, and his natural loud voice didn't know if he should roar. 987. He glanced at the jackal who had been smashed to death by a sword, and was about to broadcast the frame of the son of the demon emperor. The monster chi on the weak rabbit demon in front of him became lighter and lighter. I am the son of the demon emperor lion in heaven, you dare to kill people in the street, come and follow me. 
Shi Gang's words were filled with an indisputable tone. Dozens of his subordinates also gathered around, everyone was at least the cultivation base of the foundation building, and they had already surrounded this place like an iron bucket. Seeing this, Tu Su winked at the two of them. It seemed that the goal was achieved, so she pretended to be trembling and said, We didn't mean it, please let us go. Bar. Tu Su's face had changed at this time, and he looked very pitiful at this time, and the male demons around were all looking pitiful to me. However, Shi Gang seemed to be determined, and said directly to the three of them, Stop talking nonsense. Follow me. Otherwise, you will be killed directly. Okay. Okay, let's go with you. Don't kill. Qin Chilian also pretended to be very afraid at this time, and put away the long sword. Shi Gang nodded in satisfaction, and then said to everyone, Take these three people to my other courtyard, and I will interrogate them carefully. The monster cultivators were all knowing, showing a wretched smile, and then escorted the three to Shi Gang's mansion. Chapter 62 It was the night, Su Chen and the others were taken to Shi Gang's other courtyard. This is a huge mansion, covering hundreds of acres. It can be seen that Shi Gang has a great influence in this 10,000 Li demon fortress. In a room in this other courtyard, Su Chen and his two disciples were sitting face to face. Tu Su, seeing the good idea you came up with, I have directly become a young boy from the good family who was forcibly taken away. Su Chen said with a grimace. Tu Su covered his mouth and smiled and said, Hey, master, this is no way. Just now, in full view, if Shi Gang was rashly kidnapped, I'm afraid it won't be easy to get out. Qin Chilian also snickered aside at this time and said, However, master, the look you were so pitiful just now is really tempting. Su Chen rolled his eyes and didn't say anything. He felt that he was involved in a kidnapping case and his two disciples were still accomplices. The bed under Su Chen is very soft, with many layers on it. The quilt is also an extremely expensive fabric. The patterns on the silk surface are embroidered with fancy, and the colors are spliced in a very magical realistic style. He feels that he is also very magical and realistic now. Why did I agree to be this bait? It's a brainstorm, but it's not the most important thing. Instead, Su Chen raised his hand, the sharp clash of iron chains rang in his ears. He looked at the thin wrist in front of him, the magic treasures that couldn't be released on his wrist, and the chain went all the way to the roof. Although the iron ring at the end was not tightly bound, it hardly touched the flesh, but he couldn't get rid of it. Come out. Before the lion left, for fear that Su Chen would escape, he directly put such a chain on him. The peat, I just agreed to be a bait, how did I think this lion gang tastes so heavy? At this time, there was only one piece of clothes fitting clothing left on Su Chen, and combined with the appearance of being tied up at this time, it looked really pitiful. Su Chen felt uncomfortable, so he reclined on the bed, looking depressed. It's just that such a look is even more tempting than the pretended me to see pity. Tu Su and Qin Chilian, who were discussing how to capture Shi Gang, turned their faces at this time. When the two of them saw Su Chen's appearance, they immediately breathed heavily. The two looked at each other, and they both saw the longing in each other's eyes. The two directly avoided Su Chen's voice communication, Su Chen was completely unaware of it. Tu Su, sister, have you guessed my mind? Qin Chilian, with each other, why, do you have any good ideas? Tu Su, at this time, the master is not good to speak out, and is also locked up. Perhaps it is an excellent opportunity. Qin Chilian, that's right, or, let's be together. Tu Su, good idea, hold the hands and feet of the master first, let's talk about the next thing, let's decide who will go first. Qin Chilian, it's the extreme, the extreme, then let's start, right, don't waste time. After the two communicated, they tiptoed toward Su Chen. The two of them approached their own prey very slowly like a leopard about to hunt, for fear of disturbing the delicious prey in front of them. Su Chen was meditating, and was about to let the two disciples pour himself a glass of water to drink. At this time, he also happened to turn his head and found that his two disciples were slowly approaching him. I thought the two of them had something to find themselves. 
but looking at the expressions of the two of them, Su Chen felt a little awkward in his heart. Unexpectedly, an expression full of extreme aggression appeared in the eyes of the two of them. This is not a normal disciple's look at master, but rather the look of a lion seeing a rabbit. Immunity, am I a rabbit now? A bad premonition flashed across his mind suddenly. What do you want to do? Don't come over. Don't come over. Su Chen suddenly felt something bad in his heart, and for a moment he forgot to release his own magic power. At this moment, he was panicking and shouting in a low voice like a mortal. He also knew that he could not yell loudly at this moment, after all, he was still in a dangerous situation at this time. Master, don't move, we just want to give you a massage. Tu Su looked at him with a smile, but she couldn't feel the sincerity of this sentence in her tone. Yes, isn't it normal for a master disciple to serve the master and massage it? Don't panic too much. Qin Chulian almost burst into flames in his eyes at this time. The two continued to walk towards master owner, Su Chen instinctively curled up on the corner of the bed, looking at the expressions of the two. And said to the two of them, your posture is not like coming to give me a massage at all, but like asking come to eat people, calm down, are you poisoned by something? Yes, we are really poisoned, but the poison was given by you, master. Tu Su smiled at this moment, and then pressed Su Chen's left hand and left foot. Master, take it easy. We were kind enough to accept it. Qin Chulian directly pressed his right hand and foot with his hands. At this time, the state of the three of them seemed to be surprising, and it was completely a preview of the Jockey Mizu. Su Chen thought, no. Did the two of them just got together by the lion? What can I do now? Do you have to sacrifice yourself to detoxify them? Just as the two wanted to proceed to the next step, the door to the room was suddenly opened. Shu just walked in, and then closed the door directly, looking at the bed with excitement. At this time, the second girl had already pressed Su Chen's hands and feet. He was extremely surprised at this time and said, Oh, you two are so sensible, knowing that I am here, I came here Noa Qin Zhao to hold his hands and feet, wait, and reward you both later. But at this time, the two women's complexion became extremely ugly, because it was a great time, but this person rushed in and they had to interrupt their actions. Su Chen still doesn't know what happened, but at this time the two girls have stood up and slowly walked towards Shi Gang. Shi Gang thought that the two of them were coming to him to ask for a reward, so he smiled and said, You go out first, I'm done with things here, and then I will reward you. He couldn't wait to enjoy the beauty of Su Chen at this time. He didn't notice at all. The second daughter walked to him with a gloomy face at this time. The two raised their heads at the same time, two pieces full of murderous intent, their faces appeared in front of Shur Gang. And then two rays of red and yellow light flashed, a huge force struck, and the next second, Shur Gang's body directly vacated. N.S. Chapter, 63 Shur Gang didn't know what was going on at this time, and his whole body was flew up by two huge energies. There was a sharp pain in the chest. Then he saw two murderous pretty faces. The murderous aura on the two women had almost materialized, and they were all facing him alone. I don't know why the two weak women who appeared to be pitiful just now can explode such terrible combat power. Shi Gang is also the cultivation base of nascent soul early stage. From this point of view, he is not a simple second generation ancestor, but also a cultivator with sufficient strength. Among the younger generation of Yaozu, he is also considered a top-ranking person, but he did not expect that the cultivation base and combat power of the two women in front of him had actually surpassed him. Will you die later when you come in late? Will you really die? Do you want to die again and see? Tu Su was already in a semi-crazy state at this time, and it was really just one step away. Do you know how long the old lady has been waiting for such an opportunity? You just wasted me like this, what are you going to take to compensate me? Qin Chulian was already crazy at this time. Shi Tian's body fell 990 in the air, but the two did not give him any chance to buffer. Qin Chulian kicked it heavily and smashed it against the wall. Not yet, when he landed on the ground, it was a punch. The whole room was full of bangs, bangs, and bangs, which were the sound produced by the violent impact of fists and flesh. 
Boom boom boom. The tight sound came, and even the whole house was shaking. Shu Gang's subordinates who were guarding outside the house did not come in to check, because they knew that this was the time when their young master was looking for fun. Even they are still exchanging some of their own opinions and opinions with each other, and the discussion is in full swing. The young master is playing more and more spend now, such a beautiful rabbit, actually willing to make such a big noise. You don't understand this. Of course, the more cruel the bunny monster, the more satisfied you will be, isn't it? But this movement is indeed a bit big, will you just play him to death? That's true, but this is not something we can intervene in bad love, after all, the young master is playing happily inside, we still don't bother, you forgot the last time the old party broke in and was directly beaten. Half dead. It's also true, let's just listen, just pretend not to hear. All the monster races thought that their young master had committed some perverted interest, so they didn't care about him. Even if the house inside fell down, they would dare not go in. This also gave the two women a chance to give full play to. I saw Qin Chulian constantly punching and kicking at him, seeming to vent his dissatisfaction and anger. After beating for five minutes, Qin Chulian stopped panting. Tu Su also came over, but she was not as violent as Qin Chulian, she just dragged the lion from the ground. At this time, Shi Gang had been beaten a little dying, after all, Qin Chulian had just used all his strength and magic power to beat him up. You know Qin Chulian's combat power is quite amazing. Tu Su looked at him coldly and said, Originally, your father owed me a great debt. Now even you, a young man, dare to provoke me. New hatred and old hatred are added. I must let you know what a full face is today. The peach blossoms. After speaking, she raised her hand and slapped directly at Shi Gang's face, and Shi Gang was stunned and turned away. I, I don't seem to provoke you, who are you guys and what do you want to do? Shi Gang was already seriously injured at this time and couldn't even use a trace of magic power. You didn't provoke us, you provoke us a big deal. Tu Su raised his hand again, let go of his arms, and drew the lion gang. Papa Papa. The applause resounded like firecrackers throughout the room. When all the monsters outside the door heard this voice, they all showed a warm smile. The young master was very interested this time, and he was able to hold on for so long. I think this rabbit will be scrapped in the future. The young master is afraid that after playing it, he will throw it away. Should we pick it up later? Good idea, this is indeed a good opportunity. If he hasn't died yet, let's just pick it up and forget it, but it's really a rare beauty for you. The young master is really hard-hearted, such a beautiful rabbit can actually be so cruel. The demon clan outside didn't know it, his young master had been beaten to death, and the entire lion face had been beaten into a pig's head. I can't recognize the original appearance at all. Su Chen looked at the two disciples who were going crazy at this time, and couldn't help but feel a little clear. It turns out that He He San's poison can also be used to beat others. The way to vent your energy is to solve it. After learning and learning, it is really old to learn. It seems that I can apply for a patent when I go back. Um, that's not bad. When the time comes, I don't want to go back and talk about it. Maybe I can make a fortune. Well, disciples, stop it, you won't be able to use it if you die. Su Chen reminded in due course. At this time, Shi Gang had been beaten into a human shape, and he fainted directly. When the two women saw this, they stopped angrily. At this time, the two of them also lost their interest and opportunities, and could only step forward to untie Su Chen's chains. Su Chen said to the two of them, Apprentices, how do your heads grow? I just got poisoned by the acacia, but I didn't expect you to use this way to vent your energy to detoxify. Only then did the two realize that their master thought that the action they had just done was because they had been poisoned by Hahuan San that they would act like the jockey's ancestor. This just gave the two of them a step down, and Tu Su hurriedly admitted, Yeah, yeah, master just seemed to have some hot medicine in the tea. Yes, yes, we finally found this way to beat others to release our energy, otherwise what would happen is really unthinkable. Qin Chulian also went straight down the donkey. Okay, well, then our goal has been achieved. 
let's take this little bastard and go as soon as possible, otherwise I am afraid that sooner or later, it will be noticed. If it is dragged, it will be a troublesome thing. Su Chen now just said. Seeing that Su Chen did not go on, the second daughter felt a loose heart, and then the three of them dragged Shi Gang up. The transmission was turned on and the formation disappeared in the room. The ridiculous group of monsters outside the door thought that their young master was having fun, but they didn't know that they had been kidnapped by the three Su Chen at this time. Chapter 64 After the three of Su Chen left, there was no sound in Shi Gang's room. All the subordinates thought that he was finished, so they didn't care about it afterwards. Until the next morning, a serving little demon knocked on Shi Gang's room door, calling Shi Gang many times but did not get a response. After that, he felt bad for a while, pushed open the door, and found that the room was empty at the moment, and there was no trace of anyone there. It's not good, the young master is missing. Come on. The little demon yelled for a while, and led Shi Gang's guards over. All the guards were also panicked at the moment. As the son of the demon emperor, he belongs to a very high responsible type of person. If there is any damage to this type of person, then none of them, the guards, should want to live. The head of the guard hurriedly dispersed all the guards and searched the entire room. He didn't expect to leave a note like this on the table with a letter under the note. The note says that if you want his life, give this letter to demon emperor Shirtian. The guards understood at this moment that the young master who originally came from home was really kidnapped. Everyone at this time is full of grief and indignation. Usually they dominate among monsters, they are used to burning, killing and looting, and they do all kinds of evil. These are all instructed by Shi Gang. Therefore, they are more brutal than ordinary bandits, and Shi Gang is precisely the bandit leader of this group of bandits. After all, who would have thought that someone would dare to kidnap the son of the strongest demon emperor, this is simply the same as lighting the lamp in the Mao Kang. Nowadays, some people dare to kidnap a man who is even more cruel than the bandit leader. Why is this really? At this time, a guard said to the leader, Boss, what should we do now, should we rescue the young master by ourselves, or send this letter to the demon emperor? The guard leader stretched out his palm and slapped the guard on the ground vigorously, and then said, Save your sister, just like the young master, the cultivation base has been silently abducted, let alone us. Mentioned. Let's go, let's not open this letter, and immediately send this letter to your younger brother in a rush, otherwise, if something happens to the young master, we will really be divided by five horses. In this panic, the captain of the guard led a group of subordinates and flew towards the city where the demon emperor was located. At the same time, in a deep mountain in the fortress of thousands of miles, there is a small courtyard here. This courtyard is extremely hidden in the mountains and forests. Obviously, a corresponding psychedelic array is arranged around this small courtyard, which is difficult for ordinary people to find. In this small courtyard, there are four figures headed by one person in white, with a rabbit-free ears on his head, looking very handsome. Yes, this person is Su Chen, and this is the stronghold they have prepared to imprison Shi Gang. Shi Gang was not panicked at this time. He who was seriously injured and lying on the ground was still shouting loudly at this time. Who are you? Do you know who I am? You dare to kidnap me? Are you going to die? Aren't you afraid that the whole clan will be annihilated? At this time, Qin Chilian was in an extremely bad mood. He squatted down and said to Shi Gang, Of course we know who you are, aren't you the son of the strongest demon emperor? You are not him, so what's so arrogant? After speaking, Qin Chilian drew out his long sword, and stabbed a sword against his thigh, causing blood to flow across the board for a while. Shi Gang uttered a scream. He was usually treated like this for a pampered temper, even if he curled up into the shape of a shrimp. At this time, Tu Su lifted his disguise and walked over, and said to him, Shi Gang, do you remember me? Shi Gang looked at Tu Su, who had changed drastically in front of him, and seemed to have remembered something. He pointed to her and said, It's you, what's the matter? You dare to return to the demon realm. As the son of the demon emperor, he is also considered an important figure in the demon clan. He is naturally no stranger to Tu Su's existence, and even he feels a great threat to his existence. 
It is very likely that after one grows up, it can unify the existence of the demon race, which is a great crisis for all the current demon emperor and the deployment of the demon emperor. Therefore, when the demon emperor Shirtian proposed to wipe out the book completely, it was unanimously approved by everyone. Then the people sent were all elites of the demon race. If it weren't for Tu Su to meet Su City, I'm afraid that he would already have a reputation in Qingzhou City, let alone save his friends in this demon domain. Look for flowers zero. Then the news from the Yaozu was that he was gone by the real person Su Chen in the sunny day, and the real person Su Chen was a person with the appearance of an immortal emperor. A group of demon emperors knew that if they rushed into a battle with King Tianzong, they were afraid that both would be injured, so they changed to a secret assassination, but they all failed. Now Tu Su actually dared to run back to the demon realm, which means that the demon emperors can no longer take into account the power of King Tianzong and encircle them. I only wanted to live an ordinary life. I never thought about the idea of unifying the monster clan. I didn't even know you at all, but you slaughtered the people around us. Tu Su's eyes were red at this time, and tears from the corners of his eyes looked very sad. Zero. Su Chen saw this and was thinking about how to appease his own disciples. At this time, the system's voice sounded, appeasing disciples is also master's main job. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. Have you made any mistakes in the system? Why this time the rewards are still not coming out, don't you mean you want to upgrade yourself? But I really look forward to what you upgraded to. Regardless, anyway, the master hugs own apprentice, just like holding own children, there is no big deal, it is normal to go up and comfort your own children. Su Chen took a few steps forward and hugged Tu Su from behind. His right hand stretched out and wiped away the tears from the corners of his eyes. Master respect me. The soft words surrounded Tu Su's ears, and the sadness in his heart was extinguished by this tenderness like a flame. She grabbed Su Chen's hand with both hands, and a sense of happiness came into her heart spontaneously. She hoped that time would always stay at this moment. At this moment, she felt that she seemed to be wrapped in the best happiness in the world. Lion Tian on the side looked stunned, and cursed in his heart, FCK. Do you tie the dog over and kill it while spreading dog food? Mission completed, system upgrade. 3. Chapter, 65. The sound of system upgrade came, Su Chen's mind was blank at this time, and then only heard a bang, and a bright light appeared in his mind. The light converges into a line of text. This line of text says that all aspects of the system will be upgraded successfully. Please stay tuned. Tu Su. You let me go. Qin Chilian on the side couldn't stand it anymore, and suddenly became jealous, and stepped forward to pull Tu Su away. At this moment, it seems that he still missed that warm chest did not make any excessive reaction to it, but looked at Su Chen with intoxication. Qin Chilian was going crazy at this time. How could he be given the upper hand by Tu Su, a small bitch? At this time, she became angry and said to Su Chen, Master, you hold me, you also want to hold me. Otherwise you are unfair. Su Chen looked at the jealous big disciple 990 and he was also a little helpless. Just as he was about to explain one or two, the voice of the system rang. A qualified master must take care of his disciples with a bowl of water, and it must not be biased. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. It seems that something is wrong with the system. The previous option rewards are completely opposite. Now how can I find out that both options have such generous rewards? The voice of the system came, this is a benefit after the system upgrade, please cherish the host. Su Chen still seems to be somewhat uncomfortable with the changes in the system, but it does not matter, after all, it is a good thing. It's just that he still has some vigilance in his heart, so he plans to use the current option to try. Anyway, holding an own apprentice is no different from holding an own child. I choose one. Su Chen smiled at Qin Chulian and opened his arms and said, Come on, master, but the bowl of water is flat. Qin Chulian didn't expect that Su Chen would actually agree to him. With joy and excitement, he threw directly into Su Chen's arms. It was a warm and generous chest, and her hands encircled his sturdy back, feeling a moment of peace of mind. 
It's a big profit. I finally held master. She raised her eyebrows and looked at Tu Su, as if she was saying, Look, I am holding master directly. Su Chen felt Qin Chouyan's embrace and her height that was almost as high as her. He couldn't help but sigh with emotion, Trainer, you have grown up. A soft word rang in her ears, she only felt that her body was numb, and she couldn't lift a trace of strength. Mission completed, reward for refining the god sword. A long sword immediately appeared in Su Chen's storage bag. Oh, it seems that the system has really changed after you upgraded it, and it has completely become a conscientious system. Okay, I like your conscience very much. Seeing this, the lion sky lying on the ground couldn't help but yell to the three of them, My God! You didn't do it like this. You tied me here just to watch you spread dog food. You guys? Don't tie up the dog like this, and kill it while feeding the dog food. Also, I am a lion, not a dog. You have tied the wrong species. At this time, he was really incomparably sad and indignant, and he had never suffered such humiliation, even if he felt that he was tortured and tortured better than he is now. With this shout, Su Chen directly let go of Qin Chilian. Qin Chilian suddenly lost the warm embrace, and then gave Shi Gang a murderous look. If it wasn't for him to be useful, she would have to burn it directly to ashes. Tu Su also has a dark face at this time, making you interrupt me just now, isn't it interrupted by others now? The heavenly refining sword in the storage bag was a fairy sword of fire attribute, which was perfect for Qin Chilian. So Su Chen took a long sword from his own storage bag and handed it to Qin Chilian and said, Chiu Lian, this is a magical item I made by accident. It has the same characteristics as you, so I can use it for you. Qin Chilian took the long sword in Su Chen's hand, and she could feel that the sword was filled with a hot legal atmosphere, which was in harmony with his own cultivation technique and physique. Is this something Master specially created for me? It seems that in Master's heart, my status is still higher than that of Tu Su's bitch. Humph. She raised her head high, raised her eyebrows at Tu Su, I have a hug and a sword, you only have one hug, you lose. Tu Su looked at the whole person about to explode at this time, if it weren't for Su Qin here, I'm afraid she will soon duel with Qin Chilian. Suddenly, a weird smile appeared on the corner of her mouth, and then she said to Su Chen, Master, should we deal with it, this sure gang matter? Su Chen was drawn to this topic at this time, and he didn't look at Qin Chilian anymore. This was a slap in the face. This 36 trick was very slippery. Qin Chilian also gritted his teeth and looked at Tu Su at this time, you scheming bitch. You dare to take away master's attention from me. The fight between the two people at this time is simply a simple version of the palace's scheming. Sure enough, without three people, two women are a good show. Well, yes, let's deal with Shi Gang first. Su Chen walked to Shi Gang and looked at Shi Gang. Shi Gang looked at the beauty rabbit in front of him. He didn't know Su Chen, but his cultivation base in the nascent soul period could not feel the cultivation base of the person in front of him. It seems that the cultivation base of this person must be in his own. I'm afraid it's the cultivation base that is above the God transformation stage. Who is your excellency? Why do you want to help this demon girl? Aren't you afraid of my father Lion Tian Yaudi? Shi Gang was still pulling his father's tiger skin at this time. Oh. Lion? It seems to be a human being, but do you know who I am? Su Chen said coldly. Looking at your appearance, you are also a member of my monster race, but I don't know you. Shi Gang searched in Ohn's head at this time, not remembering such a character in the monster race. Su Chen raised his hand at this time and tore off the rabbit ears on his head. The monster chi on the weak rabbit monster in front of Shi Gang became lighter and lighter. Instead, it is more vivid and attractive, yet noble and inviolable, full of fairy spirit, surrounded by spirit power. Su Chen raised his hand, and a snow-white long sword was condensed in his palm, revealing the sharp blade of the night. If Shi Gang didn't know who the person in front of him was at this time, he could just find a tofu and kill him. He exclaimed, You. You are the real Su Chen. The real Su Chen who is known as the reincarnation of the immortal emperor. Chapter, 66. 
You. You are actually Su Chen who is known as the reincarnation of the ancient immortal emperor. Shi Gang finally understood why this person was not afraid of his father's name at all. This person is the future head teacher of the Great Sky School, and Su Chen who may become the first person in cultivation world in the future. Don't say that he is the son of a demon emperor, even if the lion has just arrived, he still has to give him three points. Yes, this seat is Su Chen. Su Chen knew when to install the fork, and at this time, Shi Gang's mentality should be completely shattered from the momentum. Shi Gang finally showed a gray face at this time, and bowed his head in resignation, and said to Su Chen, True man Su Chen, so aggressively robbing the little demon, what is the matter? He he, Tu Su is my apprentice. She has a friend in your hands. I want to use you to replace her. Su Chen said lightly. Shi Gang finally knew why Su Chen was here. It turned out that Tu Su had already become the true disciple of Su Chen. His eyes at 17 o'clock already showed a pessimistic look. A combination of an ancient great demon reincarnation and an ancient immortal emperor's reincarnation master, such a combination, as long as they are given a certain amount of time, it is enough to sweep the cultivation world. Well, you can rest here for a while. I believe that at this time the letter has reached your father's hands. He will be here soon. At this time, Tu Susu waved his hand and a magic power hit Shi Gang, and Shi fainted immediately. Master, next, should he wait for the Lion Heaven to come? Tu Su said to Su Chen, with a trace of worry in her eyes at this time. Although he knows that his master's cultivation base is unfathomable, but after all, his cultivation has only been more than thirty years. Strenuous. Master, it seems that the Lion Sky cultivation base is extremely powerful. If it is really impossible, you promise me that you must get out of it in time and don't bother us. Tu Su's eyes are very serious at this time. Although she cherishes her friends very much, Su Chen, the master, is even more important in On's heart. It is so important that even if she sacrifices her life, she does not want her master to be damaged in any way. Qin Chilian will also come over and ask for it at this time, Tu Su is right. If there is danger, please master even if you get away, don't worry about us. Su Chen couldn't help but feel very moved when he saw his disciple care about him so much. Just when he wanted to speak, the voice of the system sounded. As a qualified master, you can never abandon your own disciple and leave please answer carefully. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. The system, why do you still do the color as always? I thought you were already normal. However, this second option also counts as your own conscience discovery. My two apprentices cultivation base can ascension, so they can protect themselves. After all, as a master, I definitely hope that my own apprentice can be in the ascension cultivation base. I choose two. Su Chen stretched out his hands and rubbed the hair of the two of them vigorously, and then said softly, Fool, our master and apprentice are one body, we are all prosperous, and we will lose all of you. We will never leave you behind. The two women looked at each other, and both felt Su Chen's tenderness. They raised their hands together, held Su Chen's big hand, and felt Su Chen's tenderness. Master's gentleness still makes people feel extremely at ease. Mission completed, reward two disciples ascension to nascent soul middle stage realm. At this time, the two felt that sufficient magic power had suddenly poured into their bodies, and then the originally very strong bottleneck was directly pierced. The cultivation base of the duo broke through from the gold core stage to the nascent soul middle stage, with almost no lag. They all showed a look of ecstasy. They knew that this must be the breakthrough that Su Chen brought to them. This is simply amazing. Su Chen felt the changes in the two of them, and couldn't help but feel a little happy. The two disciples of On are also able to protect themselves. System your conscience finally came back from the dog's belly. Just as they were about to withdraw their hands, they were caught tightly by the two women. They said in unison, Master, don't stop. We want more. Su Chen looked tangled, don't be like this, the master is really gone. Half a day later, the core city of the demon region, Sky Demon City. This is the real political core of the Yaozu, and most of the monster emperors live here. On the one hand, 
it is convenient for discussion, and on the other hand, it is convenient for each other to supervise each other. Among the cities of this city, the real master is the lion and demon emperor who is known as the number one master of the demon clan. The lion heaven is the patriarch of the lion clan, the largest race of the monster clan, and at the same time a great power in the transcends tribulation period, occupying an absolute dominance among the monster clan. Today, he was above the main hall, watching a wolf demon reporting affairs. This wolf demon was the wolf demon who had hunted down two Sioux before. The wolf is gone, have you found out about fox demon? Shutian asked in a deep voice. Lang Mia shook his whole body at this time, and then said to him with trepidation, Your Majesty Demon Emperor will forgive me. Have been destroyed, and even killed many elites. As soon as this statement came out, Shir Tian's face became unsightly, and roared at him, A bunch of trash, haven't I used Luo Xian's life to lure her out before? At this time, Lang Mia was wet with sweat on his back, and bit his scalp, he said, Then Tu Su seems to have lost a trace of King Tianzong, we haven't found it yet. Shi Tian was already about to explode at this time, but he knew how powerful he was. In case Tu Su had enough time to cultivate, it would be a matter of time before he surpassed himself. Then it was time for Tu Su to retaliate wildly. Just as the lion sky was about to go crazy, a person in the costume of a caregiver rushed in and shouted, Report. Your Majesty Lion. There is an urgent matter for the Beijing news. What does it look like in a panic, and what's urgent, just say it. Shi Tian was a little tired just now and picked up the teacup and drank. The guard held up the letter in his hand, and then said to him, The big thing is not good, the young lion has just been kidnapped, this is a blackmail letter from the kidnapper. Puff. Lion Tian spouted a sip of tea, sprayed the wolf in front of him directly, and then said in surprise, Fuck. Someone kidnapped a ticket and tied it to my head. Do you want to die? Chapter, 67 Are there unreasonable people in this world? Yes, they are bandits. So, what about the people who are more unreasonable than the bandits? Yes, that is the people who dare to kidnap the bandit tickets. As we all know, when Shirtian was a little demon, he used to be a bandit on the mountain, so even after becoming a demon emperor, he is still a bandit and he has developed an unreasonable character. This also caused him to be extremely domineering, even in the face of other monster emperors, the police used their power to suppress others, and he acted entirely on his own preferences, ignoring the feelings of other people. He always felt that he was already a superb hobmeat, but he didn't expect that there was someone even more gangster than him who had kidnapped his head. How dark this world is! Being able to make such a hob-like character sigh the darkness of the world, it can be seen that Su Chen and their kidnapping operation really stimulated him. Say! Who kidnapped my son? Shi Tian directly grabbed the guard's skirt and roared. The guard felt an extremely terrifying aura surrounding him at this time, and the bones on his body were creaking. Small, I don't know who kidnapped the young master, but the kidnapper left such a letter. The guard tremblingly handed the letter to Shi Tian. Lion Tian waved his hand and threw the guard aside, then opened the letter with a few concise words written on it. Lion Heaven, I am Tu Su who you have been killing. I tied up your son and wanted your son to go back safely, so I brought Luo Xian to Luoyao Mountain in the 10,000 mile fortress by myself. After reading this letter, Lion Tian's eyes suddenly burst into flames, and he whispered, Okay. You dare to come back, and you dare to kidnap my son. I have to go straight this time. I can't brush you a thousand knives. Shi Tian said to the wolf Mia on the side, Go and bring that Luo Xian to me. Lang Mia said cautiously at this time, Your Majesty, do you want us to take people there together, in case the other party sets a trap? Lion Tian said with a disdainful face, Huh. A bunch of ants, in the entire cultivation world, except Lin Qing Yuan, no one is caught by me. To put in one's eyes, let alone a little demon. You just need to bring people to surround me with that mountain, don't let them escape. Let one go, and I will kill all of you. Seeing that Lion Heaven had made up his mind, Lang Mia immediately stopped speaking, and immediately went down and brought Luo Xian over. It took only a quarter of an hour before and after. 
A fox demon with long hair appeared in front of Lion Sky. Her clothes were a little worn, but she still kept the most basic clean. Her whole body was covered with various scars. At first glance, she had been severely tortured. She looked extremely weak, and it seemed that it was difficult for her to stand even the most basic. Luo Xian, get excited, your sister actually took the world to return to the demon realm, tied up my son to exchange for you. Shi Tian stared at Luo Xian and said. Luo Xian didn't show excitement in her eyes at this time, instead she had a very sad look. She muttered to herself, don't you want to save me? You are really stupid. Ha! Huh. I should praise her for being so affectionate or so stupid. It is really naive to use this method to save you. Okay, let me go. The lion angel used a spell to restrain Luo Xian and flew away with him. His destination was Luya Ocean in Wanli Demon Fort. He wants to be there to completely eradicate Tu Su's confident trouble. Luo Yao Mountain, it was late autumn at this time, there were fallen leaves everywhere, and the whole mountain looked very bleak. In the Luoyishan courtyard at this time, Su Chen is drinking tea with his two disciples face to face. Both Qin Chulian and Tu Su were a little nervous, always frowning, as if they were worried about this battle. Although they have made a lot of preparations, they really have no confidence in their hearts for a monster overlord like Shirtian. It doesn't matter if the two of them die by themselves, but if they cause Su Chen to be killed, I am afraid that they will not forgive Own if they die. You two shouldn't be so nervous, trust master, we will definitely be able to rescue your friend and get back all over. Su Chen patted Tu Su's shoulder and said. Yeah. Tu Su wanted to say something, but at this time there were several screams outside the small courtyard. Ah. The cry was very miserable and seemed to have suffered great pain. Su Chen's eyes condensed, and then said to the two of them, Go, go out and have a look. This place was originally a very hidden place, could it be said that it was exposed in advance? If so, then it must be evacuation. The three of them came outside the small courtyard, and saw two of them being besieged by dozens of people in the mountains and forests and not far away. Su Chen looked from a distance, and saw that on the battlefield, demons lingered, Ghost Chi was vertical and horizontal, and two young girls rushed in the crowd. Devil Chi and Ghost Chi, aren't these two of his other disciples? Among this group of monster cultivators, there are several nascent soul masters. Under their siege, the two are already in danger. Tu Su, Zhou Yan, go up and save people. Su Chen ordered directly, and he himself was ready to step forward to rescue at any time. Fortunately, Qin Chulian and Tu Su were led by Su Chen. At this time, cultivation base had already improved a lot, and immediately rushed into the crowd with swords. Dozens of monster cultivators saw two people joining the battle, and they immediately killed them. Many monster cultivators were caught off guard by the duo who suddenly joined them. In addition, the two two cultivation bases are strong, and their combat power is extraordinary against dozens of monsters. The cultivator is like chopping melons and vegetables. No. These two are nascent soul masters. Let's run away. After half of the monster cultivators were killed, they were finally terrified, and Dang Yan quickly retreated. No nos. Only Su Chen and his four masters and apprentices remained in the entire mountain forest, and the whole Luo Yaoshan returned to tranquility. Su Chen took a few steps forward at this moment, looking at the scars, pantingly Mayan and Ye Qinyan said, Why are you two here? Are you not inquiring about the news? Li Mayan said to Su Chen, Master, we have almost inquired about the news, so we came here. Yes, Master, you can't be partial to senior sister and third senior sister, and don't let second senior sister and I come. Nye Qianyun also put away the hatchet in his hand and said. Su Chen smiled bitterly and shook his head and said, Hey, it's dangerous here, do you know? The two looked at each other at this time, looking at Su Chen with a smile on their faces and said, I know, therefore, I have come here to live and die with Master. Su Chen touched their heads and said, You apprentices are really the same stupid. Chapter 68 Su Chen brought the two girls back to the small courtyard. 
The injuries on both of them were serious, so he took out the medicine pill and the wound medicine to treat them. Among them, the most injured is Li Mayan, because she is currently only in the gold core stage. Under the siege of the demons, several wounds have been cut out on her body, with blood flowing. Su Chen himself has a systematic bonus, so his medical skills are very good, and he started to heal Li Mayan's injuries. As he healed his wounds, he said, You, you still work hard like this. Isn't it true that the body of heavenly demon won't die? Go back and see how I punish you. Li Mayan heard Su Chen's words that were partly blamed and partly distressed, and her heart was also sweet. She felt the temperature on her master's fingers and felt that this line was worthwhile. I see, master, not next time. Su Chen pushed her little head irritably, and said to him irritably, do you dare to have another time? Li Mayan held his small head, stuck out his tongue and said, I dare not have another time. Nye Chen Yun on the side saw that the two of them were flirting and cursing, and suddenly felt uncomfortable, so he pretended to be very painful and said to Su Chen, Oh, master, I am also in pain. Come and treat me quickly. Come on. Well, well, when will you 990 unwary girls grow up? Su Chen looked at her with a fondly look. Li Mayan was interrupted in the conversation with Su Chen, and he was upset. Seeing Su Chen healing my Nye Chen Yun, his face became even darker. He gave Nye Chen Yun a warning look. You wait for me. Su Chen also treated Nye Chen Yun's injuries. His injuries were lighter, not only because he was a ghost repair body, but also because she was already a cultivation base in the nascent soul stage. In the previous battle, she was still able to remain undefeated. Place. At this time, Tu Su and Qin Chulian walked in, put some food on the table, and said to the two of them, You guys come here in such a hurry. You must have not eaten yet. Come and eat first. Li Mayan walked over, only then did she discover that Qin Chulian and Tu Su had already broken through the cultivation base of the nascent soul period. When did you make your breakthrough? Isn't it just that you saw you not long ago or the gold core stage? Do you have any adventures? Li Mayan said in amazement. The two looked at each other, and then said to Li Mayan, What kind of adventure is this, but it is the breakthrough brought to us by the Master. Master? How did Master help you break through? Li Mayan seemed to want to know. Master just stretched out his hand and touched our head, and then we made a breakthrough. You said God is not magical. Don't you see that touching your head before has no such effect? Tu Su covered his mouth and smiled. Even Qin Chulian on the side was smiling, as if showing off that master was special to them. Li Mayan saw it, and his mentality exploded. Master is really unfair. No. I want to. I definitely can't lag behind these women. Su Chen healed Nye Qin Yin's injury at this time, and was about to stand up. Unexpectedly, Li Mayan came over at this time and directly grabbed Su Chen's arm. She locked her arm tightly on Ong's chest, showing no signs of relaxation. Ha! Huh. Mu Yen, what are you going to do? Su Chen looked at her in confusion. Just now the master sister said that you helped them break through the nascent soul period, and now everyone else is already in the nascent soul period. Yes, I have a gold core, I want it, I want it too. Li Mayan shook Su Chen coquettishly, making Su Chen dizzy. Teacher, don't shake it, don't shake it first, I'm very dizzy as a teacher like you. Su Chen said helplessly. Nye Qian Yun on the side saw such a scene, and her mouth was pouted, her cheeks became bulging, and she looked particularly cute, and then she grabbed Su Chen's other hand and shook it together. Su Chen only felt dizzy for a while and the reason he was able to improve their cultivation base before his head was big was because of the options that were turned on by the system. Now he doesn't actually have such a function, how does he want to bad explain to them? This is another big question. He wanted to tell Li Mayan that he really didn't have a teacher, and he couldn't be a teacher at all. At this time, the system's voice came, ding. Master can't say no. For the needs of the disciples, try to meet the needs of the disciples. Now turn on the option. I just said that the respected master is gone, and now the respected master is doing it again. System, how do you spoil my second disciple? 
Last time you directly sent her the Evocation Sutra, and this time you have to directly raise the cultivation base separately. This is the first time that I have seen your reward directional so clear. Li Mayan deserves to be the daughter of the original author, even your system spoils her so much. I choose too. Su Chen stepped forward to her, stretched out a hand, stroked her forehead and said, Apprentice, you must remember the path of practice. Able to soar into the sky in certain opportunities. After listening to Su Chen's words, Li Mayan realized the own problem and was about to review with Su Chen, but found that own cultivation base was actually skyrocketing. A huge magic power poured into his body, smashing all the bottleneck and oranges. There were countless magic clouds around her, and these magic clouds turned into pieces of pie after another. These cakes poured into Li Mayan's body in an instant, and her cultivation base began to skyrocket at this moment. Gold core middle stage, gold core peak, nascent soul early stage, nascent soul middle stage. After a few breaths, it directly pushed up a big realm, which was unbelievable. Excited, Li Mayan stepped forward and hugged Su Chen, and then kissed Su Chen on the cheek unexpectedly. Master is the best to me. After speaking, she hugged Su Chen's waist tightly. Su Chen touched his face helplessly. These disciples of his own family are still young, and it is normal for them to be agitated for a while, as if they are acting like their own elders. Su Chen thought so. The other people didn't think so. The three women rushed up to pull Li Mayan away. Second junior sister. Let me go. Master is very tired. Qin Chilian directly hugged Li Mayan's waist to pull it away, and the other two were also getting started. Second sister. Let go, your injury is still not healed. Just kidding. How could it be possible for you to monopolize master, you bitch? Let go. However, Li Mayan caught it too tightly, and the whole hall turned into chaos for a while. Chapter, 69 At noon the next day, at this time, the time to meet the lion sky was very close, Su Chen said to the four disciples, the lion sky is also a table hero, we must not take it lightly. Yes, I don't know what the master has ordered. The faces of the four disciples at this time are extremely serious, because a powerful enemy is about to attack and may appear at any time. Well, because the teacher has your own backhand, you don't have to worry about me. Su Chen said to them, please take the lion out first and hang it on the tree at the door, and I will arrive later. Yes. The four of them took away Shi Gang at this time. Shi Gang hasn't done anything else in the past few days, but he has eaten a lot of dog food. Thinking of him as a playboy actually fell to the end of a single person eating dog food in a corner, it can be described as a good fortune. Qin Chilian and Tu Su imprisoned his magic power, and then hung it from a tree with ropes. With his injuries, it looked rather miserable. Master Sister, I faintly feel a sense of anxiety. Tu Su had a bad premonition in his heart. Don't worry, Master naturally has his own arrangement. Qin Chilian said with relief. Just when they wanted to say something, they felt a terrifying magic power fluctuation. No. Look at it. Nye Qianyun suddenly raised her head and said. Everyone saw a fireball the size of a meteorite appeared above their heads. The huge fireball smashed heavily into the small courtyard and the small courtyard was immediately plunged into a sea of fire. Ha ha ha. I said, Tusu, what are you capable of, you have been attacked by me in such a simple way. It turns out that you still have so many accomplices. Is there one in the house? It seems to be burned to death by me, and there is no breath at all. Sure Tian smiled cruelly at this time, but he didn't realize that his word had touched the four people's negative scales. Ah. Tu Su burst out and shouted, Lion Heaven. Today, I am going to kill you. A terrifying magic power fluctuation was released all over her body, and a huge monster fox phenomenon appeared behind her. Its cultivation base actually skyrocketed to the stage of transforming gods at this moment. At this time, it was obviously already desperate, and even used the secret method in the inheritance memory. Li Mayan shouted in a low voice, and the demon cloud all over his body condensed behind him, forming a hideous heavenly demon vision. The Hotian demon vision shrouded the body directly, 
condensed into a hideous armor, and the whole person was filled with a tyrannical atmosphere. Qin Chilian was bathed in flames at this time, and the dignified sword of heaven in her hand released a dignified fire. She was now transformed into a fireman, and the hot temperature had reached an extremely high level. Nye Qingyin's entire body was directly blurred into the form of Hun and Pe, surrounded by the monstrous ghost Qi, and a rusty hatchet appeared in his hand. Oh! It seems that you are going to work hard. Come on, let me see how many pounds you have a big knife appeared in the hands of Fox Lion Tian. Qin Chilian took the lead and said indifferently, You don't know what our master gave us. Li Mayan said, What he gave us is the only home and all the warmth. Tu Su said, what he gave us is our salvation and care. Nye Qianyan said, He is the only one who does not dislike whether we are a demon, a ghost or something else, and treats us equally. Qin Chilian, our master is our Nilin, and everything we have. He he, what are you going to do? Shi Tian looked down on the love and affection of these people. We want to crush your bones and ashes. The corpse is broken into pieces. The four people shouted together, and then the figures of the four suddenly rushed towards the lion sky. The speed was so fast that even Shi Tian hadn't expected it. A flame flashed, and it blasted it back several feet, and then ghost chi and magic energy poured towards him. With a sound of boom, Shi Tian was actually blasted back again. From his point of view in the Transcends Tribulation period, it was unbelievable. Who are you guys? Why do you have such combat power? His expression finally became solemn, and he could feel that although the four people in front of him perceive on the realm, they are still in the stage of transformation, but their combat power. But it is far beyond. At this time, where the four women will listen to him, who will answer him, everyone will use their most brutal moves to punish them. Lion Tian was also hit with real fire at this time and displayed all his own forces. The four women immediately fell into a disadvantage, and the injuries on their bodies continued to increase, but the four of them did not care. They only have one thought at this time, and that is to kill the lion sky. At this time, the small courtyard was still burning with flames, and in the sea of fire, Su Chen woke up quietly, the blow just hit the small courtyard, and the system made a protective cover in time. Flowers for zero. Su Chen was not injured. He did not expect that the demon emperor of the Lion Heaven Hall would actually take the strategy of sneak attack. This has subverted Su Chen's perception of ordinary villain, but fortunately, he did not suffer. Now he raised his head and found that the four disciples of On were fighting with the Lion and Heaven, and they were even injured. He was about to rush out at the moment, when the system's voice sounded, As a master, you must know when to take action and when not to take action. Now turn on the option. Zero. Su Chen didn't even look at these options, he cursed in his heart, Daddy cares about your rewards, I will go now. Save my apprentice, no one stops me. I choose first. Su Chen directly flew out with his sword and flew in the direction of the lion sky. At this time, the four women have been completely suppressed by the lion sky. The four are relying on each other and struggling to support each other. At this time, Li Mayan and Nye Qingyin's eyes flashed with determination. While Qin Chilian and Tu Su contained Shi Tian, the two held hands, and their bodies began to become distorted. Senior sister. Get out of here. Li Mayan shouted, and then rushed towards the lion sky at the same time as Nye Qingyin. Qin Chilian could tell at a glance, the two of them are going to explode. Junior sister. No. Tu Su wanted to step forward, but found that the magic power in his body was not enough. Master, we're here to accompany you. At this time, the two of them were only five feet away from the lion sky. At this point, the distance blew up, and the lion sky couldn't dodge it. You two lunatics. Lion Tian immediately released a spell to protect his own vitals. Just as they were about to die, a figure stopped in front of the two of them. If you want to come with me, just tell me directly. A warm embrace hugged the two of them, and the magic power of the interrogation on the two of them was immediately stabilized. Master. You are not dead. The two raised their heads and said ecstatically. 3. Chapter, 70. 
Su Chen stopped Li Mayan and Ye Qianyun about to blow himself up, and then took them away from Lion Sky. When Shi Tian saw this young man who appeared suddenly, he felt a sense of crisis, because he could not perceive the existence of any realm from this young man, nor could he perceive the attributes of its magic power. He concluded that this person cultivation base is afraid that he is not under him, he may also be a strong person in the transcends tribulation period, and may even be a Mahayana cultivator who has passed the thunder catastrophe. In the face of such a sudden appearance, he dare not act rashly. Although he is the demon emperor of the demon clan, he still doesn't know his appearance about Su Qin, the young master of the Qingtian Zong who only circulates in the rumors. Su Qin ignored him, but brought the two apprentices back to the ground. At this time, Qin Chilian and Tu Su had also slowly landed. 993. Seeing the bruised injuries on the four disciples, Su Qin couldn't help but feel a heartache. His disciple couldn't bear to say something serious. You bastard dare to make such a cruel hand. I ask you. Who are you? Lion Tian waved a big hand at this time, and a fireball was released and hit Su Chen again. Su Chen snapped his fingers, and then a big shield appeared behind him. Boom! The fireball smashed on the shield. It didn't have any effect. Instead, it was absorbed directly, because this is the Nian Beast Shield which can absorb magic power attacks. Chiu Lian, Tu Su, take care of your junior sister, I will find the bastard who hurt you. Su Chen's tone at this time contained terrifying anger. This was the first time they saw such an angry master. But they didn't feel anything terrible at all. Instead, their hearts were filled with sweetness, and the four of them simultaneously appeared in their hearts, the appearance of the master guarding the calf is so handsome. Su Chen slowly lifted into the air and came to a position flush with the lion sky, looking at him coldly. Although he is the strongest demon emperor of the demon clan, Su Chen is not afraid at all. He has countless celestial weapons and supernatural powers, and he is invincible. Answer me, who are you on earth? Why protect Tu Su? When Lion Tian saw that shield, even if he knew this person, it was not easy. I am Su Chen, the master of the Chiujing Peak of Qingtianzong, and Tu Su is my disciple. Su Chen said loudly to him. You are Su Chen, who is known as the reincarnation of the ancient immortal emperor, who will surely become the first person in cultivation world after hundreds of years. Shi Tian showed an extremely excited look in his eyes at this time. Okay. I didn't expect that you would actually leave the Great Heaven Sect. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Shi Tian pointed to Su Chen and said. As far as I know, you have only cultivated for more than thirty years. No matter how strong it is, it is still limited. I didn't expect that today you will not only be able to kill Tu Su, this confidant, but you will also be able to eradicate your monster race's future enemy. The big knife in Shi Tian's hand burst out with a bloodthirsty aura. After all, he has been a person who has been in cultivation world for countless years, even if he has attacked. Cut. He cried out, and the long knife in his hand became extremely huge, and it suddenly slashed towards Su Chen. Su Chen snapped his fingers at this time, and another huge shield appeared in front of Su Chen. Dang! The broad sword intersected with the shield, making a sound of gold and iron, but no matter how the sword attacked, it was still unable to break Su Chen's shield. Thunder in the palm of your hand. Lion Tian released a huge thunder force in his hands, turning into a thunder dragon, and heading towards Su Chen. Su Chen raised his hand, and a hip flask was smashed out, which released a monstrous flood, which engulfed the thunder dragon. Immediately afterwards, Lion Sky displayed various attack methods and spells, madly attacking Su Chen, but Su Chen stood still, constantly throwing out various magic treasures and using strange magical powers to resist and evade. Such a scene appeared in the air. Lion Tian, known as the strongest demon emperor, used his full strength, and he had never even touched the corners of Su Chen's clothes. This is unbelievable. The four women below looked at the battle, and couldn't help but feel a little lost. How many cards does the master still have that they don't know? Master Sister, you have the longest time to get started, have you ever seen Master take action? Tu Su asked. 
Qin Chiyuan shook his head and said, I've never seen Master confront an enemy. I don't know what magical powers Master possesses. I only know that Master is a swordsman. Well, I know some. Li Mayan looked at Su Chen with a drunken expression at this time. Second sister, what do you know? Nye Qianyun asked. I know, Master has always been the best looking, even if it's fighting, it's like that. The other three women are speechless, Li Mayan, do you dare to lick the dog a bit more? But let's not say, Master is indeed very handsome at this time. At this time, the lion sky is about to be crazy. He has been in cultivation world for countless years. He has never fought such a frustrated battle. No matter what secret technique he uses, Su Chen can block it or dodge it. You. Don't you know how to attack? Blindly dodge and resist, what a skill. Shi Tian directly cursed. Su Chen shrugged his shoulders and looked at him indifferently and said, Hee hee, I like to exhaust you. I like the helplessness that you want to kill me but you can't do anything with me. You bite me. Although Su Chen's cultivation base is not as good as him, the magic treasures and all kinds of weird supernatural powers given by the system can be said to be life-saving, let alone the lion, even Lin Qingyuan may not kill him. Su Chen, I must kill you today, even if Lin Qingyuan is in front of me, I must kill you. Lion Tian roared, hundreds of demon elites rushed out of the mountains and forests, surrounded by four disciples of Su Chen, it seemed that Lion Tian had already prepared. I don't care if you are the reincarnation of the immortal emperor or not, today, I must let the four of your master and apprentice die here. Lion Tian waved his hand and asked all his subordinates to rush up. If so many demon elites are swarming, zero. Three I am afraid that several severely injured disciples of Su Chen will have a high probability of falling here. Su Chen raised his right hand and said to him, wait a minute. Shi Tian stopped his hand movements, and then said with a playful look, Why do you want to beg for mercy? If you are willing to abolish cultivation base by yourself and kill Tusu, I can spare you. No, I just heard that you are afraid of my big brother, right? Just let you come and see him. Su Chen took out a piece of jade slip, and then suddenly smashed it into pieces. Then a door of space opened, and a figure wearing a white Taoist robe floated out of it. Brother, you are really in trouble. As soon as the white figure appeared, Shi Tian Dang felt cold sweat shed from his forehead. Yes, the person here is now the number one master of cultivation world, the head teacher of the Skyzong, the senior brother of Su Chen, Lin Qingyuan. Chapter, 71 Su Chen actually didn't want to call Lin Qingyuan to come at this time, but the voice of Naiha's system just sounded. As a qualified master, you must ensure the safety of your disciples 100%. Now you can turn on the option. System, are you neurotic? Have you evolved from a metamorphosis to neuropathy? Give me an option to let me die with the apprentices, and the option is a kitchen knife, do you think I will choose? Really, there is a complete method, why should I risk the lives of me and my apprentice? So, there was the scene where Su Chen just crushed Jade Slip. As soon as Lin Qingyuan appeared, he could basically guarantee the safety of the five of them. The heavenly demon sword appeared directly in Su Chen's pocket. Needless to say, it must be a fairy tool suitable for Li Mayan. This has to make people suspect that Li Mayan is the daughter of the system. Junior brother, I didn't expect you to be in serious trouble. Lin Qingyuan said with a smile at Su Chen as soon as he appeared. Su Chen shrugged his shoulders and said to him, Brother, it's really not bad for me. I just wanted to simply tie a ticket and save seventeen people. How can I know that this old fellow Shi Tian actually killed my disciple? I can only call you out to protect the safety of my disciples. Lin Qingyuan listened to Su Chen's completely unreasonable tone, and couldn't help showing a wry smile, but the Lion Sky actually wanted to kill Su Chen by hand, which was tantamount to strangling the future of their supreme sect. As a head teacher, this is absolutely unbearable. Lion Heaven. Is that the future head teacher and his disciples you want to kill my great sky school? There is no emotional fluctuation in Lin Qingyuan's voice. But this faint voice was no less than the sound of death in Shi Tian's ears. You know, Lin Qingyuan now has passed heavenly tribulation, 
he is a real Mahayana cultivator, and is already a half-step fairy realm. Although he will soar in less than a hundred years. But no matter how you say it, he is the real no. One in cultivation world at this time, there is no doubt. Lin Qing Yuan head teacher, this is the housework of my demon race. I have no intention of killing Su Chen real person, but only want the demon race disciple under him. Shi Tian didn't dare to be tough facing Lin Qing Yuan, and immediately pointed to Tu Su. Said. Su Chen said loudly at this time, my disciple, you can't take it away unless you kill me first. As soon as he said this, Tu Su's nose became sour, and tears burst into his eyes. Her master Su Chen is using his own life to protect herself. At this moment, even if Su Chen said to let him kill himself on the spot, then she was willing. At this moment, her love for Su Chen has deeply penetrated the bone and carved into the soul. The lion sky above was choked by Su Chen's words, but there were hundreds of demon elites below. He could not simply be soft, otherwise he would not be able to continue as the demon emperor. Qin Yuan head teacher. Are you really going to start a battle between the monster race and the great sky school? At this time, he could only use the overall situation to suppress Lin Qin Yuan. Su Chen sneered at this moment and said, he he, don't want to buckle big hats. I think the people of the monster race will not be so stupid. They will fight us for such a grievance. Lin Qing Yuan also said faintly, Lion Tian, you and I have known each other for many years. You know my temper, and what I have said will not be taken back. When Shi Tian heard Lin Qing Yuan's words, he couldn't help but sweat directly. The meaning contained in this sentence is that if I say the next thing, you must obey, otherwise, there will only be death. Lion, man, you can't take it away or kill it, I will give you ten breaths of time to leave, otherwise a long sword appeared in Lin Qing Yuan's hand. It was his sword, the Qing Yun sword. When Lion Tian heard the words, he glanced at Tu Su with a complex expression, and then said bitterly, Okay. Let's go. A group of demon tribes had long been afraid of Lin Qing Yuan's strength and hurriedly left when they heard the demon emperor's order. The Lion Tian also turned to leave, but he heard Lin Qing Yuan say, Lion Tian, we haven't seen each other for many years, we haven't discussed each other, why don't we make a move? When Shi Tian heard these words, he immediately showed a coughing face, and then he urged magic power to escape, but it was a pity that the Qin Yun sword in Lin Qing Yuan's hand had already come behind him. Puff! A sound of fleshy piercing sounded, and Shi Tian's heart was blasted through a big hole, but he still resisted the pain and fleeing here. Lin Qing Yuan. Su Chen. You are so cruel. Lion's voice echoed across the sky, and then the figure disappeared into Su Chen's sight. Lin Qing Yuan put away the Qin Yun sword and said to Su Chen, Junior, the lion sky was hit hard by me. Realm should fall into the transcends tribulation period. There will be no major threats in the future. Thank you brother for helping me. Su Chen said with a smile. At this time, Lin Qing Yuan's figure became a little illusory. He said to Su Chen, this is my external incarnation. It won't last long. You can leave this demon realm as soon as possible. Luo Shenzong is relatively close to this place, so let's go there first to heal. I have already said hello to their head teacher. Su Chen said to Lin Qing Yuan's cupped hands, thank you brother for worrying. He he, okay, good training, come back to King Tianzong as soon as possible. After Lin Qing Yuan said, the figure disappeared directly. Su Chen fell to the ground. At this time, his four disciples and Luo Xian who had awakened all focused on him. He he, what are you doing looking at me like this? Su Chen said with a smile. Nye Qianyun sighed softly, the teacher is bad, and there is an external incarnation of the teacher, which actually scares us. Didn't I tell you 993, I have a perfect plan. Su Chen scratched his head and said, he didn't tell the own disciple before. After all, this is the last protective measure to press the bottom of the box. Luo Xian thank you Su Chen for his life-saving grace. Luo Xian saluted Su Chen respectfully at this time. This is the own savior. He he, don't want to thank me for bringing me to rescue you, but Tu Su. Su Chen looked at Tu Su. At this time, 
Two Su's eyes rolled around, and then he wrapped his own calf, pretending to be weak, and said to Su Chin, Master. Two Su's foot is injured. You need to hug it. Except for Luo Xian, the other three people all looked at her with disgust. It is really fox spirit. It's so attractive when you act like a baby. Su Chen thought she was really hurt when she stepped forward and hugged her, which was a typical princess hug. Well, you help each other, we are leaving this demon realm. Su Chen said to everyone. At this time, Tu Su leaned on Su Chen's chest, listening to Su Chen's heartbeat, she hoped that this hot and powerful heart could have its own place. In the eyes of the girls with hatred, Su Chen stood up with Tu Su Yujin. They helped each other up with the Yujian and flew in the direction of Luo Tianzong. Chapter, 72 Luo Tianzong is one of the five major sects in cultivation world. Its ranking ranks in the top three, and its comprehensive strength is second only to King Tianzong. This sect is located on a mountain called Heavenly Dao Mountain. This god is the junction of the demon territory and the human cultivation world. It used to be the first line of defense against the demon aggression. In the last war between humans and monsters, Luo Tianzong dragged down the army of the monsters by virtue of its extremely unique formation, which also laid a solid foundation for the victory of the human race. This is also the foundation of the strength of Luo Tianzong who can be called the second largest sect in cultivation world. On this day, a man and five women appeared in front of the mountain gate of Luo Tianzong. The leading man was dressed in white and looked handsome and unparalleled, quite intoxicating. Although the five women behind him were all overwhelmed, they seemed to have just gone through a fierce battle, and everyone was scarred. For such a suspicious-looking team, the disciple guarding the mountain gate naturally came forward to question one or two, so the two disciples stepped forward to the headed man and said, Who are you? What's the matter with me coming to the heavenly sect? The man said to the two of them, Please report, Su Chen, Supreme Sect, came here to pay respect to Kong Shaoxing sect leader. Su Chen's words contain magic power fluctuations, which can be heard by all the people on the top of the mountain. The goalkeeper disciple is obviously a new disciple. I have never heard of Su Chen's name and he is about to drive him away. I didn't expect a hearty voice from behind them, ha ha ha. Su Chen fellow Daoist. You are finally here. I have been waiting for you for a long time. That's it. A figure appeared in front of the mountain gate. The person who came was an old man with a childlike face and a powerful breath of magic power lingering on his body. This person is exactly the sect leader Kong Shaoxing of Luo Tianzong, and this person is also the highest ranking person in cultivation world at present, not one of them. Kong Shaoxing Sr., Junior Boy, Su Chen is polite. Su Chen insisted on junior salute, and the five girls behind him also saluted together. Well, don't be polite, I heard Qin Yuan's kid say, you fight a fierce battle, come in and rest. Kong Xiaoxing was very enthusiastic to Su Chen. Although he is a strong player in the Transcends Tribulation period, he is old, and his body has been severely injured, and his vitality has been partially lost. He definitely cannot survive the Heavenly Tribulation. Whether it is to make friends with the future head teacher of Great Skyzong, or to not sin against the future first person in Cultivation World, Kong Xiaoxing will be very enthusiastic about him. Kong Xiaoxing took Su Chen and his group to live in an outhouse, and arranged the best healers and the best medicines in the school to treat Su Chen's disciples and Luo Xian. It was the night, Su Chen was invited by Kong Xiaoxing to talk about it. There were only five girls left in the hall in the house, eating and chatting together. Luo Xian was not familiar with other people, so he said to Tu Su who was immersed in eating wildly, Tu Su, Tu Su, stop eating, I will ask you a question. Tu Su stopped and watched her beckon her to continue. Your master is really handsome, does he have a Tao companion? Luo Xian said very directly. Ha! Huh. What do you want to do? Tu Su put down his job directly, and said to him with a vigilant expression. What do you say, your master is so handsome, every time he dao companion, I will chase him. As expected, Luo Xian has a very straightforward temperament. Fuck. I treat you as a sister, and you want to be my wife. Do you treat me as dead? 
Chu Su directly shot the case and said to Luo Xian. Don't even think about it, you won't be able to queue up. What you mean is that you don't have a teacher yet. It seems that I still have a chance. Luo Xian covered his mouth and smiled. Li Mayan picked up a cup of tea at this time, and after a drink, he said, ancient people say, fire and theft, and girlfriends. Nye Qin Yun on the side side and said, oh, master is really a blue face, and there are people chasing him everywhere. What can we do? The last person who spoke was Qin Chiyuan with a look of grief and indignation. She said in a sad voice, obviously I came first, why are there so many opponents now? Ha ha ha. When everyone heard these words, they all laughed into a ball, and suddenly laughter was everywhere in the whole hall. In the middle of the night, Su Chen and Kong Xiaoxing's discussion ended. On the way back, he took out the script and read it as he walked. He has completed the side quests for several disciples, but the fifth disciple has not yet appeared, he must speed up the process, after all, the Wanxian conference is already within reach. In his impression, this fifth disciple was a genius in formation, and seemed to have something to do with Luo Tianzong. He didn't remember very clearly, so he took out the original work and started searching. When he was halfway there, he finally found the origins of the five disciples. The original book records that Su Wanqing, the fifth disciple of On, grew up under the Luoshenzong mountain. It was only because of her lack of aptitude when she was young that she lost the selection of the disciple of Luo Tianzong. Then she heard that Su Chen of the Great Sky School was willing to accept even the monster cultivator, so she decided to go to Su Chen, hoping to be accepted as a disciple. Unexpectedly, he fell into the hands of the scumbag in the original Su Chen and started his own miserable life. The heroine, in the original late stage, has the intelligence of the ceiling of the book, but after all, she lost to Qin Chiyuan because of her lack of strength. Why does Su Chen miss this disciple so much? Because in the original book, after five female disciples grew up, they all killed the Great Heaven sect and planned the demise of the Great Heaven sect and Su Chen's capture. These five disciples, Su Wanqing. Well, let's find her before she has blackened. After all, she is a terrifying person with both scheming and wisdom. Su Chen said with emotion. As he was walking and reading a book, a Taoist shadow appeared in front of him, and he suddenly collided with Su Chen. Su Chen couldn't be knocked down by cultivation base, but the person in front of him fell to the ground. Ah, sorry. Are you okay? Su Chen looked at the man who fell to the ground. The next second he was stunned. The person in front of him was a 15 or 16 years old little girl with a ponytail and her skin was very fair and delicate, like a delicately crafted doll. There seemed to be a nosebleed in her nose at this time. The girl got up from the ground, and then said to Su Chen, I'm fine, big brother, may I ask you, do you know where the real Su Chen is? Su Chen glared in his heart at this moment, and subconsciously asked, little sister, what is your name? What's the matter with Su Chen? The girl smiled and said to Su Chen, my name is Su Wanqing. I heard that Su Chen is a real person, so I want to worship him. Can you tell me where he is? Chapter, 73 Su Wanqing originally came up from the mountain, ready to try her luck, and see if there are any broken magical items that are not used by the disciples of Luoshenzong, so she can take it back and study it. She was originally intellectually explosive. Although there is no magic power yet, as long as she has seen the formation or the cultivation technique once, she will be able to write it down immediately. Every time she came up to fallen heavenly sect in the middle of the night, the sect elder disciples were not surprised. Sect elders didn't care about this little girl, and they naturally didn't bother to care about it. Late that night, she touched Luoshenzong as usual. Today, her purpose is quite special, because she heard that Su Chen from the Great Sky Zong really visited Luoshenzong. If you want to talk about cultivation world, who she admires most, it must be the real person Su Chen. I heard that he is not only unfathomable in cultivation base, but also has no class, disciples, demon cultivators, demon cultivators, ghost cultivators. Bye. Such a broad mind is really admirable. Of course, there is the most important point, that is, Su Chen is known as the top three beautiful men in cultivation world. 
As a serious dog, Su Wanqing vowed to be in the door of Su Chen. Nothing else is important, the most important thing is handsome. She just thought about it, but 997 didn't expect to accidentally bump into someone. She was caught off guard, fell backward, and sat down on the ground. Sorry, are you okay? A gentle voice sounded. Su Wanqing had a move in her heart, and then raised her head, and the one who caught her eyes was a handsome young man. That unparalleled face, just stared at her, what kind of immortal face is this? Not only the body is slender, and the appearance is handsome, but the whole body also has the temperament like a fairy, like a fairy who has fallen into the mortal world. The thin Taoist robe set off his slender but sturdy figure, and with her venomous eyes, he could even see his eight-pack abs hidden under the clothes. Damn it! It's broken! She only felt that her nose was hot, and the nosebleeds flowed out of it unsuspectingly. She quickly stood up, not wanting the handsome young man to see her embarrassed appearance, and then stood up, subconsciously wanting to have a chat with this person. I'm fine, big brother, may I ask you, do you know where the real Su Chen is? Su Chen froze for a moment, and then said to him bad, I know, but who are you? What can I do to find real Su Chen? My name is Su Wan Qing. I heard that Su Chen is a real person, so I want to worship him. Can you tell me where he is? She clung to Su Chen's face and licked her lips slightly, as if she wanted to swallow Su Chen in one bite. When Su Chen heard the three words Su Wan Qing, he was struck by lightning. He did not expect that the little girl in front of him, who looked like a porcelain doll, turned out to be the original late stage Gigi Wushuang, the formation empress who played everything between applause. Big brother, don't you know? Su Wan Qing hit the snake with the stick at this time, and grabbed Su Chen's jade like fingers. She rubbed Su Chen's fingers unscrupulously, completely obsessed. Su Chen felt a thousand times in his heart at this time, and originally wanted to use the power of the fallen sect to help him find it. So, he gently withdrew his hand and said sternly, This little friend, I am Su Chen. Su Wan Qin was a little disappointed because Su Chen withdrew her hand, but when she heard Su Chen's answer, she was stunned. You know, she has been fantasizing about Su Chen's appearance for countless nights. In her heart, Su Chen has countless appearances, but now after seeing Su Chen. But I found that the face in my mind was not as good as Su Chen's current case. No. It's hard to catch such a handsome person, and you have to go to a teacher. The moon is the first to get near the water. Just do it, Su Wan Qing went directly to Su Chen's grand ceremony, and then said aloud, Junior Su Wan Qing wants to worship Su Chen as his teacher, and ask the real person to accept me. Su Chen looked at the girl in front of him and couldn't help but smiled and said, Why are you so sure that I am Su Chen? What if I lied to you? He just wanted to ask casually, but he didn't expect Su Wan Qing to pop out such a sentence from his mouth, Don't doubt it, only Su Chen, you have such a face. Well, I can be regarded as seeing my youngest disciple clearly. He turned out to be a serious dog. But fortunately, I saved myself a lot of effort. He was about to say that when he accepted her, the voice of the system sounded, facing the joining of the last disciple, we must be cautious. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. Why are you going the same way in the system? You are wrong. What about the good conscience discovery? Why are you turning on the color mode again? Su Chen squinted at Su Wan Qing with a pair of star eyes, feeling that if she really proposed dual cultivation, this nymphomaniac girl might really agree. The girl in front of her seemed to have a good appearance and figure, not as good. No. You messed up my Tao heart with the system of Dog Day, and almost let you succeed. This is my apprentice. I can't be that beast. Wouldn't you let me accept a student normally? Do you have to make it so exciting? Is it necessary? Is it necessary? The dog day system, fortunately there is no way of yours. I choose to. Ahem. Su Chen coughed and said, since we met, you and I are also destined, and your qualifications are not bad, I will accept you. Mission completed, Xing Lua chessboard is issued. Stars are a first class array of magic treasures. Not only can the formation be arranged in an instant, 
but even the high-strength cultivator of the cultivation base can use the star to deploy a large array. It can be said to be one of the strongest magic treasures. Su Wanqin was overjoyed, and she respectfully saluted Su Qin, disciple Su Wanqin, pay homage to Master. Okay. Su Qin raised his hand, a chessboard appeared in his hand, and then he said, This is a meeting gift for your teacher, Xing Luo chessboard, you must take good care of it. Su Wanqing took the chessboard and felt excited. At last, she finally came into the door of real Su Qin. She can use the disciple's convenience to do things like this. Ha ha. Su Qin was also a little excited at this time, and finally, he finally collected seven dragon pearls. Ah. No, I finally gathered five disciples. The first phase of the mission is finally over. It seems that I can avoid the original tragic ending. Chapter, 74 Su Wanqing took Su Chen's hand and followed him to the small courtyard. She heard bursts of laughter in the small courtyard. Master, there are others in this small courtyard. Su Wanqing suddenly realized a problem, that is, the still fresh master seems to have accepted several disciples. Yes, your four senior elder sisters are inside. They should not be asleep at this time, and they just happened to meet them. Su Chen said with a smile. Su Wanqing had heard of it, and the few disciples he sat down were not good, and even some extremely violent and bloodthirsty cultivators. It was once reported that two of his disciples killed hundreds of practitioners in a secret realm. This is not a serious disciple at all, but rather like a few killing gods. Um, master, how are these senior sisters? Not very distinguished. Su Wanqing asked weakly. You don't need to worry about this. My disciples are all very gentle girls. Su Chen began to cherish her. Your elder sister Qin Chilian has a tenacious temperament and is very enthusiastic, but she has a love of love for her fellow students. Your second elder sister Li Mayan is considerate, gentle and kind, taking care of others' daily lives it can be described as meticulous. Your third elder sister Tu Su is charming and cute, with a lively personality, but everyone's pistachios. Your fourth elder sister Nye Qinyun has a quiet personality and a kind-hearted nature, just like a big-time lady. After listening to Su Chen's words, Su Wanqing was also relieved. It seemed that the rumors from the outside were beyond belief. These senior sisters sounded like they were all pretty good. After that, she followed Su Chen to the hall. At this time, the five women who were drinking at the table all looked at Su Chen and Su Wanqing at the door. At this moment, Su Wanqing swears that she will never forget how she feels for the rest of her life. The four women who turned their heads all had a dangerous aura in their eyes. She felt that she was a little white rabbit, shivering in front of the four prehistoric giant beasts. Master! You lie to me! What about the four amiable senior sisters who said that? At this moment, Qin Chilian stood up and walked in front of Su Chen. With a smile on his face, Su Wanqing took Su Chen's hand and let go, and then said to Su Chen, Master, this is who is it? Why don't you introduce it to us? Su Chen smiled and said, Hee hee, this is your little junior sister, who just accepted it. Her name is Su Wanqing. Oh. It turned out to be a little junior sister. No wonder he came over holding the master's hand. Qin Chilian took Su Wanqing's hand at this time and said with a smile. At this time, Su Wanqing felt a hot sensation in Qin Chilian's hand. The temperature was so high that she wanted to pull away, but she didn't expect to be held tightly. She turned her head to look at Qin Chilian, and was about to say something, only to see her with an extremely hypocritical smile, she felt that she did not want to warmly welcome owner, but wanted to chop off the hand of owner. Just as she was considering whether to call Su Chen, Li Mayan came over. She was holding a teacup in her hand. There was half a cup of tea in the cup, still steaming. Obviously Li Mayan had prepared this. Su Wanqing watched her come over, thinking it was for own, and just wanted to reach out and pick it up. Unexpectedly, Li Mayan ignored her and directly brushed her side, came in front of Su Chen, handed it to him and said, Master, you have been talking to the head teacher for a long time, and you must be thirsty. This is the tea the disciple makes. Su Chen took it over and said, 
you are still the most considerate, huh, look, Wan Jing, I said your second elder sister is the most considerate. Um, yeah, very considerate, if there is no murderous aura enveloping me, I would really believe it. When Su Chen took the teacup, Li Mayan glanced at Qin Chulian on the side. It probably meant that you are really stupid. Pay attention to what you are doing with that little girl. The corners of Qin Chulian's eyes burst with blue veins, as if he knew that he had lost the opportunity in this competition, and his palms became more and more hot. Su Wanqing secretly said in her heart at this time, Master Sister. I didn't provoke you, don't be impulsive. I'm going to die. At this moment Li Mayan turned around, the smile on his face disappeared, and a red light was projected from that scarlet eye, staring at her hand firmly. Su Chen was also sitting at the dining table surrounded by a group of disciples. He had just discussed with Kong Shaosheng. Su was that Kong Shaosheng hadn't thought that Su Chen wanted to eat, so there was no arrangement. Look for flowers zero. Seeing this, Tu Su waved a big hand and used magic power to remove all the dishes, and winked at the most Qian Yun on the side, she directly brought out a few side dishes and a bowl of rice, and placed them in Su Chen. In front of Luo Xian on the side even handed Su Chen a jug of wine, poured it a glass, and brought it to Su Chen. After the three of them had done this, Qi Qi also glanced at Qin Xiuyan and Su Wan Qin. The former was mocking Qin Chulian for being so stupid and unclear about the point, while the latter was a newcomer to Su Wan Qin. This set of procedures went smoothly and seemed to have gone through tens of thousands of rehearsals. Except for Luo Xian, everyone's movements were not jerky. All this made Su Wan Qin extremely surprised. Well, you are interested, knowing that the teacher hasn't eaten yet. Okay, let's sit down. Su Chen motioned everyone to sit down. At a round table, just seven people sat down. Su Chen was using the meal, and the other five people just watched Su Chen's meal quietly, and their eyes were full of indulgence and joy. Only Su Wan Qing is really uncomfortable at this time. She can feel that although their main attention is on Su Chen, everyone has a murderous aura directed at them. However, I should say that watching Su Chen eat is really a very good treat for girls. Sure enough, Handsome people are handsome in everything they do. Even a meal is so charming. About ten minutes later, Su Chen ran out of food, Tu Su handed over a handkerchief, Su Chen wiped his mouth, and several other people also picked up the handkerchief. Unexpectedly, Tu Su moved the fastest. So they could only wipe their mouth awkwardly. After Su Chen wiped it, Tu Su took back the handkerchief, and then took it back from Ons arms very carefully, planning to go back to do something at night. The other few people looked envy, jealous and hateful, and some even wondered if they could get something to exchange for the handkerchief with Tu Su, even at a higher price. Su Wanqing finally knew at this time, it was not just that she had an unruly attempt to Su Qin, everyone in the room had it. This is not a dining table at all, but a battlefield without gunpowder smoke, and a cruel Shura field where many parties gather. Chapter 75 Su Chen glanced around and said to everyone, Okay, then I announce that Su Wan Qing has officially become your junior sister, you know each other, I will not introduce more clichés. After speaking, he got up and left the hall. He hoped to leave more space for young people like them, so that his elders would delay communication. Seeing Su Chen's back, Su Wan Qing stretched out her hand to shout out. She wanted to say, Master, take me away. It's dangerous here. But at this time, Nye Qianyun has come behind her like a ghost, covering her mouth, and whispering to her, Little junior sister, don't shout loudly. It won't be good to disturb master. Su Wanqing only felt that there was something cold on her back, that was Nye Qianyun's hatchet. It was not until Su Chen returned to his room that Nye Zero Zero Qianyun let go, and then with a big wave of his hand, all the doors of the hall were closed. Immediately afterwards, the four disciples of Su Chen, each sitting on a chair, surrounded Su Wan Qing in the center. This posture clearly blocked all her retreat. You, what do you want to do? Su Wan Jing said with some horror. She knew that she had fallen into a wolf den like a little sheep at this moment. Qin Chilian took the lead at this time and asked, I'm sorry, 
because of the safety of the respected master, we must know your details and hope you can answer us honestly, otherwise don't blame us. The meaning of this sentence is very simple, if she dares to deceive, they will directly kill themselves on the spot. Okay, okay, you can ask. She looked at the four of them in horror. First of all, tell me about your life. Li Mayan has already pulled out the heavenly demon sword at this time. If this person poses any threat to the master, then she will shoot directly. I taught Su Wan Qing, an orphan, who lives under the Luoshan Zong mountain. There is currently no cultivation and no magic power. Su Wan Qing said when she saw the murderous Li Mayan. At this time, Tu Su moved her body and came to her side, pressing up and down her whole body, without noticing any magic power aura. So she nodded to the other three people and said, she does not have magic power in her body, but the roots are not bad. Say, why do you want to worship the master, give us a convincing reason and purpose. Nye Qianyun said coldly, they can't tolerate people with ulterior motives by master's side. Su Wanqin was able to feel four murderous waves against her body at the same time at the same time. This problem was already related to her life. I want to worship Su Chen because he heard that Su Chen is the number one beautiful man in cultivation world. My purpose is to do something about Jockey Mizu. As soon as this remark came out, Su Wanqin immediately felt that the murderous intent around her had suddenly withdrawn. The four people came to her. Qin Chilian stretched out her hand to her and said, Oh, it turns out to be a fellow in the same way, little sister, you say it earlier, there is no such misunderstanding. My way is not alone. People who are both jockeys and slander the ancestors should love each other. Li Mayan said solemnly. Su Wanqing knew at this time that the four of them had agreed with him. At this moment, she finally saw it through, for the four senior sisters of her own, it was simply a stern look at Master. In the eyes of the four of them, if they say that Su Chen's cultivation base is still worthy of status, then such a person is not worthy of being his disciple, and they will directly kill him. However, if they say that they worship the master because of the beauty of the master, then in their eyes, it is nothing more than normal. After all, I can only blame, master is too charming, isn't it? In the middle of the night, Su Chen was reading the original book in his own room. Now the five disciples are all collected, the next step is how to avoid the crisis of the big plot. The most recent problem is the Wanxian conference. Even though he had the original work in his hand, he still didn't know who the person who attacked Su Chen at the 10,000 Immortal Conference was. From the clues in the article, he could know that the person should be from the Great Heaven sect. But who it is is still unknown. Boom! There was a knock on the door. Su Chen immediately put away the books in his hand, and then asked, Who? Master, this is Tu Su, can I come in? Su Chen was taken aback, so late, what did Tu Su do here? But he still said, Okay, come in. Tu Su heard the words, opened the door, and came to Su Chen, and went straight to pay respects to him. She said aloud, Thank you, Master, for your great kindness. The disciples have nothing to pay for. Su Chen hurriedly helped him up when he saw it, and then said to him, Tu Su, you and I, my master and apprentice, if you are entangled in these vain gifts, then you are unfamiliar. Tu Su stood up and said to Su Chen, Master took a great risk to follow me to the demon realm to rescue my friends, and even protect our lives in front of the demon emperor. If you are not grateful for Dade, then you are really not as good as a beast. Su Chen heard this and wanted to make Chima care too much. He didn't expect the voice of the system to sound, as a master, you must treat the gratitude of the disciples correctly. Now turn on the option. Good. The system, you deserve it. Your taste hasn't changed, and the taste is still so heavy. If daddy can be fooled by you, that's a ghost. I choose the second one. Su Chen patted the back of her hand and said, Well, since you want to thank me for being a teacher, please help me press my shoulders. My shoulders are really sore. After speaking, he sat on the zero. For chair, and Tu Su knew that this was because Master wanted her to feel better and was able to live it psychologically. So he walked behind him, put his hands on his shoulders, and kneaded gently. Su Chen felt comfortable for a while. 
the strength made him very comfortable. He joked to him and said, Tu Su, you are really comfortable pressing, if I have time in the future, can I press more as a teacher? At this time, Tu Su stood behind Su Chen and heard these words. Then he couldn't help the impulse in his heart anymore and hugged Su Chen from behind. She said in Su Chen's ear, Master, thank you, if you are willing, I would like to accompany you for life and life and press your shoulders for you. Su Chen also said that she said it with a grateful mind, and then gently patted her right hand and said, Okay, I will wait for you as a teacher and keep pressing my shoulders for me. Chapter 76 Half a month later, everyone's injuries were almost recovered. Su Chen took his own five disciples and Luo Xian by farewell to the sect leader of Luo Xianzong, and then it took a few days to rush back to King Tianzong. On the way, Luo Xian expressed that he also wanted to worship Su Chen as his teacher, but was turned down by Su Chen. He originally only planned to accept these five, and he was tired enough to pay attention to five disciples at the same time. Therefore, he intends to introduce it to Shangguan Wanqing. After all, Luo Xian's aptitude is not bad, and his attributes are similar to Shangguan Wanqing. Seeing Su Chen's persistence, Luo Xian didn't ask for it anymore, but accepted Su Chen's suggestion. After all, she couldn't return to the demon realm now. At noon of the day, Su Chen led everyone to the gate of King Tianzong. At this time, the eldest disciple of head teacher, Su Chen's acquaintance, Chen Qing Lu was waiting anxiously at the gate. Qing Lu, who are you waiting for before this mountain gate? Su Chen said with a smile. Chen Qing Lu heard the voice and directly showed ecstasy, and then said to Su Chen, Little master, I look forward to the stars and the moon but I hope you come back. Ha! Huh. Did something happen in Zongli? Su Chen frowned. It was not a trivial matter to make Chen Qing Lu so anxious. Senior Uncle Seventeen, the matter is urgent, don't talk about it, go see my master. Chen Qing Lu said immediately anxiously. Okay, Chiu Lian, you take them back to Chiu Jingfeng, I'll go to see senior brother head teacher first. Su Chen Dangyi followed Chen Qing Lu and left. Qin Chiu Lian reluctantly said to a group of juniors, Hey, the master is really hard working, and I can't even drink a mouthful of tea. I guess, the head teacher should look for the respected master to take over the position of head teacher in the future. Nye Qian Yin said. Hey, if the master really becomes a head teacher in the future, we should help him more. Li Mayan said in the same way. Tu Su suddenly said at this time, Sisters, don't you think we really have to learn sex management? Otherwise, with the lazy temperament of the master, wouldn't we be used as coolie? Everyone knows that Su Chen has a temperament, if he really becomes a head teacher in the future, the five of them are definitely his coolie. The third junior sister makes sense. Let's go back to Chiu Jingfeng and start studying, otherwise it will be really late. Qin Chiu Yan led everyone to rush towards Chiu Jingfeng's direction. Qin Tian sect leader Peak, discussing the Great Hall. Su Chen hurried in with Qin Qin Lu, looked up, and saw Lin Qin Yuan sitting in front of the case reviewing something. Hearing the footsteps, he knew who it was. Putting down the pen in his hand, he smiled and said, Brother, you are finally back. Su Chen said anxiously, Qin Lu said you are looking for me in a hurry. Lin Qing Yuan stood up, walked to Su Chen's side, patted him on the shoulder and said, Junior brother, don't worry, except for a little accident, the time for my ascent may be earlier. Su Chen was shocked and said to him, Brother, didn't you say that it will only fly in a hundred years? I didn't expect that the spirit power in my body would be transformed into a mortal power so quickly. I estimate that within ten years, I will soar. Lin Qing Yuan said helplessly. He originally thought that this would take a hundred years, and that Su Chen could slowly take over sect affairs and suppress all enemies and hostile forces. But I didn't expect that now there are only less than ten years left, and it's no wonder that Chen Qing Lu is so anxious. In fact, Su Chen is more anxious. Ten years later, it will be the Wanxian Conference. Now Lin Qing Yuan has suddenly risen, so his own support will be missing by one. It seems that the emergence of On has changed not only the plot between himself and his disciples, but also the general trend of the entire cultivation world. In the original plot, Lin Qin Yuan was killed by Su Chen before he soared. 
Brother, what are your plans next? I am ready. Su Chen knew that the pace must be accelerated at this time. Well, brother, you have such a consciousness, I am very pleased. Lin Qing Yuan let Su Chen sit down, and then said with a serious face, I plan to hold a sect conference in three days and register you as the successor of head teacher. The head teacher of King Tianzong is not hereditary or designated by the head teacher, but by holding a sect conference, all the elders and peak masters nominate and vote on the candidates. Only the candidate who gets more than half of the votes can successfully become the successor of head teacher, which is also to balance the interests of all parties in sect. Okay, brother, I'll listen to you. Su Chen pondered for a while and asked, Brother, do you have anything else to explain? Lin Qing Yuan took out dozens of jade slips from his storage bag and put them on the table aside and said, Junior brother, this is all the materials of the Great Sky School. In these few days, you must remember all of them and use them for change in the sect assembly. Yes, brother. Su Chen put jade slip away very carefully. Then Lin Qing Yuan said, I have tested all the forces in sect before. At least half of them support you, but the rest seem to support another person. Su Chen heard this, a thought suddenly flashed, and then subconsciously asked, Who is this person? This person is the sixth junior brother, Duan Mukian. Lin Qing Yuan said a 000 name that Su Chen is very familiar with. This Duan Mukian, in the original work, after Su Chen was assassinated, took Su Chen upside down and became the real authority of the Great Sky School. This person is a real hero, who has managed many affairs in sect for a long time. Even Su Chen suspected that he was the murderer who assassinated Own in the Ten Thousand Immortal Conference. Unfortunately, he has no evidence, and this matter has not happened yet, and there is no trace of it, so there is no way to investigate it. Well, it turned out to be Senior Brother Duanmu, I know it well, Senior Brother. Su Chen said to Lin Qing Yuan. Well, Junior Brother, it's good for you to know in your heart, and be prepared, don't let me down. Lin Qing Yuan said expectantly. Yes, brother, I will go back and prepare now. Su Chen bid farewell to Lin Qing Yuan and walked out of the discussion hall. Chen Qing Lu came to Lin Qing Yuan at this time and asked, Master, my disciple doesn't understand. Since you intend to help the junior uncle take over, why don't you just help him remove all threats? Lin Qing Yuan showed Rong Ji's smile at this time and said, Hee hee, this time I took care. After I fly up, Su Chen will not be able to suppress the old and stubborn. There are some things that he must do by himself. Chen Qing Lu nodded and smiled and said, Hee hee, it seems that there are not many days left for the lazy little teacher and uncle. From now on, he will not be able to hide in his Chiujing Peak forever. Chapter 77 Su Chen returned to Chiu Jing Fong with full of doubts and thoughts. At this time, in the small courtyard, five disciples were cultivating each. Although a few of them were all talents of Tianzong, they were also very diligent in cultivation, otherwise they would not have achieved the current achievements at this age. This is what Su Chen is most gratified about. His disciples are sensible and work hard. Watching them grow up a little bit, there is a feeling that the old father finally brought up his daughter. As a master sister, Qin Shulian was pointing to the new Su Wanjing cultivation technique. She saw Su Chen approaching with a sad face. As the earliest beginner Qin Shulian, knowing that Su Chen would show such an expression, he must have encountered something, so he asked him, Master, what's wrong? Su Chen's thoughts were interrupted, and then he glanced at Qin Shulian, as if thinking of something, and then said to him, Chiu Lian, you gather your juniors and sisters, I have important things for you to do. Yes. Even if Qin Chiu Lian called everyone over, there was no procrastination. All five of them knew that Su Chen's affairs were definitely not a trivial matter. Su Chen looked at the five disciples and said, Apprentices, in three days, the senior brother head teacher will hold a sect meeting to vote on who will be the successor. There are two candidates, one is me and the other is the sixth brother Duanmu. Thousand. As soon as this remark came out, the eyes of the five people flashed a little, and their thoughts were very unified. Where did the fool who came out dare to snatch the head teacher from my master? How about that person's cultivation base? Should the five of us go together and just kill him? 
Well, I think it can. Su Chen didn't know that the five disciples under his command were usually very reasonable people, but once Su Chen's matter was involved, there was no reason to speak. Even killing people and setting fires for Su Chen is just a trivial matter for them. Of course, it is precisely because Su Chen did not know that he would say this, ahem, although being an improper successor as a teacher does not take it seriously, I still can't live up to the expectations of the head teacher brother. Therefore, I want to give you an order. I want you to inquire about any information about the opponent's camp within three days. You can use unconventional means, but you can't make too much noise, do you know? Yes. All five said respectfully. At this time, it was about the position of master's head teacher. They all agreed seriously. Su Chen agreed to all they saw, and then said with a smile, Of course, I won't let you be a teacher, and there will be rewards waiting for you later. In this way, everyone is energetic, but they know that the rewards that Su Chen put forward are what they are very eager for, and they have never let them down. Su Chen also wanted to offer to take out the magic treasures from his storage bag as a reward, but the sound of the system sounded. Send disciples to do things, you must have sufficient rewards. Now open the option. System, your first option is so obvious that the wrong option also wants to seduce me. Do you treat me as an idiot? When this sentence comes out, my efforts are in vain. But your second option doesn't seem to be right. I will be rewarded by turning around. Can this thing inspire them? But it seems that this option is the right one by convention, so I still choose it, I choose too. He said to the five disciples, this is the reward. Su Chen turned around in the same place. His clothes were fluttering, and the posture of turning around was very elegant. Looking at the five disciples, they were all drooling. The five people saw Su Chen's attitude and thought of such a possibility in their hearts. Master means. Does he treat himself as a reward? Can anyone who can get the most valuable information get the master? Everyone looked at each other, they were all a little bit unbelievable that their own master Elm had actually opened up. As a representative, Qin Xiuyan stepped forward and said to Su Chen, Master, are you sure that the reward is what we see? Su Chen nodded affirmatively and said, Yes, this is what you see. After getting the affirmative answer from Su Chen, the breathing of the five of them suddenly increased. The same idea came to their minds. This time the task actually concerns the ownership of the master. I must take it. No matter what method is used, the most useful information must be obtained. This reward is too generous. Who can stand it? Well, good, then it should not be too late, you go quickly, time is running out. There are only three days left before the sect conference, and the process must be speeded up. Yes. Let's go now. The five people all went together, and then they dispersed and went to search for information. Su Chen saw the five people leaving in a hurry, and couldn't help muttering to himself, why are they so anxious, have they misunderstood something? Beginning that afternoon, the entire King Tianzong was caught in a tumultuous jump. All five of Su Chen's disciples went to search for information in their most unique way. For example, Qin Chilian, one person with one sword, visited every main peak of King Tianzong, and greeted him from elder to the peak owner. Of course, the way of greetings was not very gentle, almost all of them had a fight. For another example, Li Mayan directly captured each of the true disciples of the main peak as soon as they came over, they were locked in a cave one by one for interrogation, and if they didn't cooperate, they would be beaten to death. For another example, Tu Su, she gave full play to the advantage of her own race, hypnotized all the deacons with real power in the great sky school with her charming skills, and took out all the things they knew. As for Nye Qianyun, he directly performed the ecstasy of ghost repair, read the memories of hundreds of related people, and sorted them into dozens of books for selection. And Su Wanqing, too, did his best to understand everything he could understand. Seriously, these five people don't know what Loki is, and they directly turned the entire Great Heaven sect into a quarrel. If it weren't for Lin Qingyuan's forceful pressure, I am afraid that a major incident would have already happened. No one knows, why are they so crazy? What is the reason, let them turn the entire great sky sect over? The reward is that they are thinking about it, 
thinking about Su Chen who is the jockey Mizu every day. Chapter, 78 Just as the entire Great Heaven sect was rioted by Su Chen's five disciples, a person was watching all this with cold eyes as soon as he emerged from the mountain. This person is Duan Muqian, and standing beside him at this time is the great elder of the Great Heaven sect, Yang Xiu, the chief of the law enforcement hall. Duan Mu, Su Chen's trick seems very unwise, but is there any deep meaning in it? After all, he is not a fool. Yang Xiu is one of the people who support Duan Muqian to become the sect leader. He he, Su Chen's move naturally has a deep meaning. It seems that he wants to stun the snake, and want to see how many people are on our side. Duan Muqian said after a while. If it really exposes all our forces, I'm afraid Lin Qin Yuan will act. Yang Xiu said worriedly. Don't worry, Lin Qin Yuan will be soaring in less than ten years. What he has to do now is to use this thing to make Su Chen grow up quickly. Therefore, if he is not a last resort, he will definitely not make a move. It seems that I have already made a sense of it. Ha! Huh. What if it is exposed? Now we already have more than half of the power in our hands. When the sect conference comes out, Lin Qin Yuan can't stop you from becoming a head teacher. Be sure, after all, they have spent too long, too long. No, I always feel a little uneasy. We 000 should be careful. You warn the people below, try not to expose it. I will take some other measures. We must take the position of head teacher. Said very decisively. On the night of the second day, the five disciples of Su Chen each came to the courtyard with a lot of jade slip. It seems that they have gained a lot in the past two days. The five people came to the hall and placed jade slip in their hands next to them, all looking like they had already won. Such a scene, the most indispensable thing is to fight back and forth around Su Chen. Master Sister, I heard that you have visited the elders of several peaks. You must have gained a lot, right? Li Mayan said after taking a sip of tea. Yes, second junior sister, I have collected a lot this time. I'm sorry, but I have settled the reward this time. Qin Chulian said very happily. And Li Mayan said with a disdain, Master sister, I was just a little humble, don't think you will win, master is mine. Two elder sisters, don't be so proud, the younger sister has also gained a lot in the past few days, and I won't lose to the two. Tu Su said with a smile covering his mouth. Senior sister San said, I don't know who loses and who wins. Nye Qianyun and Su Wanqing also spoke on the sidelines. The five people glared at each other at this time. Today is an extremely important day in their eyes, and it is about to decide who Su Chen belongs to. They not only hope to get Su Chen, but also look forward to seeing the faces of the other four people as grey as death. The expressions look very refreshing, enough to remember them for a lifetime. Da da da. The sound of footsteps sounded, and all the five people present stood up, and a figure stepped into the hall. Oh. You are all here, it seems that you are all gaining a lot. Su Chen looked at Jade Slip on the table and said with a smile. He can see that these five disciples are very hard at collecting information, and he is very satisfied with this point. After all, this is a skill. Su Chen sat on the main seat and said to the crowd, Okay, since we have collected everything, let's start reporting, Chiu Lian, you come first. Qin Chiu Lian stood up, put one hand on Jade Slip, and said with a serious face, Master, according to my information, there are already more than half of the elders in the Great Sky School who are ready to support Duan Muqian. This situation is very unoptimistic. Li Mayan then said, at least half of the core disciple in sect has been directly or indirectly instructed by Duan Muqian and intends to support him. Tu Su took the conversation and said, everyone in sect deacon is more than normal and fell to Duan Muqian. Nye Qianyun said, according to the information I have obtained, Duan Muqian's relationship in sect is intricately intertwined, and it is beneficial or beneficial to many people. Su Wanqing said last, according to my investigation, Duan Muqian may have an interest relationship with other sects Bei, and he has repeatedly sold out the interests of Qing Tianzong. After hearing the rewards of the five disciples, Su Chen frowned. Although he had been prepared long ago, he did not expect that the situation had become so bad. At this moment, 
He was about to discuss with disciples, but found that the five people were looking at him with expectant eyes. He couldn't bear to beat the enthusiasm of disciples at this time, so he changed his expression and said with a smile, Well, you all worked hard. If you all win, just come and receive the reward together. As soon as this statement came out, all five people were taken aback. Together, collect rewards together. Master, you are so casual, we are not ready yet. And isn't this a haul? Everyone blushed when they saw Su Chen smile, but then they looked forward to it. Forget it, let's be together, as long as you can get the reward of the master, a few people will do. Just when the five people had done their own ideological work, Su Chen came in front of them. At this time, the heartbeat of the five of them at least soared to more than two hundred. All five of them just grabbed their own skirt and waited for Su Chen's reward. Su Chen stretched out his hand and grabbed his own shirt, making a gesture of taking off his clothes. Coming. Coming. Master intends to reward us. Master, come. Come and reward us. Apprentices, come and collect the rewards together. Su Chen grabbed his hand at the skirt of his clothes and suddenly pulled, and his coat opened immediately. All five of them opened their eyes wide, and wanted to see something they had always wanted to see. But in the next second, what they saw was that there were five Taoist gowns of different colors hung inside Su Chen's open coat. Hee hee, I said before. The reward for you is that everyone makes a dress of the same color as me. I have been doing it for two days, so I will try it. Su Chen said naturally. This is what Su Chen uses to rebuild some magic treasures rewarded by the system. It is not only aesthetically useful, but more importantly defensive, capable of holding a full blow before the transcends tribulation period. The five apprentices looked at the five pieces and froze in place. Ha! Huh. Master? Isn't the reward for yourself? You lied to us. Master, you misled us. It turns out that you are talking about yourself, but the dress on your body? We almost lifted the great sky school for a Taoist robe. We are not wronged. Su Chen looked at the five people with constipation, and said in a puzzled manner, What's wrong? Don't you like this reward? Don't you? If you don't, I will take it back. The five people saw Su Chen showing a disappointed expression, after all, he did it by himself. Five people hurriedly stepped forward and one took one, and said loudly, Yes. We like it, we want it. He he, the five of you will spoil him. Chapter, 79 The five disciples put on all the robes and walked in front of Su Chen. I have to say that these five robes were made by Su Chen with great care. Each piece of clothing is in line with everyone's size, showing their figure to the greatest extent, without any bloat and procrastination at all, on the contrary, it looks more fairy-like. Well, good-looking, all five of you are good-looking. Su Chen commented happily. Hearing Su Chen complimenting himself, all five of them blushed, feeling that Su Chen's body temperature still remains on the clothes, making people more and more fascinated. I didn't expect Master to have this kind of craftsmanship. We didn't know it before. Li Mayan walked over and looked at Su Chen's finger. He didn't see the trace of the needle stick from his hand, and he was relieved. Su Chen saw her eyes and naturally knew what he was thinking. He stretched out his hand and touched her head and said, He he, you don't know a lot. The other four people watched Li Mayan being spoiled by Su Chen alone, and their eyes were red with jealousy. Well, these two days, you have worked hard, let's go back tonight and have a good rest. Su Chen couldn't help but feel a little distressed when he looked at the tired disciples. Everyone looked at Su Chen's caring gaze, and their hearts were warm. In the past two days, they have indeed been collecting information endlessly, and they are also a little tired. Master, you don't have to work too hard. Rest early. Tu Su said softly to Su Chen. She could see that Su Chen's eyes were a little red, and I was afraid it was also a little tired. The teacher knows, you go and rest first. Su Chen said with a smile. The five nodded, and then turned around to leave the five had just walked out of the door of the hall. How did they know that a slight siege suddenly sounded at this time? Qin Chilian and Li Mayan reacted the fastest. 
They immediately turned around and shouted at Su Chen, Master, be careful. At this time Su Chen was still sitting on the chair, and saw an arrow coming out of the window next to Zheng. There was a very complicated pattern on this arrow, which was obviously some kind of powerful magic circle. Under the blessing of the magic circle, the arrow's power and speed have been greatly ascension, it is obvious that someone wants to assassinate Su Chen. Hearing the shouts of disciples, Su Chen turned his head and saw that the arrow was approaching, and his hands released magic power, which suddenly blasted forward, making his body retreated by half an inch. The arrow brushed Su Chen's forehead, cutting off a trace of his long hair. The five were relieved when they saw Su Chen dodge the arrow dangerously and dangerously, but after that, endless anger broke out in their hearts. Actually, someone dared to assassinate our master in full view of us. No matter who it is. No matter who organized this assassination. He must be slaughtered. Qin Chilian yelled coldly, Fourth junior sister, fifth junior sister, protect master. Second junior sister, third junior sister, follow me to chase that killer. After all, it was the master sister, who directly issued the order, and everyone immediately started to act. Nye Qinyun directly released Ghost Qi from his body, covering the entire house. At this time, Su Wanqing directly arranged countless formations with stars. With this double support, anyone who steps into the courtyard will be perceived in advance. Qin Chilian rushed out with Li Mayan and Tu Su, digging three feet on the Chiujing Peak to find the killer. However, no matter how they searched, they couldn't find any traces. Obviously the other party had been planning for a long time. Master Sister, what shall we do? After two hours of searching, they found nothing at all. Go back first, see if there is anything wrong with Master, let's go. Qin Chulian's body surrounded Kai with a frightening flame. It was not magic power, but returned to anger. The three of them returned to the small courtyard, and saw Nye Qianyun and Su Wanqing surrounded by Su Qin, with a look of guard, and the magic power on their bodies scattered. Qin Chulian said to the two of them, Okay, let's withdraw, the assassin is gone. When the two heard this, they finally relieved their hearts at this time and formed formations and enchantments. Qin Chulian walked to Su Chen and picked up that strand of hair from the ground. His heart was filled with distress and intolerance. At this moment, he was full of anger. The son of a bitch. The idea of daring to kill my master. It really hurt my master's hair. Don't let my old lady find you, or my old lady will destroy you all. She took a deep breath, calmed down, and then said to Su Chen, Master, are you okay? Su Chen was about to say that it was okay, and the voice of the system rang, faced with the concern of the disciple, we must deal with it correctly. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. Dog system, your first option is to use colors, are you a bit too beastly? That's five apprentices. Even if I have the courage, my body can't stand it. The second option seems to be fine, but it seems that something is missing. Zero zero. The third option, it turns out that you wanted me to touch my disciples, so you gave me ascension my cultivation base, the system, you are really unique. Okay, there is no dispute this time, so choose three. Su Chen glanced at the five disciples and said, Hee hee, it's nothing to be a teacher, you just have to be fine. Mission completed, cultivation base ascension to the middle stage of Huashan. When everyone heard these words, their hearts moved, and their complexions were reddish. Let me ask, who can withstand such a master who cares about them and is so provocative? The five disciples saw Su Chen's gentle eyes that seemed to overflow, and the two emotions were constantly intertwined in their hearts. On the one hand, it was because Su Chen cared about them. It was him who was assassinated, but he cared about them for the first time. Another aspect is that Su Chen was assassinated in front of them, which has touched their bottom line. Master, take a good rest, remember to put down a protective barrier, I will take a few juniors to check the surroundings. Qin Chilian broke the long silence and said to Su Chen. Well, you can also investigate, who is going to assassinate me. After all, we can find the murderer earlier, and we can also be safer in Chiu Jingfeng, but the premise is that you can't take risks. Safety first. Su Chen told them again, and then the five turned and left. 
What he didn't notice was that the eyes of the five people at this time were full of murderous intent. 4. Chapter, 80. Qin Chiu-yen returned to his own room with the four younger sisters. They sat on the chairs with very ugly faces. There is a lot of anger in everyone's heart, but they don't know how to vent. Master sister, you called us to come, there should be something to talk about. Li Mayan whispered. Yes, I want to discuss something with you, as a master sister. Qin Chiu-yen's face was extremely serious at this time. Usually, she never considers herself a big sister, she always gets along with a lot of sisters, but today she discusses matters solemnly in her capacity. The other four juniors all sat around, waiting for Qin Chiu-yen to speak with serious expressions. The first thing is that Master was assassinated today, and he was still assassinated on Chiujing Peak. This incident is definitely not simple. Tell me your opinion. Qin Chiu-yen said while looking at the 4003. Well, this matter must be related to tomorrow's conference, and Duan Muqian can't get rid of the relationship. Tu Sumi said with eyes full of murderous aura. That arrow seems to be an extinction crossbow arrow in the demon clan. It seems that Duan Muqian has prepared a lot of backhands and wants to kill the master directly. Li Mayan also affirmed this statement. Nye Qianyun said, the assassin's movement technique seems to be very similar to our ghost cultivation's movement technique. It cannot be ruled out that it is a member of the ghost cultivation. In other words, Duan Mu Qian may also be related to the ghost cultivation. After several people analyzed, they found that the power in Duan Mu Qian's hands seemed to be no longer weak. On the one hand, he had more than half of the power in the Great Sky Sect, and now he has a certain connection with the demons and ghosts. It seems that Duan Mukian has also worked hard for many years in order to become the head teacher of the Great Sky School. Qin Chiu-yen said decisively at this moment, no matter how terrifying the force behind Duan Muqian is, if he wants to kill Master, we will kill him. After speaking, she stood up and rushed out with a long sword in her hand. Su Wanqing, who had been silent at this time, said, Master Sister, wait a minute, listen to the little girl. The four of them looked at Su Wanqing. At this time, she no longer looked like her usual cuteness. Her eyes were full of Rongji, and she held a feather fan given to her by Su Qin. All four of them were amazed, and this little girl looked like a wise man at this time. Little junior sister, what do you think? Let's talk. Qin Chilian usually has the most contact with her, and he also knows that she is the most brilliant person among the five. The little girl means that we have to do it, but we must not fall into other people's tactics. Su Wanqing said to the four. Sisters, please think about it, if Duan Muqian really wants to kill Master, do you really think that with Master's unfathomable strength, a Dharma-killing crossbow is enough? As soon as this statement was made, the women were not fools, and naturally they could hear the meaning in the words. Nye Qianyun said, little junior sister means that this is a trick. Is this going to get us hooked? That's right, you deserve to be the fourth senior sister. Su Wanqing said immediately, then Duan Muqian knows that we are nervous, Master. Once Master is assassinated, we will definitely go to their troubles. At that time, as long as he pretends to be injured, he will detain us. One of the following crimes, then. Li Mayan took the conversation and said, then the Master will be disqualified as a candidate because of his impertinence. At that time, Duan Muqian will naturally be able to take the position, right? Yes, what the second elder sister said is extremely true. Su Wanqing went on to say, so, let's just take care of it. Make him upside down. At this time, Su Wanqing showed the tolerance, just now in the original cultivation world, she is known as the wise female emperor of the future. Little junior sister is reasonable. This time, you will arrange this action. My request is to make Duan Muqian completely desperate at all costs. Qin Chiu-yen said his own request. He he, even if the senior sister didn't say it, I would do it like this. This Duan Muqian has already touched our bottom line. Even if it destroys this King Tian Zong, I will still do it. Su Wan there was endless killing intent in Qin's tone. She stepped forward and said to Qin Chiu-yen, senior sister, give me the few green threads of master. 
Qin Chiu-yen handed it to her. She took a few green silks and held them in her hands, and said in a cold tone, that Duan Muqian definitely feels that we will focus on the overall situation, or the interests of King Tianzong. Then he was wrong. He didn't know. In our hearts, even in this world, it is not as important as a hair of the master. Not bad. The fourth woman continued, for the sake of master, even if the whole world is exhausted, what's the problem? The five people reached a consensus, and then Su Wanqing began to arrange everyone's work. At this time, one of the main peaks of King Tianzong, Lian Tianfeng. This is the site of Duan Mukian. As the Lian Xianfeng peak master and hundreds of disciples of Masha, many of whom are elite, he also manages many affairs in sect, and has extremely high prestige in sect. At this time, he was looking at some materials in the study. At this time, an illusory figure appeared in front of him. Looking at the appearance of this person, it seemed to be a ghost repair. This Goe Xiao also held a huge black crossbow in his hand. He said to Duan Mukian, Master, the subordinate has missed it. Well, as expected, Su Chen's cultivation base can't even be seen by me. It's weird that you don't miss your hand. Duan Mu paused and said, Hee hee, next, just wait for his disciples to vote for themselves. That's it. Master Wisdom Wushuang, all linked together, Su Chen will definitely not be able to compete with you for the position of head teacher this time. The ghost said flatly. Duan Mukian showed a slight smile. This strategy was a long-term meditation. This is also because he has observed Su Chen disciples for zero. For years, and found that they are very concerned about Su Chen's affairs. As long as they touch Su Chen, they will definitely lose their minds and hit our gate directly, so that they can directly give Duanmu a thousand mouthfuls. If my own disciple commits a crime, then the master is naturally unable to stay out of the matter. Even if Lin Qingyuan is willing to protect him, he will definitely not be able to protect him. Just as Duan Mukian was thinking, there was a sound of footsteps. Sun Yang, the eldest disciple of Duan Mukian, walked in and said to Duan Mukian, Report to Master, Chiu Jingfeng, the disciple of Uncle Su Chen, come to me. Lian Tianfeng makes trouble. Duan Mu Qian showed a successful smile when he heard the words, and then said to him, Okay, since it's here, then we should also play, this one will directly determine the victory. Chapter 81 Before Duan Mukian walked to the small mountain gate of Lian Tianfeng, he always thought that the disciples of Su Chen should have become angry at this time, and rushed to the mountain, hacking and killing own disciples. However, when he came to the scene, he found that it was not what he had imagined. Qin Chilian and his three junior sisters were standing in front of the mountain gate, shouting loudly at the guard disciples, but he didn't mean to do anything. Senior sisters, our Lian Tianfeng, you can't trespass. The Shoshan disciples said very eagerly. This disciple is not a newcomer. Naturally, I have heard that these ferocious female disciples under Su Chen's seat are the ones who beat people to death if they didn't agree with each other. I said, my master was assassinated. We tracked down the assassin and found that the assassin rushed into your Lian Tianfeng. Here you came to find it. For your master's safety, you should also let us in. Qin Chilian was very angry. Said. Yes, seeing that the sect conference is about to begin, an assassin appeared at such a tense moment. This is not conducive to sect's major event, so please cooperate with us to let us in. Li Mayan also said. The Shoshan disciple continued, We have never had any assassins in Tianfeng 17, so several juniors must be mistaken. At this time, Tu Su suddenly smiled and said, It's not that you Lian Tianfeng is shielding the assassin? Or is this assassin you sent? Tu Su's words were deliberately spoken very loudly, and even the fluctuation of magic power was added, which made it possible to hear the surrounding mountains. This way. If today they even Tianfeng are not willing to let them into the search, then it is the mud stuck in the pants, not shit or shit. This disciple also knew the seriousness of this matter, and immediately looked pale, and wanted to go in and report to own master Duan Mukian. At this time, Duan Mukian had already walked over, holding a folding fan in his hand, and said to the four of them in a gentle manner, a few master nephews. 
You are here late at night in order to capture the assassin, I just passed all the people on the peak. Once again, there is indeed no assassin, you can go back. He seemed to have a high-level aura on his body, and he seemed to be born to be obeyed by others, but the four of them did not eat this set. Sorry, uncle, my master was assassinated and wounded. We are so anxious that we are chasing at this moment and watching him hide into your Lian Tian Fong. We can testify about this, and please let us go in and search for it. Li Mayan said very politely. I said, there is no assassin, don't you believe it? Duan Mu Chienka would not search for Lientian Peak. On this peak, there is not only the demon cultivator just now, but also the existence of some demon cultivator. If you let them find these people, then own wise will be ruined, let alone become a head teacher. Oh. That's it, then, I'm sorry. Qin Chilian drew out his sword immediately, and a ball of flame was released, attracting Duan Mu Qian's attention. Then the other three people shot out at extremely fast speeds, rushing in the three directions of Lian Tianfeng. At this time, the three of them were already the cultivation base of the nascent soul stage, and even the ordinary disciples on the Tianfeng couldn't stop them. Stop them for me. Duan Mukian did not expect that a few of them would attack directly and rushed in. Immediately turned around and wanted to stop them, but Qin Chilian, who was in his lifetime, had already drew out his sword and stood in front of him. Uncle, I'm sorry, we are eager to search for the assassin, and please forgive me. Qin Chilian burst out from the nascent soul middle stage cultivation base at this time, which made Duan Mukian feel shocked. Su Chen's own cultivation base is unfathomable. Even his disciple has reached the cultivation base of the nascent soul stage after only cultivating for such a short period of time. This potential is simply too terrifying. Did Su Chen instruct you to come and search Lian Tianfeng? The sect meeting is just around the corner. Isn't he afraid of going down? Duan Mu Qian questioned from the perspective of righteousness at this time. Oh, uncle, you have misunderstood our master, he is kind, these are all of us disciples, and he does his own thing. Qin Chilian didn't give him any eloquence, and took the matter directly to himself. Duan Mukian wanted to say something, but he didn't hear it. There was a constant crackling sound from the top of the mountain, as well as many huge sounds of sword chi. Only a few people have been yelling, the assassin is here. Come on. The yelling sound shook the mountains and plains, and the most remote mountain peaks in the whole sunny day could be heard. It was very lively now, everyone knew that there were assassins above even the Tianfeng peak. Even if a few of them couldn't catch the assassin on Lian Tian peak at night, I'm afraid that the entire Great Heaven sect will start to talk about it tomorrow. This is extremely unfavorable for Duan Mukian, who is about to participate in the sect conference. At the same time, a few of them seem to have made up their minds, anyway they couldn't find the assassin and they began to wreak havoc on countless demonic energy, Ghost Chi, the demonic energy continued to spread over the entire mountain peak. Anyway, it's Ghost Chi, Ma Chi and Monster Chi. It just can prove that above Lientian Peak, maybe other cultivators exist. This is obviously soiled. Although they sent the assassins themselves and didn't worry about being caught, their search at this time has drawn all eyes to 003 here. In case someone in sect proposes to conduct a large search, I am afraid there is no way to evade. Especially if Lin Qingyuan proposes to search by himself, it will be over. You guys are really good means. Duan Mu Chieni said with a sneer. It's easy to say, it's easy to say, it's not as good as you, uncle. The smile on Qin Chilian's face disappeared at this time, and the color behind it was as cold as a ghost. Duan Mukian, I'll send you a word here. Qin Chil Yenping held his long sword, and the tip of the sword pointed at Duan Mukian's throat. If you dare to provoke my master, my old lady will directly spread your ashes. Qin Chilian's words were like the sound of death from purgatory. Even if it was a table hero like Duan Mukian, his heart couldn't help but tremble. At this time, Tu Su's voice came from above Lian Tianfeng, the assassin king has picked up Tianfeng, let's chase. Duan Mukian couldn't help but jumped at the corner of his eyes when he heard the words Jia Tianfeng, that was the mountain of his ally. He was about to stop, but Qin Chilian sneered and said to him, Uncle, I won't stay any more, continue chasing the assassin. 
After speaking, she rose with the sword and headed towards Tianfeng. This night is destined to be a sleepless night. Chapter, 82 It was night, four of the eight main peaks of Qingtianzong were impacted by the disciples of Su Qin. The four of them shouted to catch the assassin, and then forcibly broke into the gate of the mountain to destroy them. When the peak master came out to stop them, they immediately fled the scene, leaving only a mess. Why did they harm these four main peaks alone? Because the peak owners of these four main peaks are all allies of Duanyukian. The four people continued to wreak havoc within the Great Sky School, and only returned to the Chujing Peak at dawn, while the heartwarming Su Chen was still asleep, completely unaware of what had happened. The four of them returned to Chiu Jingfeng, came to the hall, and said to Su Wanqing who had been sitting here for a long time, Little junior sister, how do you think about this matter? Senior sisters have worked hard, and then we will see their reaction tomorrow. Su Wanqing smiled at the corner of her mouth at this time. Little junior sister, maybe I'm relatively dull. I don't know what purpose and effect your move has. Nye Qianyun asked. Tonight's action has only one purpose, and that is to fight the grass and startle the snake while identifying the people who are fighting against Shirtsuan. Who are they? After Su Wanqing said this sentence, everyone understood. Today they went to the four main peaks to make trouble as Su Qin disciples, and these four main peaks were the people who were closer to Duan Yukian in the information they obtained. Although today's move may seem a bit reckless, it actually has a lot of meaning. Because they went to the main peaks under the name of catching assassins, those who did not plan with Duan Yukian were afraid that the reaction would not be so intense. It's time to run for the head teacher candidates, and they have made such a big noise, and they just gave them an eloquence. If they didn't seize this opportunity, they would have seen a ghost, and they would definitely attack Lin Qingyuan collectively. In this way, we can identify who is Duan Yukian's cronies. But, after identifying these, what's the meaning of it? Li Mayan asked. This profound meaning, master head teacher will understand. Su Wanqing said faintly at this time, if I were to call out now, I would definitely not allow sect to be split into two halves of life. There are so many of them. Hidden danger, where can you choose an heir with peace of mind? As soon as this statement came out, everyone understood it, and I didn't expect that my little junior sister had already calculated people's mind to this level. It's really amazing. Okay, sisters, let's have a good night's sleep, but if there is a trouble tomorrow, what we do today will definitely be passed to the master's ears. Let's be prepared to make amends to him. Su Wanqing faintly said to everyone. Everyone shrugged their shoulders indifferently. They didn't believe that the master who loved them would really impose any punishment on them. After all, they hadn't seen him harshly for so many years. The four went back to the own room, and Su Wanqing sat in the hall, muttering to herself, Master is such a handsome person, the whole world should be his, and I helped him win. The biggest boost in the world. In the early morning of the next day, just after the morning bell rang, there were countless heads of people gathered on Qing Tian sect leader peak. These were the people from the four main peaks that were attacked by Qin Qiulian and others last night. Among them are the four peak masters headed by Duan Muqian. The four peak masters are all sentimental and angry, all under the banner of asking Su Chen's disciple to commit crimes. A crowd of people rushed into the discussion great hall. At this time, Lin Qingyuan was in the main position, and it seemed that they had expected them to come a long time ago. Senior brothers, what do you want to do in this imposing early morning? Lin Qingyuan took a cup of tea and took a sip, but didn't let them sit down. Brother head teacher, the disciples under Su Chen's seat are too presumptuous. Last night, they pretended that an assassin attacked Su Chen, so they went to our four main peaks to chase the assassin. Said Lian Chengjian, the master of Tianfeng Peak. Yes, these four disciples have no respectability, and the following offenses must be severely punished. Qingyun Peak Master Lu Qingyun said indignantly. Finally, Duan Mukian said, Brother Head Teacher, I hope you can handle this matter impartially, otherwise you will not be able to convince the public. This is obviously forcing the palace. This is forcing Lin Qingyuan to express his position. As long as he clearly states that they will be severely punished, Su Chen will automatically lose his candidacy. But what kind of character is Lin Qingyuan, 
how could he fall into their trap, he even said to him, oh. Junior brother Su Chen was assassinated. This is not a trivial matter. I'll just go and take a look. Brother head teacher, can you be partial to Su Chen's disciple? Don't avoid the importance and lighten it. Lu Qinyun said with a gloomy expression. Lin Qingyuan turned his head and looked at Lu Qingyun blankly and said, Oh. In the eyes of junior brother Lu, junior brother Su Chen's life turned out to be the lighter one. As soon as this sentence came out, Lu Qingyun was immediately stunned. He didn't expect that Lin Qingyuan would actually set such a trap on top of his words. He was speechless for a while and couldn't speak. Brother, senior brother Lu didn't mean that, but now that the assassin has not been found, and I don't know if it is true or not, let's deal with those disciples first. Duan Mu Qian didn't want the topic to be led away. Huh, junior brother Duan Mu said well. Lin Qingyuan's face sank at this time, and said to everyone, since it is still uncertain whether the assassin is true or not, then in other words, there are factors of instability in our sect. Right? Everyone was stunned when they heard the words, and then they all nodded subconsciously. Okay. Then, based on the consideration of sex interests, this seat will first cancel the sect head teacher election meeting and postpone it. The province will let Xiao Xiao who sneak into sect have a chance to enter. Lin Qingyuan is beyond doubt. Said. At this time, Duan Muqian's mentality was broken by Lin Qingyuan's move, and the original communist disappeared. After all, as long as this campaign meeting is held, he has a complete grasp at this moment. This postponement, I am afraid that there will be more nights and dreams. He stepped forward and said to Lin Qingyuan's cupped hands, Brother head teacher, this matter. Before he could say anything, Lin Qingyuan looked at him coldly and said, Junior brother Duanmu, do you have any different opinions on the order of this seat? At this time, an aura like death was released and enveloped him. If he dared to say another word in his mouth, I was afraid that Lin Qingyuan would really kill him. This is the murderous opportunity of today's number one master in cultivation world. Brother head teacher, I agree to postpone the meeting. Duan Mukian had no choice but to say this sentence. Okay, I'll go to see if Junior Su Chen's injury is real at noon. You are gone. Lin Qingyuan moved and disappeared above the Great Hall. Duan Mukian suddenly had a bad feeling in her heart. Chapter 83 In the early morning, Su Chen woke up and was drinking tea in the courtyard. After that, he heard the sound of an imperial sword. He raised his head and saw Chen Qing Lu plunge into the courtyard. Su Chen saw him walking in a hurry, and asked, Qing Lu, what's the matter? Chen Qing Lu anxiously said to Su Chen at this time, Little master, you really don't know if you don't know, you don't know, the four disciples under your seat yesterday made the four main peaks ridiculous in the name of capturing the assassin. Jump, a mess. Puff. Su Chen heard the words and spouted a sip of tea, and then said to Chen Qing Lu, You, what are you saying is true? Yeah. Little master, my master told you, take good care of the disciple under your seat, and he will come to see you at noon. After speaking, Chen Qing Lu felt an extremely cold breath coming from behind. He turned his head and saw several of Su Chen's disciples appearing five feet away behind him, looking at him with cold eyes. Little, little uncle, I'm leaving, master told me to go back quickly. After saying that, he rose up with a sword like fleeing for his life, and flew in the direction of the main peak. He believes that if he doesn't leave again, 007 is afraid that he will explain it here. These five people are all cruel masters. Su Chen looked at the five of them at this time, his face immediately became cold, and said to them, Come here, tell me, what's the matter? It was the first time that the five of them saw Su Chen's annoyance. They all walked to Su Chen and lowered their heads. Su Chen watched the five people bow their heads without speaking, and immediately said by name, Wan Qing, you are the youngest, you can't tell lies. For you, is this true? Did you also participate? Su Wanqing raised her head at this time, and said frankly to Su Chen, Master, you were assassinated last night. After some discussions with our sisters, we decided to help you out, and I made this plan. Immediately, she told Su Chen about all the plans without any reservations. 
After listening to this chain of plans, Su Chen couldn't help but look at her with a surprised look. She is indeed a generation of ingenious female emperors, who have such ingenuity at a young age. He then said to the other four people, So, you are practitioners of this strategy, right? The four of them looked at Su Bei Chen's eyes, the usual inexhaustible appearance disappeared, and they hurriedly said to Su Chen, Master, we are also to give you a chance, please punish us. Su Chen looked at the four people with bachelor faces, and couldn't help but feel a little bit awkward. Their starting point was for themselves, and they were very moved in their hearts, but such a plan to make a big mess in the heavens could not be repeated. Otherwise, in the future, my own disciples will definitely become a major scourge in cultivation world, but what kind of punishment is appropriate? At this time, the system's voice sounded, the disciple has made a mistake and must be punished and reprimanded. Now turn on the option. The dog system, what is meant to be a plea on the bed, and bring your own clothes, are you still a pervert who likes role-playing? What disrespect and disrespect to you? The second option is enough for you. The palm of your hand is called the palm of your hand. What are you saying so ambiguous? Will you die if you speak well? Will you die? I choose to. Su Chen said to everyone. You almost knocked the sky high school off this time. The trouble is really not small, but I think you are to teach me, so I won't punish you severely. All five of them were relieved and looked at each other, saying that they were right, and Master was still reluctant to punish them. But Su Chen's next sentence disappointed them directly. But. A small punishment and a big admonition are needed too. Su Chen raised his hand, a ruler appeared in his hand, and said to everyone, Come, come over and give me a slap, and forgive you. As soon as this statement came out, the faces of the five people showed blushing eyes, and they all turned white with aversion. Wan Qing, you are the organizer, the first one to be punished. Su Chen sat on the chair, and then pulled Su Wan Qing to ask her to stretch out her hands. Su Wan Qing didn't have the slightest nervousness or fear at this time, instead, there was an extreme desire in her eyes, and she seemed to have a faint expectation. Su Chen took her hand, raised the ruler, and hit her with a small hand twice. Papa. Two clear voices sounded, and Su Wanqing's palms immediately became red. Su Chen looked at the red palms and immediately felt pain in his heart. This little apprentice of my own family is still a child. Is he too strict with her? He raised his head and was about to say some words of exhortation, but he looked up and saw this picture. I saw Su Wanqing flushed, panting heavily, with a sense of extreme pleasure on her face, a smile on her face, and extreme desire in her eyes. Master! Master, beat me! Beat me! Su Wanqing still had a wise look at this time, she was looking forward to being punished by Su Chen. Uh, disciple, did I help you awaken some strange attribute? Su Chen really didn't expect the little disciple owned to have this peculiar attribute, and for a while, he didn't know whether he should fight or not. If it doesn't play the role of punishment and warning, it seems to be in her arms. Master, go ahead, go ahead. Su Wan Qing urged from the side, and then grabbed Su Chen's hand and said, The disciple did something wrong. Master continues to punish me. I feel that the ruler is not enough. Changed to a thicker rattan. As she spoke, she took out a cane from her arms. Master, the way you punish me is really handsome. The other four women on the side are all looking at them. And what is going on with her frenzy and expectation? This is a punishment, not an award. What does she want to do? Su Chen was caught off guard by Su Wan Qing at this time, thinking that this girl wouldn't even be punishing her, even the guy is ready. What's wrong with you? Isn't it okay if I don't hit you? Su Chen was thinking about how to stop all of this. At this time, a voice came, Little junior brother, your small courtyard is really lively. Hearing the sound, Su Chen knew it, and the person coming was senior brother own, Lin Qinyuan. Brother, you came too in time. Chapter, 84 It turns out that the senior brother is here. Su Chen said to the other disciples, take your little junior sister down to the restaurant, and I will punish you later. At this time, Qin Chilian hurriedly picked up the little junior sister Su Wan Qin who was still addicted, 
and retreated with everyone. Lin Qingyuan looked at the attitude of the disciples and couldn't help but said with a smile, Junior brother, your place is as lively as ever, your disciples are really lively. Well, brother, you don't want to ridicule me, these disciples, but it gives me a headache. Su Chen said helplessly. Hee hee, after all, these disciples of yours also care about you. Lin Qingyuan poured himself a cup of tea. Su Chen sighed and said, Brother, I know, I am angry that they are too reckless. What if someone really hits them? Lin Qingyuan waved his hand and said, Well, I know that you have a deep bond between masters and apprentices, so I won't go into the details. Let's talk about business next. Brother, please speak. Su Chen also knew that Lin Qingyuan must have come for the assassin incident last night. This assassin incident was designed by Duan Muqian, in order to provoke your disciples and make you fall under the charge of lax impunity, thus being put on the list of candidates. Lin Qingyuan did not go in circles, directly speaking of the core. I know this. Fortunately, my disciple was able to rebel against the guest, without causing serious consequences, and even took the initiative. Su Chen now remembered the appearance of Su Wanqing just now. Yes, it was your disciple's response that directly gave us the opportunity to take the initiative. Therefore, I plan to use the aftermath of this time to let your disciple play again. Lin Qingyuan said. Ha! Huh. Brother, can my disciples take risks? If you insist on letting them take risks, I would rather not choose head teacher. Su Chen was anxious at this time. Okay, okay, don't be nervous. Lin Qingyuan said soothingly. I didn't plan to let you darlings take risks, but just go out and walk through the scene. Okay, just don't take risks, brother, what do you want to do, let's talk. Su Chen heard Lin Qingyuan's assurance and relieved. Simply, let your disciples go to the four main peaks to challenge, and beat their second generation disciples to the ground. This should not be dangerous. Lin Qingyuan said with a smile. Su Chen also nodded. After all, the disciples in Zhongzhong, except for the four disciples Elder and Peak Master already own, no one has reached the nascent soul realm. There is absolutely no danger in letting the four of them come to challenge the second generation disciples. Lin Qingyuan said, since they use you to impose a lax essay, you will show them how outstanding your disciple is, and your disciple is enough to become sex future. In this way, those old guys who despise you will naturally come to vote for you. Lin Qingyuan intends to use Sex Future as a bargaining chip in exchange for other people's support for Su Chen. Yes, yes, but you must promise to ensure the safety of my disciples. In case those old guys don't talk about martial arts and want to bully the small, you must come forward. Su Chen said cautiously. Brother, don't worry, I will follow up at all times. Lin Qingyuan assured Su Chen. Okay, I'm going to talk to my disciples. Su Chen sent Lin Qingyuan away and went to the restaurant to find them. In the restaurant at this time, Su Wanqing finally returned to normal, returning to his usual Rongji appearance, but the eyes of the other four people looked at her very subtle. It turns out that Little Junior Sister possesses special masochistic attributes. Well, Little Junior Sister, what's the matter with your performance just now? Qin Chilian asked cautiously as a senior sister. Su Wanqing's face blushed when she heard the words, and then she said with a twisted face, Senior sisters, I'm not afraid of your jokes. I didn't do this before, but when I think of Master hitting me personally, I feel very happy. Well, it's okay, little junior sister has awakened. And at this time has become a little pervert with special attributes. Is it really okay for such a person to be next to Master? Everyone directly gave her a definition, and everyone fell into silence again because they didn't know what Lin Qingyuan did with Su Chen. Is it to punish their master? You are all here. Su Chen walked into the restaurant, Li Mayan stood up, and said to Su Chen caringly, Master, Master Head Teacher blames you for what happened yesterday. Su Chen raised his hand, touched her hair and said, Don't worry, the brother didn't blame me, but there is something I want you to do in order to lose the merits. As soon as this remark came out, everyone came to the spirit and was able to defuse the merits, that is, the master was relieved. This is very important. They are not afraid of anything else, they are afraid that Su Chen will ignore them. 
What's the matter, please tell me, master? Chu Su said with a light smile. Because the sect head teacher candidate conference has been postponed, so you have plenty of time to do one thing next. Su Chen said seriously, that is, you go to challenge the true disciple and core disciple of the four main peaks, and beat them all down. Can this be done? Su Wanqing thought for a while and understood the purpose of this move, so she said, Master is here, this is a desire, it is crushed by the front. Zero zero. Yes, you have ten days to challenge as much as you want. As long as you don't kill anyone, you can toss me as much as you want. As long as you agree, the previous mistakes will be forgotten. Su Chen paused and said, the one who defeated the most people can have a dinner made by the teacher. As soon as this remark came out, everyone was energetic, and the meal that Master personally made was really not eaten for some days. Not only is it delicious, it also means a single meal. This kind of personally making soup for them is really rare. Okay, Master, look okay, I will definitely defeat the most. Qin Chulian said excitedly. Second sister, it's too early to say, we are still here. Tu Su said with a smile on his face. Okay, go and prepare. You will start the challenge tomorrow. Remember, Su Sheng is not allowed to lose. If you meet an old guy who doesn't speak martial arts, you must leave in time. Do you know? Su Chen once again said. Yes. Master, absolutely don't let you down. Everyone should be abruptly. Immediately afterwards, a bloodthirsty smile appeared in everyone's eyes. Perhaps, at this time, we should begin to silently mourn for the disciples of the four main peaks. For Master. Beat everything. Let's go. The five disciples of Su Chen, like five tigers, heading towards the four main peaks, will cause great turmoil. 4. Chapter, 85 The sect election meeting announced an indefinite delay, as long as Lin Qingyuan decides the date, it will not be held. Such a dragging tactic really caught Duan Muqian by surprise. He did not expect that Lin Qingyuan would not hesitate to break the rules of the game and not let him go to the top. If it was before, he would never dare to do this, because before he needed to consider the influence of various forces. But now he is already the Mahayana cultivation base, the real first person in the cultivation world. Once a person's power can be strong to a certain level, he can break the rules and recreate the rules. Duan Mukian looked at the cultivation base, which is now the peak of the gods, and couldn't help but hate it. Why did God give him a wise brain? but he didn't give him a cultivation route with extraordinary qualifications. He has been cultivating for 500 years, and he is still at the peak of the 007 of the God of Transformation. I don't know, what action brother head teacher will do next. Duan Muqian was very worried. After all, Lin Qingyuan has been a head teacher for many years, and no one knows how many cards he has. Duan Muqian is now even afraid to summon his own allies to discuss countermeasures. After all, Lin Qingyuan has been eyeing him. If he is charged with a crime of forming a party for personal gain, he will be ruined. While he was still thinking hard about how to break the game, there was a rush of footsteps outside the door, and Qian Buguang, the second disciple of Duan Mukian, hurriedly walked in. Report to Master. Someone will discuss and challenge before coming to my mountain gate. Duan Mu Qian heard the words and waved his hand, so he said indifferently, isn't it just a discussion, you can just send it away. Originally, King Tianzong did not oppose the exchanges between disciples. Some disciples went to other main peaks to challenge disciples of the same generation. Basically, it happened every day, nothing strange. No, master, this time the situation is different. Qian Buguang said anxiously, the person here is the disciple under the seat of Uncle Su Chen. They threatened to sweep our Lian Tian Fong. As soon as this remark came out, what appeared in Duan Mukian's heart was not anger, but a trace of fear. This is not what Su Chen's disciples are doing to challenge, but Lin Qingyuan and Su Chen have started. Duan Mukian is not a fool. On the contrary, he has a great ability to see Wei Ji writing. He knows that these disciples of Su Chen are claiming to sweep Lian Tian Fong, and they intend to prove one thing. 
This thing is that in teaching disciples, Su Chen is much better than Duan Muqian. Only a master who knows how to teach disciples and all the disciples of Tianjiao can bring a better sect. Future. Go. Go and take a look. Duan Mu Qian Dang stood up and flew to the mountain gate with his second disciple. In just a few minutes, he had already arrived in front of his mountain gate, but the scene in front of him directly caused him to take a breath. I saw nearly two hundred disciples under his command. At this time, more than half were lying on the ground, and everyone was wailing holding their own leg. The remaining half of the disciples, led by their five true disciples, were surrounding the two of them, but they dared not step forward to attack. The two people surrounded by the crowd were the two disciples of Su Chen, Qin Chulian, and Li Mayan. Are you even the disciples of Tianfeng? This is not enough for us to fight. Qin Chulian was surrounded by flames, and the sky sword in his hand released a daunting heat. Li Mayan's body was surrounded by demons, and the heavenly demon sword in his hand released a chilling black light. The two looked like two female evil stars at this time. Although no one was killed on the field at this time, even the Tianfeng disciple lying on the ground had at least one leg broken. Seeing this, Duan Mu Qian stepped forward and shouted coldly to the two of them, Qin Chulian. Li Mayan. What are you doing here? What do you want to do? His words were filled with boundless anger, and it wasn't the disciple's leg that interrupted it, it was simply hitting him in the face. Oh, my uncle has come out. Qin Chulian deliberately pretended to be very surprised, and then said, We just came up to challenge and discuss, have we violated the rules? Yes, as Su Chen's disciples, what can we have bad thoughts? It's just that we want to break a few more legs. Li Mayan wore a black mask, and the red eyes released an astonishing murderous intent. Okay. You want to play, right? I'll play with you. Duan Muqian shouted, all the outer sect disciples are scattered, the truth is that the disciples will be on me. Give me a break in their legs. He is crazy at the moment, it is not only about his face, but also about his prestige. At this moment, he didn't care about how much he deceived, so he directly let the six disciples under his command besiege the two. Duan Muqian's six disciples are all the pride of Lian Tianfeng, and his disciples can be called the top figures in the Great Sky School. All of them have reached the cultivation base above the nascent soul early stage, and each of them is less than a hundred years old. Such an achievement can be regarded as a dragon and a phoenix above Zhongzhou. In the eyes of Duanmu, six people went together and defeated Su Chen's two disciples, more than enough. Come on! Abolish them for me! Duanmu Chen ordered directly, and he didn't care about the face of the elders. The six disciples stepped forward to release all the magic power and killed the two of them. That appearance was not a posture of discussing each other, but a posture of life and death. Bang bang bang. A series of fighting sounds sounded, the fire light and the devilish energy were intertwined, but within thirty breaths, all of his six disciples were lying on the ground, all seriously injured. This is simply a one-sided crush. Although Qin Chulian and Li Mayan are still the cultivation base of the nascent soul middle stage, their combat power has already reached the stage of transformation. The two walked to the side of the six, and then looked at Duan Mukian indifferently and said, Uncle, is this your most proud disciple? It doesn't seem to work. Li Mayan followed up and said, Uncle, you disciples are too unconvinced. They must be normal cultivation and not diligent. We have to help each senior. After the two had finished speaking, before Duan Muqian could speak, they stepped forward to face the six people on the ground, and one made up his feet. Kacha! Kacha! The sound of a click sounded, and the legs of the six disciples were all broken off, followed by a screaming scream. Okay! Duan Muqian looked at the miserable situation of the disciples under the seat, and immediately broke his eyes, and said, Since you are all here, let me give you some pointers. At this time, Duan Mukian's magic power was released, and cultivation base, the peak of the transformation stage, brought a great sense of oppression. At this moment, he didn't care about the rules, so he just wanted to make a move. Qin Chulian and Li Mayan both looked at him coldly, thinking in their hearts, Master is right, this old boy does not speak martial ethics. Brother, the kids are just playing around, why are you so angry? 
Chapter, 86 Brother, the kids are just playing around, why are you so angry? A faint voice sounded, and Duan Muqian raised his head. What caught his eyes was a figure of Xing Xue in white, with a handsome face, a long sword hanging from his waist, and his eyes indifferently looking down. The person here is Su Chen. Seeing Su Chen's arrival, Qin Chiu and Li Mayan put away their swords, bowed and said, Well, Master. Su Chen slowly fell in front of the couple, and then glanced around. There were already hundreds of Lian Tianfeng disciples whose feet had been interrupted lying on the ground. Well, it's pretty good control, no lives were killed. Su Chen glanced at them with satisfaction. Duan Muqian watched Su Chen's arrival at this time, knowing that the opportunity to kill the two had been lost. Although he was a peak cultivator, Su Chen's strength had always been a mystery, and he would not take risks. Junior brother. Yu Qiu Jingfo must give me an explanation at this time. Su Chen turned his head and said with an innocent look, Brother, do you need to explain? It's just a joke among juniors. Duan Muqian was so angry that he almost didn't vomit blood. Do you call such a situation a joke? The two of them interrupted the legs of hundreds of my seventeen disciples. Even if the cultivator can recover, it will take some time. Junior brother. Do you really think that you can fool it? Su Chen looked at him coldly at this time and said, Brother, don't think that you can really fool around. You are a smart person and know how to advance and retreat, otherwise you will be unwise. What Su Chen meant was that everyone knew that the assassin was sent by you. Now it's just for the sake of not breaking you down. If you continue to make trouble, it will only make everyone very embarrassed. Duan Mukian was extremely uncomfortable by this sentence, and he wanted to make trouble, but he had already made a difference before. If he continues to make trouble, I am afraid that it is himself who will suffer. Junior brother, today's gift, I remember, let's settle the accounts in the future. Duan Muqian said solemnly at this time. He he, if the brother feels that he has no face in Tian Feng, he can send a disciple to Chiu Jingfeng to learn from him. Su Chen shrugged his shoulders indifferently. As soon as this statement came out, Duan Muqian's complexion looked even more ugly. The entire disciple with the highest cultivation base on Tian Feng was beaten to the ground by the two of them, and even his legs were interrupted. How about going back to retaliate in the future? Since the brother is okay, let's go. Su Chen took the two imperial swords and walked in the direction of Chiu Jingfeng. Su Chen. Su Chen. Wait for me to become head teacher. I must razor your Chiu Jing peak to the ground. Duan Yuqian roared like a beast. Then he said to all the disciples, Go back to me and heal my wounds. After speaking, he flew towards the back mountain. In his opinion, their backup plan must now be started. Xiu Jingfeng, Su Chen and Nie Qianyun had already returned when they came back. The three of them went to the other main peaks to conduct discussions. The same is to beat the disciples of the other main peaks, the same taste, the same broken leg. Master, you are back. All three of them stood up to greet Su Chen. Su Chen knew that they must have completed the task, so he said to them, Why? Are you waiting for me to come back to judge the winner? Hmm. The three of them nodded wildly. They were all eager to eat the dinner made by Su Chen. The most important thing was to be able to have dinner with Su Chen alone, as if it were a date. Okay, come here, it's time for us to announce the result. Su Chen said to the five people. Su Chen took out a piece of jade slip. Five names and some numbers were written on the jade slip. It was the result that Su Chen got while watching the battle. All five of them looked at Jade Slip eagerly, and looked at Su Chen expectantly. Well, everyone did a good job this time, but we still have to compare in terms of quantity. After a pause, Su Chen said to them, Chiu Lian has the most success among the five of you. A total of 73 people have planned to retreat. The least is Wan Qing, who only interrupted 16 people's legs. Ha! Huh. Master, this is not fair. My cultivation base is the weakest. Su Wanqing was obviously dissatisfied. He he, come and cherish the opportunity next time. Su Chen comforted Su Wanqing, and then said to Qin Chiu Lian, Chiu Lian, 
remember to come to the restaurant tonight. I will cook some dishes and have a few drinks. You and I will be fine. Have a chat. The four of you will go directly to Qing Tian Temple and listen to the orders of your uncle head teacher. After speaking, Su Chen walked directly to the kitchen and seemed to start thinking about what to cook. Qin Chilian first showed an ecstatic smile when he heard the words, and then raised his eyebrows at the four women around him, as if saying, look, sister has won, and she is going to have a meal with master alone. The four women present saw Qin Chilian's appearance, and couldn't help but get angry. Li Mayan said to him, Senior sister's cultivation base is getting higher and higher. I just couldn't get sister little sister just now. Yes, master sister usually cultivates too diligently, which makes us so ashamed. Tu Su followed. The two people say that the meaning of 007 is that Qin Chulian really is like a female Tyrannosaurus. In addition to fighting and cultivation, there is almost no other life pleasure. Master Sister, remember to change clothes and put some powder on at night. Master prefers this. Nye Qianyin's words were mocking her for not dressing up. Su Wanqing on the side was very depressed, so she didn't interrupt. At this time, Qin Chiu met the eyes of the four people head on, and said to them, What do you know, I promised Master that I will cultivate and protect Master well in the future. That's why. This sentence made the girls roll their eyes. Does master still need your protection? Ha! Huh. Let's go. Go to Qing Tian Temple, don't disturb someone's good deeds. Su Wanqing said with a tongue out. The other three women were also ready to leave then I heard Qing Chilian say with a frenzied expression, Humph, when you come back, maybe the master has been taken by me. When the four women heard the words, they were all in full shape with a winged super, and then turned back and stared at them fiercely. Li Mayan said fiercely, you dare. Wait for us to come back, just pack you up. Let's go. After speaking, everyone directly raised their swords and flew in the direction of Qing Tian's sect leader peak. The four people were full of murderous aura. Then I don't know how many people will be unlucky. Chapter, 87 There is a very hidden cave on the back mountain of Tianfeng, and there are two disciples guarding it outside the cave. These two disciples are Duan Mukian's most trusted disciples. The cultivation base is in the gold core stage. Let them come here to guard a cave it can be seen that this place is extremely important to Duan Mukian. Master. The two said to Duan Mukian's cupped hands. Well, are the guests still safe? Duan Mu Qian asked lightly. Most of the guests are quieter, but those of the Mozu seem to be a little lonely. Duan Muqian showed a sneer at the corner of his mouth, and then said softly, Hee hee, it's time for them to go out to see blood. After speaking, he walked into the cave The passage of this cave is not long, only more than ten meters. The whole cave. The whole cave is as bright as day, and there are about a hundred people in the cave among the more than one hundred people, there are different cultivators such as monsters, demons, ghost repairs, rogue cultivators, and so on. These cultivators are surrounded by a strong atmosphere of magic power. The weakest among them are the cultivators at the peak of the foundation building, and the strongest actually has the existence of the three-person combined state. These three great abilities are rogue cultivators Fan Jin, demon cultivator Zhao Han and Yaozu Qingliang. The three of them are all characters in cultivation world, and can be recruited by Duan Mukian, so Duan Mu must have promised many benefits to them. Peak Master Duanmu, what's going on today? Actually have time to see us. Zhao Han's tone was a little dissatisfied. As a demon clan, he hadn't fought for many days, and he seemed very aggrieved. Zhao Han Sr., Jr. was a bit busy the other day, and I hope you can understand. Duan Muqian was very polite to him. Peak Master Duanmu has nothing to do with the Three Treasures Hall. I don't know what to discuss with us today. Fan Jin said. Duan Muqian said with a gloomy face at this time, the three seniors are already inseparable as the successor to the sect leader of the Great Sky School, but Su Chen smashed in and broke my good deeds. As soon as this remark came out, a trace of murderous intent flashed in the eyes of the three of them. After all, what Duan Muqian promised to the three of them was that as long as they helped him sit on the position of sect leader, he would give them half of the treasures of the Great Sky Zong's treasure house. 
This is the largest collection of sect in cultivation world for many years, and its value is self-evident, enough to make them crazy. Therefore, they are willing to become Duanmukian's minions, and have helped him secretly do many things for so many years. So, what do you want us to do? You don't want us to kill Lin Qingyuan, do you? Qing Liang said directly. Duan Yuqian waved his hand and said, Don't worry, I won't be so stupid. You only need to create chaos in sect, and then the three of you will kill Su Chen. After the killing, you hurry away. Is this too dangerous? Lin Qingyuan will definitely retaliate frantically. Qing Liang said worriedly. Three, as long as you kill Su Chen, then everything is mine. At that time, I will only be a candidate. When I become the sect leader, I will give all the treasures of the Great Sky School to the three. How about? Qian was already desperate at this time. Okay. This vote, we did it. The three nodded together, after all, wealth is touching. Well, one hour before dawn today, we will start. Duan Yukian said firmly. Autumn Jingfeng, a small courtyard restaurant. Su Chen has prepared a table of hearty meals, which are not too luxurious, but they have different meanings. When Qin Chilian went up the mountain for the first time, Su Chen personally cooked her and Li Mian's first meal, which was exactly the same as today's dishes. Su Chen sighed with emotion. It seems that Qin Chilian, who was a teenager at the time, had just gone up the mountain and still looked very young. Now it is not only the nascent soul cultivation base, but also a peerless beauty. Click. The door of the restaurant opened, and Qin Chilian stepped in. She was wearing a red dress at this time, with her long hair falling behind her, her entire face without any pink powder, her face facing the sky. Su Chen was all in her eyes at this time, just as before. This dress is just like Su Chen's appearance when he first met Qin Chilian. Let Su Chen have an experience of traveling back to the past. Master, I'm here. Qin Chilian looked at Su Chen a little shyly. She hadn't been alone with Su Chen for a long time. So today I specially put on the clothes that I used to meet Su Chen for the first time, hoping to relive my past experiences with Su Chen. Okay, sit down. Su Chen smiled and said, Look, do you like these dishes made for the teacher? Qin Chilian looked at the food in front of him, and even if it sounded that this was his first meal after going up the mountain, it was made by Su Chen himself. She was so moved while eating. When she was stunned, Su Chen poured two glasses of wine and said to her, Come on, have a drink with the teacher. The two clinked glasses and made a crisp sound, which seemed to evoke memories of the past. Master, do you remember how it was when you met me? Qin Chilian put down the wine glass and said with both hands supporting his chin. He he, of course I still remember that when you saved you, you were still a little girl. Now you are all big beauties. Su Chen said Ten with a smile. For so many years, when I was out, you played the role of a eldest sister, taking good care of the juniors and sisters. I am very pleased for the teacher and feel at ease for having a disciple like you. Qin Chilian picked up a piece of meat and placed it in Su Chen's bowl, and then there was an infatuation in her eyes. She looked at Su Chen and said, Master, what I said is, do you remember that when I went up the mountain? Did you tell me anything? Oh. What did you mean? Su Chen picked up the piece of meat with his chopsticks and ate it in. Qin Chilian looked at the mouth he was chewing and looked at the red lips and white teeth. She had an urge to kiss him, but she resisted the urge for life, and then said to him. Master, my disciple once said, I will definitely work hard to cultivate, and I will definitely cut down the best enemies for you in the future, and crush the ages. Qin Chilian always remembered this promise, so that's why I cultivated desperately. Su Chen stretched out his hand, put the back of her hand, and said to him, I still remember, so I will leave it to you for the safety of the teacher, okay? At this time, Qin Chilian put his other hand on the back of Su Chen's hand, and a warm feeling was conveyed on Su Chen's skin. She said softly, No one can hurt master, unless I die first. The faint language, as if making a monstrous vow, penetrated into Qin Chilian's mind. Chapter 88 Qing Tian Main Peak, Qing Tian Temple As the core of the Great Sky School, 
the defense here is the most tight, and the guard is the most tight. There are a total of 30 disciples guarding the foundation building realm and above, and there is also a gold core cultivator leading the team, and they all have a cultivation total formation. It can be said that even the masters of the nascent soul period may not be able to pass this level. Today's leader is Lin Qingyuan's second disciple Lu Tong. His cultivation base is the peak cultivation base of the gold core period, which is only slightly weaker than Qin Qing Lu. At this moment, Lu Tong was sitting on the steps of Qin Tian Temple, looking at the surroundings all the time, his five senses had been expanded to the maximum perceptual level at this time. Ordinarily, the defense does not need to be so serious on weekdays. After all, even if an enemy attacks, it will not attack this core area so quickly. But his master, head teacher Lin Qingyuan reminded him that something might happen today. This made Lu Tong, who has always been cautious, forced to take it seriously, so today he paid 12 points of attention. Puff! Suddenly a sound of breaking wind sounded, and Lu Tong immediately turned to that direction. At this time, a sword qi poured out towards him. Lu Tong is worthy of being Lin Qingyuan's disciple, and he reacted very quickly. Even after passing this attack, he burst out with a 0-10 sound enemy attack. After this shout, the entire Qin Tian peak was in chaos, and nearly a hundred masked men in black suddenly emerged from the side of the Qin Tian temple, and they rushed towards the Qin Tian temple. And the disciples of Qin Tian Zong rushed over in the first time to defend Qin Tian temple. For a time, the scene was extremely chaotic. The other party seemed to insist on breaking into the Qin Tian temple, while Lu Tong and a group of disciples tried their best to resist. It's a pity that all the people here seem to be masters, at least the cultivation base at the pinnacle of the foundation building, and there are even more than a dozen gold core abilities. This lineup is far from what the current disciples can resist. At the same time, there are five figures standing on the roof of Qing Tian Temple, one in the middle is a white Taoist robe, and Duster is holding in his hands. This person is Lin Qing Yuan, head teacher. The four women beside him are the disciples of Su Chen. I said, uncle, it's a fight, are you sure you still don't do it? Su Wanqing stretched out bored. Lin Qingyuan looked at the dozens of people in black in the field and felt the different magic power aura on them, and he could judge right now that this was the group of desperados behind Duan Yukian. Oh, the master sister is eating master's delicious food. It is really unfair that we are going to fight while drinking northwest wind. Chu Su was also full of complaints at this time. Nye Qingyun frowned and said, Huh. We are out now, I don't know what the master sister will do. Shut up, listen to your uncle. Li Mayan yelled coldly, and everyone closed their mouths. Lin Qingyuan looked at the four people with wry smiles. These disciples of his junior brother were so personal, but their cultivation base was very strong, and it was the place where they used their skills at this time. Well, don't waste your time, let's do it. Lin Qingyuan said to them. As soon as this statement came out, the lazy breath of the four of them disappeared completely. All four of them sacrificed their own magical item, and then the breath of magic power lingered on them. Li Mayan put on the mask at this time, and said coldly, Little junior sister stays here to take the lead, the three of us will enter the charge. After speaking, the three of them moved their feet and rushed directly into the crowd like lightning, while Su Wanqing was condescending to look down at the battle, using sound transmission means to direct the entire battlefield at all times. All three of them were the cultivation base of nascent soul middle stage, and their combat power was extremely high. Even when there were waves of blood and blood in the black-clothed crowd, countless people in black were directly beheaded. The demonic energy, monster qi, and ghost qi in the field confronted each other, covering the entire Qing Tian temple. As the three of them rushed to kill, there were still broken thoughts in their mouths. Die to the old lady. I blame you all, so that I can't enjoy the master alone. Deadly, let me delay my time again, our female Tyrannosaurus is going to eat master. Come here. The old lady is depressed, come to vent her anger, to avenge the master's temporarily robbed revenge. The people in black in the field were being chopped up and fed dog food at this time. They just wanted to say Bay, what does he do to us? But before they could say anything, they were chopped to the ground. 
Such a scene made Lin Chin Yuan amazed as well, muttering to himself, Junior, the disciples you have received will definitely become the mainstay of the King Tianzong in the future. After speaking, Lin Chin Yuan's figure flashed and disappeared in place. In the restaurant, Su Chen and Qin Chiuyan were chatting with a smile on their faces. The two of them drank many glasses of wine, and Qin Chiuyan was already three-point drunk. At this time, she became more and more bold. She pulled Su Chen's sleeve and said, Master, you said you want to take me to a separate cultivation. It hasn't been realized yet. Su Chen touched the ends of her hair and said, Okay, when this is up, we will go out to travel in the red dust to help you cultivate. Qin Chiuyan raised his head at this time, and grabbed Su Chen's right hand with one hand. There was a deep and deep feeling in his eyes, and that deep feeling seemed to have turned into substance. Master, after so many years, you really don't know what I want most? Qin Chiuyan's eyes showed extremely longing eyes at this time, one hand only held Su Chen's hand, for fear that he would leave directly, she wanted to take advantage of the right atmosphere at this time, and directly confessed. At this time, Su Chen was still wondering what she wanted, and the voice of the system sounded, qualified masters must understand the needs of the disciples, and now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. The system, do you play with me? What rhythm is this, the first option will be sentenced, you want me to die unhappy, right? The second option seems very reasonable. Xiu Lian seems to be a cultivation person who has been working hard. It seems that he wants to pass on my legacy. I choose too. Su Chen rubbed Qin Chiuyan's hair with his palms, and said to him, Teacher, what do you want to be a teacher, right? Qin Chiuyan didn't expect that Su Chen would say these things directly. Yes, I want everything from Master. Qin Chiuyan said very emotionally. Su Chen pulled out his hand at this time, pulled the own collar, and then slowly opened the own collar, revealing the delicate collarbone. Seeing all this in Qin Chiuyan's eyes, it was a fatal temptation, and immediately swallowed unconvincingly. Okay, I will give it to you as a teacher. Su Chen said with a smile, and then continued to open his own clothes buttons, and put his right hand into his arms, trying to take out a cultivation technique in his arms. This is a fire attribute cultivation technique he wants to give Qin Chiuyan. Qin Chiuyan's body is hot at this time, she is thinking, will she really get what she wants today? The distance between the two at this time was only five inches away, and the two shadows were intertwined. The atmosphere heated up at this time, and Qin Chiuyan instinctively closed his eyes. Chapter, 89 Hundreds of people in black suddenly appeared around Xiu Jingfeng. These people in black were led by the three cultivators of the fit period, and the other person was Duan Muqian in black. Duan Yuqian stared at the small courtyard, the anger in his eyes seemed to burn everything to ashes, and he said, Su Chen. Su Chen. You must die here today. Free, do it. Duan Yuqian said to them. Duan Mu Peak Master, don't forget the promise to us. Chen Liang glanced at him and said. That's natural. When I become the sect leader, the treasure house of the Great Sky School will be yours. Tuan Mu Qian promised. Okay. A quick fight. After killing Su Chen, immediately flee away. Qing Liang said to everyone. After speaking, a longbow appeared in Qing Liang's hand. A black arrow was placed on the longbow. There were countless complex magic circles engraved on the arrow. At a glance, he knew that it was a high-rank magic treasures. The soul-killing arrow, one arrow shot, and the ashes disappeared. Cheng Liang poured half of the magic power into it, then loosened the bowstring and shot towards the small courtyard. At this time, in the restaurant, Qin Chiuyan closed her eyes, waiting for Su Chen's next move, her heartbeat at this time had already reached a level. Su Chen was about to take out the cultivation technique. Suddenly, the system issued a warning tone, danger is imminent, immediately opened the defense system. Be careful, Chiu Yin. Su Chen stepped forward and hugged him in his arms countless shields appeared around the two of them, all of which were the best immortals, wrapping them tightly. Boom! An arrow struck and exploded in the small courtyard. With a loud noise, the entire small courtyard was directly raised to the ground, raising countless smoke and dust. 
When Duan Yukian and others saw this, they still didn't know how Su Chen was going, but in the face of this attack, Su Chen would at least be injured. Immediately, Duan Yukian yelled, Go! The person who killed Su Chen can be the deputy sect leader in the future. As soon as this statement came out, the practitioners present were all boiled, and the deputy sect leader of the largest sect in cultivation world, such power and status were unimaginably high. Kill! Before waiting for the order, everyone rushed over. At this time, the smoke and dust had not yet dispersed, and Su Chen hugged Qin Chilian and hid under the shield. Qin Chilian felt the temperature in Su Chen's arms at this time, and the familiar sense of security came to his heart again. Back then, in the desperate situation of the family, it was the master who protected himself like this, and let himself out of the sea of bitterness. Master. Qin Chilian was so close to Su Chen at this time. It seemed that he only needed to stand on tiptoe to kiss the lips that he thought about that day and night. She was bold at this moment, taking advantage of Su Chen's gaze, she approached a little bit. In the end, she was less than an inch away from Su Chen. Even at this moment, she could feel the heat he exhaled, and gently stroked her face. Only a little too close, really only a little too close. Master, I'm going to kiss you. Kill. Kill Su Chen. There was a terrifying cry of killing. Su Chen immediately released Qin Chiu Lian, protected him behind him, and said to him, Chiu Lian, the group of strays appeared. Qin Chiu Lian was interrupted by the call to kill at this time, the own jockey's move of Mizu the ancestor, and his heart was full of anger. In addition, these thieves actually shouted the slogan to kill Su Chen, and immediately she was going to run away. Master. Let me go out and kill the enemy. Qin Chulian's voice trembled a little, which was the state before the rage. Su Chen was about to refuse at this time. After all, there are so many cultivators outside, it is still very dangerous, but at this time the voice of the system suddenly sounded, as a master, you must learn to let the disciple stand alone. Now turn on the option. Ha! Huh. The system, if you want her to go out to fight, you just say straight, and you are also involved in human cauldron. What do you want? How can a good thing pass your mouth, and it will bring color directly? Who made you, called him out, I killed him alive. Su Chen turned around, touched Qin Xiuyan's head, and said softly to her, Okay, go, but pay attention to safety. Task reward, Yen Di armor. Come on, put on this armor. Su Chen raised his hand, and a light crimson armor appeared in his hand. Seeking flowers zero. The flame pattern and the shape of the assembly line are obviously a pair of armor for women, which looks almost the same as Qin Chilian's figure. Master, did you make this specially for me? Qin Chilian took the wrong arm and looked at Su Chen expectantly. Yeah, this was made for you after spending some time for the teacher, and I want to give it to you today. Su Chen said lightly. Anyway, it was given by the system. That is what I did. Even though Qin Chilian put on this armor and felt the temperature on the armor, she seemed to see how much feeling Su Chen had for her when he created this armor. After putting on this armor, she felt the magic power in her body burst into cheers. Zero. Zero. Ah. She groaned suddenly, and then flames burst out of her body, covering her whole body. At this moment, cultivation base has broken through to the peak of nascent soul. This can actually help me to break through the cultivation base, and this alone is already extremely precious. Such immortal treasures, the master actually gave me directly, could it be said that in his heart, I am the most important one among the five? She looked at Su Chen with a questioning look. Su Chen saw it and thought she was going to ask if the armor was a precious fairy treasure, so she nodded. Master. Master has admitted. Admitted that I am the most important disciple in his heart. No. Master, this is an admission, the person he loves most is me. Completion reward, supreme immortal armor of Yendi. I'm so happy, really so happy. Qin Chilian's face was shaking all over at this time, and he only felt that he had inexhaustible strength all over his body. Master, let me send those thieves away. When we come back, we will continue with what we did just now. Qin Chilian smiled. 
Master shouldn't refuse him this time. You can do it yourself. Things are up. Go, pay attention to safety. Su Chen didn't realize what Qin Chilian was thinking, but continued to gently exhort. Okay. Master, wait for me. Qin Chilian suddenly rushed towards the hundreds of cultivators like a cannonball at this time. Master, when I defeat these people, I must do what I haven't done just now. Your lips are mine. 4. 